Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 751 to Chapter 800 Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys! Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 751, Deep Spiritual Observation After Medusa left, the valley became completely silent. The space lock in the sky had caused the small valley to become a place that was isolated from the outside world. No one would accidentally charge into this quiet ground. However, other than the lack of sound Medusa departure did not so much as cause a wave within the valley. That pile of rock fragments over the entrance of the cave still did not have any response. The enormous light cocoon within the valley similarly showed no sign of breaking through. Although it appeared similar to the past, any person with extremely strong spiritual perception would be able to discover that these two unusually powerful auras were quietly being concealed, awaiting the moment they would be reborn. Although the valley had reared some magical beasts, they did not dare to take even half a step into the deep valley because of the pressure that the light cocoon faintly emitted. They also did not dare to emit a roar that was too loud, afraid they would disturb the existence that filled them with great fear. Hence, the deep part of the valley had turned into one where humans and beasts were rare. The wild grass in the valley rapidly grew under the influence of the dense energy. In the end, the wild grass swept over the light cocoon. It continued to intertwine to form a green-colored web around the mountain cave and the light cocoon. In this way, a desolation was added to this valley. Only the enormous colorful energy swirl in the midair was emitting some life. Time swiftly flowed past within this deep valley that was isolated from the outside world. One day after another passed. Spring disappeared and autumn arrived. Without realizing it, around half a year had passed since Medusa had left. By counting the time that passed, Xiao Yan's and Zi Yan's retreats had nearly reached a year. Although such a long time was exhausted, there was still not the slightest unusual activity from the valley. The desolate quiet valley seemed to have quietly forgotten about them. Medusa did not return during this half a year. No one knew what happened to her. Wild grass was still growing all over the place within the deep valley. If no accident were to occur, it would soon occupy the entire mountain valley within a short period of time. Finally, it would follow the mountain wall and climbed out, appearing like blind green snake as it spread out. Time quietly flowed by within the desolate, deep valley. On a certain day, a slight unusual movement that was different than the usual monotony finally appeared in the deep valley. One could see that large energy swirl that was slowly rotating in the sky suddenly began to gradually cease spinning. Majestic energy poured down like a storm before finally transforming into two mountainous torrent-like energy pillars. One of these energy pillars charged into the valley, which was now hidden by the wild grass, while the other landed on the light cocoon, which was covered by wild grass. These two energy pillars that were over ten feet large cut through the air. The air emitted a sharp tearing sound as they did so. From this, it was sufficient to see just what kind of enormous energy was contained within these two energy pillars. Under such a large amount of energy, the wild grass within the valley suddenly withered at a speed visible to the naked eye. Within a couple of short breaths, it completely returned to how it was before. The large purple-colored light cocoon in the valley and the mountain cave blocked with rock fragments slowly reappeared. One of the two enormous energy pillars entered the light cocoon while the other entered the cave. They immediately ceased having any other unusual movements after that. The energy swirl in the air had already completely disappeared. The intense natural energy in the valley also gradually returned to its normal state. From the looks of the situation, it seemed that the two fellows who required an enormous amount of energy had already reached a stage where they were full. The light cocoon within the valley turned an increasingly deeper color after absorbing that enormous energy pillar. Some strange seals gradually appeared on the surface of the light cocoon. The glows that were gradually emitted from these seals appeared to be quite mysterious. There was no other activity after this change occurred within the valley. In the blink of an eye, another half a month passed. Within the cave, whose entrance was firmly blocked by a pile of rock fragments, the eyes that had been shut for nearly one year finally shook a little as they slowly opened. A storm full of lightning flashed through his dark black eyes one bolt after another as they opened. At that moment, even the air within the solemn mountain cave emitted a slight crackling sound. A majestic aura that had been silent for nearly one year finally became like a fierce tiger following the opening of his eyes. He slowly raised his head, faced the sky and emitted an earth-shaking roar. Even the mountain cave began to shake under the majestic aura that was more than a couple of times stronger than before. Numerous thick arm-sized crack lines spread out like spiderwebs from the spot where the black-robed, young man sat with his legs crossed. Finally, they spread over every single corner of the cave. Crack. The slight sound suddenly appeared while the black-robed, young man was seated on the green rock. Immediately, numerous tiny crack lines appeared. 
After which, they swiftly spread over the entire green rock before the green rock burst apart. It transformed into a countless number of fragments amid a low and deep rumble. The black-robed, young men seated on the green rock did not move even a little despite it bursting apart. Both of his legs were suspended on empty air and he continued to remain afloat in the air in this matter without borrowing any external strength. This is the strength of a Do Huang Ha. Xiao Yan's hand slowly moved. He sensed the majestic mountainous torrent-like Do Qi erupting within his body. A faint arc seeped out from the corner of his mouth. At this moment, a kind of heroic feeling of having everything held in one's hand surfaced within his heart. A powerful spiritual strength swept out in a lightning-like manner and spread in all directions like a storm with his body at the middle. The powerful spiritual strength was swiftly spread out of the cave and wrapped the entire valley within it. Using the spiritual strength to skin the place, Xiao Yan was able to see an enormous purple-colored light cocoon within the valley. Moreover, since he was relying on the sensitive spiritual strength, he could vaguely sense a powerful life being agglomerated within the cocoon. The spiritual strength spread to the valley. However, it did not stop because of this. Instead, it continued to head for the enormous magical beast mountain range and spread over it. Following the spreading of his spiritual strength, a countless number of scenes were reflected within Xiao Yan's head. Of course, there were quite a large number of powerful magical beasts within the magical beast mountain range. Hence, this overbearing spiritual scanning by Xiao Yan did not escape their notice. It was because of this that the vast mountain range immediately began to emit numerous earth-shaking furious roars. Countless numbers of low-rank magical beasts began to tremble amid these roars. Despite being able to sense Xiao Yan's spiritual scan, most of these powerful magical beasts, with the exception of those that possessed special abilities, were unable to cause much damage to Xiao Yan's spirit. Therefore, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength did not receive even the slightest attack during this overbearing scan of the place. The majestic spiritual strength spread over a 50-kilometer radius. However, this seemed to be the hard limit. As a result, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had difficulty advancing even an inch after having spread to encompass a mountain. Xiao Yan's mind moved upon seeing this. The spiritual strength that had spread out began to shrink in a lightning-like manner like flood water. With a couple of breaths, it had completely shrunk back into his body. Xiao Yan lifted his head slightly after the spiritual strength completely returned to his body. He let out a long breath and had just wanted to try to converge his spiritual strength deep within him when a thought suddenly struck him. His finger gently touched the dense white fire imprint on his forehead. Some unknown trembling quietly appeared deep within his spirit. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of moist air. His eyes flickered slightly before they immediately narrowed. His mind suddenly moved and a majestic spiritual strength once again swept out. However, it did not spread out this time around. Instead, it rushed into that fire seal on his forehead. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had just charged into the fire seal when a low, deep, muffled sound exploded with a bang within his mind. Immediately, his eyes turned black and a small path that was formed from dense white flames appeared in front of him. There was a deep bottomless darkness on the two sides of the small path. There seemed to be no end to the small flame path at a glance. Xiao Yan's body moved and did not hesitate as he rushed down the small flame path. When the spiritual strength from earlier had reached a certain point, his usage of his spiritual strength appeared to be much clearer. The small path was indeed long. However, under the speed of his spiritual strength, which was faster than lightning, it only required over 10 minutes before a flame hole appeared at the end of the small flame path. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength trembled slightly before ruthlessly charging over. Xiao Yan's spirit charged into the fire hole. The glaring dense white flame suddenly disappeared. Replacing it was an extremely pressuring darkness. This dark place seemed to be an enormous hall. The hall was so wide that it was somewhat frightening. A stone pillar that was over a thousand feet long reached into the sky as it supported this unusually large hall. This hall was covered with a countless number of clusters of light wrapped within a jade green glow. Xiao Yan's spirit swept over them and was shocked to realize that those clusters of light actually contained a living spiritual body within each of them. Xiao Yan's spirit rolled intensely because of this shocking scene. His spirit swiftly swept over the place. A moment later, his shock suddenly agglomerated on a cluster of jade green light that was near the middle spot of a large hall. Within it was an old man who had his eyes tightly shut. The thing that caused a storm to brew within Xiao Yan's heart was that this old man was Yao Lao who had been captured by the Hall of Souls. This is, is the Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan's spirit emitted a dull voice. The moment his voice had just sounded, the space in front of him suddenly fluctuated. Immediately, the space blasted apart like a broken mirror. A frightening spiritual strength that even the space could not withstand carrying an unusually dense darkness suddenly erupted. Mere contact with it shattered the spiritual remnant of Xiao Yan into nothingness. Chapter 752, Advancing to the Dou Huang Class Xiao Yan, who was in the valley, suddenly opened his eyes the moment his spiritual body turned into nothingness. Cold perspiration covered his forehead. His eyes contained a faint shock. He could guarantee that the place that he had seen earlier with the help of the spiritual fire imprint that his teacher had left behind was definitely that mysterious Hall of Souls. The cave emitted a somewhat anxious and heavy breathing sound. A long while later, it finally gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan wiped off the cold perspiration that covered his forehead. He sat down on a rock behind him and fell deep into thought. The extremely large hall from earlier should be the extremely mysterious Hall of Souls. 
Xiao Yan could only attribute his ability to enter that place and have a peep around due to the spiritual fire imprint that Yao Lao had left behind. The frightening spirit that had appeared amid the shattered space should be the guardian of that Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan was also uncertain about whether he was the leader of the Hall of Souls. In any case, the only thing he knew was that even though his strength had greatly soared, he was still no match for that mysterious expert. This Hall of Souls does indeed have many strong people. From the looks of the terrifying spirit earlier, it is likely that even Protector Wu would not be able to compare with him. Xiao Yan muttered softly. A moment later, he rubbed his forehead and sighed in relief within his heart. No matter how bad the situation was, he, at the very least, knew that Yao Lao was indeed still alive. There would definitely be a chance as long as Yao Lao was still alive. Teacher, wait for this disciple. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his fist. A determination surfaced within his eyes. He stood up and inhaled a deep breath of air. The powerful galloping torrent-like Dou Qi within his body gradually expelled the chill that remained within his body. The current him was already a genuine elite Dou Huang. Moreover, he was still young. As long as he was given enough time, Xiao Yan believed that the next time he met the frightening spirit within that Hall of Souls, he would not end up like this time around where he was defeated without even having any ability to retaliate. Xiao Yan slowly expelled the distractions within his heart. His body moved, and slowly walked toward the entrance of the cave, which was still firmly blocked by rocks. A moment later, he slowly opened his palm and gently placed it on the rocks. His mouth suddenly said, break. Bang. A loud sound immediately resounded the moment Xiao Yan's cry rang out. Rock fragments shot out from the cave in all directions. The mountain cave was once again opened amid the dust that spread all over the place. Xiao Yan slowly walked out. He narrowed his eyes and ignored the glaring sunlight. His body stood at the cave's entrance as he spread both of his hands to allow that warm sunlight to shine on his body. A warm feeling filled all of his limbs and bones, causing Xiao Yan's face to gradually relax. Xiao Yan stayed still basking in the sunlight for a long while before walking out. His gaze swept over the deep parts of the valley, and immediately paused on that enormous purple-colored light cocoon. Although he already knew that this girl's evolution had yet to be completed when his spiritual strength had spread, he could not help but shake his head when he saw it with his own eyes. It was really not easy for this girl to advance in rank. Where is Kai Lin? Did she leave? Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly. His eyes shifted from the light cocoon and swept in all directions. While he was speaking uncertainly to himself, his sweeping gaze saw a scroll on a huge rock not far from the light cocoon. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand and sucked the scroll into his palm. He slowly opened it with some doubt as his gaze slowly swept over it. A moment later, he frowned intently and whispered, it is actually because something has happened to the snake people rack. However, according to what she wrote, she would return once again after settling the matter. Don't tell me that she has yet to settle it even until now. Xiao Yan's expression also changed slightly when he thought of this. Even with Medusa's strength, she was unable to swiftly settle the matter. It seemed that the trouble that the snake people race met with this time around was indeed quite troublesome. Xiao Yan stored the scroll into his storage ring after gaining an understanding of the entire matter. He looked at the light cocoon by his side and helplessly shook his head. He said, forget it, allow me to protect you for a period of time. Otherwise, I would also feel uneasy leaving now. Coincidentally, I have just broken through to the Dou Huang class and will still need some time to train the Dou Qi within my body. Once he said this, Xiao Yan's body moved and appeared on a huge rock in the valley before he slowly shut his eyes. Xiao Yan had smoothly exited his retreat and had successfully advanced to the Dou Huang class. However, he did not leave by himself after taking little Zi Yan into consideration. Instead, he chose to remain in the valley to take care of Zi Yan. He would also use the opportunity to grind and get used to the Dou Qi within his body that had greatly soared. Time still quietly flowed by within the valley. However, the current valley was undoubtedly more lively compared to before. The origin of this liveliness was naturally the destructive sound that was created around the valley while Xiao Yan trained his Dou Qi. Time swiftly flowed through one's fingers amid this training of Xiao Yan's strength. Without realizing it, another half a month had passed. That light cocoon, which was completely void of activity, finally changed in a way that caused Xiao Yan to rejoice during this period of time. Not only did the light on the seals on the surface of the light cocoon become increasingly more dense but there was a slight crack line faintly spreading. The crack lines also emitted beads of purple glow. From the looks of the situation, it seemed it would not be long until Zi Yan broke out of the cocoon. A black-robed person was suspended in the air above the valley. At this moment, his hands were swiftly forming complex hand seals. The seals were being formed at an increasingly faster rate. In the end, some afterimages even appeared. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he looked at the flying seal in his hand. A flushed redness appeared on his face and some dense perspiration formed on his forehead. The exhaustion of Dou Qi because of this hand seal was quite frightening. The flying hand seal suddenly paused at a certain instance while Xiao Yan cried out, See flipping seal. The cry sounded and Xiao Yan's hand stiffened on a strange arc. His hand suddenly pushed toward the sky. Following the pushing of his palm, a majestic Dou Qi surged and swiftly covered Xiao Yan's hand. A layer of jade green film quietly agglomerated within this majestic energy. A strange jade green cuticle swiftly wrapped around Xiao Yan's hand. An instant later, a jade green crystal clear hand imprint the size of a hand suddenly shot out. 
This light imprint appeared to be molded from a jade green crystal, appearing extraordinarily beautiful. However, the majestic energy that was contained within it was extremely shocking. One could see that even the air where it flew through would become distorted. The air was pressured into a clear concave arc. The crystallized green light imprint flashed across the sky. Finally, it collided with the layer of spatial lock. A loud earth-shaking sound was immediately erupted. A wild wind suddenly surfaced and one could see numerous water wave-like ripples forming and swiftly spreading from the area where the spatial lock was located. A moment later, the spatial lock that Medusa had created with all her strength had been broke by Xiao Yan. A ten-foot-wide hole was created. Xiao Yan raised his head and looked at the distorted space. He finally let out a long sigh. Being the second seal of the God Seal skill, the might of this flipping sea seal was indeed even stronger than the open mountain seal. It was indeed worthy of being a powerful Dou technique that required one to be an elite Dou Huang in order to practice. Xiao Yan had spent most of his time during these two months on practicing the God Seal skill. However, this was the first time that he was able to successfully unleash it. Despite this being the first time and was still imperfect, it already possessed such might. One could imagine just what kind of strength it would have once Xiao Yan practiced it until he reached complete mastery. Xiao Yan had experienced the difficulty of this God Seal skill when he had begun practicing the Open Mountain Seal back then. Hence, he was already mentally prepared. He could barely be considered to have reached the stage where he could use the Open Mountain Seal as he liked. On the other hand, he had not even reached an initial mastery of this Flipping Sea Seal. It might be difficult for the skill to have much impact when he fought an enemy in the future. Looks like I need to practice it properly. If I meet any elite Do Zone in the future, this Flipping Sea Seal might be able to achieve a surprising result. Xiao Yan clenched his hand and muttered softly. It is already getting late. I shall train until here today. Xiao Yan raised his head to look at the sky before laughing softly. His body had just landed when the entire valley violently shook. Xiao Yan was also surprised when he sensed this sudden tremor. His gaze immediately shot down. That purple-colored light cocoon in the middle of the valley was emitting a bright, strong light at this moment. Is she about to successfully advance? The sudden scene that appeared caused the surprise in Xiao Yan's eyes to become increasingly more dense. There was finally activity from this girl. Following the more intense light from the light cocoon, a slight cracking sound finally appeared. Immediately, the tiny crack lines that covered the light cocoon immediately burst apart. Countless rays of bright purple radiated from the crack lines and shot to the sky. Fortunately, there was the spatial lock still there to block it. Otherwise, this unusual activity would definitely have attracted plenty of attention. More and more crack lines appeared. In the end, a layer of the large cocoon shell was suddenly shed. Following the shedding of the first piece, a chain reaction seemed to have occurred on this light cocoon. The light cocoon swiftly cracked apart, and a purple-colored light pillar suddenly rushed to the sky before colliding with the spatial lock. The spatial lock emitted ripples one after the other. Xiao Yan's gaze stared intently at the enormous purple-colored light pillar. By relying on his eyesight, he could vaguely see a blurry human figure within the light pillar. The light pillar was maintained for a moment before turning pale. A moment later, it completely disappeared. The human figure within it also appeared in Xiao Yan's line of sight. The human figure which that had appeared was completely naked. A faint purple glow lingered over her body causing her to appear to possess a magical charm. Long, smooth purple-colored hair scattered down and landed on her lovely protruding buttocks. Which part of her matured body that protruded from the front and the back was a style that the little girl from back then possessed. Looking at the somewhat matured, yet cute appearance, this was surprising the little Ziyan who had grown big. This is Ziyan. Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at this girl whose figure was matured. It was completely chaotic. It was difficult to imagine that the little girl would develop so well and become so attractive. Chapter 753, Leaving the Valley Ziyan, who was in the pillar of light, stretched her lazy waist at this moment. Her extremely attractive curves were even more eye-catching. She lazily opened her eyes and looked at the stunned Xiao Yan in the sky. A naughty thought rose within her heart and she threw an embarrassed gaze that hit a flirting look toward the latter. Xiao Yan's entire body shivered in the sky upon receiving the flirting gaze. He bitterly smiled and shook his head. This girl still had the character of a child. Xiao Yan moved his body and slowly descended. He did not look as he took out a robe from his storage ring and was about to hand it over to Ziyan. However, his body had yet to come into contact with the other when the latter's body shook. An unusual green glow erupted from her body. Under this green glow, Ziyan's body began to quickly shrink at a rate visible to the naked eye. In merely a couple of breaths, the great beauty who possessed a lovely figure immediately turned into a little girl who was still naked. Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at this transformation of Ziyan. He could not help but laughed out loud as he shook his head. It seemed that advancing to rank 6 did not allow Ziyan to completely resolve the medicinal effects of that body transformation grass. Ziyan was also shocked because of this change of hers. However, when she saw that her body had once again transformed back into the little girl of the past, her two small eyebrows immediately became vertical. She looked at Xiao Yan gloating in front of her and involuntarily pounced forward angrily. Both of her hands repeatedly clawed randomly at Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yan's hand hugged Ziyan who had pounced forward. He felt her extremely soft, smooth jade-like skin and his eyes immediately began to drift. He let out a dry cough. 
he hurriedly and forcefully placed the black robe in his hand onto Zi Yan's body. After which, he violently knocked on her head and said, Be quiet. Otherwise, I will not help you refine a body transformation pill in the future and let you continue to have this appearance for the rest of your life. Zi Yan covered her little head and curled her mouth with an unwillingness. However, she was still quite afraid of Xiao Yan's threat. Hence, she could only lower her head and mutter, This damn body transforming grass. Xiao Yan pinched Zi Yan's jade carving like cute face and laughed, This appearance of yours is not bad. It is really likable. Chi, what duplicity. You clearly like that other figure just now. Don't think I was unaware of it. Kai Lin Jia said that all of you men are like this. Zi Yan used disdainful eyes to look at Xiao Yan. The appearance of the latter earlier was on the edge of causing one to have a nosebleed. Xiao Yan immediately felt embarrassed when he heard this. He ruthlessly pinched Zi Yan's face and hurriedly changed the topic of the conversation. All right, since you have successfully advanced, let us leave this place. I may not know exactly how long we have stayed but I think that it has likely been a long time. Has Kai Lin Jia left first? Zi Yan's eyes swept over the valley as she spoke with a deep thought. She could vaguely sense the activity in the valley while she had transformed into a cocoon. She had faintly sensed when Medusa had left back then. Yes, something happened to the Snake People tribe and she needed to return to resolve it. We can also make a trip there once we leave and lend our hand. Xiao Yan nodded. He placed Zi Yan down and smiled as he replied. For such a long time, Medusa had been providing him with a lot of help. Moreover, even though he was forced to do that matter back then, it was impossible to really act like it was just a lustful night no matter how one put it. Hence, his feelings for Medusa were also quite complicated. Zi Yan naturally did not object to this. Her relationship with Kai Lin was quite good. It was natural that she would go and help the latter. Xiao Yan's body moved when he saw Zi Yan nodding her head, and appeared in the air without any warning. He lifted his head and looked at that somewhat distorted space not far away, Zi Yan also followed behind him. She swept her gaze over it and said in a surprised manner, This is a spatial seal, right? Only an elite dozone can use it. I think that this should be left behind by Kai Lin Jia, right? Yes, she needed to leave in a hurry and was afraid that others would disturb our advancement. Therefore, she placed the spatial lock over this valley. Xiao Yan looked at the distorted space and spoke without turning his head, move aside. I will break it. Dou Qi within Xiao Yan's body wildly surged once he said this. This spatial lock that was created from all of Medusa's strength was unusually strong. If he had not advanced to the Dou Huang class, the chances of him successfully breaking it were extremely low. All you know is how to use brute force. Zi Yan by the side curled her lips when she saw this. Her body immediately began to slowly rise and a strange purple glow seeped out from her body just when she was about to make contact with the distorted space. After which, her body became like a fish as she penetrated the distorted space and disappeared. Xiao Yan's face was completely stunned as he watched Zi Yan do this. A moment later, he bitterly laughed and shook his head. He had forgotten that Zi Yan seemed to have an immunity to these kinds of locks. Back then, the various enchantments placed on the medicinal warehouse did not have the slightest effect of blocking her. Despite this, Xiao Yan was still somewhat surprised that she could so easily pass through this distorted space. Zi Yan's body once again blended and came out from the distorted space while Xiao Yan was surprised. She extended a small snow white hand towards Xiao Yan and gloatingly laughed, Follow me, I will bring you out. Xiao Yan also smiled when he saw this but he did not reject her offer. This small valley possessed quite a lot of rare medicinal ingredient. Having the spatial seal here would coincidentally prevent people from accidentally roaming into this place. Xiao Yan grabbed Zi Yan and a faint purple glow immediately spread over him from the latter. It swiftly wrapped around Xiao Yan. Both their bodies shrank and charged into the distorted space before disappearing. A lush green color from the endless mountain range filled Xiao Yan's eyes. Wild wind blew over and a whistle resounded over the mountain range. It unleashed a limitless liveliness within this valley. The space in the air of a secret region between a couple of mountain peaks within the mountain range suddenly fluctuated. Two human figures slowly appeared. Their eyes moved in all directions, and they felt the cooling breeze that blew toward them. Their bodies felt light like they could drift away. We have finally come out. Xiao Yan could not help but sigh in relief as he looked at the vast mountain range. After having stayed for such a long period of time in the cave, he had nearly forgotten what the feeling of wind blowing across his body was like. Zi Yan by the side randomly swept her gaze around. She secretly sighed in relief when she did not find any magical beasts around her. She still remembered the frightening beast tide that she and Kai Lin had stirred up within the magical beast mountain range before she transformed into a cocoon. Even Medusa could only bring her along and flee under the beast tide. Despite having already advanced, she still involuntarily felt the skin on her head turn numb when she thought of the densely packed crazy magical beasts. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not notice the little actions of Zi Yan. After having determined their direction, he waved toward her and a pair of fire wings instantly extended out. After which, he flew toward the exit of the mountain range. Zi Yan at the back carefully observed her surroundings before hurriedly following him. The two human figures turned into light rays that flew across the sky. Their high speed brought about a wind pressure that left behind a ripple on the sea of trees underneath them. However, Xiao Yan's body suddenly paused after having flown for around three to five minutes. 
Zi Yan at the back could not react in time and slammed into Xiao Yan's back. What are you doing? Zi Yan rubbed her forehead and grumbled. It seems a little too quiet. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and slowly said. His eyes swept over his surroundings as he did so. He had yet to hear a single beast roar since he had come out of the valley. This kind of situation might be very normal if it appeared somewhere else. However, it was clearly not right if it appeared within the magical beast mountain range which was covered in magical beasts. Zi Yan also felt that something was a little amiss when she heard this. Her small eyebrows were vertical as she sensed her surroundings for a moment. She nodded and said, yes, the surroundings do not have any magical beast's aura. Moreover, she suddenly twitched her small nose when she reached this point. There seems to be an unusual smell in the air. Xiao Yan was initially startled when he heard this. He slightly knit his brows and inhaled a breath of air. His expression changed a moment later. He spoke in a dark and solemn manner, don't inhale it into your body. The air is mixed with poisonous gas, but it is very faint. What exactly happened? This thought churned within his heart. The mystery that had suddenly appeared caused Xiao Yan's heart to feel some pressure. For some unknown reason, he repeatedly felt a faint uneasiness. After musing for a moment, he waved his hand and spoke with a deep voice, let's go. We will head to the small Qingshan town to take a look first. In this situation, it seemed that he must look for a place where there were people in order to be able to gain some information. Is this poisonous gas released by that person? Zi Yan nodded slightly before suddenly asking. The person she mentioned was naturally the little fairy doctor whom they had met by chance in the valley back then. It should not be the case. This poison gas is not considered strong and the difference when compared to her is like that between the heavens and earth. However, why would so much spread around? Xiao Yan shook his head. He clearly understood the little fairy doctor's current poison skill. If she were to release it, it was likely that there would not be a single person left alive within 500 kilometers. But what exactly happened? Xiao Yan muttered to himself within his heart while he frowned. The fire wings on his back were flapped and his body immediately transformed into a blurry figure that shot toward the spot the small Qingshan town was located. Chapter 754, Great Chaos Compared to Qingshan town of the past, it undoubtedly appeared much more pressurized and quiet today. Human figures were rare on the streets within the town. The gates around it were all tightly shut. Black masses of human figures were partially visible on the towering walls that were built using granite. Soft private conversations were repeatedly resounding among the human crowd. Damn it, how did these poison users enter the middle area of the empire? Does the front not have the defensive line of the Yen Alliance and the Imperial family? The three large empires have joined hands to attack the Jiama Empire. Regardless of how strong the Yen Alliance is, there is a limit to their manpower. How could they take care of every position? These ten plus bastards should have slipped in through a gap. What do we do now? Looking at those badges on the chest of these fellows, there is a four-star poison master. Other than an expert at the Dou Wan class, who can deal with a poison master of this level. Ugh, our Qingshan town currently only possesses company leader Yan Cheng who is an eight-star Dou Ling. The others are mostly at the Doshur or the Doshur class. If that four-star poison master scatters a poison fog over, it is likely that many people present will immediately be poisoned and fall unconscious. Damn it, if it is really not possible, we will go all out and fight with them. We have many people, do we still need to be afraid of the ten plus of them? They earnestly wish that we will open the gates on our own. It is not as though you are unaware of just how frightening a poison master is. They specialize in fighting against a group alone. If it were not a situation where the other party suppressed them with absolute strength, it will not be easy to kill them. A large group of large cold-faced mercenary was surrounded in the middle of a black mass of human heads. They had a similar mercenary company badge on their chest. If one were to look carefully, they were surprisingly the bloody battle mercenary company Xiao Yan had rescued back then. The middle-aged man at the leader spot was the company leader of the bloody battle mercenary company, Yan Cheng. Beside him were the two familiar faces of Ka Gang and Ling Er. At this moment, all the gazes were thrown onto the ten-plus human figures outside of the walls. Their faces were somewhat ugly. Second uncle, what should we do? It is not a solution to continue guarding in this manner. It is rumored that quite a number of poison masters have snuck into the this magical beast mountain range. Recently, there have been reports of small towns being washed with blood. These vicious methods are something that only these perverts could do. Ling Air's bright eyes were viciously looking at the ten plus human figures below the walls while she spoke in a somewhat anxious tone. What else can we do other than to defend this place until we die? Do you not see that they possess a tier 4 poison master among them? A poison master of this tier is someone whom even I do not have much of chance of winning against. Today, if the other side possessed an expert who could fly in the tall specially built walls, which were built to defend against an attack by the magical beasts, around Qingshan town didn't exist, it is likely that they would have long since charged in and begun a massacre. Yen Cheng's expression was extremely gloomy as he spoke. Now, we can only wait. This place is the interior of the Jiama Empire. As long as we endure for a period of time, there might be an expert from the Yen Alliance, who will come and rescue us. Ling Er laughed bitterly in her heart. She quietly sighed, currently, most of the experts from the Yen Alliance were delayed by the experts from the three large empires. Where would it find the excess strength? 
However, while everyone was discussing a plan, the ten plus gray robed human figures below the wall finally began to display some activity. An old man, who wore a poison centipede badge with four colorful lines on his chest, slowly walked forward. His dark and cold triangular eyes glanced at the walls as an ear-piercing awful sound was slowly emitted. The voice immediately reverberated within the ears of everyone on the wall. We will give all of you ten minutes to decide whether you will open the gates by yourself, or the old me will unleash a poison fog and let all the people in this small town die because of your foolish actions. The grey-robed old man slowly shut his eyes after his voice sounded. He did not bother about just what kind of uproar it stirred on the walls. Time slowly passed by. The grey-robed old man slowly opened his eyes after ten minutes. His shriveled face involuntarily revealed a cruel smile when he saw that the wall had no reaction. His voice was dark and cold as he said, Do you really think that the city wall is able to protect all of you? An unusual green glow surfaced on the old man's face once he said this. He immediately waved his sleeves and a large dense green poison fog appeared. The ten somewhat young grey-robed individuals behind the old man immediately let out a deep cry when the poison fog appeared. They waved both of their hands, carrying a wild wind with it. As this wild wind blew, the green-colored poison fog began to gradually scatter before finally lingering over the city walls. Use Dochi to cover your bodies. Don't breathe. Yen Cheng's expression immediately changed drastically as he cried out loud when he saw the green-colored poison fog that slowly drifted up. The mercenaries on the wall hurriedly maneuvered the Dochi within their bodies with all their strength when they heard Yen Cheng's loud cry. After which, they wrapped their bodies with their Do Qi. TSK TSK, you actually want to block the old me's green snake poison with your mediocre mercenary strengths. The grey-robed old man coldly laughed when he saw this. He waved his sleeves and the ten people behind him did their best to stimulate the Do Qi within their bodies. After which, they created waves after waves of wild wind that blew the green-colored poison fog up. The poison fog rose and it eventually began to gradually reach the height of the walls a moment later. It immediately wrapped many mercenaries with it. Quite a number of weak mercenaries began to show signs of giddiness at the moment of contact. A moment later, they actually fell head first to the ground and became unconscious. Yen Cheng's face also became increasingly uglier when he saw this. He clenched his teeth and viciously said, Damn it, go all out and fight with these bastards. Brothers, follow me in charge. Ling Air by the side opened her mouth slightly when she heard this. However, she could only sigh in a disparate manner. A tier 4 poison master could be considered a main military strength even if placed in the battleground at the front. Their fighting strengths were naturally extraordinary. With just these mercenaries from their bloody battle mercenary company, they would most likely be just seeking death by going over. However, if they did not, this poison fog would sooner or later cause all of them to lose their fighting strength. At that time, they would end up dying more miserably. The faces of those members of the bloody battle mercenary company trembled after hearing Yen Cheng's voice. They furiously nodded as they tightened their grips on their sharp blades. The grey-robed old man below looked at the commotion on the wall and the ruthlessness in his eyes became denser. Other than the expert Do Ling, whom he was quietly a little concerned about, he could take the little lives of the remaining people up there with a wave of his hand. The grey-robed old man let out a savage laugh in his heart. Another wave of green-colored fog was spat out. The desolate feeling within the hearts of those people on the wall involuntarily became denser upon seeing this. This old bastard really did hold the thought of completely massacring all of them. Quite a number of mercenaries began to harden themselves. They planned to head down and stake their lives after seeing the slow rise of the second cluster of bright green poisonous fog. Having frequently licked blood from their blades, they did not feel the slightest fear despite knowing that this action of theirs was seeking death. In any case, they would die no matter what they did. The temperature of the sky suddenly rose swiftly while everyone was prepared to descend from the walls. Following the increase in the temperature, the dense green poison fog began to emit a chi-chi sound. Immediately, it became like snow in boiling oil as it swiftly scattered. The sudden scene resulted in both parties being startled. They looked at each other with faces that were at a loss. Two blurry human figures suddenly flashed over from the direction of the magical beast mountain range while everyone was still at a loss. Within a couple of breaths, these two people appeared in the sky above the small town. Expert Do Wangs Everyone looked at the pair of Do Qi wings on the back of these two people the moment their figures appeared. They immediately emitted waves of exclamations. Immediately, both parties became uneasy, fearing that this was the other party's reinforcement. Among the two human figures who had appeared, the person in front was completely wrapped within a jade green flame. A hot temperature was scattered from his body. Behind him was a little girl whose body was emitting a faint purple glow. She was looking at the grey-robed person below curiously. The jade green flame rippled slowly. A moment later, it gradually scattered and revealed the black-robed, young man within it. The somewhat uneasy Yen Cheng and the others on the wall looked at the black-robed, young man who had revealed his face. They were suddenly startled. Ling Er by the side was also stunned as she muttered, it is actually him. Chief Xiao. Yen Cheng was startled for a moment before he suddenly reacted to the situation. His body suddenly stood up and he shouted in excitement. The mercenaries did not recover within a short period of time when they heard the shout of Yen Cheng. However, from the looks of Yen Cheng's appearance, it seemed that the person who had arrived was not an enemy. They immediately sighed in relief. 
The expression of the grey-robed old man below changed drastically at the same time as Yan Cheng shouted out loud. It seemed that the person who had arrived was an expert from the Jiama Empire. When this thought flashed across his heart, his body suddenly turned into a green fog as he rushed toward the forest. The ten grey-robed people behind him hurriedly followed. Xiao Yan's gaze observed the fleeing ten-plus grey-robed human figures from the sky. An invisible flame on the tip of his finger fluctuated slightly. Qi. Qi. The moment the fluctuation appeared, the ten-plus grey-robed human figures, who were about to enter the forest, suddenly trembled. They immediately turned into a pile of black ashes in front of the many shocked gazes on the wall without even leaving behind a miserable cry. Xiao Yan displayed his vicious tactics of killing over ten people in an instant before his body moved and appeared on the wall. He frowned slightly as he looked at those unconscious mercenaries. After taking out a couple of medicinal pills, he tossed them into the air and struck them with the flick of his finger. A wisp of jade green flame wrapped around them and a dense pill fragrance spread out from within the pills. When the pill fragrance spread, the unconscious, poisoned mercenaries on the walls began to slowly wake up amid many coughing sound. All of them were at a loss. Xiao Yan ignored the heated respectful gazes around him. He strode toward the spot where Yan Cheng and the others were located. The first words he asked in a deep voice were, What has happened? Chapter 755, Poison Sect, Gold Geese Sect, Mulan Valley Yan Cheng was stunned when he heard Xiao Yan's words. Such a big event had occurred within the Empire, but the overlord of the Empire was actually completely unaware of it. I was in a retreat for a period of time. Xiao Yan explained, appearing to have understood what Yan Cheng thought when he saw the latter's appearance. Yan Cheng only came to a sudden understanding when he heard this. He bitterly laughed, it is unexpected that Chief Xiao had undertaken a retreat for a year. This year was not calm. It is not exaggerating to say that this was the period of the greatest upheaval in the history of the Jiama Empire. I have undertaken a retreat for a year, huh? Xiao Yan softly sighed. He immediately changed the topic again, what has happened in the Empire? Those fellows from a moment ago should be poison masters, right? Such an occupation should be extremely rare in the Jiama Empire. Why did so many of them appear at once? It is because they are not people from the Jiama Empire. Ling Er by the side quietly interrupted. Her eyes had remained on Xiao Yan's face ever since the latter had appeared. The unusual glint in her eyes looked just like a lovely embarrassed young girl who had a crush. They are the poison masters from the Chu Yun Empire. Yan Qing sighed, not long after Chief Xiao rescued our bloody battle mercenary company back then, there was news that the Chu Yun Empire was about to attack our Jiama Empire. After which, an increasing number of border conflicts occurred. It was still alright initially and it was merely a fight between the armies of both countries. Each party had their own victories and losses with little progress. However, after this stalemate continued for a month, a large number of poison masters suddenly appeared in the military of the Chuyun Empire. Under their threat, the Jiama Empire immediately lost quite a number of border fortresses. Just as the upper echelons of the imperial family became furious because of this, news that the poison sect of the Chuyun Empire wanting to participate in the battle was spread. Fear flashed across Yan Cheng's face when he mentioned a name that caused one's hair to stand. His voice had also became much softer. The poison sect. Xiao Yan uttered this foreign name in his mouth and his brows were tightly knit together. This poison sect has only recently been established within the Chuyun Empire. However, its strength is unusually terrifying. Within a short five years, it had completely destroyed all the sects and factions within the Chuyun Empire. Their poison sect has leaped to become the only overlord over the Chuyun Empire. Moreover, it is rumored that even the imperial family of the Chuyun Empire is quietly controlled by them. In the Chuyun Empire, it is more effective to speak to the sect leader of the poison sect than to the emperor from the imperial family. Yan Cheng explained again when he saw the uncertainty on Xiao Yan's face. What is the strength of the sect leader of the poison sect like? Xiao Yan slowly asked. It is rumored that it is at the very least at the Dozone class. Due to the poison sect participating in the battle, the Yan Alliance, being the strongest faction within the Jiama Empire is naturally unable to stand by the side and do nothing. Hence, a fight where the two large factions exchanged blows occurred. During a big battle half a year ago, that mysterious sect leader of the poison sect appeared once. In that battle, Ice Emperor Haibudo, the old senior called Jia Lao in the imperial family as well as an enormous magical beast, whose strength was at the Dohuang class, were defeated in the hands of the sect leader of the poison sect despite joining hands. Yan Cheng laughed bitterly. A deep fear flashed across his eyes when he mentioned the class that was far and unattainable. Xiao Yan Yi's eyes flickered. His heart also sank slightly. It was unexpected that Old Hai and the other two were no match for that sect leader of the poison sect. It seemed that the other party was really strong. He waved his hand and said, continue speaking. Just as the Ice Emperor and the other two were in danger, Queen Medusa from the Snake People race suddenly appeared. She engaged in a big battle with that sect leader of the Poison Sect, but both parties had difficulty determining a victor. The sect leader from the Poison Sect withdrew. Only then did the Yan Alliance avoid a life and death disaster. Yan Cheng smacked his mouth. His eyes revealed a yearning for that soul-stirring big battle that day. A moment later, he finally sighed and laughed bitterly towards Xiao Yan, with Queen Medusa's help, the Yan Alliance has finally stood on their feet. After forming an alliance with the Snake People race, they began to retaliate against the Poison Sect. The Snake People race have also intervened. 
Xiao Yan was immediately startled when he heard this as he spoke with some surprise. Although Medusa was the queen of the snake people race, the snake people race did not have many good feelings toward the Jiama Empire. It seemed somewhat impossible for them to lend a hand to the Jiama Empire. Yes, this is because the Chuyun Empire had initially placed their aim on them. That big battle caused their snake people race to suffer great losses. If Queen Medusa had not hurried back in time, it was likely that the entire snake people race would be eliminated. Yan Qing nodded and replied. So Kai Lin had suddenly left back then because of this. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered slightly. Only now did he know just why Medusa needed to leave in a hurry back then. Since everyone's enemy is the poison sect from the Chuyun Empire, they are naturally able to join hands. Although there was still some conflict during this period of time, this completely disappeared after the Jiao Lao from the Imperial family opened his mouth and promised that he would definitely give the snake people race a plot of land to breed and survive on if they were victorious in the big battle. With the help of Medusa and the snake people race, it is likely that the Chuyun Empire would also suffer right. Xiao Yan smiled and asked. He still possessed some confidence in the strength of the Yan Alliance. Moreover, the snake people race also had many experts. With this union between the strong, the poison sect would have to withdraw to avoid the blade of this union regardless of how strong they were. If things developed in a normal manner, this would indeed have been the case. Yan Cheng bitterly smiled and sighed. He said, however, not long after the snake people race announced its alliance with the Jiama Empire, the Chuyun Empire pulled over the other two large empires that beside the Jiama Empire. The alliance of the three empires resulted in their strength soaring. It caused the pressure on the Yan Alliance and the snake people race to rise greatly. Two other large empires. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. Two names immediately flashed across his mind, the Luyan Empire and the Mulan Empire. Yes. These two empires are not weaker than the Jiama Empire. They could even be said to be a little stronger than the Jiama Empire. These two large empires also possess two large beings that are not much weaker than the poison sect within them. Yan Cheng's expression became somewhat ugly when he spoke until this point. A moment later, he spat out the two sects from his mouth, the Gold Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley. Gold Geese Sect. Mulan Valley. Xiao Yan softly muttered these two somewhat unfamiliar names in his mouth. His eyes also slowly narrowed. The Gold Geese Sect is a powerful faction within the Lu Yan Empire. The sect leader, Yan Luo Tian, is also a genuine elite Dozone, although he is only at the initial stage of the Dozone class. Mulan Valley belongs to the Mulan Empire. Although it does not have an elite Dozone, it possesses an extremely unique combined Qi method. The people from Mulan calls it the Three Beast Savage Skill. There are three elders who practice this Qi method in the Mulan Valley. Although their individual strengths are merely at the peak of the Do Huan class, once the three of them activate the Three Beast Savage skill at the same time, they will be able to put up a fight even if they meet a Do Zone. If one were to discuss their strength, they are not any weaker than sect leader Luo Yuntian. Yan Cheng's face was flushed red. Due to the overexcitement in his heart, he ended up sending saliva flying all over the place when he spoke. Xiao Yan's face gradually became gloomy when he heard Yan Cheng's words. If this matter was true, the Jiama Empire and the Yan Alliance was really in some danger this time around. Three Elite Do Zones. This lineup, even if it was Medusa, it was impossible for her to block them. It was unexpected that during that short one year where he was undertaking a retreat, the Jiama Empire would be turned upside down. Originally, the Jiama Empire would definitely be unable to endure such a situation even with the support of the Yan Alliance. However, it is fortunate that the interior of the three large empire alliance is also divided. Although the three large sects possessed experts who can contend with the Do Zone, none of them were willing to be the vanguard and exchange blows with Medusa. After all, with the exception of the sect leader from the Poison Sect, Yan Luo Tian from the Gold Key Sect, and the three elders from Mulan Valley are no match for her in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Moreover, they are all worried that their allies will secretly backstab them should they be seriously injured. Hence, they continue to delay this matter. All they did was send the experts from their sect as harassment. They aim to use this kind of method to slowly tire out the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race. Yan Qing sighed in a dejected manner. Those poison masters that we have seen earlier should be members from the poison sect that have snuck in. However, what is strange is that so many of them would sneak in at once. Logically speaking, the surroundings of the defensive line have many experts from the Yan Alliance patrolling it. Yan Qing felt somewhat uncertain when he spoke up to this point. Based on common sense, even if someone managed to occasionally sneak in, he was usually alone. This time around, however. Yan Cheng who did not have an answer no matter how he thought about it could only shake his head and say, with the current situation, we can only hope that the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race will be able to stop them completely. Otherwise, we will really be faced with a broken country and destroyed homes. We are born in Jiama and have grown up in Jiama. We don't wish to be hopeless people who had to leave their homeland. Xiao Yan softly sighed as he looked at the low-spirited mercenaries around him. He patted Yan Cheng's back and whispered with a bright smile, Relax, the Yan Alliance will not fall. Anyone who wants to let it collapse will have to step over my corpse. Kuku, I think that I am really an irresponsible alliance chief to actually fail to participate in such a big event. The face of the black-robed, young man was covered by a bright smile. Under the influence of the warm smile, Yan Cheng's dispirited feelings involuntarily scattered. A countless number of people within the Jiama Empire placed their hope in this young man, who was in control of a large being like the Yan Alliance, at merely the age of 20. 
This was because they knew that this young person had the ability to create a miracle. Kuku, the people of the Yen Alliance and us, the people of the Jiama Empire, have been waiting for your return. You are now the savior of everyone in the Jiama Empire. Yen Cheng rubbed his somewhat reddened eyes and laughed, that's right, if chief wishes to head to the front line, you can hurry to the eastern Black Mountain Fortress. The battles there are the most intense. Most of the experts from the Yen Alliance and the Snake People race are there. Since that is the case, Xiao Yen shall not stay any longer. Xiao Yen smiled. His gaze swept toward the distant eastern sky. He slowly nodded and did not say any other words as he cupped his hands toward Yen Cheng. Jade green fire wings slowly extended out from his back. Immediately, his body rose into the sky in front of the many respectful gazes. Everyone, hold on, Xiao Yen has returned. Xiao Yen's gaze looked into the distant eastern sky. He muttered to himself within his heart before flapping his fire wings, transforming into a ray of light as he rushed over. Chapter 756, Rescue Xiao Yen rushed toward the Black Mountain Fortress that Yen Cheng had mentioned in a lightning-like manner after having left Qingshan Town. Zi Yen was following close behind him. After he had broken through to the Dou Huan class, Xiao Yen's flying speed was clearly much faster than it was in the past. His body was like a falling star as it flew through the sky. Within a couple of blinks, he had disappeared into the horizon. Even though there would occasionally be some gazes pausing in the sky, they could only see a ray of light that leaped and flashed a couple of times. Xiao Yen flew at his maximum speed. His face was covered with a solemnness. The matter that had occurred within this Jiama Empire was completely beyond his expectations. He also felt a little fearful as he recalled the problems. It was fortunate that Queen Medusa had intervened this time around. Otherwise, it was likely that the Yen Alliance and the Jiama Empire would have been destroyed by the Chuyun Empire. At that time, his Xiao clan would have been completely eliminated even without the Hall of Souls doing anything. Poison Sect The wild wind that blew by him caused his hair to emit a hoo hoo sound, revealing a pair of dark black pupils that had turned unusually dense and cold. A dragon had a reverse scale, a sensitive part. Those who touched it would die. Xiao Yan's reverse scale was his kin. He would definitely get whoever dared to touch them to repay over a hundredfold. Zi Yan secretly extended her small tongue when she saw Xiao Yan's dark and cold expression from behind Xiao Yan. She did not dare to be mischievous. All she could do was raise her speed and follow close behind Xiao Yan. With Xiao Yan's and Zi Yan's speed, they would not require a long time even if they had to fly over the entire Jiama Empire. Hence, the stretching mountain range around them had become shorter after their flight continued for around two hours. Enormous flat land that was covered in yellow sand began to appear within their sight. Xiao Yan also sighed in relief when the flat land appeared in his sight. He clearly knew that since he was near a flat land region, it indicated that he was not very far from the Black Mountain Fortress that Yan Cheng had mentioned. During this swift flying that seemed like it was an attempt to chase the moon and stars, Xiao Yan saw quite a number of human flow fleeing. Clearly, many people held a pessimistic attitude toward the current situation in the Jiama Empire. After all, the alliance between three large empires was really too strong. It was clearly difficult for a Yan alliance without its chief and Queen Medusa to bear this burden. Xiao Yan's heart also grew gloomier as he observed the panic on faces of those fleeing. This was the first time in so many years that he had seen such a scene within the Jiama Empire. The creator of this was the alliance of the three large empires. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed. A dark, chilly glint flashed across them. He clenched his fist tightly and the fire wings on his back were flapped. His flying speed suddenly soared. There were hardly any people on the vast flat land, causing it to appear quite desolate. Suddenly, the slight sound of rushing wind appeared in the sky. Two light rays suddenly flashed and rushed by. The two light rays had just appeared when they suddenly trembled. A large and a small figure were revealed in the sky. What is it? Zi Yan doubtfully asked when she saw Xiao Yan had suddenly stopped. Was this fellow not in a great rush to hurriedly cover lots of distance earlier? There are three auras which are quite strong over there. However, the person in front is clearly fleeing. Those two auras that are following closely behind are clearly intending to chase after the first person. Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly. His eyes looked in the northern direction of the plains. He hesitated for a moment before his spiritual perception spread out like floodwater from between his eyebrows. Within a short instant, he had absorbed the distant situation into his head. An expert from the snake people race huh? Xiao Yan's spiritual perception swiftly shrank back. He had already clearly saw that the person who was fleeing at the front was an expert Dou Wang from the snake people race. The two people behind were two experts from some unknown empire. However, it was obvious that they were not from the Jiama Empire. Additionally, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to be most surprised about was that the expert from the Snake People race, who was fleeing, was actually someone whom he was familiar with. A strange expression flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he recalled the matter from back then. His body immediately moved and shot explosively toward the northern area. No matter how one put it, the Snake People race were currently the ally of the Jiama Empire. Moreover, even if it was on the account of Kai Lin, he ought to lend a hand and rescue that person. You may appear quite miserable today. This was the first time she was fleeing aimlessly in any way she could after so many years. The people who bestowed such miserable treatment on her were those two blue figures who were following a short distance behind her. These two damn bastards. 
Once my injuries recover, I will definitely tear off all the flesh on your bodies and feed that little beloved of mine. You may snake tail pressed on the ground in a strange manner. Each time it moved, her body would suddenly shoot forward a certain distance. While she fled, she did not forget to turn her head and look at the two figures behind in a vicious manner while she cursed. Ugh, but the Ling Yen city has already fallen. This time around, it is likely that quite a number of people from the three sects will enter the empire. It is really troublesome. Yumei was originally a guardian of Ling Yen city. By relying on her seven-star Do Wang strength, she had successfully defeated and forced back some experts from the three sects who had attempted to siege the city a couple of times. This time around, she had lost her good luck. No one expected that the three sect alliance would actually dispatch three experts of the Do Wang class to a city that was not very large in size. Moreover, there was one person whose strength was actually at the eight-star level. The result of three expert Do Wang's leading troops to attack the city was very obvious. You may had seriously injured the other party's Do Wang before being seriously wounded by the other party's eight-star expert Do Wang. After which, she could only abandon the city and flee. However, it was fortunate that she had bought time for quite a number of people in the city to flee. Hence, most of the people had already left when this large army entered Ling Yen City. It was also because of this that she had caused the other party's expert Do Wangs to become this furious. One Do Wang stayed behind to guard the city while the remaining two expert Do Wangs continued to chase her without giving up. From the looks of it, it seemed that they had the intention of not giving up until they caught her. Of course, similar to the miserable appearance of Yumei, the two middle-aged men, whose blue clothes displayed a bright gold goose stone on it, also presented quite a bad image. Although Yumei was seriously injured, her strange agility Do Chi from the Snake People race caused the two of them to have difficulty catching up to her. It was unavoidable that an irritation would appear in their hearts as more time passed. However, when they recalled that this was an order that came from the top, they could only stifle their heads and continue the wild chase. Damn it, once I capture that woman, the old me wants to ruthlessly torture her. Otherwise it will be difficult to eliminate the hatred in my heart. A gloomy-faced middle-aged man stared intently at the partially visible figure not far in front. Even though she was fleeing miserably at this moment, that graceful back still revealed some allure. Hee <laughs> hee, I heard that the tongue skill of the snake people race is unusually fabulous. In our Luo Yen Empire, a snake people race female servant can be sold for an unusually high price. I just don't know whether this Do Wang class pretty female snake will be more comfortable compared to those ordinary female servants. The other person revealed a lewd expression as he sinisterly laughed. The expression of the gloomy-faced middle-aged man moved a little when he heard this. He laughed darkly and nodded as he said, in that case, it is all the more so that we cannot let her escape. Let's put in more effort. Do not enter too deep into the Jiama Empire. Otherwise, it would be troublesome if we were to meet other experts. Yes. A bright gold glow erupted from the bodies of the two of them after their voices sounded. A pair of geese golden light wings was extended from each of the two people's back. The golden wings were flapped and their speed immediately soared. Yumei, who was exhausted from fleeing at the front, had also sensed wind get closer from behind her. She clenched her silver teeth and went all out to stimulate the Do Chi within her body. However, how could the seriously injured body of hers withstand this great squeezing by her? The Do Chi glow on her body became much dimmer. Her snake tail also suddenly became weak and her entire body collapsed weakly. She panted while fragrant perspiration dripped down. Oh, why? You're too tired to continue running. The two golden lights flashed over the instant that Yumei fell. One was at the front while the other was at the back, sealing off all her escape routes. A middle-aged man's gaze slowly swept over the former snow-white waist, and the corner of his mouth was lifted in an obscene manner, I have yet to taste a snake people race Do Wang female slave. Some darkness surfaced within Yumei's long snake eyes. A bewitching smile, however, appeared on her face while she spoke to the two of them, you can just tell me if you want me to serve you. Why do you need to chase me this far? Cuckoo, forget it. We don't have the blessing to enjoy you who gives herself to us. It would not be too late for us to slowly play once we capture you and cripple your dochi. A middle-aged man laughed. His eyes were dark and solemn and he immediately cried out coldly, Attack! Don't dilly-dally with her. The middle-aged man's companion smiled and nodded when he heard this. The hands of both of them moved and a golden glow soared. It suddenly agglomerated into two five-foot-tall golden geese, which were immediately pointed to Yumei. The two large golden-colored geese immediately emitted a sharp cry to the sky. Their wings were flapped and they shot toward Yumei. The force that the golden geese arrived with was extremely sharp. Two deep gullies were even formed when they shot over the ground. Yumei clenched her silver teeth when she looked at the sharp golden glow that was swiftly approaching. She maneuvered the little remaining Do Chi in her body before waving her delicate hand. Her Do Chi transformed into a Do Chi pillar that shot out to meet the two golden geese. Bang. A muffled explosion sounded when the two came into contact. The Do Chi pillar of Yumei disappeared at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. The two golden geese, whose color had become slightly fainter, carried a sharp wind and shot over. Yumei's eyes slowly became dark after having exhausted the last thread of Do Chi within her body. The current her ceased having even a little strength to put up a resistance. However, the poison within her mouth could still prevent her from being humiliated by these two bastards by dying. The bright golden glow swiftly magnified in those snake eyes that contained despair. 
Just as Yumei had slowly shut her eyes, the slight sound of rolling thunder suddenly resonated in the sky without any forewarning. A black figure immediately appeared in front of her in a ghost-like manner. Those two golden geese that contained the sharp wind disappeared when they were around five feet from his body. Yumei was feeling doubtful when the intense pain that she had anticipated did not arrive. However, a warm voice slowly sounded beside her ear. Are you alright? Yumei was startled when she heard the voice. She suddenly opened her eyes and a young face containing a smile immediately appeared within her sight. Chapter 757, Snake Person Yumei Yumei's gaze carried a little surprise as she looked at the young face that wore a warm smile. For some unknown reason, Yumei had the feeling that this face was somewhat familiar. However, she was unable to recall where she had seen it. You someone from the Jiama Empire. The snake pupil swept over the black-robed, young man in front of her while she asked with some caution. Xiao Yan could not help but smile when he saw the alert manner of Yumei. He immediately nodded and said, Relax, I am someone from the Jiama Empire. Yumei only quietly sighed in relief when she heard this. She had just struggled to stand up when the sore weak feeling that was emitted from her body caused her to fail in her attempt. She could only let out a ferocious sigh. A round medicinal pill that emitted a serene fragrance appeared in front of her in her helplessness. A laugh soon followed, you can try eating it if you are not afraid that it is poison. Yumei hesitated a little as she received the medicinal pill. A momentary struggle appeared in her heart before she finally clenched her silver teeth and swallowed the medicinal pill into her stomach. A warm medicinal strength immediately began to spread to her limbs and bones when the medicinal pill entered her stomach, expelling much of the weak feeling within her body. You may only began to completely relax upon sensing the change within her body. She raised her head and revealed a friendly smile to the black-robed, young man. She said, Thank you very much. I am Yumei from the Snake People race. Xiao Yan felt that it was somewhat comical in his heart. He studied this fierce beautiful female snake. She had clenched her teeth back then and intended to drag him back to be her male slave, but now she was displaying such a gentle smile toward him. He immediately turned his head over and threw his gaze toward the two middle-aged men whose expressions had become unusually dense and dark after he had appeared. Be careful. These two people are experts from the Gold Geese sect of the Luo Yan Empire. Their strengths are all at the Do Wang class and cannot be underestimated. You may also recovered some strength with the medicinal strength of the medicinal pill. She moved her snake tail and lifted her lovely body. Those snake pupils looked at the two people in front in a dark and cold manner as she spoke. Gold Geese sect. Xiao Yan raised his brows slightly and nodded in silence. This friend, we should just keep to our own business. I advise you not to be a busybody. Otherwise, you might even throw your life away. The gloomy-faced middle-aged men stared intently at Xiao Yan as he slowly spoke. Currently, Xiao Yan had formally advanced into the Dou Huang class. It was only natural that these two people were unable to sense his true strength. However, from the way Xiao Yan had resolved their joint attack earlier, it was obvious that he was not weak. Hence, these two people held a fear within their hearts and did not immediately attack. Xiao Yan laughed when he heard this. His body, which was standing in front of Yumei, did not move. Although he did not say anything, his actions already told the two experts from the Gold Geese sect of his intentions. Hee hee, you people from the Jiama Empire are really warm-hearted. I, Jin Zhen, admire it. However, if you insist on intervening, you can only blame yourself for having a poor fate. A denseness gradually rose within his eyes. That middle-aged man who called himself Jin Zhen laughed coldly and shook his head. He immediately spoke in a deep voice to his companion by his side, let's attack together and kill him. That companion smiled darkly and nodded. Given the strength of the two of them, they could be considered an overlord of a region even in the Luo Yan Empire. Perhaps it was their good luck, but during this period of time when they were fighting with the Jiama Empire, the two of them had seldom met anyone who was a match for them other than some of the renowned experts from the Yan Alliance. Hence, their hearts involuntarily looked down on the Jiama Empire. A bright golden glow surged out from their bodies after the words from the two of them sounded. A sharp golden glow lingered over their bodies and slowly rotated, leaving behind numerous scar-like deep marks on the ground. Yumei's expression changed a little when she saw the action of these two as she stood behind Xiao Yan. Although she could guess that the latter was likely quite strong, there would definitely be quite a great risk if he were to deal with two expert Do Wangs who collaborated well with each other. I will act and hold back one of them later. If you are able to defeat the other person, you should do it as quickly as possible. This is because I can at the very most endure for a short while. Yumei mused for a moment before gritting her silver teeth and speaking to Xiao Yan in front of her in a deep voice. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. However, he smiled and shook his head. He said, how can you fight with your current injuries? You should rest. Leave them to me. Yumei was a little stunned when she saw that Xiao Yan was actually intending to fight the two alone. She turned her head and looked deeply into the young man's face which contained a smile. She softly said, it is best that you don't overexert yourself. Who cares if you are overexerting yourself? Today, quite a strong person's head will be added to the list of exploits of the both of us. Jin Jin laughed coldly. He clenched his palm and a weapon with a somewhat unusual shape appeared in his hand. This weapon was somewhat like a golden ring but its outside edge was covered with a sharp hidden thorn. The purple glint that faintly appeared on the hidden thorn was clearly covered with a lethal poison. 
His companion also took out a similar item after Jin Jin had taken out this weapon. Be careful, this is an unique weapon of the Gold Geese sect, Goose Feather Ring. It is extremely tricky and vicious. Moreover, if it is used in collaboration with their Qi method and can be quite strong. Yumei's face changed when he saw the weapons in the hands of the two individuals. She hurriedly warned. Hey, it is unexpected that you actually have quite a great understanding of our Gold Geese sect. However, this cannot save both of your lives. Jin Jin sinisterly laughed. He threw a look to his companion and the both of them immediately began to spread apart in an abrupt manner. One of them charged suddenly at Xiao Yan while the other person struck at Yumei who was behind Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes were as unmoving as an old well as he studied the two people who had swiftly flashed over. He slowly shook his head. They were merely two Dou Wangs. Even before he had broken through to the Dou Wang class, he could easily have killed them, much less now. You may watch the expert from the Gold Geese sect who had taken a roundabout route and headed toward her. Her eyes immediately became cold and she clenched her hand. A sharp long sword appeared in her hand. Just as she was prepared to move, a hand suddenly grabbed her snow white wrist. You may was surprised when her hand was clenched. However, she had yet to speak when Xiao Yan pulled her beside him. She raised her head and coincidentally saw the cold and indifferent smile that drew across that young face. Jin Jin and the other person revealed dark, cold smiles on their mouths when they saw Xiao Yan's act of protecting Yumei. Both of their speeds suddenly soared and the goosewing rings in their hands emitted a frightening cold glint under the golden light. Fire Ring Explosion Xiao Yan's mouth moved just as the two figures entered within a ten-foot radius from Xiao Yan. A cold cry was suddenly emitted. A jade green circular fire ring suddenly began to spread in a lightning like manner with Xiao Yan at the middle. In merely the blink of an eye, it violently struck Jin Zhen and his companion. A clear explosion immediately sounded on this plane. Gurg. The fire ring exploded, and two figures, which were violently charging over, immediately stilled. They flew backwards in an extremely miserable posture and finally slowly came to a stop after rubbing on the ground for over 10 meters. Mouthfuls of fresh blood were involuntarily spat out. They lifted their heads, and their faces were filled with shock as they looked at the grinning black robed young man. None of them had ever expected that they would be so miserably defeated by a single attack. Their shocked gazes intertwined from a great distance. They seemed to have thought of something and cold perspiration immediately covered their foreheads. A disbelief was contained in their hoarse voice, Do Huang. The hearts of these two people were filled with a panic when they spat out these words. The young man in front of them appeared to be at the very most around 20 years old. The two of them might be able to grudgingly accept if one said that he was an expert Do Huang. However, if he was a Do Huang, was that not a little too terrifying? However, no matter how they flipped around within their hearts, the frightening energy that was contained in the fire ring was definitely only something that an elite Dou Huang could unleash. Since when did such a young elite Dou Huang appear in the Jiama Empire? Why have we never heard of it? You may also widen her small, sleek, red mouth in shock while a storm brewed within the hearts of Jin Zhen and his companion. She had similarly never imagined that this young person beside her would actually be an elite Dou Huang. Was this fellow's training talent not a little too frightening? Qi. Qi. Two muffled sounds appeared during the time when Yumei was stunned. By the time she raised her head, she could only see Jin Zhen and his companion wildly fleeing backs. Quickly, give chase. Don't let them escape. Yumei hurriedly cried when she saw that the two of them were attempting to flee. However, before her voice had finished talking, she was once again speechless as she discovered that Xiao Yan in front of her had already disappeared. The speed. Yumei's delicate hand rubbed the cold sweat on her forehead. She could not help but feel a lingering fear in her heart. It was fortunate that this person was an expert from the Jiama Empire. Otherwise, by just relying on the speed, it was likely that no one other than Her Majesty could match him. Two figures fell from the sky during the time that Yumei was wiping off her cold perspiration. Finally, they were thrown violently against the ground. She lowered her head to take a look only to see that they were the two gold geese sex experts, who had been fleeing earlier. However, it was obvious that those two people were no longer breathing. They ran quite quickly. Xiao Yan's figure also rushed down from the sky. He carelessly kicked the corpses and spoke in an indifferent manner. Yumei's eyes were startled as she stared at these two people who still ended up in such a state despite having clearly split themselves and fled in two directions. She once again studied Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking over in a leisurely manner. The cold sweat on her forehead became even denser. At this moment, his strength was definitely stronger than those few experts from the Yan Alliance who were at the peak of the Dou Huang class. May I inquire about Mr.'s name? Yumei finally asked carefully after a few thoughts flashed across her heart. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed when he saw Yumei's cautious manner. A teasing look surfaced on the corner of his mouth as he said, Commander Yumei, have you forgotten the little pervert who accidentally saw you bathing in the desert and was chased by you for hundreds of kilometers? The scene from the desert back then suddenly flashed and appeared in Yumei's mind when she heard this. She then looked at the somewhat familiar young face once again. A pair of alluring snake eyes suddenly widened. It's you. Chapter 758, Situation Xiao Yan felt it was comical as he looked at this shocked and dull manner of Yumei. He said, as Commander Yumei recalled it, 
You may slowly recover from her shock when she heard this. Her face alternated between green and white. She would never have thought that this strong person, who could kill two Do Wangs by lifting his hand, would actually be that young man who had fled in a miserable fashion while being chased by her. She recalled that Xiao Yan was merely a dosher when she had met him back then. Now, however, how was it possible for him to reach this stage within a short few years? Yu Mei's face was volatile. While in astonishment toward this smiling black robed young man rose within her heart, her body involuntarily took two steps back. Her voice carried caution as she said, What are you planning to do? Back then, Xiao Yan was chased by her until he became extremely miserable. If he had not met Guhi's group along the way, it was likely that she would have captured him. Hence, Yu Mei was also somewhat worried that Xiao Yan was planning on taking revenge on her by appearing and helping her. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw Yu Mei's cautious and uncertain manner. He waved his hand and said, Relax, Commander Yu Mei. Xiao Yan is not an unforgiving person. I have long forgotten about those matters back then. Yu Mei only quietly sighed in relief when she heard Xiao Yan's words. Immediately, she was shocked as she cried out involuntarily, Xiao Yan. You say that your name is Xiao Yan. Her eyes were filled with doubt as they swept over the former after a surprised voice escaped her mouth. After having fought shoulder to shoulder beside the Yan Alliance for such a long time, she naturally knew that the young chief of the Yan Alliance was named this. The chief of the Yan Alliance. Yu Mei involuntarily cried out again as she blinked her eyelashes and quickly asked a question. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. Yu Mei was startled when she watched Xiao Yan nod his head. It was a moment later before Yu Mei muttered, It is indeed you, how unexpected, the small dosher from a few years ago is actually the owner of the most powerful faction within the Jiama Empire. Yu Mei's heart could not resist sighing as she said these words. The little fellow whom she could need as she pleased back then was now able to need her as he pleased. This kind of extreme change really caused Yu Mei to feel that things were unreal. I cannot be called its owner. It is just that I have brought some factions within the empire together. Xiao Yan laughed and casually replied. You may smile bitterly upon hearing this. These words might be spoken with ease but the difficulty of getting those significantly strong faction to willingly join an alliance was not any less difficult than destroying them all. She also gradually calmed her heart when her gaze glanced at Xiao Yan. She frowned and said, however, you are really acting extremely irresponsibly for an alliance chief. You did not appear even though such big trouble befell the Yan alliance. If not for Her Majesty advancing to the Dozone class, it is likely that the Yan Alliance would have long been eliminated from the Jiama Empire by the three sections. Xiao Yan also laughed bitterly and sighed when he saw Yu Mei's expression. I was undertaking a retreat this time around. By the time I came out, such an important and big thing had unexpectedly happened. That's right, what is the situation like recently? Xiao Yan's expression was stern when he reached the end of his sentence as he asked with a serious face. Very bad. Yu Mei's face also gradually became gloomy when she mentioned this. She said, not long ago, Her Majesty exchanged blows with that sect leader of the Poison Sect once. Both parties were injured. That sect leader from the Poison Sect quietly went into hiding after that and seems to be recuperating from the injuries. Her Majesty might also have suffered some injuries but she did not have much time to recuperate. The people from the three sects eyed this opportunity and began attacking. The pressure of the Black Mountain Fortress at the front sword. Although the sect leader from the Poison Sect did not participate this time around, there is Yen Luotian from the Gold Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley's three elders who practiced the Three Beast Savage skill, who joined hands and attacked. They are existences who could contend with an elite dozone. This time around. Her majesty is injured and will likely have difficulty blocking their combined attack. Xiao Yan's heart also sank a little when he heard the situation was even worse than what Yan Cheng had described. Medusa was currently the strongest person on the Jiama Empire's side. If she were to be defeated, it would undoubtedly cause their morale to greatly fall. Some of the originally uncertain people might even begin fleeing. At that time, the Jiama Empire would really be finished. Other than the peak level experts, we have also fallen into a disadvantage in terms of the Do Huang and the Do Wang class. After all, the other party is the strongest sects from the three empires. However, overall speaking, we can still barely block them. Hence, the most crucial point in this big fight is the decisive battle among the peak experts of both sides. You may spoke in a solemn manner. However, only Her Majesty on our side is an elite Do Zone. The other party, on the other hand, has three, ugh, if Her Majesty is able to successfully block Yan Luotian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley today, we will still be able to endure for a period of time. If she cannot, we will be completely finished. Yu Mei's expression became darker by the time she spoke until the end. Currently, their snake people race had already been tied with the Jiama Empire on the same boat. If the Jiama Empire were to be defeated, their snake people race would definitely be unable to block the three sect alliance. Yu Mei's fist tightened when she thought of how a countless number of her race would be captured as slaves once the snake people race was defeated. That kind of miserable ending was even worse than death. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. He faced the sky and let out a long breath. This situation was indeed quite bad. Three Do Zones. Bring me to the Black Mountain Fortress. Xiao Yan lowered his head and suddenly spoke in a deep voice a moment later. Xue Mei was not surprised when she heard this. She nodded slightly and sighed, follow me. However, it might make no difference even if you go. Even an expert Do Huang like you would likely not be able to intervene in a battle between the Do Zone class. 
Unless you are able to practice a combined fighting Qi method like the three elders from Mulan Valley. From the way she saw it, despite Xiao Yan being an elite Dou Huang, he and the Dou Zone class were still separated by a gully that was difficult to cross, much like the difference between a Dou Wang and a Dou Huang. Xiao Yan quietly smiled when he heard Yumei's words. He did not voice any retort. He raised his head to the sky and laughed, Little girl, aren't you coming down? Yumei was startled when she saw this action of Xiao Yan. She did not sense the aura of anyone else present in this place. A lovely little figure suddenly flashed down from high in the sky while Yumei was feeling uncertain. The latter focused her eyes and discovered that the other party was only a little girl. She was immediately somewhat at a loss. However, when her gaze saw the pair of Dou Qi wings on the little girl's back, her loss transformed into a dullness. She involuntarily cried out, she is also an expert Dou Wang. If it was said that Xiao Yan's ability to reach the Dou Wang class at his age caused Yumei to be somewhat astonished, Zi Yan in front of her caused her to suddenly feel uncertain about whether practicing Dou Qi was becoming easier. This thought of hers was confirmed during Zi Yan's next sentence. Zi Yan's body was suspended in midair as she looked down at the ignorant from a high vantage point. She curled her small lips and said, I have just advanced to the Dou Huang class a few days ago, thank you. Xiao Yan could not help but smile and shake his head when he saw Yumei's eyes become completely dull because of these words from Zi Yan. He said, this girl's original form is a magical beast. Hence, she is not as small as how she appears. All right, we should hurry. The situation at the Black Mountain Fortress is not optimistic. Yumei only gradually recovered from her dull state when she heard this. She let out a heavy sigh of relief within her heart. Fortunately, if this little girl had really become an elite Dou Huang at such an age, would she not die of embarrassment for still being in the Dou Huang class after training for so many years? However, other than consuming a body transformation pill, did a magical beast not need to reach rank 7 in order to transform into a human form? Yumei's heart was still somewhat doubtful as she muttered to herself. However, she did not dare to delay any longer. She had recovered some Dou Qi from the medicinal pill that Xiao Yan had given her earlier, enabling her to summon Dou Qi wings. After which, she led the way at the front and flew toward the Black Mountain Fortress. Xiao Yan's body followed close behind Yumei. His eyes looked into the distance and he clenched his fist. He muttered, Kai Lin, endure for a little longer. I will be there soon. The Black Mountain Fortress sat on the northeastern border of the Jiamai Empire. It was the grandest fortress within a 500-kilometer radius. Ever since it was built, it had stood for a century without falling. During this period of time, it had experienced a couple of big battles, but they were unable to leave behind many scars on this enormous fortress. From this, it could be seen just how solid it was. Currently, the Black Mountain Fortress had become the place where the most intense fights between the Yen Alliance, Snake People Race, and the Three Sects occurred. A couple of crucial battles that could decide the result of the fight had erupted in this place. Today, a big battle that was even more alarming than any other instance was about to erupt in this place. A countless number of gazes were thrown at a specific spot. This was because everyone knew that if Medusa was able to remain undefeated in the face of the joint attack by Yen Luotian from the Gold Geese sect and the three elders of the Milan Valley, the Jiama Empire might have a chance of catching its breath. If she was defeated, the Jiama Empire, Yen Alliance, and the Snake People race would be eliminated from this piece of land. Hence, the big battle today decided whether the Jiama Empire would perish or remain. Chapter 759, Big Battle The vast, endless plains possessed two towering mountain ranges that stood with their peaks piercing the sky. Such a tall mountain range was a place that an ordinary person would have difficulty climbing. An incomparably huge fortress guarded the gap between these two mountain ranges like a fierce prehistoric beast, protecting the main road that lead into and out of the Jiamai Empire. This fortress was the most important defensive line in the hearts of the people of the Jiamai Empire. If this defensive line was torn apart, the three empires' armies would march straight into the Jiamai Empire. The size of the fortress was so large that it left one speechless. Compared to the Zhengui Pass that Xiao Yan had visited back then, it was undoubtedly a junior meeting a senior. The walls of this fortress was completely built from the dark black volcanic rock. It had an unusually frightening toughness. Such a wall would likely be able to hold out for a long time even against the attacks of an elite Dou Wang. Densely packed soldiers could be seen all over the fortress wall. There were also countless number of enormous ballistas faintly present. Steel arrows that were as thick as one's thigh had been loaded onto the ballistas and were ready to unleash a frightening strength at any moment. This defensive line was worthy of being as firm as metal under the protection of a countless number of soldiers. Even the Three Empire Alliance would have to pay a hefty and bloody price in order to forcefully attack and tear this defensive line apart. Over ten human figures with quite a great reputation within the Empire stood on the middle of the city wall. At this moment, their gazes carried a thread of worry as they looked at an extremely far spot from the fortress. Densely packed armies rolled out like dark clouds from that spot. At a glance, one could see an endless number of them. From the looks of the large flags that the armies carried, they were the Alliance military from the three large empires. Of course, the thing that caused them the most worry was not these ordinary soldiers. Instead it was the three elite Dozongs who were hidden within the army. In the eyes of a truly strong person, an ordinary army did not pose much of a threat. As long as one was an expert Dou Wang, one would be able to easily defend against a 10,000 man strong army. This was also the reason why the strong possessed a position that exceeded that of royalty on this continent. The strong reigned supreme in the Dou Qi continent. 
Royal authority was second. Ugh, I heard that the ones who have led everyone over this time around are Yen Luo Tian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley, although the most troublesome sect leader of the poison sect will not appear, this is already enough to feel an extremely great pressure. After all, this is equivalent to two elite dozones. Hai Budong's gaze stared into the distance for a moment before withdrawing it and sighing. The current Hai Budong had truly reached the peak of the Do Huang class where he was comparable to Jiao Lao after the repeated big fights during the past year. Breaking through to the Do Zone class was only one step away. Of course, the distance of this one step was such that it was an ordinary thing for one to be unable to cross in one's lifetime if one did not have the opportunity. After all, there were an unknown number of people on the Do Chi continent who had ended up stopping at this stage. Despite this, a Do Huang was ultimately a Do Huang. Unless one possessed some unusual abnormal Do skills, it was basically impossible to leap across the class and challenge an elite Do Zone. After all, not everyone was like Xiao Yan. He not only possessed the mysterious flame mantra, Qi method but also unique treasures like three, heavenly flames and the god seal skill. I have already dispatched some people to the Black Corner region to search for second brother. He will definitely come and lend a hand if he receives the news. However, a distant water source cannot quench one's immediate thirst. It is likely going to be a different situation by the time he leads people over. Xiao Ding, who was seated on a wheelchair, softly sighed. During this period of time, he had spent a great amount of effort and thought in order to deal with the attacks of the three sections. However, the other party had people who were equivalent to three elite dozones. This was ultimately a huge weight that was pressing on the hearts of everyone in the Jiama Empire. Your Majesty, are your injuries all right? Xiao Ding's hand patted gently on his wheelchair before he turned his head to look at the cold pretty face of the bewitching lady beside him. Her moving appearance was indeed a rare beauty in this kind of place that was filled with blood and killing. Perhaps it was due to Xiao Ding's relationship with someone but the coldness on Medusa's bewitching face, which was staring into the distance with cold eyes, slowly became warmer. She said, I have consumed the medicinal pill that the Yen Alliance alchemists have refined and recovered quite a bit. Although my fighting strength is slightly weakened, there are no serious problems. Xiao Ding laughed bitterly and nodded slightly. He said, it's been tough on you. I am also thinking of the snake people race. Now that everyone's relationship is one where the death of anyone will cause the other to suffer, the losses from any single side will result in a destructive end. Medusa shook her head. She turned her head slightly as her eyes looked toward the distant magical beast mountain range. She clenched her silver teeth and sighed within her heart, have you not come out of your retreat? If you are a little later, it is likely that the Jiama Empire will really be destroyed. Ugh, I wonder how third brother doing. His retreat actually took an entire year. It is best that no accident has happened to him. Xiao Ding also understood what Medusa was thinking when he saw her gaze. He rubbed his forehead and bitterly laughed. This little bastard always plays it like this, if he does not return soon, this Yen alliance will be finished. Hai Budong by his side could not resist opening his mouth to speak when he heard Xiao Ding's words. I think it should be soon. As long as we are able to endure until he comes out from his retreat, the situation will be much better. After all, that fellow may be a Do Huang but if he unleashes his full strength, he is able to contend against an elite Do Zone. At that time, our side will have two elite Do Zones. Even the people from the three sects would not dare to act rashly. If we were to really go into an all-out fight, this queen would at the very least be able to drag one of them down even if I end up dying. Medusa voiced her thoughts. A dense chill immediately flashed across her pupils. That sect leader of the poison sect, Yen Luo Tian from the Gold Geese sect, and the three elders from the Mulan Valley are afraid that you will do this. Hence, they have not been engaging in a deathmatch with you. However, this time, it is likely that they have made preparations when they join hands. Your Majesty, you should be more careful. Jia Tian by the other side spoke in a deep voice while wearing a respectful expression. Medusa nodded slightly. She was about to speak when a thunder-like drumbeat began to spread over from far away in a mighty manner. It immediately affected the entire fortress. They are about to begin their attack. The expressions of Medusa and the others were tense as they heard this hurried drumbeat. The ground began to tremble not long after the drumbeat sounded. The enormous endless sea of people in the distance began to rush over toward the fortress like ocean waves. The orderly bang as their feet landed on the ground resounded over this place like a thunderous roar, giving people a heavy feeling within their hearts. All the experts Do Wangs from the Yen Alliance and the Snake People race, spread yourself all over the defensive lines. Tightly guard against the enemy's expert Do Wangs. Xiao Ding's expression gradually became solemn as he turned his head and spoke in a stern manner. A large number of people responded behind him upon hearing the order. Immediately, numerous human figures flew out in a lightning-like manner. Everyone, today's big battle affects the survival of our Jiama Empire and the Snake People race. Therefore, let's go all out. Xiao Ding's gaze slowly swept over everyone as he spoke in a deep voice. Everyone nodded their heads heavily with a solemn expression when they heard his words. This battle concerned their survival. While the fortress entered into a battle-ready mode, the black masses of human heads began to flood over amid the loud battle cries that soared to the sky. Numerous rays of light flew through the air above the sea of people. These were the experts from the three sects, the figures who caused the pressure on the black mountain fortress to soar. When the endless black masses of human flow were still around a thousand meters from the fortress, a killing aura surged to the sky with a loud stomping sound. 
It spread out before covering the entire Black Mountain Fortress into it. The rays of light flew across in the sky while numerous people with Dochi wings on their backs appeared. Their gazes carried cold smiles as they observed the tightly guarded Black Mountain Fortress. Koko, it is really unexpected that your Jiama Empire is so stubborn. You are actually able to endure for nearly a year in the face of our Three Empire Alliance. Even though your Jiama Empire will be completely defeated in this battle, your Jiama Empire's reputation could be considered to have soared in this northwestern region. A powerful wild laugh suddenly sounded while the armies faced each other. Finally, it resounded over the sky. Yen Luo Tian. The face of Medusa and the others in the fortress immediately turned cold upon hearing the laughter. Their mouth spat out a name that was incomparably prestigious within the Luo Yen Empire. A bright golden glow suddenly shot into the sky from the large army after the laughter sounded. It immediately stayed suspended in the sky. Everyone's eyes drifted over, only to see a man who was wearing golden clothes floating in the sky. A pair of unusually large gold-colored goose wings flickered, appearing much like a divine being. The black masses of soldiers immediately erupted into an earth-shaking cheer when this gold-clothed man appeared. Clearly, this Yen Luo Tian possessed an extremely high reputation among them. Medusa's face was icy cold as she looked at Yen Luo Tian. Her body moved and she was already in the sky outside of the fortress the next time she appeared. Her gaze swept over Yen Luo Tian only to laugh, a mere two-star Dozong also dares to act presumptuous in front of this queen. He he, Medusa's beauty has been spread among a number of countries around. You really live up to your reputation. This ancestor, referred to himself as a Dozong, knows that I alone will be no match for you. Hence, I am naturally not intending to fight alone. A cold smile surfaced on the corner of Yen Luo Tian's mouth as he slowly spoke. Ha ha, you are indeed worthy of being Queen Medusa. You are really a hero among women. Today, allow the three of us and the Gi sex leader to exchange blows with you. Three different rays of light shot out from the army below just after Yen Luo Tian's voice sounded. Finally, three smiling elders appeared in the air. Medusa's eyes shrank slightly as she looked at the three old men. Her face was icy as she emphasized every word with a pause. Mulan. Three. Elders. Chapter 760, Three Beast Savage Skill. The three old men who appeared in the sky were wearing green-colored robes. However, there was a lion, a tiger, and a bear on their three respective robes. These drawings did not appear to be something created from ordinary sewing. Instead, they appeared to have been agglomerated from a certain kind of mysterious energy. Hence, when a person's eyes swept over them, the three unusually savage beasts seemed to be staring with their bright red vicious eyes. If it was someone who did not have a strong mental strength, their legs would involuntarily become limp under these violent gazes that were filled with killing intent. Although the auras of these three green-robed old men were merely at the peak of the Do Huan class, a seriousness that was difficult to hide covered Medusa's face. The three beast savage skill that these three people practiced was extremely strange. The fighting strength when they fought together was extremely shocking. Even she had to treat them seriously. The black masses of the army from the three empire alliance outside of the fortress immediately erupted into a thunder-like cheer the moment the three great elders from the Mulan Valley appeared. Compared to the great increase in their morale, Xiao Ding and the others in the fortress felt their hearts slightly sink. Damn it, these shameless bastards. No matter how one puts it, they are experts who possess great reputations in the northwestern region. Yet, they actually bully others with numbers. Hai Budong's expression was ugly as he looked at the three old men who had appeared in the sky. He could not resist cursing angrily. Jia Tian's expression was similarly ugly as he nodded. He mused for a moment, clenched his teeth and said, Why don't the two of us go out and help Medusa block them for a moment? It would be good if we can buy her some time. Hold your horses. If the both of you also attack, the other experts from the three sects would definitely not just stand back and watch. At that time, we will end up bringing forward the eruption of the big battle. It would also be extremely difficult to achieve your intentions. Xiao Ding's expression was solemn as he shook his head and spoke. What do we do then? Don't tell me that we should just watch her get surrounded and attacked. Hai Budong frowned intently as he replied. Ugh, all we can do now is to hope that Queen Medusa will be able to block them. There is no other solution. Xiao Ding bitterly laughed and sighed. Any planning would not help the situation where they were at a disadvantage in all aspects. Hai Budong and Jia Xing Tian could only unwillingly storm their feet when they heard this. They were at a complete disadvantage in this situation. However, it was just as Xiao Ding had said, they had no solution despite knowing that they were at a disadvantage. The number of the other party's elite Dozongs was not lesser than their side. They also had more experts in the Do Huang and Do Wang class. What else could they do but end up in a disadvantageous situation? It would be fine if Xiao Yan was here. With his strength, it should not be too much trouble blocking Yan Luo Tian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley. As long as Medusa is given some time, it is possible to defeat one of them. F.A. Ma by the side, who had not spoken for a long time, softly sighed. Xiao Ding and the others also sighed when they heard this. Although this was indeed the case, that fellow was undertaking a retreat. Who knew just when it would end? Koko, Queen Medusa, don't blame us for not being a gentleman. After all, you are not some weakling. If we don't join hands, it is likely that we would be unable to do anything to you. 
The flickering gold goose wings on Yen Luotian's back were flapped as he laughed toward the Sala Medusa. If you want to join hands then just do so. There is no need to find some sad sounding excuse. Aren't you afraid of disgracing your status as the sect leader of the gold geese sect? Medusa coldly laughed. Her words were filled with ridicule. Yen Luotian laughed. However, he was unconcerned with Medusa's ridicule. He clenched his hand and a golden glow appeared. Finally, it transformed into a strange golden colored longsword. The longsword was covered with goose feathers like sharp thorns. Hee hee, sect leader Yen, Queen Medusa is not an ordinary person. Even by joining hands, we will not pose much pressure to her. A Milan Valley elder whose robe showed a black bear on it laughed in a somewhat sharp voice while a blood red glow flickered across his dense eyes. Yen Luotian laughed. His eyes glanced at the enormous black mountain fortress behind only to suddenly speak, Queen Medusa, all we are after is the Jiama Empire. It has not much to do with your snake people race. If you are willing to lead your snake people race away from this place, our three large empires will promise to allow you to reproduce on this plot of land. Why do you wish to join them in their dying struggle? Medusa's eyes indifferently swept over him when she heard this. She questioned, do you really treat this queen as a three-year-old? Isn't saying such things now a little too childish? The smile on Yen Luotian's face became slightly stiff. He gently shook the goosewing sword in his hand and laughed faintly, in that case, I will make the snake people race disappear from this northwestern region forever. With you. Medusa raised her eyebrows. The ridicule on her bewitching face was even greater. By the three elders from the Milan Valley and me. Yen Luotian laughed. He turned his head to the three elders from the Milan Valley. Three elders, let's do it. Aye. The three green-robed elders nodded when they heard this. They immediately took a step back and formed a brilliant formation that could attack and defend. Following the appearance of this formation, three powerful dochis that were green, red, and blue surged out from the bodies of the three of them. The dochi that surged out did not scatter. Instead, they moved in that formation and rushed out. Finally, the three dochis intertwined with each other and formed a perfect ring that linked the essence of the three of them. Following the completion of the ring, the robes of the three elders immediately unleashed an earth-shaking beast roar that was filled with a savage aura. Their clothes flapped and the fierce lion, tiger, and bear turned into a bloody red energy. The energy surged out and covered the bodies of the three people. When this blood red energy surged out, the fighting aura belonging to the three old men also gradually scattered. Replacing them was a frightening aura that was not any weaker than Yen Luotian's aura. Kuku, the Milan Valley's three beast savage skill, is indeed worthy of being a middle D class chi method that has been passed down from ancient times. Such a combined body effect is really incomparably marvelous. Yen Luotian immediately laughed out loud as he sensed the majestic aura that was faintly emitting a savage feeling. However, a deep greediness flashed across his eyes while he laughed. It is but some fluff. How could it be more intricate than the sky walking goose agility do technique of the gold geese sect? The blood red energy wrapped around the three green robed elders. Finally, it transformed into a blood red beast head on their heads. Looking from a distant, the three elders from the Milan Valley seemed to have become three half human half beast creatures. That voice from earlier had been emitted from the mouth of the old man who had transformed into a tiger headed human. Perhaps it was due to the Qi method, but this old man's voice also faintly carried a tiger roar that shook one's soul. Medusa's eyes were solemn as they swept over the three elders from the Milan Valley. She also sighed softly in his heart. A big fight today was indeed unavoidable. Medusa swiftly focused her mind after she sighed. She tossed aside the distractions in her heart. A majestic seven-colored energy surged out from her body like a torrent before turning into a seven-colored rainbow that fell from the sky. Her body was in the middle of that rainbow. Yen Luotian's eyes shrank slightly when he saw this aura of Medusa. She was indeed worthy of being an existence who could contend with that abnormal fellow from the poison section. He admitted that he was inferior to that majestic Do Chi. However, it was fortunate that he was not alone today. He quietly gave a look to the three elders of the Milan Valley. Immediately, the four people shot out together. They instantly unleashed an earth-shaking Do Chi that caused a countless number of people below to feel a fear. Yen Luotian's speed was extremely quick. In merely a breath, he had appeared in front of Medusa. The goosewing sword in his hand shook, and the sword shot out like a poisonous serpent. A sharp sword aura caused the surrounding space to fluctuate intensely. Medusa's expression did not change as she observed this sudden attack. She clenched her delicate hand and a seven-colored snake-shaped long sword agglomerated and appeared. She swung her hand and the sword's body was twisted into a strange arc. Its tip went around the goosewing sword on Yen Luotian's hand and immediately pushed violently forward. Humph. A frightening force swarmed over from the body of the sword. Yen Luotian let out a muffled snort and the large goose wings on his back suddenly flapped. The goose wings immediately became like sharp arrows as they attacked every single part of Medusa's body. The long sword in Medusa's hand emitted a clear sword whistle as she sensed the cold air around her. The long sword immediately shook and dense after images quickly appeared, covering her body within a short instance. Chong. Chong. The goose wings shot over and smashed against the dense sword images. The sword images swiftly transformed into nothingness as both parties depleted their strength. 
The moment the sword images finally transformed into nothingness, Yen Luo Tian's eyes flickered. A seal was formed in his hand and a bright golden light that contained a powerful energy surfaced in front of him. Finally, it shot toward Medusa, who was close by. The seven colored sword images flashed. Medusa was just about to receive this attack head on when a low and deep roar that contained a savage aura suddenly appeared behind her. A sharp fist wind that carried the sharp sound of space tearing violently appeared. The sudden sneak attack caused Medusa's face to change a little. She clenched her delicate hand and a seven colored energy swiftly agglomerated. Finally, she violently threw it to her back. Bang. The clear sound of energy exploding suddenly resounded over the sky. Medusa let out a muffled snort in front of a countless number of gazes and her body withdrew over ten steps. On the other hand, Yen Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders only took two steps back. Clearly, Medusa was at a disadvantage by fighting two people in this exchange by herself. Despicable. Fighting two against one and yet you still dare to use a sneak attack. Hai Budong and the others on the wall once again let out a furious curse upon seeing this. Haha, <laughs> Medusa, it seems that you were seriously injured in your fight with the sect leader of the poison sect, I want to see just what you can rely on to block us today. Yen Luo Tian laughed out loud. A joy erupted in his eyes when he learned of Medusa's injuries. Medusa's face was chilly. She did not argue with him as the Dou Qi in her body galloped like floodwater. The natural energy in the outside world began to fluctuate intensely upon being beckoned by the Dou Qi within her body. From the looks of it, it seemed that she was really planning to go all out. Yen Luo Tian and those three Mulan elders were startled when they saw this action of hers. They immediately laughed coldly and began to maneuver the Dou Qi within his body. A countless number of gazes watched the intense fluctuations of natural energy in the sky. All of them knew that a frighteningly big Dou Zone class battle was about to completely erupt. Ugh, things are really bad. Chapter 761, Fighting Mulan Three Elders Hai Budong and the others in the fortress side. Medusa had already been injured. Now, she still needed to fight two people on her own. How can this situation be good? However, in this situation, who else could they rely on but her? The big fight in the sky abruptly erupted while they sighed quietly in their hearts. Just as both parties' energies were about to pull at each other, a faint thunderous roar whizzed down from the sky. A clear laugh mightily resounded. Haha, how can I, the chief of Yen Alliance, be missing from this big battle? A vast and mighty laugh resonated over the sky before finally spreading all over like furious rolling thunder. It reverberated beside the ears of a countless number of people. Xiao Ding and the others on the fortress were initially startled upon hearing this somewhat familiar laughter. A wild joy immediately surged within their eyes. It's Xiao Yen. This fellow has finally hurried back. Hai Budong could not control the excitement in his heart as he laughed out loud. Jia Xingtian beside him also quietly wiped off the cold sweat from his forehead. This fellow always liked to appear at the last moment. However, it was fortunate that he had made it in time. Xiao Ding slowly sagged against the backrest of his wheelchair. He let out a long breath as he said, We are finally able to resolve this big battle. Everyone by his side also sighed in relief and nodded their heads. With Xiao Yan's ability, he would be able to block Yan Luo Tian or the three Mulan elders if he were to unleash his full strength. Given Medusa's strength, it would not be difficult to defeat the remaining person. Once these two elite Dozones were defeated, the morale of the Jiama Empire would definitely soar. They would also truly possess a trump card to contend with the three sects in the future. That thunderous roar once again sounded while everyone was conversing. Three rays of light rushed over from the sky in front of the eyes of a countless number of people. They appeared in the air above the fortress within a short couple of breaths. The first of the three people who had appeared was a black-robed, young man. Behind him was a lovely, pretty little girl who had long purple-colored hair as well as a female snake person. They were naturally Xiao Yan, Zi Yan, and Yumei who had rushed over. The fortress immediately erupted into an earth-shaking cheer as they looked at the black-robed, young man in the sky, who had arrived at such a crucial moment. Being people from the Jiama Empire, not a single one of them was unfamiliar with this name. Although the Jiama Empire had been repeatedly defeated during the big fights in the past year, many people did not give up. This was because they held a faint hope within their hearts. That was the chief of the Yen Alliance, Xiao Yan. Many placed their hope this young man, who had repeatedly created miracles. They hoped that he would appear and lead the empire out of its plight of destruction. Now that the person whom they had placed their hopes on in their hearts had appeared, how could these people, who had been pressured by potential destruction until they could hardly breathe, not be crazily excited? Medusa was startled as she looked at the black-robed, young man who had flashed and appeared. A moment later, she let out a long sigh within her heart. This fellow had finally hurried over. Medusa's body moved while she sighed in relief, appearing beside Xiao Yan. Her eyes swept over the ladder as she asked, Have you broken through? Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He softly questioned, You are slightly injured. It is merely a, a small injury. It's nothing. Medusa's tone was quite careless. Her gaze glanced at Yen Luo Tian and the Milan three elders who had ceased their attacks because of Xiao Yan's appearance. She asked, Do you have the confidence to stop one of them? Of course, those three old men can only be considered as one. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard this. He raised his head. 
His narrow dark black pupil swept over Yen Luotian's group as he smiled and said, I. You can just relax and choose one. I will take care of the other. Cuckoo, what arrogant words. Amir Do Huang actually dares to make such a bold and outrageous statement in front of us. Aren't you afraid of biting your tongue? Yen Luotian on the other side trembled and laughed coldly upon hearing these words of Xiao Yen. Brat, who are you? I advise you not to get involved in a fight of this class. Us three elders have seen quite a number of haughty young heroes. Unfortunately, none of them have had a good ending. The Milan Valley elder who had transformed into a tiger-headed person swept his bloody gaze over Xiao Yan's body. Perhaps it was because their qi method had bestowed them an instinct that was even sharper than others of similar class, but he kept feeling that this young man in front of them was unusual. Hence, he could only suppress the bloodthirstiness within his heart and open his mouth to speak in a dark, solemn manner. Surprise flashed across the eyes of Yan Luotian by the side when he heard the words that this tiger-headed elder said. He immediately re-evaluated Xiao Yan before speaking with a slight frown, Chief Yan. Are you the chief of the Yan Alliance who has been hiding for an entire year? Xiao Yan's finger gently flicked on his sleeves. It was unexpected that his one-year retreat was actually seen as miserable hiding in the eyes of the people from the three sections. It seemed that he had the duty of strengthening his name today. The two of you should withdraw first. Xiao Yan turned his head over and spoke to Yu Mei and Zi Yan behind him. You, can you do it? The other party is equivalent to two elite dozones. Zi Yan did not hesitate when she heard Xiao Yan's words. She turned around and rushed to the fortress. Yu Mei, on the other hand, hesitated for a moment before speaking. It seemed that from the way she saw it, even though Xiao Yan's strength was quite strong, his was ultimately facing an elite Dou Zong. The gap between a Dou Huang and a Dou Zong. Xiao Yan merely smiled and waved his hand in the face of Yu Mei's uneasiness. He said, relax. Yu Mei could only helplessly nod her head when she saw his insistence. When she was withdrawing, her gaze swept over Medusa respectively while her heart quietly wondered why her majesty would trust that this fellow could handle an elite Dou Zong. Leave Luo Yan Tian to me to deal with. You can block these Milan three elders. Be careful, they know a combined fighting method. When they join together, they are not weaker than an elite Dozong. Medusa uttered. Her gaze turned to Yen Luotian on the other side after seeing Zi Yen and Yumei withdrawing. Although Yen Luotian and the Milan three elders had the strength to be able to fight against an elite Dozong, the former ultimately had genuine strength while the latter could only rely on their qi method in order to mysteriously merge their strength. If one were to compare them, the latter were undoubtedly easier to deal with. Hence, Medusa also handed the slightly easier opponent to Xiao Yen. Yes. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He glanced at the three Mulan elders. They wore three ferocious and savage beast heads over their human heads. He said, you can just relax and deal with that Yan Luotian. These three people will no longer bother you even a little. Yan Luotian's face clearly trembled upon seeing Medusa's gaze locking onto him. He immediately laughed dryly, since you wish to allow this youngling to go and court death, we will accept it reluctantly. He turned his head to the three Mulan elders after saying this and spoke with a sinister voice, three elders, it should not be too much of a problem dealing with a little Do Huang brat, right? That tiger-headed elder hesitated for a moment when he heard this. Finally, he nodded and said, although this brat is a little strange, we should be able to finish him off within ten exchanges. After which, we will help you deal with Medusa. Although Xiao Yan in front of them gave them an unusual feeling, the former was a Dou Huang no matter how one put it. In these many years, the number of elite Dou Huangs who were killed by their hands was something that they could not count even with two hands. Hence, they did not truly play Xiao Yan in their hearts. Yan Luotian finally nodded with satisfaction when he heard the tiger-headed elder's words. His gaze swept toward Medusa as he coldly laughed. A majestic Dochi explosively surged out from his body and the large goose wings on his back were flapped. He actually took the lead to attack Medusa. Be careful. Medusa's face was serious when she saw Yen Luotian's actions. She turned her head and reminded Xiao Yen before suddenly rushing out. When her body was rushing past Xiao Yen, she clearly sensed a round object being stuffed into her palm. Xiao Yen's laughter sounded beside her ear while she was hesitating, consume it. It will allow you to recover from your injuries at a faster pace. You will also be less worried when you fight. Medusa was slightly stunned. A smile that was undetectable immediately surfaced on her cold pretty face. She swiftly stuffed the medicinal pill into her mouth and her eyes once again returned to being sharp and stern. Her body shot out and met with Yan Luo Tian. A powerful energy ripple erupted when the two figures made contact. Perhaps it was because both of them wanted to pull their battle circle away, but their two bodies drifted for some distance during their lightning-like exchange, leaving behind sufficient space for Xiao Yan and the three Mulan elders. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the battleground where a frighteningly powerful ripple was spreading. He immediately glanced at the three Mulan elders in front of him as a bizarre look flashed across his eyes. The gold silver brothers from the Black Corner region were able to rely on their seamless qi method to battle an elite Dozong because they were twins. Yet, these three people in front of them had clearly acquired the skill from training. However, this kind of fighting method had extremely harsh training requirements. It was also unusually troublesome to groom. One must overcome various limitations. However, if one managed to groom a group, their fighting strength would indeed be extremely frightening. Hee <laughs> hee. 
It is unexpected that a little brat like this is actually the chief of the Yen Alliance. No wonder the Jiama Empire ended up in such a state. The lion-headed elder's dark, cold gaze swept over Xiao Yan. He involuntarily shook his head and let out a cold laugh. Don't waste your breath. Quickly finish him off. Yen Luo Tian alone will have difficulty dealing with Medusa. The tiger-headed elder spoke in a deep voice. The other two elders nodded. They laughed coldly and their strengths began to merge together. A majestic Dou Qi immediately erupted and swept over the sky. It is indeed a Dou Zone class aura. Xiao Yan raised his brows as he sensed this aura. He did not expect that he would meet such a strong person just after he had broken through to the next class. The other party was really a good opponent. The people on the fortress held their breaths as they stared at both parties who were facing off against each other in the sky. Xiao Yan's ability to delay the three Mulan elders would be the most crucial factor of this battle. Chapter 762, Intense Fight The bodies of the three Mulan elders were suspended in the sky. Majestic Dou Qi filled the area and even the air trembled a little. An incomparable confidence also surged within the hearts of the three elders as they sensed the enormous strength of the Dou Qi within their bodies resonating with the natural energy. They instantly suppressed the hesitation caused by some unusual aspects of Xiao Yan. Haha, Chief Xiao, today, we will let you know that you are but a joke. We might still be afraid if it was the Misty Cloud sect of the past. However, the Yen Alliance that has just been established does not possess this qualification. Bloodthirsty intent flashed across the eyes of that lion-headed elder as he laughed out loud. Xiao Yan shook his head as his eyes studied the wildly laughing lion-headed elder with an indifferentness. His hands made seals and he softly laughed, I, Xiao Yan, was able to destroy the Misty Cloud sect that all of you feared. Naturally, I am also able to destroy you. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change Xiao Yan's hand seal suddenly changed after his words sounded. He immediately let out a low cry within his heart. When this low cry sounded, the glazed lotus core flame swiftly moved along his veins and circulated in a mysterious manner. Waves of wild, violent energy immediately spread out and filled each and every corner of his body. Xiao Yan's current true strength should be around that of a one-star Dou Huang. However, by relying on the mysterious flame mantra and his body, which was many times stronger than an ordinary Dou Huang, his fighting strength was such that even a three- or four-star expert Dou Huang would not be able to beat him. Additionally, he could increase his strength through the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. He was also able to fight even when facing a seven- or eight-star Dou Huang. If he were to include some extraordinarily powerful Dou skills and the effects of the Heavenly Flame, he would be able to match an expert at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Of course, if he wanted to contend with an elite Dou Zone, it would be still lacking even if he included all of these. However, Xiao Yan possessed a trump card that had the qualification to injury or even kill an elite Dou Zone. The three Mulan elders were initially surprised when they felt Xiao Yan's aura suddenly soar. However, they immediately shook their heads with disdain in their hearts. Was this the support that caused him to be so arrogant? If this is your trump card, us three old men must tell you that you, as the chief of the Yen Alliance, will completely lose face in front of so many people from the Jiama Empire today. The tiger-headed elder coldly laughed. There was a slight tiger roar in his voice. Xiao Yan ignored the other party's cold laugher and clenched his fist. The heavy Xian ruler flashed and appeared. It randomly cut through the air while carrying the sharp sound of rushing wind. A silver-colored glow suddenly appeared on Xiao Yan's feet as the heavy ruler paused abruptly. Immediately, a slight thunderous roar rang out. His body suddenly turned into a black line that explosively rushed forward. The three Mulan elders were somewhat surprised when they saw the speed of Xiao Yan. They quickly let out a cold laugh. That tiger-headed elder strode forward and appeared at a certain spot which coincidentally sealed Xiao Yan's attack. A bloody glow flashed in the tiger-headed elder's bloodthirsty eyes which were watching Xiao Yan charge over. He clenched his fist abruptly and the bloody glow agglomerated. Immediately, it smashed towards Xiao Yan without any fanciful skill. This punch did not have any trickiness or viciousness. All it possessed was an extremely heavy strength. Even the surrounding space began to show signs of distortion under this frightening strength. The spreading air curved into a partially visible arc and an invisible air bubble formed on his fist. It carried an ear-piercing sound as it whistled through the sky. Xiao Yan's expression did not change when he faced this opening attack from the tiger-headed elder. The Dou Qi in his body began to carry a roar as it whizzed down his veins like flood water. His hand tightly gripped the ruler's hilt and a dense jade-green flame swiftly surged out, completely covering the heavy ruler. Both of his hands immediately took hold of the ruler and smashed it viciously toward the blood-colored fist of the tiger-headed elder without dodging a little. Chang. The clear sound of metal colliding was suddenly emitted the moment the attacks collided. The ears belonging to the countless number of people began to whistle repeatedly. Some of the weaker people even felt a piercing pain in their eardrums. A powerful force spread out in all directions like a ripple from the point of collision in the sky. The two figures made contact with each other before suddenly withdrawing. A surging strength that was transmitted from the heavy ruler shook Xiao Yan's hand until it was a little numb. The strength of this tiger-headed elder on the opposing side had somewhat exceeded his expectations. However, it seemed that the other party had greatly exhausted himself. That tiger-headed elder stabilized his body after his feet took a few steps back. 
His eyes were dark and solemn as he looked at the sleek redness that had appeared because of the hot searing pain on his fist. He involuntarily grumbled softly, Heavenly Flame. You actually possess a heavenly flame. The jade green flame on Xiao Yan's heavy ruler a moment ago was something that this tiger-headed elder had witnessed before. However, he had never thought about it to that level. After all, a heavenly flame was too rare. When he made contact earlier, he suddenly realized that the blood-red energy that the three of them had merged and formed began to turn faint under the burning of the jade green flame. Only then did his heart have this sudden thought. With his experience, he naturally understood that a flame that was able to incinerate this kind of blood-red energy until nothing of it was left was definitely not an ordinary flame. The only thing that could do this on the Do Chi continent was likely the most frightening, heavenly flame. The two other elders' expressions sank when they saw the tiger-headed elder suffering a disadvantage. They had indeed underestimated this fellow. Don't fool around. Let's attack together and kill him. The lion-headed elder stared at Xiao Yan with bloodthirsty eyes. He waved his hand as he spoke in a deep voice. The other two elders nodded when they heard this. Their cunning selves naturally knew what was called suffering an unexpected loss. The tiger-headed elder had suffered a disadvantage earlier because of his insufficient care. It was difficult to be certain whether this fellow possessed any other trump cards. Hence, they ought to finish him off quickly. Since they had already decided within their hearts, the three Mulan elders naturally did not delay even a little. The three human figures flashed forward. In merely a breath's time, they had approached Xiao Yan. After which, they spread out abruptly and formed a triangular formation that surrounded Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan browsed knit slightly when he saw the actions of these three people. He could clearly sense that all of his retreat paths had already been sealed by these three people. In this formation, he had no other solution than to face the other party's attacks head-on. This Mulan Valley does indeed have some skill. I think that their strength is likely not any weaker than the Misty Cloud sect. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's heart as the sweat pores on his back stood up. The heavy ruler in his hand violently smashed behind him without any hesitation. Bang. A body flashed and appeared as the heavy ruler fell. It was that bareheaded elder. At this moment, both of his hands had faintly transformed into a pair of large bear paws after being wrapped by the blood-colored energy. He actually extended his hand and forcefully grabbed the heavy ruler upon extending the bear's paw. Xiao Yan hand pulled back but the heavy ruler did not move. His expression sank slightly as his mind moved. A dense jade green flame swiftly surged out. Under the grilling of this jade green lotus flame, the enormous blood-colored energy bear paws immediately emitted a chi chi sound as it emitted waves of white smoke. However, the elder refused to release his hands. An earth-shaking furious roar suddenly sounded and the green veins on his hands pulsed. And frightening strength immediately erupted and it snatched the heavy Xian ruler over. Xiao Yan's eyes were not even raised when his heavy Xian ruler was forcefully snatched away. The silver glow under his feet flashed and his body rushed out. Numerous vaguely visible afterimages appeared. This distance was covered by Xiao Yan's speed within a couple of blinks. His fist abruptly tightened and the joints of his fingers suddenly protruded out. He immediately struck viciously and heavily against the bareheaded elder's chest. Octane Blast an extremely powerful force was suddenly erupted when the fist was still around half a foot from the bareheaded elder's chest. A vaguely visible force flew through the sky as a sharp tearing noise whistled by the side of his ear. Bang. Even the bareheaded elder could not dodge in time from such a close distance. Hence, he could only firmly receive this blow from Xiao Yan. A frightening force seeped out from the chest of the bareheaded person. A concave shape clearly appeared on the former's chest. His footsteps also repeatedly let out a thrump thrump sound a couple of times. Only then did his shoulders tremble violently as he forcefully stabilized his body. Xiao Yan forced the bareheaded person back with one strike. His brows were knit slightly. Given his outstanding spiritual perception, he discovered that the aura of this bareheaded elder had drastically weakened. A pressuring wind once again attacked from his back while a doubt was flashing within Xiao Yan's heart. The owner who had unleashed this attack had actually reached the Do Zone class. Xiao Yan's reaction was quick while the thought flashed in his heart. He let out a low cry and a jade green flame swiftly surged out from his body like a volcano erupting. It instantly agglomerated into a jade green fire armor on his body. That dense wind quickly arrived after the fire armor was formed. It immediately struck heavily on that thick layer of fire armor, erupting into a powerful force that caused even the air to shake a little. A muffled snort was emitted from his throat upon having received this kind of heavy blow. A silver glow flashed under his feet as his body dodged like a swimming fish. That lion-headed elder coldly laughed when he saw his fist striking Xiao Yan. However, he did not give chase and instead withdrew one step. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly shrank when he saw the other person taking a step back. He discovered that the aura of that lion-headed elder had suddenly fell from that of a Dozone class to a Dozone class when he had stepped back. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. He lowered his head and looked at the fire armor. On his chest numerous crack lines had appeared. The light from the flame scattered as he rubbed it with his hand. The fire armor once again recovered. Once he had completed this action, another Dozone aura attack came from his back as expected. Xiao Yan did not even need to think this time around. It should be the tiger-headed elder who had yet to attack. 
A thought swiftly flashed within his heart as Xiao Yan suddenly turned around. His right hand was wrapped by a jade green flame as it violently smashed against the tiger headed elder. Humph. Xiao Yan once again let out a muffled snort when the two made contact. His footsteps swiftly withdrew. He was indeed unable to gain the upper hand in a head on collision with an elite dozo. Xiao Yan's feet stomped on the ground. He stabilized his body and wiped off a trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. He lifted his head and studied the tiger headed elder, who had withdrawn after unleashing that attack. Moreover, his aura had also suddenly weakened to the Do Huang class while he did so. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the three human figures around him who were looking at him with malicious intent. The corner of his mouth was slowly lifted into a cold smile. So it is like this. Chapter 763, 3000 Lightning The hearts of everyone in the fortress tightened when they looked at Xiao Yan who had momentarily fell into a disadvantage. Medusa's battle with Yan Luo Tian had already entered into a white-hot stage. If Xiao Yan was unable to block the three Mulan elders at this moment, it was likely that the effect would be too horrible to imagine. Relax, there should not be any problem. That fellow still has many trump cards which he had not used. Hai Budong was frowning intently while he laughed and tried to comfort himself. Jia Xingtian and the others nodded slightly when they heard this. They were extremely clear about the tactics of Xiao Yan. The might of the unusual fire lotus that caused even Yun Shan to be blasted until the point where he lost his fighting strength was extremely frightening. If Xiao Yan created this thing, it was likely that an elite Do Zone would suffer quite a great disadvantage when facing him. Yu Mei by the side shook her head when she heard them speak. She did not understand Xiao Yan. Hence, she was not clear about what kind of tactics Xiao Yan possessed. All she did was to watch the earlier battle where Xiao Yan had clearly fallen into a disadvantage. If this continued for some time, it seemed certain that Xiao Yan would be wounded. This fellow is indeed overexerting himself. You may quietly sighed within her heart. A bitter smile also surfaced on her face. After having conversed briefly with the few people on the fortress, she had hurriedly thrown her gaze toward the two battlegrounds in the sky that would determine the fate of the Jiamai Empire. The wings on Xiao Yan's back flapped and his body was suspended in the sky. A glow swiftly flashed across his dark black eyes. After the couple of probes he made earlier, he had discovered that it seemed that only one of the three of them could attack at any single time. This person's aura would also be raised to the point where it could contend with a dozone at that instant. In other words, it meant that the three beast savage skill that the three of them practiced combined the strength of the three of them together in order to reach the dozone class. This kind of dozone strength could only be used by one person. While this person was using it, the strength of the other two would definitely decline. This kind of qi method was similar to a situation where the strength of the two remaining people was temporarily given to the third person, enabling him to possess a dozone class strength. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes slightly. If this was really the case, this qi method of theirs might be forced to reveal quite a big flaw as long as he dodged the dozone class person and took advantage of the situation to attack the other two. Xiao Yan's body paused for a moment. However, the three Mulan elders did not give him much time to catch his breath. That tiger-headed elder once again moved and suddenly rushed out. A low, deep tiger roar was emitted from his mouth and the blood-colored glow grew even denser. The tiger-headed elder clenched his fist and the blood-colored glow surged. It immediately agglomerated into an extremely sharp energy tiger claw. The tiger claw cut through the empty air and left behind a couple of faint scars. Brat, go and die. The tiger-headed elder let out a roar and his body suddenly shot forward. He appeared in front of Xiao Yan in an instant, and his sharp tiger claw appeared exceptionally strange under the dye of the blood-colored energy. His hand trembled and the tiger claw grabbed at Xiao Yan's throat in a vicious manner. From the looks of its momentum, it was likely that Xiao Yan would die on the spot if he were to be grabbed by it despite having the protection of the glazed lotus core flame. Xiao Yan's eye slightly shrank as he observed the tiger claw being swiftly enlarged. The silver glow under his feet suddenly flashed in a strange manner and his body also trembled slightly. Chi. The tiger claw contained an incomparable force as it lunged forward. It immediately grabbed Xiao Yan's throat violently in front of the countless number of shocked gazes in the fortress. However, the expected fresh blood did not appear despite Xiao Yan's throat being struck. Instead, the claw passed right through it. Those shocked gazes on the fortress only finally let out a heavy sigh of relief after seeing this. An afterimage. The tiger-headed elder let out an exclamation after the tiger claw passed through the figure. He immediately let out a cold laugh as his foot suddenly and violently kicked toward a certain part of the air without turning his body. Bang. The foot contained a powerful strength as it was heavily swung toward a certain part in the air. A black figure immediately flashed as it flew back upon being kicked by this powerful force. The tiger-headed elder turned his head. His gaze was filled with a bloodthirstiness as he looked at Xiao Yan who flew back, only to be startled. He could clearly see a cold smile on the face of this young man. The tiger-headed elder's eyes moved after his heart became momentarily startled. He realized that the direction in which Xiao Yan was pulling back was where the lion-headed elder was positioned in the formation. During this split second, Xiao Yan had borrowed the momentum from the kick of this tiger-headed elder and instantly flashed to the front of this lion-headed elder. He clenched his fist and the green veins on his hand swiftly expanded like worms before viciously striking forward. Octane Blast 
A low, deep cry sounded as Xiao Yan's fist smashed toward the lion-headed man's heart area in a lightning-like manner. However, Xiao Yan's expression suddenly changed when he was just about to strike. This was due to him discovering that an elite Dozone class aura had suddenly surged out from the body of the lion-headed elder. Bang. Xiao Yan's fist carried a powerful aura as it heavily smashed into the chest of the lion-headed elder. The chest of the latter slowly caved in at a frightening arc. The lion-headed elder's gaze was dark and cold as he looked at Xiao Yan in front of him, whose expression had changed slightly. He smiled in a sinister manner as he immediately gave a sudden slap against Xiao Yan's small stomach. A frightening strength surged out in all directions in a flood-like manner from the spot where the chest caved in. Bang. A frightening strength surged over wildly from Xiao Yan's arm. It caused his sleeves to completely burst apart. His body also once again flew away in a lightning-like manner as though it had suffered a heavy blow. When Xiao Yan suffered serious injuries and was forced back once again, the mood of everyone on the fortress also tensed up again. Instead, the black masses that formed the alliance army emitted a deafening cheer. Xiao Yan flapped the fire wings behind him and forcefully stabilized his body. A solemn look appeared in his eyes. This, three beast savage skill, mysteriousness seems to have somewhat exceeded his expectations. Brat, looks like you have seen through something. The tiger headed elder stood in the sky and coldly laughed as the three of them once again surrounded Xiao Yan. He was naturally able to sense that Xiao Yan had clearly borrowed his strength to approach one of the other two. From the looks of the situation, Xiao Yan likely knew that the three beast savage skill could only be used by one person to possess a Dozong's strength. The three beast savage skill is one of the most profound qi methods of our Mulan Valley. How could it be worth being praised if it is so easily overcome? Although this qi method can only allow one person to possess the strength of a Dozong, the three of our essences have completely merged together. With just a thought, that Dozong class strength can be transferred to another person's body within an extremely short period of time. That speed of yours is far from being able to surpass the speed at which this strength is transferred. The lion-headed elder patted his chest and mocked. These things were not considered secrets. Anyone who had exchanged blows with them would be able to gradually sense it. Hence, speaking about it would not cause any problems. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. These three people had already practiced the three beast savage skill until its pinnacle. They were able to transfer the strength among themselves as they pleased. If one did not manage to catch them completely off guard, one must be able to face that frightening Dozone class strength head on no matter which of the three they faced. However, these three people were also no ordinary weaklings. Even though Xiao Yan had used the 3000 lightning movement, he still had difficulty escaping their senses. It was somewhat difficult to catch them off guard. Three Mulan elders, what are you doing? A little Do Wang actually exhausts so much of your time. A sudden furious roar sounded in the distance while these thoughts lingered in Xiao Yan's heart. When he glanced over, he could see that the fellow who yelled had fallen into a disadvantage in the face of Medusa's vicious attack. Why are you wailing? This little fellow is also not some ordinary expert Do Wang. His ability to withstand being beaten is extremely strong. The tiger-headed elder knit his brows while he twitched his lips and spoke in his heart. However, his face gradually became chilly. Those bright red eyes were staring intently at Xiao Yan while his voice rang out to his two companions, quickly finish him. Yes. The two other elders nodded their heads while the bright redness in their eyes also grew denser. The blood-red energy that covered their bodies also became much stronger. Xiao Yan let out a long sigh as he sensed the aura of the three people. He immediately shut his eyes slowly. When he did so, an extremely bright silver-colored glow suddenly erupted from under his feet. This light swiftly spread up and wrapped around his entire body within a breath's time. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly opened while the glow spread up. However, his dark black pupils had suddenly turned into silver-colored ones that appeared quite strange. 3000 Lightning Movement, 3000 Lightning both of Xiao Yan's eyes changed as his hands suddenly formed numerous complicated hand seals. After images of his handprints flew about before suddenly becoming still a moment later. His body also shook violently. Two silver-colored glows that were completely similar to Xiao Yan began to separate from his body under the changed expressions of the three Mulan elders. 3000 Lightning The highest realm of the 3000 Lightning Movement. Xiao Yan had finally unleashed this D-class agility technique to its peak level after having reached the Do Wang class. After the two silver-colored images appeared, the three individuals separated into three directions. They each shot explosively toward one of the three Mulan elders. The faces of the three Mulan elders finally turned unusually ugly at this moment as they looked at the three figures, unable to differentiate between the actual body and the afterimages. Chapter 764, Scam This scene that had suddenly occurred in the sky also attracted the attention of a countless number of gazes below. Numerous uproars resounded all over the place. Hai Budong was somewhat stunned as he watched the silver-colored glow that had suddenly split into three human figures. He exclaimed a moment later, why is it that we have never seen the skill of the little fellow before? Jia Tian shook his head. His eyes were filled with a seriousness while he said with some hesitation, it seems that this is the agility Do skill that he frequently uses. However, it seems that the level that he can control it has risen. Looks like this should be because he has advanced to the Do Wan class. These three light figures, can any of you identify which is the actual body? 
F.A. Ma's eyes stared intently at the three silver-colored light figures in the sky and asked with a bitter smile. He discovered that despite having unleashed his spiritual perception to its limit, he was still unable to identify which of these three light figures was the actual Xiao Yan. Jia Xingtian and Hai Budong exchanged looks with each other when they heard this before they smiled bitterly and shook their heads. This agility skill is really somewhat unusual. Won't it be equivalent of having two additional avatars if one used it in this manner? As long as this original body remains hidden within them if one were to fight with another, one would definitely be able to unleash a blow that would catch the other party off guard. The three people exchanged glances before smacking their lips and exclaiming. This fellow seems to have a never-ending number of trump cards. The three Mulan elders in the sky watched the three silver-colored light figures that were shooting over. Their expressions had finally turned solemn. Just like Hai Boten's group, they were unable to identify which of these three light figures was Xiao Yan. A family member was aware of the matters within the family. The three Mulan clans were naturally extremely clear about the greatest weakness of this Qi method of theirs. It was that they would have difficulty fighting with many people. If they did fight with many, they would not have enough time to transfer their strength. Although their only opponent today was Xiao Yan, who would have expected him to be able to form two light figures that could not be told apart with the original. This undoubtedly caused the Mulan three elders to descend into a dilemma. Two of the three light figures were illusionary while one was the actual person. If they were to randomly maneuver that merged Dozong's strength, it was likely that one person would truly face Xiao Yan's wild, violent attack should there be a mistake. Although it was an instantaneous matter, a moment was sufficient to change the victor and loser when it came to their class. The silver-colored glow in the eyes of the three people swiftly expanded. It danced on the faces of the three people who appeared to be unusually volatile. Everyone, be careful. Maneuver the strength by yourself should you discover the actual body. The tiger-headed elder clenched his teeth and cried out sternly at this crucial moment. Being uncertain at this moment would cause them to completely fall into a disadvantage. If one were to make careful observations, one might be able to see some openings in Xiao Yan's unusual agility skill, and unleash a fatal blow at that time. The other two Mulan elders also nodded when they heard this. Their eyes were dark and solemn as they looked at the two light figures that had swiftly flashed over. Their gazes flickered as they repeatedly attempted to find some openings that would be revealed by the light figures. The three light figures had arrived abruptly while these three people's eyes were faintly flickering. A strong silver glow not only caused their sight to be somewhat blocked, but also caused their hearts to sink. They discovered that the three light figures were faintly suppressing a surging strength. The silver-colored light figures came increasingly closer but the tiger-headed elder's figure did not move. His eyes stared intently at that light figure. His eyes shrank a little at a certain instant. Perhaps it was because his eyes were extremely focused, but he had suddenly discovered this light figure suddenly fluctuating. That layer of bright silver glow weakened a little. The instant it weakened, his eyes coincidentally saw the cold, stern face that was hidden within the silver glow. This fleeting glance immediately caused the pores all over the tiger-headed person to open. His eyes quickly twinkled. Although he had seen the face within the silver glow, he did not dare to be certain. It might be intentional on the other party's part with the aim of pulling the Dozong strength toward him. This thought had only lasted for an instant. After which, he saw the dense, cold smile that was lifted slightly on that face. It really is him. The tiger-headed elder's mind suddenly blasted out loud when he saw the slight human-like face. He ceased having any hesitation within his heart as the seal on his hands moved. The Dozong strength that was lingering between the three of them merged into his body in a lightning-like manner. Brat, come out and die. A savage look surged on the tiger-headed elder's face as he sensed the energy within his body that had suddenly surged. His throat emitted a furious roar as a blood luminescence swiftly agglomerated on his fist. In the blink of an eye, it agglomerated into a large tiger head made out of energy. The mouth of the tiger widened and a stench pounced over. The sharp fangs appeared to possess a limitless amount of energy. Anything that it bit would instantly turn into powder. A countless number of gazes were focusing on this battle. When they noticed that the aura of the tiger-headed elder had soared, they understood that he had already took away that strength. Hence, numerous gazes were gathered on the silver-colored light figure in front of him. If this punch of his struck his target, Xiao Yan would definitely be seriously injured on the spot regardless of how stubbornly strong he was. The hearts of Hai Budong and the others on the fortress had been raised to their throats at this moment. Quite a number of people had halted their breathing and their faces had turned bright red. This punch from the tiger-headed elder had gathered everyone's attention at this moment. The tiger-headed elder's ferocious punch finally carried a strength that came from all directions as it violently smashed onto the silver-colored light figure in front of a countless number of gazes. Bang. The low, deep sound of flesh colliding suddenly resounded over the sky at this moment. The faces of a countless number of people instantly turned white. Had Xiao Yan really been hit? The huge tiger-headed fist violently smashed into the silver glow. When the low, deep, muffled sound appeared, the tiger-head elder's face suddenly turned unusually ugly. His voice had become somewhat sharp because of his anxiety, be careful, this is a fake. He hurriedly expelled the Dozong strength within his body during that instant when that sharp cry sounded. In this way, his other two companions would be able to immediately obtain the strength when they needed to use it. The other two elders' expressions drastically changed when they heard the sharp scream. The bareheaded elder was the first to react. 
He absorbed the Dozong's strength, which was swimming in a lightning-like manner among the three of them, into his body the instant the silver figure was about to approach his body. Chi. The fist struck the light figure and the expression of the bareheaded elder once again changed. He spoke furiously, third brother, be careful. This is also a fake. His actual body is at your side. The final lion-headed elder's face had turned unusually ugly when the roar was emitted. This was because the silver-colored light figure was already within close proximity and did not allow him to react. By the time he had sensed the Dozong's strength enter his body, the light figure violently smashed into his body in front of the countless number of shocked gazes. He didn't even have the time to use the strength. Bang. A thunder-like explosion resounded over the sky in a deafening manner. A frightening fire wave immediately swept over. Gurg. A human figure suddenly spat out a mouthful of fresh blood in a wild manner the instant the fire wave swept over the sky. After which, the figure immediately became just like a bird with broken wings as it fell to the ground. The entire battleground had turned completely silent at this moment as they looked at the fallen figure. This was especially when their gazes gathered on this person's head. Their heads immediately buzzed and exploded. This was because the seriously injured person was not the lion-headed elder that everyone expected nor the bear-headed elder, who was the second to attack, but the first tiger-headed elder who had clearly attacked but failed to strike that silver-colored light figure. The dullness continued for a moment before a countless number of gazes suddenly shifted up. After which, everyone could see a black-robed, young man who was panting in the sky. The fire armor on the chest area of the ladder had completely burst apart. A bright red tiger-headed palm print appeared on his chest. Moreover, a thread of remnant blood trace hung on the corner of his mouth. A countless number of gazes including the remaining two Mulan elders were dull as they looked at this panting black-robed, young man. A storm of shock surged within their hearts. Among the three silver-colored figures, the one that charged toward the tiger-headed elder was the true body. The remaining two were illusions. Who would have imagined that Xiao Yan would actually risk receiving the punch and use a method that other people were unaware of to deceive the tiger-headed elder? After which, he suddenly revealed his body when the Dozong's strength had scattered to unleash a fatal blow. The two illusory light figures had become the baits that had caused the Dozong's strength to be absorbed away by the remaining two people. Such scheming was indeed deep. By being able to think of such a method of dealing with an enemy within such a short period of time, it must be said that this fellow's battle experience was really frightening. Compared to the stunned looks of the remaining people, the hearts of the two Mulan elders were completely cold. They clearly understood that they still had some confidence even when Xiao Yan had split into three and headed for them. With the speed at which the Dozong's strength was transferred, they were still able to transfer it to the other two during the instant that Xiao Yan had appeared. In order words, they still had another chance even if one of them made a mistake. It was just like how the tiger-headed elder still had time left to transfer the Dozong's strength to the bear-headed elder after using it. By counting it in this manner, they had two out of three chances of catching Xiao Yan. Instead, Xiao Yan only had one out of three chances to truly unleash his attack. However, no one expected that he would actually receive the blow and use his mysterious agility skill to deceive the tiger-headed elder. After which, he had unleashed a truly fatal attack when the Dozong's strength was absorbed away by the other two people. Although he had paid the price of being wounded this time around, he was able to seriously injure the tiger-headed elder. Next, the two Mulan elders who had lost the three beast savage skill were merely just ordinary experts at the peak of the Do Huang class. Even though there might be two of them left, their threat level had greatly declined from how Xiao Yan looked at it. If one were to describe it in detail, the victor of this battleground had already been decided. Chapter 765, Eagle Cry Hai Budong and everyone else on the fortress were stunned for quite a while before they let out a heavy sigh of relief. Their hands rubbed their foreheads only to discover that it was covered in cold sweat. This little fellow, he is too reckless. Hai Budong swallowed a mouthful of saliva and spoke with some fear still lingering in him. Jia Xingtian bitterly laughed as he said, when does he not exceed others' expectations when he appears? The young people now do indeed have a striving attitude, if it was me, I would definitely not do such a thing. Xiao Ding, who was seated in a wheelchair, heaved a sigh of relief at this moment. His tense body seemed to become weak as he leaned against the back of the chair and sighed. This battle today is finally settled. Hai Budong and the other few people nodded their heads upon hearing this. The reason that the three Mulan elders were frightening was because they were comparable to an elite Dozong when they joined hands and used the three beast savage skill. However, one of the three elders was seriously wounded by Xiao Yan. Naturally, it was difficult for them to use the three beast savage skill to its maximum ability. Once one effect was lost, the remaining two Mulan elders were merely two people at the peak of the Do Huang class. They no longer possessed the capital to act arrogantly. With Xiao Yan's strength, it would definitely be much more relaxing for him to deal with two elders at the peak of the Do Huang class compared to an elite Dozong despite him having been injured. Moreover, the most important point was that he had not only delayed the three Mulan elders but he had also crippled one of them. In which case, there would no longer be anyone going to interfere in the other battleground between Medusa and Yan Luo Tian. Given Medusa's strength, defeating Luo Yan Tian was only a matter of time. Once the three Mulan elders and Yan Luo Tian failed today, the danger that the Jiama Empire faced would not only be immediately relieved, but they might also have the capital to cause the three sects to suffer terrible losses. The eyes of everyone on the fortress could not help but reveal a wild joy when they thought of the arrival of that day. 
During this one year, they had been beaten by the three sect alliance until they could no longer raise their heads. If they were to continue losing, losing their country and hope was a fate that everyone would face. The one who had overturned such despair was the young man in the sky who dared to use his life to engage in an all-out battle. He had used his life to gamble and obtain a chance of survival for the Jiama Empire. He had also gambled and won the avoidance of the ending where everyone would have to leave their homes. Yume's delicate hand covered her red lips. Her alluring snake pupils flickered while revealing a shock that was difficult to hide. The lightning-fast battle earlier had attracted the attention of a countless number of people and had similarly raised her heart to the highest point. However, it was fortunate that Xiaoyan had finally stood with the stance of a victor at the end of this battle, which was filled with ups and downs. This fellow, no wonder Her Majesty would trust him so much. He actually possesses some ability. Yume muttered softly. Her eyes studied the black-robed, young man in the sky who had a trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. A haughtiness that a young man ought to have was faintly present between his brows. An unusual fluctuation surged within Yume's heart. Who could have imagined that the young man back then, who was chased by her until he was forced to flee in a miserable manner, had actually become the owner of the strongest faction within the Jiama Empire and the idol that was respected within the hearts of the Jiama Empire people. This growth speed was really too quick. It was so fast that it left one dazzled. The battleground where Medusa and Yen Lutian were located paused the moment the tiger-headed elder fell from the sky after being seriously injured. The latter's eyes drifted immediately and his expression immediately became unusually ugly. He furiously roared, you three old fellows from the Milan Valley have actually been turned into such a state by an expert Do Wong. Didn't you tell me that you would finish him off within ten exchanges? Medusa acted differently from the furious Yen Luo Tian. Joy flashed in her eyes because of this. She raised her pretty pupils and looked toward the black-robed, young man in the distant sky, who was now standing with his hands behind him. Some warmth sparkled in her eyes. The young man whom she could kill with a raise of her hand a couple of years ago had grown to an extent where he could fight with an elite Dozone without anyone realizing it. At this moment, even someone as haughty as Medusa could not help but admit that the gap between Xiao Yan and her was swiftly narrowing at a speed that left one speechless. At a certain time in the future, he might truly surpass her. At that time, according to the unofficial rule that had been passed between Medusas over the generations, the husband of the queen must have a strength that was even stronger than her. A faint redness appeared on Medusa's cold, indifferent, bewitching face when she thought of this. This instantaneous moving look caused the furious Yen Luo Tian on the opposite side to violently swallow a mouthful of saliva. This woman, she could be said to be a bewitching demon to a man. If the other party's strength was not as strong as it was, he would definitely forcefully abduct her regardless of what happened. Yen Luo Tian's eyes had just paused on Medusa's face for a moment when he suddenly sensed an ice-cold gaze suddenly shooting over. A thought struck him and he saw that Medusa on the opposite side was staring intently at him. A dense killing intent filled her eyes. Clearly, Yen Luo Tian's earlier presumptuous weighing up had stirred the killing intent of this temperamental Queen Medusa. Yen Luo Tian immediately felt somewhat uneasy upon being looked at by the poison snake-like gaze. He was just about to move when a cold glow shot over explosively, intending to remove both his eyes. Leave your pair of dog eyes here. Yen Luo Tian was slightly angry as he sensed the vicious attack of Medusa. This woman's heart was indeed not just ordinarily vicious. It was likely that he would not dare to sleep in the same bed with such a pretty female snake that carried a poison, even if he really managed to gain her. Yen Luo Tian's body moved while he held this thought within his heart. Although he clearly knew that he was no match for Medusa, as the sect leader of the Gold Geese sect, he was naturally unable to simply withdraw in front of the countless number of gazes. During the time that Medusa and Yen Luo Tian fell into another intense battle, the tiger-headed elder, who was falling to the ground, was received by a couple of flying rays of light among the army outside the fortress. After which, they hurriedly withdrew into the large army. Xiao Yan's gaze indifferently observed the tiger-headed elder who was received. He felt somewhat regretful. It was unexpected that the angry Buddha Lotus Flame, formed from the agglomeration of two kinds of heavenly flame, was still unable to take his life even with such a close proximity explosion. However, it was fortunate that the Elder had suffered extremely serious injuries despite not dying, and would not be able to fully recover within a short period of time. Moreover, even if he managed to be cured, he would definitely suffer some sequelae that was difficult to remove. After all, the angry Buddha Lotus Flame was not some ordinary Do technique that was easily thought of. Xiao Yan slowly shifted his gaze up before finally pausing on the two Mulan Elders on the opposite side. A cold smile surfaced on the corner of his mouth. Having lost the collaboration of the formation, the three beast savage skill had clearly begun to suffer a great discount. Within such a short period of time, the two beast heads on the elder's body, that were agglomerated from blood-colored energy, had become much more illusionary. Although the beast head was somewhat illusionary, this did not hinder the two elders from throwing a vicious look towards Xiao Yan. Clearly, having their three beast savage skill being broken by a Do Huang class brat in front of so many people had caused them to lose all their face. When they returned to the valley in the future, there would be some people who would say nothing in front of them, but would definitely quietly mock them behind their backs. All of this ridicule that they were about to receive was given by this black-robed, young man in front of them. You too, I wonder if this, three-beast savage skill, of yours is still effective after you have lost one person. Xiao Yan smiled as he looked at the ugly faces of the two Mulan elders and laughed. A brat who only knows some unorthodox methods. 
You merely have temporarily good luck. What is there to be proud about? That palm earlier was not nice right. The bareheaded elder clenched his teeth as spoke. It is still all right. I am able to endure until I finish off the both of you. Xiao Yan carelessly laughed. This little injury was completely different from the battle with Yin Shan back then. Arrogant brat. Even though we have lost one person, the two of us are enough to take you down. Once you are captured, we will ruthlessly turn all the bones in your body into powder and see if you can still run so quickly. The lion-headed elder's voice was filled with viciousness. Xiao Yan merely shook his head when he heard these vicious words. They were but two people at the peak of the Dou Huang class who were quite strong. Although they were a little troublesome from his point of view, the two of them could not be said to be difficult to deal with. Xiao Yan's face did not change. The Dou Qi within his body began to swiftly circulate and the seal in his hand had also suddenly changed. A complicated handprint left behind numerous afterimages as it flipped and flew. The two elders from the Mulan Valley hurriedly became focused upon seeing Xiao Yan using his hand seals. After having suffered such a great loss earlier, they would truly be considered fools if they were to underestimate Xiao Yan again. Xiao Yan watched the actions of the two old men with a cold smile. The change of his hand seal became increasingly quick. With his current strength, he would definitely be able to cause these two old fellows to suffer if he unleashed the open mountain skill with all his strength. Li. A sharp eagle cry suddenly resounded over the sky just as Xiao Yan's hand seal was about to suddenly erupt. Finally, it reverberated over this area in a mighty manner. The faces of everyone present other than Xiao Yan changed slightly upon hearing this eagle cry. The expressions of Hai Budong and the others on the fortress also turned unusually ugly. Isn't she recuperating? Why has she appeared again? Chapter 766, Poison Sect Sect Leader Xiao Yan, who was forming a hand seal, became slightly stunned when the eagle cry resounded over the sky. His brows were knit slightly the moment he saw the wild joy on two Mulan elders' faces that had suddenly appeared. His gaze also followed the direction from which the eagle cry was transmitted and looked over. Brat, I want to see if you can defeat another elite Dozong in your current condition. The bareheaded elder's gaze was filled with a viciousness as he looked at Xiao Yan and laughed in a savage manner. Xiao Yan was expressionless. His gaze merely stared at the distant sky behind the alliance army from the three large empires. A large figure was rushing over in a lightning-like manner from that direction. The figure swiftly broke through the sky and finally appeared in front of everyone's gazes in a sudden manner a moment later. One could see that the large figure was surprisingly a serene blue-colored eagle. The large eagle was a completely serene blue color. Its sharp large mouth was curled into a cold arc that contained a cold glow. Those large eagle claws under it were incomparably sharp. Just looking at this size, it seemed to have the strength to easily smash rocks. The large three empires army suddenly went into an uproar when this enormous serene blue eagle appeared. Some of the people knelt on the ground while looking at the enormous eagle that flew over. Their faces were filled with a wild heat. Lee. Another loud and clear eagle cry resounded over the place. It finally carried a wild wind and appeared in the sky. Enormous pairs of large wings were slowly flapped and the slight wind that it carried immediately transformed into tiny wind cyclones that swept in all directions. The huge eagle was suspended in the sky and the gazes of everyone present gathered on that eagle's head. There was a graceful lovely figure quietly standing at that spot. The surrounding wild wind that blew over did not even cause the corner of her clothes to flap. The lady was wearing loose purple red clothes. Her sleeves had an expensive purple gold thread dexterously sewn around it, appearing extraordinarily luxurious. Of course, the thing that attracted the most attention was that bright snow-white long hair which softly scattered downward, appearing just like a splashing silver waterfall. The woman's face was covered by a veil that hid it from sight. Although the face appeared hazy, it gave a person a curiosity to investigate. Additionally, the thing that appeared somewhat strange were her purple-gray eyes that were as unemotional as withered bark. Over half of the flying rays of light in the sky hurriedly stopped when they saw the white-haired lady who was standing on the large eagle. They were suspended in the sky while bowing and greeting her. Greeting Sec Leader the white-haired woman who had suddenly appeared also shook the battleground of Medusa and Yen Luotian. The two of them withdrew a couple of steps after an intense collision. Yen Luotian swiftly wiped a thread of blood trace from the corner of his mouth. His body withdrew in a lightning-like manner. When he did so, he did not forget to laugh loudly to Medusa's ice-cold face, ha ha, how unfortunate. Although the three useless Milan elders have failed, we still have the sect leader of the poison sect. This is an elite dozone whom even you can do nothing against. Today, the fate of the Jiama Empire has been sealed. Medusa's face was ice cold. A pair of pupils that contained killing intent leaped past Yan Luo Tian and stared at the white haired lady on that enormous eagle. Xiao Yan exchanged looks with the two Mulan elders in front of him after Yan Luo Tian withdrew his body. He also flashed and withdrew. Within a couple of flashes, he appeared near the enormous eagle before carefully pausing his body. He no longer dared to advance. All of them knew that this white haired lady was too frightening when it came to using poison. If he were to get to close, it was likely that he would not even realize just when he was poisoned and become unconscious. The cheer that was originally on the fortress had completely disappeared. A 
An exceptional silence covered the top of the walls. A countless number of people were looking at that lady with drifting white hair on that enormous eagle. Their eyes held a fear that was emitted within their heart. This kind of look was something that did not even appear when Yen Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders appeared at the same time. Isn't she recuperating? Why, would she actually appear at this time? Hai Budong's hand that was placed on the walls involuntarily trembled. His voice was also unusually hoarse as he spoke. The expressions of Jia Xing Tian, F.A. Ma, and the others were not very good. Even if Medusa were to attack, it was difficult for her to be victorious in the face of this extremely mysterious sect leader of the poison sect. Moreover, that unusual and peerless poison skill caused one to have difficulty defending against. With her appearance, it was likely that the threat today would soar once again. Xiao Ding gently rubbed his forehead. His eyes revealed a defeated expression. Clearly, the appearance of this mysterious leader of the poison sect weighed down on him. That sect leader from the poison sect had only just appeared but she had already caused people from the Jiama Empire to fall into such a low atmosphere. From this, it could be seen just what kind of fearful heart the people from the Jiama Empire held toward her. While in the sky, Xiao Yan's expression was dark and solemn as he watched the two Mulan elders withdraw. After which he threw his gaze toward the white-haired lady on the enormous eagle. His heart slightly sank. He could sense that this mysterious woman's strength was extremely frightening. It was likely that she was not much weaker than Medusa. It seemed that the situation today was becoming increasingly worse. She is that sect leader of the poison sect, you should be careful. Medusa's figure moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. Her face was solemn as she spoke. Xiao Yan's heart once again violently sank when he saw that even Medusa revealed such an expression. It seemed that this sect leader of the poison sect really did have an extremely frightening strength. Do you have confidence in dealing with her? Xiao Yan softly inquired. Difficult, this person is also extremely strange. It is already my limit to block her. Unless we really fight to the point where both of us are defeated with serious injuries, it is extremely difficult to defeat her. Medusa hesitated for a moment before shaking her head and sighing. Xiao Yan could only softly sigh when he heard this. He turned his head to look at the deathly silent atmosphere of the walls, clenched his teeth and said, it is also alright to just block her. The other party's three Mulan elders have been crippled by me. Leave Yan Luo Tian for me to deal with. Medusa once again hesitated before slightly nodding. However, her heart vaguely sank. Although she and Xiao Yan might be able to block the two elite Dozongs from the other side, the experts from the three sects far outnumbered those from the Jiama Empire. If they were to launch a full attack on the fortress, it was likely that the fortress would really be unable to last for long before it would fall. If this large alliance army were allowed to charge into the empire at that time, they would be extremely tired even if they had the excess strength to give chase. However, with the current situation, they were left with no other choice but this. After all, they could not just allow the sect leader of the poison sect and Yen Luo Tian into this offensive and defensive fight. These two people would likely be able to kill quite a number of experts from the Yen Alliance and the Snake People tribe by just lifting their hands. During the time that Xiao Yan was discussing and deciding with Medusa, the purple-gray pupils of the white-haired lady on the enormous eagle in the distance swept indifferently over Yen Luo Tian and the two Mulan elders. Her voice was flat as she said, you two have let this ancestor, refer to oneself as a Dozong, down. Yen Luo Tian and the two Mulan elders revealed an embarrassment on their faces when they heard these words of hers. The former coldly snorted, it is only because these three old fellows were careless. Not only did they fail to finish off the Do Wan class brat but they even let him break their, three beast savage skill, and seriously injure one of them. The two Mulan elders also became furious when they heard Yen Luo Tian make accusations. The elder who had transformed into a bareheaded person earlier said angrily, Sec leader Yen, that fellow is not an ordinary Do Huang. I dare to say that his strange agility earlier is something that even your gold geese sex top agility skill cannot match. No matter how mysterious his agility skill is, he is at the very most merely a Do Huang. Looks like the reputation of the three Mulan elders from the Mulan Valley is over-exaggerated. Yen Luo Tian laughed coldly. His eyes were also filled with fury at this moment. If these three old fellow hadn't failed, how would he end up becoming so miserable in Medusa's hands, resulting in him losing face in front of so many people? Yen Luo Tian, you better not go overboard. My Mulan Valley isn't afraid of your gold key sect. The two Mulan elders immediately became extremely furious as they cried out sternly. Why? You two, who have lost the three beast savage skill, also dare to scream at me. Yen Luo Tian narrowed his eyes while he spoke in a dark and sinister manner. The Mulan Three Elders without the Three Beast Savage skill were merely just ordinary people at the peak of the Do Huang class. They did not pose much of a threat in the eyes of an elite Do Zone. You. The Three Mulan Elders were extremely furious. Their faces swelled to a purple color but they did not dare to attack. Finished bickering. The white-haired woman on the enormous eagle spoke in an indifferent manner while the three people were picking on each other. Yen Luo Tian and the two Mulan Elders felt a chill on their faces when they heard the coldness in her voice. They once again looked at each other ferociously before turning their eyes away. Mulan two elders, the both of you should gather with the other experts in the army after this. Grey purple eyes swept over the two people's body as the white-haired lady spoke in an indifferent voice. The faces of the two Mulan elders changed a little when they heard this but they could only nod their heads with a bitter smile. 
Having lost the three beast savage skill, they were merely at the peak of the Do Huang class. They were unable to participate in the battles at the Do Zone class. Immediately, they moved their bodies and joined the large army below. The white haired lady glanced at Yan Luo Tian by the side after dispatching the two Milan elders. Her eyes remained as still as an old well, leave Medusa to me, as for the Do Huang breath that you have mentioned. Her eyes swept over the sky above the fortress when she spoke until this moment. Her gaze paused on Medusa's body before turning to the black robed, young man by the side. The face under the veil were initially startled when she saw the cold, young face. It immediately changed as she involuntarily muttered, How can it be him? Chapter 767 Agility Fight The sudden change in the white haired lady aroused the attention of Yen Luo Tian by her side. He was also surprised. This was the first time in such a long while that he had seen this cold woman reveal such an expression. Poison Sect Leader, what is it? Yen Luo Tian opened his mouth and asked after a moment of hesitation. The white haired woman ignored Yen Luo Tian's inquiry. Her great purplish eyes merely stared intently at the face that had been hidden deep within her memory. A glow flashed in her eyes. She appeared to be struggling over something. This continued for quite a while before the ripple in her eyes slowly became fainter. She inhaled a deep breath of air and those great purplish eyes once again recovered their indifference. For some unknown reason, her eyes were unwilling to remain on Xiao Yan's face. I'll leave him to you. The white-haired woman waved her hand and finally opened her mouth to speak. Yan Luo Tian smiled and nodded upon hearing this. He laughed in a ferocious manner, relax, I will let him taste a swift death by my hands. His voice had just sounded when he suddenly sensed a gaze that was filled with a dense chill shooting over. He immediately turned his head, only to see that the white-haired woman's ice-cold eyes were shooting over. Tiny goosebumps immediately rose on Yan Luo Tian's skin upon being stared at in such a manner. His heart was baffled but his face forcefully smiled with great difficulty. He laughed dryly, what is it? Remember, I want him alive. The white-haired woman's voice was filled with a cold sternness. Yan Luo Tian was immediately stunned when he heard this. A strange feeling immediately rose within his heart. Ever since he became acquainted with this leader of the poison sect, he had always felt shocked over the other party's indifferent and emotionless character. Hence, he had always been very afraid of her. This was the first time in such a long time that he had actually heard her utter such a request. Kuku, since the poison sect's leader has such a request, it will naturally not be a problem. Should the army attack after we begin the battle? If we break this fortress of theirs, it is likely that the other side's morale will fall. Along with it, the experts from the Jiangma Empire will also have the intention of withdrawing. In this way, we can also save a lot of trouble. Yan Luo Tian hurriedly laughed while this thought lingered over his heart. The eyes of the white-haired woman flickered. This method was her original intention. However, for some reason the current her was somewhat hesitant to do this. This was because she knew that if she truly did that, the Jiangma Empire would definitely suffer countless numbers of injuries and deaths. He. The white-haired woman clenched her silver teeth slightly while her voice spoke in a cold manner, there is no need to. The Jiangma Empire will naturally fall apart themselves without us attacking as long as we defeat these two people. The white-haired woman withdrew her icy cold eyes once she said this. Her toes pressed on the head of the eagle and her body was immediately suspended in the sky. That enormous eagle flapped its enormous wings and flew to the side. Yen Luo Tian helplessly shook his head as he looked at the white-haired woman who had descended from the eagle's head. Would he not have to work harder in order to do as he was told? The lovely figure of the white-haired woman stood in the empty air. Her grayish-purple eyes coldly glanced at Medusa as she slowly said, Medusa, surrender. I will give your snake people race a satisfactory place to stay in the future. Dream on. Medusa gave a ridiculing smile. How could someone as haughty as her accept this kind of charity-like gift? Since you are so stubborn, this ancestor, referred to a Dozone, can only destroy your entire snake people tribe. The white-haired woman was not disturbed. Her tone was still calm but the words that she spoken were so cruel that it caused one's heart to become cold. You can come and try. A dark, cold expression appeared on Medusa's face. She was also extremely angry at this white-haired woman. You are that sect leader of the poison sect. Xiao Yan, who was standing by the side, swept his eyes over this white-haired woman while he frowned and asked in a deep voice. A slight glint appeared in that woman's eyes when she heard Xiao Yan's voice. She lowered her eyes slightly and calmly questioned, Who are you? The chief of the Xiao Alliance, Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan cupped his hands and spoke with a faint smile. The white-haired woman clenched her delicate hand under her sleeves when she heard this name that had been hidden in her memory. However, there was not much fluctuation in her voice, let the Yan Alliance surrender. I will guarantee that not a single person will be hurt. The eyes of Yan Luo Tian, who was following behind the white-haired woman, became much stranger when he heard these words. Not a single person would be hurt. Why was it that these words had a ridiculing effect when spoken from the mouth of this female demon who was numb from killing people? However, she seemed to be somewhat unusual today. A thought flashed within Yan Luo Tian's heart as his eyes suddenly looked at the black-robed, young man. It seems that this leader of the poison sect had become somewhat unusual when making contact with this person. Did she have a crush on this fellow? If I were to actually surrender, there is likely no need for me to return and meet my clan members. 
We can forget about sect leader's good suggestion. Xiao Yin smiled faintly. His smile was somewhat mocking in nature. His gaze swept over the white-haired woman once again. For some unknown reason, his heart faintly felt a familiar feeling. However, he had no leads if he wanted to explore around. After all, the current her had undoubtedly undergone a drastic transformation in terms of character, appearance, and image compared to back then. Yen Luo Tian's eyes became cold when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He was just about to open his mouth to reprimand him when he suddenly remembered something. His eyes glanced at the white-haired woman by his side. After hesitating for a moment, he swallowed these words. The white-haired woman immediately let out a soft sigh when she heard this. Her pair of grey purplish eyes turned towards Medusa as she spoke in a faint voice, your support should be her right. Since that is the case, I will defeat her and see whether you will still be so stubborn after that. What bold words. It seems that the palm from the last time did not let you know how to hold back. Medusa laughed coldly. Majestic Dochi suddenly surged out from her body. The surrounding air began to violently fluctuate under the frightening attack by this Dochi. Majestic Dochi spread over dozens of meters around the white-haired woman before it seemed to have received an invisible force and ceased moving further. Some seven-colored Dochi that had forcefully entered it began to be separated into nothingness at a speed visible to the naked eye. Yen Luotian laughed when he saw that the two people had already quietly began to face off against each other. His body moved and rushed towards Xiao Yan. A cold smile appeared on his mouth as he said, Brat, I did not expect you to break the three beast savage skill of the three Mulan elders. I am also interested in that agility do technique of yours. I will definitely study it properly after capturing you. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed as he watched Yan Luo Tian rushing over. The fire wings on his back were flapped as he hurriedly withdrew. Compared to the Mulan three elders, this fellow was undoubtedly a little more troublesome. After all, he was a genuine elite do zone. That strength belonged to him and he was able to maneuver it as he wished. Xiao Yan's body had just pulled back when a golden glow suddenly brightened on Yan Luo Tian's back. A pair of golden colored wings that were at least 70 to 80 feet in size were swiftly spread apart. They flapped slightly and a wild wind whistled. His speed had suddenly soared. Within a short instant, he had actually appeared beside Xiao Yan. He flapped those enormous goose wings and a countless number of golden glows shot out in all directions. A powerful wind tore through the air and an ear-piercing whistle reverberated unceasingly across the sky. Xiao Yan's expression changed as he sensed that every single part of his body was covered by a dense, cold wind. His heart moved and a fierce jade green flame suddenly surged out from his body. The temperature of the place suddenly soared following the appearance of the flame. Those golden glows were repeatedly transformed into wisps of green flames that quickly disappeared under this high temperature. Heavenly Flame Yan Luo Tian let out a surprised gasp when he saw the jade green flame on Xiao Yan's body. His body advanced instead of withdrawing. His hand formed a blade shape as the bright golden energy surged and violently hacked towards Xiao Yan's neck. The silver glow under Xiao Yan's feet swiftly flickered as he sensed the sharp wind that was contained on Yan Luo Tian's hand blade. His body also strangely flashed back. You want to escape? Yan Luo Tian let out a cold laugh when he saw Xiao Yan's withdrawing figure. His body was twisted into an unusual arc and he immediately stepped forward. That body of his flew through the sky as he followed Xiao Yan like maggots in tarsal bones. Yan Luo Tian, who had swiftly followed, caused Xiao Yan to narrow his eyes slightly. The other party's agility do technique seemed to be extremely mysterious. This was the first time that someone had followed him this closely ever since he had started practicing the 3000 lightning movement. Silver glows once again flashed under his feet as an afterimage remained behind in the same spot. Xiao Yan's body appeared to have teleported as he appeared over 10 meters away. Wind once again rushed towards Xiao Yan just when he had appeared. All he could see was Yan Luo Tian spread his arms in an even manner while his legs were curled slightly back. He appeared as though he was a large flying bird as it flew across the sky and once again caught up with Xiao Yan in an unusual manner. He he, brat. Your agility is indeed quite good. You can compare with my golden geese sex goose flight. If I am able to obtain and practice it, my speed would definitely far exceed an ordinary elite do zone. Yan Luo Tian laughed in a sinister manner. His face had a greediness that he could not hide. Clearly the agility that Xiao Yan displayed had already stirred his greedy heart. Why? Have you stopped running? Yan Luo Tian lifted his brows when he saw that Xiao Yan had actually ceased flying after having been caught up to. The gold light in Yan Luo Tian's hand grew even denser and a sharp force shook the air until it fluctuated slightly. Yan Luo Tian suddenly flapped the goose wings on his back and his body appeared at a spot that was less than a meter from Xiao Yan in a ghost-like manner. He let out a dark smile as the hand blade, which was wrapped in a golden light, ruthlessly hacked at Xiao Yan's arm. The golden light blade cut through the sky. However, before it ruthlessly hacked off Xiao Yan's arm, a cold smile was lifted on the latter's face. The hand seal which was maintained for a long time in his hand was abruptly pushed forward. Immediately, it easily collided with Yan Luo Tian's chest. Open Mountain Seal Chapter 768, Explode The hand seal landed on Yan Luo Tian's chest as Xiao Yan's face suddenly became cold and stern. A majestic, wild, explosive energy suddenly surged out from his palm. Finally, it completely poured into the latter's body from all directions. 
bang, 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 bang. Thunder-like explosions suddenly resounded over the sky in front of a countless number of gazes. A frightening energy ripple which was visible to the naked eye could be seen. Two human figures erupted from the intervening point before being wildly launched in separate directions. Yen Luotian's face became extremely ugly the instant the seal pressed onto his chest. He did not expect that Xiao Yan would be able to rely on his Dou Wan class strength to actually unleash such a powerful Dou technique attack. Although he was caught somewhat off guard, Yen Luotian was still a genuine elite Dou Zone no manner how one put it. With his extraordinary ability to maneuver energy, the surface of his body unleashed a bright golden light the instant that the powerful force surged out from Xiao Yan's palm. Dense gold-colored goose feathers appeared before finally forming a golden goose feather armor that firmly covered his chest area. The powerful force in Xiao Yan's palm arrived as expected the moment the gold goose feathers appeared. Gurg. 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 Grug. Grug. Even though Yan Luotian had summoned out a golden goose feather armor at such a critical juncture, it was still unable to block all the strength after receiving Xiao Yan's full force attack at such a close distance. There was still quite a lot of wild and violent force that shattered the golden armor and firmly imprinted itself onto Yan Luotian's body. His throat immediately felt a sweetness as a mouthful of fresh blood was involuntarily spat out. This mouthful of fresh blood from Yan Luotian had just been spat out when it immediately stirred an exclamation from a countless number of people below. The three large Empire Alliance's army stared at Yan Luotian with stunned looks. Why did this elite Dozong spit out blood after having exchanged blow for barely a few minutes? The faces of the two Mulan elders in the air above the Alliance's army twitched when they saw the scene. Their faces immediately contained a cold smile as they quietly scolded that Yan Luotian deserved it within their hearts. They had already said that this fellow was not an ordinary expert Dou Wang. Yet Yan Luotian had actually dared to rely on his agility to come into such close contact with Xiao Yan. The former really seemed to have too much face to throw aside. Compared to the stunned Three Alliances army, the fortress, which was originally quiet, had erupted into an earth-shaking cheer. At this moment, the fear that originated from the sect leader of the poison sect had become much weaker because of this scene. This fellow. One can really find no flaws in his palm. He also did not drag things out. Hai Budong and the others carried a smile as he praised repeatedly. Little bastard. You little bastard. Yen Luotian immediately lost a great amount of face when he heard the clear cheer from the fortress. A furious curse was yelled out. Golden-colored glows immediately surged from his body before forming over ten sharp golden thorns on his shoulders, arms, elbows, toes, knees, and over ten other places. Yen Luotian appeared to be a fully armed hedgehog with the addition of these pricks. Brat, this ancestor, refers to a dozo, will definitely viciously break your finger off one after another. Yen Luotian's eyes were filled with fury as he grit his teeth and yelled out. The enormous wings on his back flapped after his voice sounded. Yen Luotian rushed toward Xiao Yan. The sharp gold finger sword that was formed pierced toward all of Xiao Yan's fatal points. In his fury, Yan Luotian seemed to have forgotten the instructions that the white-haired woman had given him earlier. Xiao Yan hurriedly withdrew just as the furious Yan Luotian approached. However, Xiao Yan's speed and that of the latter were similar. Hence, it was extremely difficult to completely throw the latter off his tail. They had just exchanged a couple of blows but the clothes on his body had become completely fragmented by the golden thorns that densely covered the other person's body. Numerous bright red blood traces appeared on his body. The blood intersected with one another, looking somewhat savage. Xiao Yan once again dodged the attack of Yan Luotian in a somewhat miserable manner. He suddenly clenched his hand while facing the ground. The heavy Xian ruler that had landed on the ground after being snatched away by the three Mulan elders earlier transformed into a ray of light that shot into the sky. Finally, it landed in Xiao Yan's hand. Clang. 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 Xiao Yan hurriedly waved the enormous ruler's body after the heavy ruler entered his hand. It blocked Yan Luotian's wild, violent attacks. However, despite having the heavy ruler to block him, the waves of powerful strength that followed the ruler and were transmitted over also caused Xiao Yan's hand to nearly become numb. A crazy elite Dou Zone was really too troublesome. This was especially the case for such a person whose body was filled with long thorns. Xiao Yan, who looked to be in a dangerous situation under the wild and violent attack by Yan Luotian in the sky, caused everyone in the fortress to raise their hearts once again. At this moment, the fight between Medusa and the sect leader of the poison sect had become increasingly more intense. If Xiao Yan were to be defeated by Yan Luotian, it would definitely cause Medusa to reveal some opening by feeling worried. At that time, it was likely that the sect leader from the poison sect would take advantage of her opening an attack. Xiao Yan, you must hang on. Hai Budong and the others clenched their fists tightly. Their eyes stared intently at the battle in the sky. Their hearts would tremble a little each time wounds appeared on Xiao Yan's body. They also knew that despite Xiao Yan being able to fight with an elite Dozong after displaying all his strength, that was under the precondition of him going all out until he was quite badly injured. This kind of exchange was similar to him staking his life. The poor situation that Xiao Yan was in was also sensed by the two people in the other battleground who were focusing on his side. Their faces changed slightly. However, they could only clench their teeth violently when they looked at the other party's eyes. 
Their attacks immediately became a little more vicious. These two women were currently being vicious people. It was natural that their fight was exceptionally risky. Their vicious attacking methods caused even some of the audience to feel a chill over their bodies as they watched. In this world, women were indeed more frightening than men when they became fierce. Clang. 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 Five sharp golden thorns violently hooked onto the heavy ruler as a savage look flashed across Yan Luo Tian's face. He suddenly twisted his hand and the heavy ruler rotated suddenly, escaping from Xiao Yan's hand. Yan Luo Tian's body moved in a strange manner after he had struck the heavy ruler aside. He appeared in front of Xiao Yan and viciously slammed his knee into Xiao Yan's lower abdomen. A pale whiteness surfaced on Xiao Yan's face upon receiving such a heavy blow. Traces of blood flowed down the corner of his mouth as a ruthless glint flashed across his eyes. He clenched his fist tightly and ferociously smashed it into Yan Luo Tian's waist. A punch in exchange for a knee. The silver glow under Xiao Yan's feet flashed and he immediately left behind an afterimage as his body shot back. Can you escape? Yan Luo Tian had sensed at the moment that Xiao Yan disappeared. A savage laugh sounded and his body once again curled into a strange arc. Those goose wings on his back were flapped and his body suddenly disappeared. The next time he reappeared, he was actually already behind Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan immediately sensed something when Yan Luo Tian appeared behind him. However, he did not have the time to use the 3000 lightning movement to flee this time around. Yan Luo Tian's fist was ruthlessly smashed against his back. Grug. 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 This punch caused a mouthful of fresh blood to be spat out from Xiao Yan's mouth. His figure also fell toward the ground. Seeing this, Yan Luo Tian smiled viciously and flapped the gold-colored goose wings on his back as he suddenly charged toward the falling Xiao Yan. The fortress immediately let out numerous shocked voices upon seeing the scene. Hai Budong's group also had pale faces. Could Xiao Yan hold on? Old Hai, all of you should prepare to act and rescue third brother. Xiao Ding's expression was dark and solemn while he softly cried out. Hai Budong nodded. Snow White Ice Wings swiftly appeared on his back. After which, he suddenly rushed out and charged toward the position where Xiao Yan was located in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan fell swiftly through the air. Wild wind whistled by the side of his ear while his eyes were tightly shut. His entire person appeared to have fallen into an unconscious state. However, if one were to listen carefully, one would discover that his voice was softly urging, soon, it will be ready soon. The bright golden goose wings extended out, appearing extremely spectacular. Yan Luo Tian looked at Xiao Yan who was within close proximity and the ferocious smile in his eyes became denser. This little Do Huang brat had actually caused him, an elite Do Zone, to spit out blood and become injured in front of everyone. This was no different from publicly giving him a slap, causing him to have difficulty enduring. Therefore, he would capture this fellow no matter what before torturing him properly. Hai Budong who was hurrying over watched Yan Luo Tian, whose speed was so fast that it was terrifying. His face was unusually ugly. He clenched his teeth and raised his speed in an attempt to hurry over and rescue Xiao Yan. Yan Luo Tian's wings were flapped from such close proximity. His body suddenly plunged while his hands ruthlessly grabbed at Xiao Yan's head. However, just as his hand was about to make contact with Xiao Yan's head, the latter's head suddenly turned and dodged it. Xiao Yan's sudden dodge also caused Yan Luo Tian to be surprised. Was this fellow not already unconscious? His surprise lasted for only a short instant before a hatred flashed across his eyes. His leg ruthlessly kicked toward Xiao Yan's back. The leg was wrapped in a golden light as it tore open the air. It was just about to strike its target when Xiao Yan suddenly turned his body and glared at Yan Luo Tian with a ferocious grin. He swung his hand and a palm-sized three-colored fire lotus suddenly shot toward the ladder. Hai Budong, who was rushing over, saw the fire lotus the moment that it was tossed by Xiao Yan. Surprise immediately surged within his eyes. He hurriedly paused his body before rushing back toward the fortress with all his might. Only after seeing the scene did he realize that Xiao Yan had been deceiving everyone earlier. His aim was to give himself the time needed to agglomerate this frightening fire lotus. Xiao Yan's body swiftly fell toward the ground after throwing the fire lotus. His eyes were filled with ridicule as he enjoyed the stunned Yan Luo Tian. His hand seal was formed as he softly spat out from his mouth, explode. 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 Explode 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 explode. Bang. 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 An earth-shaking terrifying explosion immediately sounded. At this moment, a frighteningly wild and violent energy swept over the sky like a tornado. Chapter 769, Prestige The surging fire wave swept down from the sky. Finally, it occupied a thousand foot diameter from the ground to the clouds. A terrifying three-colored fire cloud covered the sky. At this moment, even the sunlight had difficulty penetrating it. The fire wave spread out in a ripple-like manner before its speed suddenly soared. It was as though some powerful energy was pushing it. With a bang, it carried a loud explosion sound as it swept toward the horizon with an extremely fast speed. 
The wild, violent wind that was carried by the sweeping fire wave also spread toward the ground. Immediately, those black masses of soldiers outside of the fortress were like dominoes that had been put together as they completely collapsed to the ground with some noise. In an instant, the chaotic sound charged to the clouds. It was a long while later before they barely managed to arrange their formation and raise their heads. Their eyes were dull and their throats rolled violently as they looked at the thick fire cloud in the sky. Even someone as strong as an elite dozone was likely not going to do well in the face of such a terrifying fire explosion. Those experts from the three sects in the air were shaken by the initial frightening fire lotus wave until their faces were somewhat pale. Their eyes still had some remaining fear by the time the fire wave passed. Such an explosion was indeed too frightening. The two Mulan elders also exchanged looks with one another at this moment. Their eyes contained some relief on top of the shock. It was fortunate that Xiao Yan did not use such a frightening dough technique when they were fighting against him. Otherwise, even though they had the three beast savage skill, it was likely that they would have difficulty withstanding such a frightening attack. No wonder this little fellow could become the chief of the Yen Alliance. He does indeed have some strength. The two of them softly spoke while they wiped cold sweat off their forehead while feeling some lingering fear. I wonder how that Yen Luo Tian is. However, in the face of this frightening energy explosion, he would definitely not end up in a good state even though he is an expert dozo. A countless number of gazes on the battleground were paused on the thick fire cloud in the sky for a moment. After which, those gazes turned toward the figure that was still falling through the air. It was the person who had unleashed this terrifying attack. Haibudo, who had just withdrawn toward the side of the wall, also turned his head and saw the falling Xiao Yan at this moment. He was immediately stunned before he looked at Xiao Ding and the others with an embarrassed smile. He hurriedly turned his body once again and swiftly rushed toward Xiao Yan. However, the latter's body suddenly moved when he had reached a spot not far from Xiao Yan. Those fire wings on Xiao Yan's back were extended out once again. After struggling twice, he actually once again stood in the air with some difficulty. Are you alright? Haibudong also sighed in relief when he saw that Xiao Yan still possessed the strength to remain in the air. He hurried over and quickly inquired when he saw that Xiao Yan's body was covered in injuries. Asterisk cough asterisk, Xiao Yan let out a couple of intense coughs. Although his face was pale white, it seemed that his aura was still quite stable. He did not end up in a state where even his consciousness became blurry like the last time at the Misty Cloud sect. I'm fine. It is just that I feel somewhat weary. The energy that the thing exhausts is really too great. Xiao Yan waved his hand. This action pulled at the injuries on his body, causing him to gently inhale a cool breath of air. He took out two to three jade bottles from his storage ring before flicking his finger. He removed the medicinal liquid within them and scattered it over those injuries on his body. Xiao Yan once again took out a couple of medicinal pills to recover Dou Qi after having completed all these steps. He stuffed them into his mouth before letting out a long breath. You are really reckless. Hai Budong finally spoke with a bitter smile after seeing Xiao Yan complete all of his actions. There's no choice. It is natural that one must pay a price in order to deal with an elite dozone. However, this is already much better compared to the last time. Xiao Yan carelessly laughed. Hai Budong could only bitterly laugh when he heard his response. However, he did have to admit in his heart that Xiao Yan was much better when compared to the previous time. At that time, if Xiao Yan's constitution had not been extremely strong and that he was an alchemist who knew how to use the correct medicines, the frightening injuries that Xiao Yan received would have caused anyone else to suffer from a sequelae even if they managed to completely recover. Their future achievements might even end up remaining at the Dou Wang class forever. Is that fellow dead? Hai Budong threw his gaze toward three colored fire clouds in the sky where even sunlight could not shine through while he asked with some hesitation. Although the strength of the angry Buddha Lotus Flame is great, I am after all one class away from the Dou Zone class. It will naturally be a little difficult to kill him. However, it is not impossible for him to end up with serious injuries or even be crippled despite the difficulty of him dying. Xiao Yan laughed. The corner of his mouth carried an arc that was filled with coldness. Hai Budong smiled when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He was just about to speak when the thick fire clouds emitted waves of intense fluctuations. A hole was immediately created in the fire cloud in front of a countless number of gazes. Immediately, a dim golden glow rushed out from within it. One could even hear a couple of blood vomiting sounds during this time. The human figure that had suddenly broken through the fire cloud was naturally Yan Luo Tian, who had been violently struck by the three-colored lotus flame. However, the latter was currently so miserable that he appeared unsightly. His clothes only thorns and the beautiful, enormous wings on his back seemed to have become like the wings of birds who had all their feathers plucked. The wings were without feathers and extremely ugly. Xiao Yan's hair was scattered in front of his forehead. His body was covered with fresh blood. Of course, the most important thing was that the current Yan Luo Tian's aura had been weakened to an extremely weary state. From the looks of it, it was obvious that he had suffered serious internal injuries from the explosion despite having preserved his life. The entire place was completely silent as everyone looked at this miserable-looking Yan Luo Tian. A moment later, an earth-shaking cheer suddenly resounded over the sky above the fortress. They had once again witnessed this young man creating another miracle with their own eyes. Xiao Yan had defeated the three Mulan elders and Yan Luo Tian within one day. These were two expert dozongs. Such a grand battle achievement was enough to allow Xiao Yan to become famous throughout this northwestern region. 
Along with it, the status of the Yen Alliance and the Jiangma Empire would definitely be raised in this northwestern region. All of these were fought for by the pale-faced, black-robed, young man in the sky by staking his life. He had rescued the Jiangma Empire, which was facing the fate of being destroyed, and saved a countless number of people from the Jiangma Empire from becoming displaced. From today on, Xiao Yan would completely become the most respected hero in the Jiangma Empire. This prestige would be something that was never achieved by even previous emperors and even the Misty Cloud set back then. The young man had advanced step by step from being the trash of the Xiao clan until today. Perhaps after many years, that city called Wuten City would probably tell everyone who arrived at the place that their city had produced a hero who had rescued the entire Jiangma Empire. His name was called Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan and Hai Budong smiled slightly when they heard the earth-shaking cheers that were emitted from the fortress. They raised their heads and looked at Yan Luo Tian, who appeared quite miserable in the sky. After he had revealed himself, the latter had used a terrified gaze to look at Xiao Yan below. After which, he hurriedly maneuvered his terribly damaged body to the Alliance Army's side in a miserable manner. Xiao Yan did not give chase after seeing Yan Luo Tian flee. After having used the three-colored fire lotus, the Dou Qi in his body had been greatly diminished. Even if he gave chase, it would be difficult for him to stop the other party. Moreover, given the injuries within the body of the former, Xiao Yan expected him to be unable to completely recover within half a year. Hence, there was no need to be afraid of him. Xiao Yan's eyes shifted away from Yan Luo Tian's back. Finally, they paused on the battleground between Medusa and the sect leader of the poison sect. At this moment, the two were engaged in a fiery hot battle. Even the fire lotus explosion earlier did not cause them to be distracted. Of course, it was not because they were unable to hear or sense it, they just could not afford to be even slightly distracted. When facing such an opponent, even a slight mistake could result in them ending in a terrible state. Xiao Yan flapped his fire wings. He paused his body at a spot not far from the battleground before crying out in a stern manner, Leader of the Poison Sect, two of your three sect alliances Dozongs have been defeated today. Xiao Yan advises you to withdraw as soon as possible. The two people who were engaging in the intense battle ignored Xiao Yan's cry. Clearly, the two people were fighting in an intense and vicious manner. Xiao Yan could only helplessly shake his head when he saw that his cry was useless. He did not dare to join or enter the battleground in his current condition. Hence, he could only just wait by the side. Perhaps Xiao Yan's presence affected someone's attention, but the originally fiery hot exchange in the battleground was filled with sudden unexpected changes. One could see that the originally quick body belonging to the leader of the poison sect abruptly slowed. Medusa caught this opening in an extremely cunning manner. Her delicate hand was suddenly extended like a poisonous snake before strangely imprinting itself on the former's chest. Grug. A mouthful of blood was spat out from the mouth of the sect leader of the poison sect after she received the blow. However, that fresh blood that had been spat out strangely transformed into a bloody arrow that shot toward Medusa's face. The sudden blood arrow also caught Medusa off guard. At this critical moment, she could only extend her palm and grab it furiously. However, the arrow melted abruptly after she had grabbed it before strangely entering into Medusa's hand. All of these changes occurred in a split second. By the time Xiao Yan had reacted, he discovered that the both of them had already taken a couple of steps back. Their faces appeared somewhat pale. The sect leader of the poison sect stabilized her footing. A cold smile immediately surfaced from the corner of her mouth when she saw the liquid blood entering Medusa's body. However, her cold smile had just appeared when she appeared to have discovered something. Her hand quickly touched her face only to discover that her veil had been knocked off when the blood arrow had shot out a moment ago. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly shot over while she was touching her face. Immediately, that familiar graceful pretty face appeared in his eyes. Xiao Yan's mouth widened slightly as he looked at the face which was still somewhat familiar. His eyes blinked a couple of times. A moment later, his voice involuntarily burst out full of disbelief. Little Fairy Doctor Chapter 770, People Have Changed Despite Everything Else Remaining the Same A great storm seemed to have formed in Xiao Yan's heart as he observed this pretty face which was still somewhat familiar. He never expected this so-called sect leader of the poison sect would actually be the first friend of the other gender he had while he was training back then. She was the little fairy doctor who had been regarded as a fairy in the hearts of a countless number of Qingshan town mercenaries. That pure kind woman was now the sect leader of the poison sect who had caused a countless number of people to feel a fear just from hearing her name. This kind of extreme transformation still caused Xiao Yan to feel a disbelief now that he had seen it with his own eyes. The white-haired woman's lovely body also trembled slightly when she heard the cry that was transmitted from Xiao Yan's mouth. Her great purplish eyes flickered slightly. Her pale white hand immediately rubbed away the blood stain on the corner of her mouth. After which, she placed her blood by the side of her mouth and carefully sucked the blood into it. Her great purplish eyes gradually recovered her calmness after she did all this. She looked at Xiao Yan once again and faintly said, I am not whatever little fairy doctor. You have mistaken me for someone else. Nonsense. Xiao Yan's eyes immediately widened when he heard this. He unceremoniously let out an angry curse. The white-dressed, kind girl back then had left behind an extremely deep impression. Moreover, her unusual constitution and the need to consume poison to continue surviving caused Xiao Yan to have difficulty forgetting her. Hence, he immediately became furious when he heard the other party's words. What are you doing? You are also someone from the Jiangma Empire, why do you still want to start this war? 
Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. A fury was dancing in his eyes as he asked with a low voice. The white-haired woman was quiet. A moment later, she slowly said, the little fairy doctor whom you know has already died. The current me is the leader of the poison sect, Sky Poison Woman. Xiao Yan suddenly felt a foreign feeling as he studied the little fairy doctor, whose expression had been cold and indifferent from the beginning. The her back then might be aware of the condition within her body, but had still stubbornly maintained that kindness. She had wrapped herself firmly and did not wish for other people to be hurt because of her. That kind smile that invaded people's hearts caused a countless number of people to be drowned within it. However, that somewhat alluring thing had already left her. Is it because of that woeful poison body? Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly as he spoke. Her transformation had caused him to feel a pain within his heart. I have originally been born from woe and my reason for surviving was to spread misery. The eyes of the little fairy doctor were slightly absent-minded while she looked at the furious Xiao Yan. She appeared to have recalled some of the things back then. Her cold and indifferent face slowly became warmer as she softly said, Back then, I once told you that I will sooner or later end up like this. This is the fate of the woeful poison body. It has been the case throughout the generations. It is not like there is no cure for the woeful poison body. You are merely allowing yourself to fall. Xiao Yan furiously reprimanded with a painful heart. As long as anyone touches the current me, that person will die in the most painful manner in front of me. You don't understand the events that have happened to me these years. The little fairy doctor's face revealed a loneliness. After she had left the Jiaoma Empire back then, she had also thought that she would be able to suppress this so-called, woeful poison body. However, reality was extremely cruel. She had stayed in a small mountain village for a year after she had left the Jiaoma Empire. There, she had stayed in the house of two old people who were without children. The two elderly saw that she was cute and kind and had persuaded her to stay in the small mountain village. Moreover, they viewed her like their own child and the people in the village viewed her as part of the family. She was extremely happy during that year. She, who had been displaced since she was young, had never enjoyed this kind of blissful feeling that warmed the areas deep in her heart with the exception of the unforgettable genuine friendship she had with Xiao Yan in Qingshan town. She treasured this feeling extremely greatly and had repeatedly swore that she would protect it. However, the eruption of the woeful poison body caused all of this to change. First, it was the two old people, who had viewed her as their daughter, dying in the most painful manner in front of her all because they had touched her body. Although the two elderly people were looking at her with kind and gentle eyes just before they had died, it was these eyes that truly caused her heart to be pierced into pieces. There were some people in the village who had died in a painful manner because of her after the two elderly people died. In the end, she had finally dragged her tired body and left with the corpses of the two old people in front of the hateful and fearful eyes of the people in the village. She buried the corpses of the two elderly people and knelt in front of their graves until she nearly fainted. By the next time she had awoken, her hair had turned snow white in color. She touched her white hair which caused some people to be afraid and finally understood that she was a bane existence who would bring woe to the people around her. Since that was the case, what was the use of being kind? She treated people kindly only to see them dying in the most painful manner in front of her. Was this kind or cruel? After coming to terms with this, the kindness the little fairy doctor always showed was forced to hide deep within her heart. The person who was released was the cold and emotionless sky poison woman. By looking at the rapidly changing expression on the little fairy doctor's face, Xiao Yan was aware that quite a number of things had happened to her these few years. These events were perhaps the reason for her transformation. Xiao Yan sighed quietly in his heart. His heart also appeared to be in a complete mess. He knew that since she possessed the woeful poison body, the little fairy doctor would definitely not be able to live a smooth life. The woeful poison body would repeatedly torture hers as well as the people around her. Grug. The sound of blood being spat out was suddenly emitted from behind Xiao Yan just as he was quietly sighing in his heart. He turned around to look, only to be shocked. He saw that Medusa's expression had suddenly become pale. What is it? Xiao Yan asked in surprise as he hurriedly turned around. Her blood contains poison. A painful look flashed across Medusa's face. She quickly clenched her silver teeth and moved the Dou Qi within her body, trying her best to expel the poisonous liquid that was destroying the interior of her body. Xiao Yan's face also changed when he heard this. He turned around and looked angrily at the little fairy doctor. Whoever touches the woeful poison body will be unlucky. She can only blame herself. The little fairy doctor ignored Xiao Yan's gaze while she spoke. Those icy cold eyes of hers were looking at Medusa. It is merely a little poisonous liquid yet you want this queen to submit. This queen is able to take your life even before the poison acts. Medusa's eyes suddenly turned cold as she spoke in a dense manner. Do you want to come and try? The little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes also unleashed a cold glint as she spoke without backing down. Enough. Xiao Yan immediately roared furiously when he saw that the two people were about to fight once again. Xiao Yan's roar caused the two of them to be a little quieter. When he saw this, he raised his head to the little fairy doctor and said in a deep voice, Little fairy doctor, I once told you back in the little valley that I, Xiao Yan, will still be your friend regardless of whether you reach this stage in the future. These words are still the case even now. I have already forgotten about those matters back then. The eyes of the little fairy doctor glimmered as she coldly replied. If you have forgotten, you can come and attack me. 
Xiao Yan coldly smiled. After which, he actually walked toward the little fairy doctor without any defense. Be careful. Medusa hurriedly said when she saw Xiao Yan's actions. That woman's entire body was filled with lethal poison. Even she felt somewhat troublesome when coming into contact with it. Xiao Yan waved his hand and indicated to her that there was no need to worry. His footsteps did not pause even once. The face of the little fairy doctor vaguely changed when she saw Xiao Yan walking over. Her eyes revealed a struggling expression. Xiao Yan's footsteps paused in front of the little fairy doctor. He looked at that pale white face where her grayish purple eyes were lowered. He sighed, you have not forgotten. The woeful poison body is not something that is without cure. There is no need for you to despair. How easily said. The corner of the little fairy doctor's mouth revealed a tragic look. She was clearer than anyone about how terrifying the woeful poison body was. Xiao Yan knit his brows when he saw her expression. After which, he extended his hand and tried to touch the little fairy doctor's pale white face. However, the latter was cautious and she hurriedly took a few steps back. She sternly cried out, are you seeking to die? I only wish to let you know that even though the woeful poison body may be unusual, it is not something that can kill whoever it wishes to. Therefore, there is no need for you to give up on yourself. Moreover, you are already no longer that ignorant girl from back then, and I am also no longer that little doja back then who was forced to flee miserably after being chased by a small mercenary company. Xiao Yan smiled. His feet slipped and he appeared beside the little fairy doctor. His hand moved and grabbed the little fairy doctor's hand. The little fairy doctor was anxious when her arm was grabbed. She hurriedly used her strength to flee as she angrily asked, What exactly are you trying to do? Xiao Yan smiled. He raised his hand. At the moment, the palm of his head already turned extremely black. His heart moved and the glazed lotus heart flame immediately surged out. When the flame rose, that dark black color swiftly faded away. In an instant, his hand recovered to what had previous vigor. With the glazed lotus heart flame protecting him, most poison would be purified by it. The only exception would be those extremely lethal and unmatchable poisons. Xiao Yan's hand waved toward the somewhat stunned little fairy doctor. His face had also gradually become increasingly more solemn as he slowly said, If you still treat me as your friend, you should stop continuing to error on. If you are like this, you will only increase the rate at which the woeful poison body will erupt. The moment it completely erupts, no human or beast within a 500 kilometer radius will survive. Everything will be too late at that time. Even though you can isolate the lethal poison of the woeful poison body, it is definitely impossible to undo it. The little fairy doctor shook her head slightly and spoke with a bitterness. She had also investigated many as much as she could during these few years. However, she did not find even a little information about resolving the woeful poison body. The woeful poison body is naturally born. It is indeed very difficult to resolve. Xiao Yan nodded. He studied the little fairy doctor's eyes, which had lost their luster, and spoke in a deep voice, it might be impossible to undo it but I can help you completely control it. Chapter 771, The Ceasing of the Big Battle The sudden end of the big battle in the sky also caused the countless number of people below to be at a loss. Private conversations repeatedly appeared among them as they made various guesses. Hai Budong had already returned to the fortress at this moment. He could only spread his hands in the face of the many gazes that everyone threw over, indicating that he was unaware of what had happened in the sky. That vicious and ruthless woman ceased fighting. This is really unexpected. Could it be because she is afraid of Xiao Yan? However, now that Xiao Yan has used the fire lotus once, he should also be quite weak, no. Jia Xingtian voiced his thoughts. Who cares what the reason is? It is naturally best that that woman is stopped. After all, the strange and unpredictable poison skill of hers is really too frightening. She has yet to completely unleash it now. Once she does so, the poison vapor will drift over. These ordinary soldiers would die upon contact. F.A. Ma sighed. The sect leader of the poison sect might not be much stronger than Medusa in terms of fighting ability, but her frightening poison skill was able to easily cause their side to suffer large losses of manpower. Hence, if they could try their best to avoid becoming real enemies, it was actually the best ending for the Jiama Empire. They seem to be discussing something, hopefully third brother will be able to truly suppress this woman. That way, the Jiama Empire will also be able to avoid a great calamity. Xiao Ding sighed. During this one year, the sect leader of the poison sect had left behind far too deep an impression. Now anytime he thought of the way her unusual poison killed, even Xiao Ding's body felt a chill. Control. Control it how? The little fairy doctor was also somewhat surprised when she heard this. Her eyebrows immediately became vertical and her gaze swept over Xiao Yan's serious expression. She seemed to be a little moved. As long as you are able to completely control this woeful poison body, something like a person unintentionally dying from poison will no longer occur. Instead, the lethal poison in your body can be used by you as you please. Xiao Yan replied in a deep voice. The eyes of the little fairy doctor moved when she heard Xiao Yan's words. She spoke somewhat hesitatingly, you are really able to do it. Trust me. Xiao Yan nodded heavily. Given his experience, he was naturally unable to possess any method that could deal with the woeful poison body. 
However, Xiao Yan had discovered this method as he was flipping through the enormous amount of information that Yao Lao left behind while he was refining pills. This method possessed extremely harsh requirements. The most important item was that one must possess three kinds of heavenly flames. This might be something that was impossible for an ordinary person but it did not pose difficult for Xiao Yan. The fallen heart flame and green lotus core flame in his body along with Yao Lao's bone chilling flame coincidentally added up to this number. Those grayish purple eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan's serious face. Those cold and indifferent eyes of the little fairy doctor slowly began to reveal some gentleness. She vaguely nodded and her eyes immediately turned to Medusa by the side who was clenching her teeth tightly and enduring the pain within her body. She beckoned with her delicate hand and a couple of strange gray purplish pieces of blood came out from the latter's body before finally being absorbed back into the little fairy doctor's body. Medusa's expression swiftly became normal after the grayish purple blood left her body. She coldly said, I could also resolve it by myself. Little fairy doctor was noncommittal. Her eyes turned to Xiao Yan before speaking in a hesitant manner, if you help me control this, woeful poison body, I will scatter this large army and the people from the three sections. What do you say? This time around, my motive for starting this war was to obtain the method to resolve this, woeful poison body. The Jiaoma Empire and the Snake People tribe have suffered great losses in this big battle. Do you wish to just end it this simply? Medusa coldly laughed. If I give the command, the Jiaoma Empire and the Snake People tribe would be completely eliminated even with your protection. You are not some ignorant child and should also understand the principles of the weak being the flesh that the strong eat. A cold glint flashed across the little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes as she spoke in an indifferent voice. In that case, this queen shall see who is stronger and who is weaker. Medusa's face was icy cold. She once again attacked but was halted by Xiao Yan. If she really risks her life and fights, the snake people race and the Jiaoma Empire would indeed suffer great losses under the strength of the three sections. Don't just randomly act on your impulses now. Xiao Yan softly spoke beside Medusa's ear. I am aware that you are acquainted with her. However, this queen will remember the actions she committed against the snake people race. I will definitely take revenge in the future. Medusa's eyes changed slightly. Her gaze swept over the endless black masses that formed the large army below. She immediately clenched her silver teeth and coldly spoke. Xiao Yan let out a bitter laugh and could only quietly sigh. After all those things that she had experienced during these couple of years, the current little fairy doctor was clearly no longer the kind and naive girl from back then. Her ruthless character could only surpass Medusa. This time around, she had ended the big battle because of both Xiao Yan as well as the great attraction of his proposed control of the woeful poison body had toward her. You had mentioned earlier that starting this war was because destroying the Jiaoma Empire would enable you to obtain the method to resolve the woeful poison body. Xiao Yan turned his head. He frowned and inquired after appearing to have recalled something. The little fairy doctor hesitated for a moment after hearing this. Only then did her face reveal a strange look as she said, there was a mysterious organization who came and looked for me. They said that if I could occupy the entire Jiaoma Empire and capture the chief of the Yen Alliance, they would give me the method to undo the woeful poison body. It is just unexpected that the chief of the Yen Alliance is actually you. Medusa and Xiao Yan were stunned when they heard this. It was unexpected that after all the twists and turns, this matter implicated Xiao Yan. Originally, I had many opportunities to destroy the entire Jiaoma Empire during this one year. However, you never revealed yourself. Hence, I have also not really killed. The little fairy doctor's eyes were strange as they swept over Xiao Yan's body. She immediately said, it seems that you have offended quite a number of people during these few years. That mysterious organization seems to be extremely strong. Moreover, they are not afraid of my woeful poison body. Xiao Yan tightly knit his brows. The other party's aim was actually him. He had not offended some overly strong factions during these years. The Black Corner region was also so far from this place, could it be, could it be? A light flashed across Xiao Yan's heart when he thought until this point. His face was dark and solemn as he said, it's the Hall of Souls. Yes, yes, yes. It is that mysterious organization which is gathering spiritual bodies all over the continent. It is just unexpected that they would actually target you. Things seem to be just as you have said. The current you is no longer that small doja from back then. The little fairy doctor did not hide anything as she nodded. Perhaps it was because she had recalled the situation where Xiao Yan had been turned into a miserable state while being chased by the wolf head mercenary company back then. Her cold face also revealed a rarely seen smile. Xiao Yan faintly appeared to be able to see the shadow of the kind girl from within the smile. You look just as beautiful as you did back then when you smile. Xiao Yan also smiled as he spoke with a gentle voice. Little fairy doctor gently bit her lower lip when she heard Xiao Yan's words. She immediately whispered, there are some things that will change. The way I acted back then is not suitable for me. But I liked it very much. Xiao Yan carelessly smiled and replied. Little fairy doctor was slightly startled. Her eyes looked at the face that had a little less tenderness compared to back then before breaking into a grin. Are the people from the Hall of Souls still in the Chuyun Empire? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before suddenly asking. The current him did not know much about the Hall of Souls. Though he accidentally entered that incomparably large rock hall when he had advanced to a Do Huang back then and had even seen Yao Lao, he did not have the slightest clue as to the place where the rock hall was located. 
I am unsure. The people from the Hall of Souls are extremely strange. It would be extremely difficult to find them if one took the initiative to look for them unless it is someone who is very familiar with them. Little Fairy Doctor shook her head and replied. Xiao Yan could only sigh in disappointment when he heard this. He had planned to capture a person from the Hall of Souls alive and obtain some news about the Hall of Souls, Yao Lao, and his father. In that case, I shall disband the large army today. However, you should also quickly help me settle the matter of the woeful poison body. This is because I am able to sense that it is not far from the time that it will completely erupt. Everything will be too late at that time. Little Fairy Doctor spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan nodded slightly and asked, Can you sense when this body will explode? Half a year at the earliest and two years at maximum. Little Fairy Doctor bitterly laughed. So urgent. Xiao Yan frowned as he responded. His face also slightly changed when he heard this. If I was not so pressed for time, I would have not promised the people from the Hall of Souls to start this war. Little Fairy Doctor spoke in a somewhat dejected manner. All right, hopefully it will erupt a little later. As long as the ingredients are gathered, I will definitely allow you to control your woeful poison body. Dot. Xiao Yan thought for a moment before immediately gritting his teeth and replying in a deep voice. Yes, I will come and look for you tonight. Little Fairy Doctor nodded slightly while her gaze deeply studied Xiao Yan. After which, she turned around and flew through the air. The experts from the three sects in the air hurriedly bowed and greeted her when they saw Little Fairy Doctor flying over. She rushed down and glanced at everyone before speaking in an indifferent voice, the three armies shall return to the Chuyun Empire. All the experts in the air were stunned when they heard this. Although they had lost two expert dozones today, the strength of their three sects combined was still very strong. There was definitely not much of a problem breaking through the defensive line of the Jiama Empire. Why would they withdraw? Sect leader. Some people hurriedly spoke while feeling doubts in their hearts. I said withdraw. Withdraw now. However, little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes swept over before these people opened their mouths to question. Her voice was ice cold as she asked, who has any objections? Step forward. A chill rose in everyone's body after those grayish purple eyes swept past. They immediately swallowed the questioning words in their mouths and scattered, transmitting her orders to every corner of the large army. From the sky, Xiao Yan looked at the large army that packed their tents and withdrew upon little fairy doctor's order. He was ultimately unable to resist sighing. Who would have expected that the little physician from a medicinal shop back then would actually become the true overlord of the Chuyun Empire? Such a change was really worlds apart. Chapter 772, Night Meeting Hai Budong and the others on the fortress were startled for quite a while when they saw the Three Empires Alliance army suddenly began to withdraw in a torrent-like manner. They looked at each other with no understanding of what was happening. The fortress erupted into an earth-shaking cheer during the time that they were stunned. A countless number of people, who had originally thought that their country and home would be destroyed today, could not control the excitement in their hearts. A cheer from having survived charged to the clouds. It seems that the Three Empire Alliance has finally withdrawn. Hai Budong let out a long sigh as he spoke in a manner that suggested he had removed a heavy burden. I wonder how Xiao Yan managed to convince the sect leader of the poison sect. That woman doesn't appear to be a reasonable person. Jia Xingtian smacked his mouth and wondered. However, his face still contained a joy that was difficult to hide. They clearly understood that the enormous strength of the three sect alliance still left their side at a disadvantage. This would still be the case even if Xiao Yan and Medusa were around. No matter what, this big battle that has lasted for one year has finally ended. The Jiama Empire will remain. Xiao Ding rubbed his forehead and laughed. He he, he he, he he, however, after today, the Yan alliances and the Jiama Empire's reputation can be considered to have spread. Fighting three large sects with one alliance. This feat is enough to allow our Yan alliance to cause those fellows who mocked us to look at us differently when we participate in the Northwestern Region Faction's Grand Meeting. Hai Budong smiled as he spoke. It should be known that even when the Misty Cloud sect from the Jiama Empire went to participate in the Southwestern Region Faction's Grand Meeting, they were mocked by quite a number of groups. After all, in the eyes of these factions with frightening strength, the Misty Cloud sect, which did not even possess a single elite dozone, had difficulty possessing the qualifications to sit with them. Jia Xingtian and F.A. Ma smiled and nodded when they heard this. The Jiama Empire would likely stand proud that day. Xiao Yan, who heard the earth-shaking cheer from the fortress in the sky, also sighed in relief. He turned his head and smiled as he said to Medusa, It has been tough on you this one year. It is unexpected that you have so many old friends that you can meet all over the place. Medusa faintly replied. Her words were tainted with a slight sourness that was difficult to describe. Xiao Yan could only bitterly laugh when he heard these words of hers. He said, she is merely a friend from back then. It is just that I did not expect her to end up on today's stage. She should be the person whom we had met in the Magical Beast Mountain Range back then, right? I faintly sensed it when we exchanged blows during this period of time. Medusa glanced at him as she spoke. Yes. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His eyes slinked toward the fortress and he said, let's go. This big battle is over and the Jiama Empire can finally catch its breath. His body moved after he said these words. He took the lead to fly to the fortress. 
Medusa followed close behind him. The joyful news swiftly spread throughout the entire Jiama Empire when the big battle was over. In a short while, every single place began to sweep away the despair and darkness of the past. Being able to not leave their country was naturally the hope of many people. A vagrant life was something that no one was willing to taste even once for no reason. In this big battle, Xiao Yan and Medusa's names were naturally transmitted to the ears of every single person. With the help of this, the reputation of the Yen Alliance once again soared. Many people or small factions who had joined the Yen Alliance were very proud. They were also more confident when they spoke to others. During the time the outside world was filled with a joy, Hai Budong and the others, who had remained in battle for a long time, finally sat down to rest. They need no worry about whether the Three Army Alliance would appear in the next moment. There were not many people in the hall. However, those present were the core members of the Yen Alliance. Xiao Yan sat in the leader's seat, which had gone unoccupied for a long time. His eyes looked over the entire hall. He chose to randomly chat for a while before turning his head to Hai Budong and inquiring in a solemn manner, no one from the Hall of Souls has appeared during the past year, right? The thing that Xiao Yan paid the most attention to was naturally the Hall of Souls. The reason that he had established the Yen Alliance was to use it to enable him to protect the Xiao clan. Yes. Hai Budong nodded his head and said, for some unknown reason, news regarding the Hall of Souls has ceased coming from the Empire ever since the Misty Cloud sect was disbanded. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he heard this. He immediately fell into a deep thought. The Hall of Souls was clearly extremely interested in the Tushi Ancient God's Jade belonging to the Xiao clan. Hence, it was unlikely that they would simply give up. It had been almost a year but why was there no other activity? Was it because some other matter had resulted in them not having the time to bother with them? Xiao Yan mused for a moment in his heart, but it was futile. He could only shake his head, raise it, and sweep his eyes over Hai Budo. He involuntarily said with a smile, it is unexpected that Old Hai has also reached the peak of the Dou Huang class. I think that you should be able to reach the Dou Zone class soon. Hai Budong immediately shook his head in a helpless manner when he heard this. He said, you little fellow, how can it be so easy? Do you not see that old Jia has remained at this stage for many years and has never broken through? Xiao Yan smiled. His eyes turned to the smiling Xiao Ding by his side as he asked, Big brother, what is the Yan alliance like now? Is it alright? We have basically extended to most of the corners of the Jia Ma empire. Currently, almost every single large and middle-sized city has the presence of our Yan alliance. Moreover, the Yen Alliance has also branched into a countless number of industries during this one year and has become extremely complicated. Xiao Yen laughed. The current Yen Alliance can be said to be even bigger than the Misty Cloud set back them. After all, they did not have as many branches as we do. After this one year of recruitment, the Yen Alliance should have around 40 expert Dou Huangs. There are fewer Dou Huangs with us only having less than 10. Moreover, the Yen Alliance has also established a Yen Pulse training organization. The people who were able to enter this group to train have all been carefully selected, and are all outstanding people. In the future, they will be our alliance's newest blood. Xiao Ding laughed. Of course, the Yen Alliance also has a business hall, which consists mostly of clans like the Primer Clan. There is also a medicinal hall established from the many alchemists from the Alchemist Association. They provided our Yen Alliance with an unceasing amount of medicinal pills. Kuku, the reason why we are able to drag this big fight out for so long is partly because of their effort. Xiao Yan finally understood the Yen Alliance's current strength and size within the Jiama Empire after hearing the brief summary. He could not help but smack his mouth. Although he had confidence in it when it was established back then, he did not expect that Big Brother and the others would be able to develop the Yen Alliance until such a stage within a short one year. From what his Big Brother had said, the size of the current Yen Alliance seemed to have far exceeded the Xiao Gate in the Black Corner region. Of course, the Xiao Gate there had great potential. This was because it was provided with the graduates of extraordinary talent from the Inner Academy. These people were all people who had outstanding training talent. Are the members of the Xiao clan well? Xiao Yan softly inquired. How can they not be well with an outstanding clan head like you? Xiao Ding spoke with a smile. The Xiao clan has justifiably become the strongest clan within the Jiama Empire. It was for no other reason other than the Xiao clan had produced this leader of the Yen Alliance, Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan softly exhaled as he said, If you have the time, you should send someone to pass the message to the Jianan Academy. If Xiao Yu and the others wish to return, let them do so. The current Xiao clan already possesses the ability to protect itself. Yes. Xiao Ding nodded. He said, coincidentally, I can also pass the message to the Xiao Gate and tell Second Brother that he need not hurry over to rescue us. Xiao Yan smiled. He immediately waved his hand and said, since the big fight is over, I will leave the remaining matters to all of you. I am very reassured if I hand this Yan alliance over to all of you. Xiao Yan walked out of the hall in front of the numerous helpless eyes after saying this. This fellow is thinking of being an absent leader again. Everyone in the large hall softly grumbled. The Black Mountain Fortress under the night sky might still appear like a vicious beast lying on the ground because of its enormous size, but it gave off a less fierce aura compared to daytime and a little more silence. Xiao Yan was seated cross-legged on a low mountain peak not far from the fortress. His eyes were slightly shut as the moonlight landed on his body. 
The faint cool feeling caused Xiao Yan's heart to feel extremely clear. Medusa lazily leaned on a tree trunk behind Xiao Yan. She blinked her bewitching pupils as she repeatedly swept them back and forth. A moment later, she lazily said, she is still not here even at such a late hour. Looks like you have waited in vain. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head when he heard these words. He spoke without turning his head, I have already told you that there is no need for you to come. Are you afraid that she will actually eat me? Who knows whether she is really retreating or faking a retreat. If she uses this one-on-one -on -one meeting to kill you and return once again tomorrow, the Jiama Empire would be finished. Medusa curled her mouth as she replied. Is that so? Xiao Yan smiled when he heard this. His heart immediately moved as he turned his head and looked at the distant sky. Ripples were being transmitted from the sky from that direction. A white-colored figure stepped on the empty sky, appearing to be walking over slowly. However, the figure appeared in the air above this mountain peak within just a couple of blinks. Chapter 773, The Poison Pill Method Xiao Yan smiled and stood up as he looked at Little Fairy Doctor who had appeared in the air. He said, you are finally here. Little Fairy Doctor moved her body and it gently landed on the mountain peak. Her unusual grayish-purple pupils that appeared demon-like under the moonlight first glanced at Medusa behind Xiao Yan before calmly speaking, there is quite a lot of trouble for the three armies to retreat. Those armies have argued too much and delayed quite a lot of time. Why? Xiao Yan frowned when he heard this. He asked, are the three sects unwilling to withdraw? The Chuyun Empire is controlled by the Poison Sect, I am the Poison Sect's leader so it is only natural that the Chuyun Empire will not voice too many objections. However, the Golden Geese Sect and the Milan Valley are not factions from the Chuyun Empire. The strength of their sects is not much weaker than the Poison Sect. Hence, their objection is extremely intense even though I said that I wanted to withdraw. They had long planned on annexing the Jiama Empire and were naturally unwilling to let go of this chance so easily. Little Fairy Doctor slowly explained. Luo Yantian and one of the three Mulan elders are seriously wounded by me. They actually dare to be this arrogant despite having lost these two people. A coldness flashed through Xiao Yan's eyes as he spoke. I said that the Golden Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley's strength are quite strong. Although they dispatched the strongest people in their sect for this big battle, they still have not touched the essence of their strength. From the looks of it, they still intend on stubbornly destroying the Jiama Empire even if the Poison Sect refuses to join this battle. Little Fairy Coder looked at Xiao Yan as she once again said, Yan Luo Tian and one of the three Mulan elders have indeed been seriously injured. However, according to what I know, their sects possess quite high-tier alchemists. As long as they are given a couple of days' time for the sect to deliver some rare medicinal pills over, their injuries likely will recover extremely quickly. Adding this to the large number of experts from the two sects who will arrive, it is likely that they will gather and attack the Jiama at that time. Xiao Yan's face was dark and solemn. If this were the case, the Yan Alliance and the Jiama Empire would likely descend into a bitter battle. This kind of situation was clearly not one that he was willing to see. The greatest support of the Gold Geese sect in the Mulan Valley are the two elite Dozongs who are namely Yan Luotian as well as the three Mulan elders. As long as these two people are killed, the strength of the two large factions will naturally decline. They would also no longer dare to possess the thought of attacking the Jiama Empire. Medusa by the side suddenly spoke in an indifferent manner. Xiao Yan was slightly startled when he heard this. His eyes immediately narrowed as a cold glint flashed. Medusa's words were indeed true. Currently, Yan Luotian and one of the three Mulan elders were seriously injured. It was the best opportunity to kill them off. Otherwise, once they recovered their strength, they would become extremely troublesome again. One must not possess the slightest soft-hearted feelings when facing an enemy. Otherwise, the Yen Alliance would have to pay an unknown great price for when the enemy returned in the future. Xiao Yan's gaze was thrown toward the little fairy doctor just as this thought flashed past his heart. If she were to step out and stop them from killing Luo Yantian and the three Mulan elders, it was likely that their plan would have difficulty coming to fruition. Little fairy doctor raised her brows slightly while she watched Xiao Yan's eyes. She subsequently descended deep into thought. Medusa behind Xiao Yan moved her body while little fairy doctor was deep in thought. She appeared in the air and coincidentally sealed off little fairy doctor's path of retreat. From the looks of her actions, it seemed that she was prepared to immediately act depending on the little fairy doctor's decision. Little fairy doctor had naturally sensed Medusa's action. She coldly laughed, if I wish to leave, you will not be able to stop me. You can come and try. Medusa's eyes also revealed a chillness as she spoke in a tit-for-tat manner. Xiao Yan felt a great headache as he watched these two women who were filled with fury when they were near each other. He waved his hand and stopped the two of them. His eyes studied the little fairy doctor as he said, the Yan alliance is established by me. Hence, I cannot watch it be destroyed. Yan Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders will be the greatest threat. Hence, it will naturally be best if it is possible to finish them off. Little fairy doctor hesitated for a moment as she observed Xiao Yan's flickering eyes. She clenched her silver teeth and nodded. She said, in any case, those two fellow have ill thoughts toward me and cannot be considered true allies. I can choose not to intervene if you wish to attack. Xiao Yan immediately sighed in relief when he heard this. His face had a joy that was difficult to hide. For the little fairy doctor to be able to say this, it meant that she had not forgotten about their relationship. Moreover, from her point of view, this was a friendship that was rare. 
Even though they were now in different camps, she still quietly valued it. The cold glint in Medusa's eyes gradually paled only after seeing little fairy doctor nod her head. She slowly lowered her body and mumbled, consider yourself sensible. Little fairy doctor naturally ignored Medusa's words. Her grayish purple eyes turned to Xiao Yan as she said, the three armies are now temporarily staying at a city on the borders of the Chuyun Empire. Luo Yantian and the three Mulan elders are also there. However, two of them are seriously injured. Hence, the surrounding defenses are extremely tight. It will not be easy for the two of you to act. Yes, leave them to us. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before smiling and nodding his head. The outer defenses of the city will be scattered by me when you act. I, myself, will also say that I am undertaking a retreat beforehand. This is all that I can do. You must be the ones to attack. After all, if this is leaked out, it would hurt the credibility of the poison sect. Little Fairy Doctor slowly said. Thank you very much. Little Fairy Doctor slightly nodded. She immediately changed the conversation to the main topic as she said, Now, you can tell me how you will help me control the woeful poison body. This should be the most important matter. Xiao Yan vaguely nodded. He flicked his finger and a dark solemn looking scroll appeared in his palm. After which, he tossed it to the little fairy doctor. The method to resolve it is in here. You can take a look. However, the medicinal ingredients that are mentioned inside are extremely difficult to find. Little fairy doctor extended her delicate hand and the scroll automatically landed in it. An excitement flashed across her eyes as she carefully opened it in a slow manner. The woeful poison body, a kind of considerably strange and unique constitution. Its nature is that of lethal poison. Those who make contact with the person who has the body will die. The body requires the consumption of poison to remain alive. However, the more poison that person consumes, the greater the density of poison that is accumulated in one's body. Once the poison gathers until a certain stage, it will completely erupt. When it does so, all living things will be destroyed within a thousand kilometer radius. This poison body is extremely rare. It is differentiated between innate and acquired. Innate means that it comes with birth while acquired are those that are man-made. Among the two, the innate one is naturally a greater strength. Moreover, there is no method to undo it. However, if one possesses the luck, one will be able to completely control the poison. The poisonous strength within one's body can be used as one pleases. This control method is called the poison pill method. It gathers all the poison that is accumulated within one's body and transforms all of it into a poison pill. Once the poison pill is formed, the woeful poison body would finally become a truly frightening constitution. The continent had once witnessed a couple of disasters that were caused by the woeful poison body. However, those people who possessed the woeful poison body had never reached this stage. There is no reason for this other than that the ingredients that this poison pill method require are too hard to find. The refinement of the poison pill can be mainly divided into three essential things that it requires. The first is three kinds of heavenly flames. The second is the monster core of a rank 7 sky poison dragon scorpion beast. The third is bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Dot. Little fairy doctor's eyes slowly swept over the scroll. The excitement in her eyes gradually became dim. The ingredients that the poison pill required that were recorded in this scroll were really too frightening. No wonder there had not been a single person who successfully learned how to completely control the woeful poison body. Three kinds of heavenly flames. Just this first condition was enough to discourage everyone. Everyone was aware of the destructive strength of a heavenly flame on the continent. If an ordinary expert were able to obtain a single kind of heavenly flame, their fighting strength would definitely soar. If an alchemist were to obtain one, their success rate when refining medicinal pills would definitely soar. Hence, heavenly flames possessed an extremely high status in the hearts of those experts on the Dochi continent. However, the heavenly flame's rarity was also common knowledge. Being able to obtain one was already a great blessing. As for three kinds, the second ingredient similarly caused a person to feel even more hopeless. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast was a unique beast from ancient times. Its strength was extremely great. A rank 7 sky poison dragon scorpion beast already possessed the qualification to transform into a human form. Its fighting strength was extremely terrifying. There was seldom anyone who could match them in the same rank. It was even more difficult to obtain its monster core. Of course, the first two conditions seem to be a little easier when compared to the third one. At the very least, Little Fairy Doctor had heard of both the Heavenly Flames and the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. The third, Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva, was something that she had never even heard or seen before. With these three harsh conditions, Little Fairy Doctor understood why not a single person who possessed the Woeful Poison Body had refined this so-called poison pill within their bodies as this control method had described. Xiao Yan sighed as he watched Little Fairy Doctor's face which had instantly darkened. He immediately softly said, you need not worry about the three kinds of heavenly flames. I am able to help you on this. However, you need to spend some effort on that monster core of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast and the bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Dot. You possess three kinds of heavenly flames. Little fairy doctor was startled when she heard this. Her eyes were stunned as they swept over Xiao Yan's body. How could a person possess three kinds of heavenly flames? Xiao Yan smiled when he saw little fairy doctor's expression. 
He flicked his finger and a wisp of jade green flame suddenly appeared. After which, it swiftly divided into a green flame and an invisible flame. Soon after, another dense white flame came out from the fire seal between Xiao Yan's eyebrows. Little fairy doctor's dim eyes finally revealed a joy as she looked at the three tiny flames that were suspended in front of Xiao Yan. She said, no wonder you are able to fight with an elite Dozone with just the strength of a Do Wang. It is actually because of this. But even if you have three kinds of, heavenly flames, that monster core of a, sky poison dragon scorpion beast, and the required, Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, are also extremely difficult to obtain. Xiao Yan grinned as he looked at little fairy doctor's bitter smile. He said, it is better than having no hope, right? I will do my best to help you get these things. Little fairy doctor slightly nodded upon hearing his words. This was indeed better than having no hope. All right, I will go and search for some information regarding this once I return. I will inform you if there is any news. Little fairy doctor handed the scroll back to Xiao Yan. Before she was about to leave, she softly said, in that case, I shall return first. You can break this jade piece when you want to act. I will do my best to cooperate. She handed a gray jade piece to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan nodded. He received the jade piece and stored it into his storage ring. Little fairy doctor did not stay longer after she saw that everything had been accounted for. Her body moved and she flashed into the air. Her footsteps paused just as she was about to leave. She turned her head to the black-robed, young man below and softly asked, Will you still treat me as a friend now that I have become like this? Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He immediately revealed a bright smile, My words from back then still stand. Chapter 774, The Experts from the Snake People Tribe Xiao Yan I sent off the back of the little fairy doctor as it disappeared into the night sky. He also stretched his lazy waist and smiled as he said to Medusa, Let's go. It's time to return. Medusa knit her brows and said, Can she be trusted? If we charge in during the day that we attack and end up being surrounded by them, the ending, the current Jiama Empire and the Snake People rely on the both of us. If any mishap were to happen, you should know what the consequences would be for the Yan Alliance. Xiao Yan's expression became somewhat solemn when he heard these words of Medusa. A moment later, he nodded slightly and spoke in a deep voice, I trust her. I hope that you aren't be wrong about her. Medusa softly snorted. Her gaze immediately flickered. She hesitated for a moment before saying, You should come with me to the Snake People tribe tomorrow. A couple of our tribe's elders wish to meet you. Meet me. Xiao Yan was startled as he asked, What for? Medusa's face was somewhat unusual. It was tilted to the side as she said, The elders within the tribe possess some secret method to easily probe into another person's body. I, the matter of me not being a virgin is something that they are already aware of. Xiao Yan faintly opened his mouth. His face immediately revealed an embarrassed expression as he rubbed his head. His mouth emitted a dry laugh. It was a long while later before he carefully asked, Then, what do they plan to do? Medusa's heart involuntarily smiled when she saw Xiao Yan's expression. Her face, however, was still ice cold as she said faintly, According to the rules of our clan, you will suffer from being swallowed by tens of thousands of snakes. Xiao Yan trembled in a cold, violent manner when he heard the whatever, swallowed by tens of thousands of snakes. He dryly laughed, Can't everyone have a nice conversation? Must you use these things? I am currently the chief of the Yen Alliance, cough, doing those things to me would definitely strain the relationship between the Snake People tribe and the Jiama Empire. This is not good for anyone. You can go and tell the elders. Medusa lifted her eyes as she calmly replied. Xiao Yan held his forehead and emitted a painful moan. His heart quietly said that something troublesome had indeed arrived. I will come and look for you tomorrow. Medusa ignored Xiao Yan's pained manner. She turned her body and slowly walked to the bottom of the hill. Her footsteps suddenly paused. She hesitated for a moment before speaking, there is no need for you to remember that whatever, soul recovery pill. The influence that the, heaven-swallowing python, has on me is already becoming increasingly weaker. Are you going to kill me? Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He immediately questioned in a stunned manner. If this queen wished to kill you, you would have already died an unknown number of times during this year. Medusa coldly snorted. Xiao Yan awkwardly smiled but his heart sighed in relief. This time bomb beside him seemed to begin showing traces of weakening. He finally no longer need to be on tenterhooks all day like in the past. Moreover, no matter what had happened in the past, he at the very least had Yao Lao who could warn him. However, now Yao Lao was captured. If Medusa still held the same thoughts as she did back then, it was likely that he would really be quietly finished off without anyone knowing. Remember, do not use anything as an excuse tomorrow. Otherwise. Medusa left behind some words that contained a threat. After which, her body moved and she slowly disappeared in the dark night sky. Xiao Yan widened his mouth as he stared at the spot Medusa had disappeared from. He slumped inside a moment later. Immediately, he clenched his teeth and said, Fine, I will just go. I don't believe that all of you will really kill me. Xiao Yan suddenly felt guilty before he had spoken until the end. He quietly spoke in his heart, However, for safety's sake, I should still call Old Hai, Jiao Lao, and the others. Xiao Yan finally sighed in relief after he had made this decision in his heart. 
He summoned the Fire Wings before flying to the Black Mountain Fortress. Although the Three Army Alliance had already withdrawn, the defenses of the Black Mountain Fortress were still extremely tight. After all, no one knew whether the Three Army Alliance would return again. Hence, the atmosphere in this place was still extremely tense and solemn despite the jubilation within the interior of the Empire. The Meeting Room of the Black Mountain Fortress on the next day Xiao Ding and the others were greatly surprised when they heard that Xiao Yan intended to head to the border of the Chuyun Empire to assassinate the three Mulan elders and Yan Luotian. This plan was quite risky. If this is a trap that they set up for us, it is likely that the fate of you and Medusa will be quite poor. Should mishap happen to the two of you, the three army alliance will definitely attack again. Xiao Ding spoke in a solemn manner. Hai Budong and the others by his side nodded with solemn faces. This matter was too risky. If I do not do this, Yen Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders will once again gather all the essence strength within their sex after they fully recover from their injuries. After that, they will be in extremely great trouble. The strength of a Dozong is far too strong. Now that we have already formed enmity, we would have to pay quite a hefty price if they decided to take revenge on us in the future. Hence, now is the best time for us to eliminate the grass from its roots. Xiao Yan slowly said. His eyes swept over the entire hall as he smiled and said, What plan does not have a risk? Moreover, especially when it is something as big as this. Xiao Ding and the others could only sigh when they heard Xiao Yan's instance. However, they were also clearly aware that despite the great risk that this plan carried, the danger of the Yan Alliance and the Jiama Empire would be completely eliminated once it succeeded. This kind of method was one with the greatest assurance. Do you really think that the leader of the poison sect can be trusted? Xiao Ding's finger vaguely moved over the surface of the table. He asked a question in a deep voice a moment later. Yes, she can be trusted. This war is originally just a misunderstanding. If I had been in the Yan Alliance, this war might not have even started. Xiao Yan nodded and sighed. Since you insist on doing this, we will do as you say. On the day you act, the Yan Alliance experts will also be maneuvered and will hide in the surroundings of that city. Once any unexpected changes occur, we will immediately launch a rescue. Xiao Ding had already known that Xiao Yan was resolute after hearing those words. All he could do was to nod as he spoke. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard his brother's response. He looked at the somewhat serious atmosphere of the hall and laughed, there is no need for everyone to act like this. We will not be restricted by anyone once our Yen Alliance develops in the future. However, we have to take some risks now. Everyone could only smile when they heard his words. However, the worry in their heart was not reduced by much. A faint voice was transmitted from the side while Xiao Yan stealthily left the meeting room. Let's go. I have waited for quite a while. Xiao Yan's body immediately stiffened when he heard this voice. He turned his head with great difficulty only to see that Medusa was leaning against a stone fence outside of the meeting room. She stood in a lazy manner while those bewitching eyes watched him indifferently. Xiao Yan let out a dry cough. His face revealed a grin but it was extremely forceful. After which, he unwillingly walked toward Medusa. Hai Budong and Jia Xing Tian coincidentally walked out of the hall just as Xiao Yan approached Medusa. The two of them were startled when they saw this but immediately smiled and greeted them. Xiao Yan immediately rejoiced upon seeing the two of them he was just about to open his mouth to speak when Medusa, by his side, told them off in an icy cold voice, Xiao Yan and I have some matters to deal with. There is no need for the two of you to follow. Hai Budong and Jia Xing Tian were stunned when they heard this. They immediately looked at each other before letting out dry laughter. After which, they threw Xiao Yan a gaze that suggested he should fend for himself before quickly fleeing. As he watched these two old fellows, who had fled faster than a rabbit could, in a speechless manner, Xiao Yan could only resign to his fate and shake his head. He turned his head to Medusa and said, Let's go. I want to see just what your elders can do to me. A faint smile surfaced on the corner of Medusa's mouth when she saw Xiao Yan's manner, which appeared to be somewhat like he was about to die. She turned around and led the way in front with a steady pace. Xiao Yan followed behind with a bitter expression. Xiao Yan could not be blamed for dragging his feet. The matter between him and Medusa might not have been within his control, but he had ultimately took the other person's body. This was the truth. Heading to meet the elders in the clan was similar to meeting the other party's parents. Xiao Yan followed Medusa as they passed through a couple of spacious streets. After around 10 plus minutes, they gradually turned into a somewhat darker region. This place was coincidentally the corner of the city. The shadows formed from the towering city walls caused this place to be a little darker. The many experts from the Snake People tribe stayed in this place. There was a boundary line that was placed at the intersection between this place and the outside world. The Snake People tribe might currently be in an alliance with the Jiama Empire, but most of the Snake People were still quite resistant to humans. Hence, it required quite some time in order for them to gradually mill their differences and live peacefully alongside each other. This area where the Snake People tribe lived was tightly defended. Snake people who held weapons in their hands repeatedly patrolled to and fro when they saw Medusa's body, these guards would immediately pause their bodies and reveal a wild fire in their eyes. After which, they would bow and greet her. Xiao Yan and Medusa passed by them. It was a long while later before they stopped in front of a large compound. Medusa waved her hand and the door to the compound automatically opened. She entered. Xiao Yan hesitated a little before following. 
Xiao Yan's foot had just stepped into the compound when an enormous dark shadow suddenly came smashing over in a ruthless manner while containing a ferocious wind. Xiao Yan's face changed as he sensed that sudden attack. He immediately let out a cold snort as he tightened his fist. The jade green flame swiftly surged out and smashed toward the person who had unceremoniously launched a sneak attack. Bang. A low, deep wind expanded in the courtyard, shaking dust on the ground until it began to spread out like an air wave. Xiao Yan's shoulders trembled after exchanging a blow. The person who launched a sneak attack flipped a couple of times through air before crashing to the ground. Xiao Yan slowly raised his head. His eyes were somewhat icy cold as he swept over the person who had launched a sneak attack. His eyes immediately narrowed. Chapter 775, The Four Great Elders The person who appeared in front of Xiao Yan was a male snake person who was strongly built. His appearance was quite fierce, and his hand had an enormous black python tattoo. When his hand moved, the enormous python appeared as though it was a living creature that emitted threads of violent, dark aura. At this moment, the latter was using a pair of fierce eyes to look at Xiao Yan. Powerful Dou Qi repeatedly writhed over the surface of his body. The hard rock surface where he had landed had cracked open. Clearly, this was due to the force of the earlier confrontation. Who are you? Xiao Yan's observed this fierce male snake person. He could sense that the latter was an expert at the peak of the Dou Wang class. However, he was not considered to be an opponent that was troublesome to deal with in Xiao Yan's opinion. Nevertheless, Xiao Yan felt some anger at the other party's sudden sneak attack. Commander M.O. Basi of the Snake People Tribe The male snake person's eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan. The enmity within his eyes was exceptionally obvious, you are that Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan indifferently nodded. A fierce glow immediately flashed across the eyes of that M.O. Basi when he saw Xiao Yan nod. His fist was suddenly clenched and the strong muscles on his arm wiggled, causing the enormous black python tattoo to appear alive. It seemed like it was unleashing an evil aura that rushed to the sky. I will no longer hold back if you come again. Some hatred also appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw this stubborn fellow. A jade green flame rose on his hand as he slowly replied. In that case, this commander shall ask for advice. Mo Basi furiously cried out. However, his body was just about to pounce over when a cold voice was transmitted over. It caused his entire body to stiffen. Enough, enough. This queen orders you to stop. Medusa turned her head and spoke to M.O. Basi with vertical eyebrows. She reprimanded, M.O. Basi, your manners are worsening. He is a guest of our snake people tribe. How can you just randomly launch a sneak attack? The strongly built M.O. Basi did not reveal the slightest impatience upon being reprimanded by Medusa. He helplessly nodded. However, the gaze he was using to look at Medusa with was filled with dense adoration and respect. M.O. Basi threw another dark, solemn gaze toward Xiao Yan before unwillingly withdrawing to one side. Xiao Yan finally scattered the jade green flame on his fist after watching that fellow withdraw. Perhaps it was possible to tell the reason for the other person's displeasure toward him from the way that fellow was looking at Medusa. However, this did not cause Xiao Yan to feel any concern. His gaze swept over this compound only to knit his brows slightly. This compound that was quite big had quite a number of snake people figures. From the looks of the aura of these people, they were clearly the top experts of the snake people tribe. Yumei, whom he had rescued, was also among them. These experts from the snake people race were looking at Xiao Yan with eyes that were filled with some curiosity. Clearly, his act of forcing back M.O. Basi with a punch had attracted the interest of quite a number of people. The thing that caused them to feel most surprised about was Medusa's attitude towards Xiao Yan. Although her face did not reveal too much gentleness, her tone was protective of him. This was indeed an extremely incredulous thing when remembering Medusa's extreme hatred of humans. Follow me. Medusa softly spoke to Xiao Yan who was standing at the entrance. After which, she took the lead in walking to the deeper areas of the compound. Behind her, Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment, but could only follow as the many surrounding gazes that were looking at him filled with ill intent. The compound finally became much more lively after Medusa and Xiao Yan entered the inner compound. Everyone became talkative as they began to discuss what happened. Xiao Yan followed Medusa as they walked down a couple of serenely quiet paths. A while later, the two of them stopped in front of a bamboo building that was hidden in a bamboo forest deep in the compound. Medusa paused in front of the bamboo house and a solemnness appeared on her face. After which, she lightly knocked on the door. Enter. An elderly voice was transmitted from the bamboo room after the door had vibrated. The door opened with the voice. Medusa glanced at Xiao Yan before she turned around and entered the building. Xiao Yan stood at the entrance and hesitated for a moment. He could faintly sense that there were four obscure auras within the bamboo room. Although they were not as strong as Medusa, they could not be underestimated. After all, these four auras were slightly stronger when compared with Jia Xingtian and Hai Budong. Of course, these four people had yet to break through to the Dou Zong class. They were merely at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart after he sensed the strength of these four auras. As long as they were not elite Dou Zongs, he would not need to be afraid. With his ability, there should not be many people in the Dou Huang class who would be able to retain him. Xiao Yan's body moved after his heart calmed down. He also slowly walked in. When he did so, the door of the bamboo house automatically shut. 
A faint light suddenly rose after Xiao Yan entered the bamboo house. Four old figures immediately appeared in Xiao Yan's gaze within that spacious room. Medusa was quietly sitting on a futon by the side. An old figure within the house opened her eyes after she seemed to have sensed Xiao Yan's footsteps. Triangular-shaped eyes were locked onto Xiao Yan like how a poisonous snake would study its prey, causing a chill to rise on his skin. The remaining three old women also suddenly opened their eyes after she did so. For dark, cold auras rose before finally gathering together. Their auras actually agglomerated into an enormous black python above them. The enormous python's emotionless eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan and an invisible pressure quietly rose. Finally, it turned into a thousand kilogram force that clustered around Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan's expression became increasingly more solemn as he sensed the pressure of that powerful aura. He suddenly let out a soft cry. A jade green flame suddenly rose and immediately wrapped around his entire body. The temperature within the room suddenly rose the moment the jade green flame appeared. That dark coldness that was created by the four old women immediately and completely disappeared. That enormous dark black python seemed to have been affected as it became much more illusionary. It is indeed a heavenly flame, it is actually a heavenly flame, dot. The eyes of the center old woman in the room displayed surprise as she observed the jade green flame that lingered over Xiao Yan's body. The enormous python aura above her head gradually began to disappear as she slowly said, You are the chief of the Yan Alliance, Xiao Yan. Her voice was awful, appearing as though a rock was scratching glass. It caused an uncomfortable feeling to spread over a person's entire body. Of course, given Xiao Yan's strength, he was naturally able to filter out this kind of feeling. He bowed to the four old women courteously before saying, Xiao Yan from the younger generation greets four senior snake people tribe elders. How unexpected, you are able to reach the Do Wan class at such a young age. You are indeed someone blessed with great talent. That center old woman revealed an ugly smile towards Xiao Yan. She quickly said, this old woman is the first elder of the snake people tribe. This is the second elder, the third elder, and the fourth elder. Xiao Yan's eyes followed the movement of the shriveled finger of the first elder. He courteously greeted every single one of them. No matter how one put it, he should at least follow etiquette properly. Today, I have called Chief Xiao over partly because there is something that I wish to inquire. The first elder's triangular-shaped eyes moved after completing the introductions. Her voice was hoarse and awful when she spoke. First elder, please speak. Xiao Yan dryly laughed. This matter is related to our tribe leader Medusa. The first elder's voice was without ripple, appearing much like an old well. There was not much change in her tone. However, it was because of this that Xiao Yan did not dare to slight her even a little within his heart. Our clan's leaders are all virgins before they are able to transform into a human form. Of course, Medusa has currently transformed into a human form. However, she must undergo the baptism at the altar within the tribe before she can have any intercourse with anyone. However, when the clan leader had returned this time, she was no longer a virgin. I have heard that this is related to Chief Xiao. The voice of the first elder had suddenly become stern at the end. Four pairs of cold, grim eyes were shot over, locking onto Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's expression changed a little. His feet took a step back without leaving any traces. He immediately laughed in a bitter manner, for elders, this was not Xiao Yan's intention. The matter is quite complicated. In that case, Chief Xiao has admitted to taking Medusa's virginity. The first elder questioned in a deep voice. Xiao Yan was silent. He immediately helplessly nodded. According to our tribe rules, Chief Xiao must suffer the punishment of being bitten by over 10,000 snakes. The second elder who was seated beside the first elder suddenly spoke with a dark murky tone. Xiao Yan's expression changed a little. Dou Qi slowly began to flow in his body as he said with a deep voice, Four elders. Although this is not something that Xiao Yan was willing to do, I do indeed have some responsibility. However, your tribe rules seem to be unable to manage me, no. If you really want to use force, Xiao Yan will not simply just allow himself to be captured. Medusa's eyebrows were slightly knit when she saw Xiao Yan's somewhat solemn face. She did not wish to see the relationship between Xiao Yan and the first elder become this stiff. Moreover, the four elders had said that they would not make things difficult for Xiao Yan. Why? Hey, what a tough set of bones. The first elder glanced at Xiao Yan before raising her eyebrows. She waved her hand and said, forget it, we shall not scare you little fellow. Now that the Snake People Tribe and the Jiama Empire are in an alliance, our Snake People Tribe must require your care as the chief of the Yan Alliance. I will naturally not let you suffer the whatever 10,000 snake bites punishment. Xiao Yan felt joy in his heart when he heard this. He hurriedly laughed, that is only natural, may I know just why first elder has called me over. The first elder exchanged looks with the other three elders. She hesitated for a moment before slowly speaking, when we were baptizing the clan leader, the four of you used a secret method. We seem to have found a small life force in the clan leader's womb, it seems that it is a sign of pregnancy. Chapter 776, Three Grade of Secret Technique the atmosphere in the bamboo house appeared to be solidified at this moment. Xiao Yan and Medusa were stunned as they looked at the first elder whose words were shocking. No matter how calm they usually were, they were undoubtedly shaken to a dull state at this moment. Pregnant. Really. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth twitched with great force. He could not control the slight impulse to jump. 
That was their first time. Was it really so coincidental? Medusa's reaction was similarly not any better. The usual decisive and killing aura of hers had completely disappeared. Her small, moist, red lips were faintly parted while her long neck pulsed a little. However, her heart was in such a state of turmoil that she could not utter a single word. A woman like her would not blink her eyes when fighting with someone or taking another person's life. However, right now she was just like a panicked, lost little girl. She did not know how to deal with such matters. That, that, first elder, are you mistaken? Cough, that, it has been over a year since the matter that happened underground. According to what I am aware of, a pregnancy doesn't require such a long time, right? Xiao Yan gradually recovered after some time before speaking in a halting manner. A snake person is different from a human being. Moreover, the tribe leader has evolved into the heavenly swallowing python, a beast from the ancient times. Naturally, there is some difference from ordinary people. It is not rare for one to be pregnant for a year or even a couple of years. The first elder shook her head as she replied. Cold sweat immediately began to flow down Xiao Yan's forehead when he heard these words. First elder, you should have sensed wrongly right. Why is it that even I am not aware of this? Medusa hurriedly inquired. She had finally recovered from her dull state at this moment. The life force is extremely weak. It is very difficult for me to sense it had we not used the secret method to probe. It is only natural that you have not sensed it. The first elder explained, there is indeed still a need to wait and check to see if the tiny life force is a sign of being pregnant. However, if this matter is true, our snake people tribe will once again have another descendant who possesses the Medusa bloodline. This is an extremely big matter within our tribe. A sleek redness surged onto the first elder's face when she spoke until this point. Her eyes had gained an additional excitement. Xiao Yan and Medusa let out a heavy sigh of relief when they heard that the first elder had not confirmed this matter. Perhaps this matter was just an accident. Whether this matter is true or not, you should remember to be exceptionally careful in the future, perhaps after another period of time, you should be able to confirm just what is in your body. The first elder knit her brows and spoke in a deep voice when she saw Medusa's appearance. How long is this period of time? Xiao Yan dryly laughed as he inquired. The snake people race is different from the human race. This is especially so for the Medusa bloodline. If she is really pregnant, it is likely not going to be a short one. It is common for the pregnancy to last three to five years. The first elder spoke in a faint manner. Xiao Yan once again sighed in relief within his heart when he heard this. It was fortunate. If she had confirmed it to be within one to two months, he might really jump down from the city wall. The current him did not have the slightest thoughts of being a father. However, this matter is an extremely big one for our snake people tribe. The Medusa bloodline is exceptionally strong. Hence, the baby will require a countless number of elixirs to nourish it while it is still within the mother's body. In this way, the strength of the baby will be even stronger after it is born. The baby's potential would be extremely frightening. The first elder glanced at Xiao Yan as she spoke. According to the secret technique within the clan, the nourishment of a Medusa baby is divided into the top, middle, and low grades. The baby that is groomed from using these three grades will also have different potential. If a low-grade secret technique is used to nourish the baby, it would stop at the Do Huan class unless it is meet with a lucky opportunity. If a middle-grade secret technique is used as nourishment, the potential of the baby is sufficient to allow it to reach the Do Zone class. The top-grade secret technique will be even stronger. Xiao Yan also felt somewhat curious when he heard of the different grades of nourishments labeled by the secret technique. He asked, in that case, what grade of secret technique was used for Medusa? Middle grade. The first elder laughed. However, there is no absolute in this. If one has the luck and the talent, one will naturally be able to advance to a higher level. Of course, the effort that one must put forth is many times more than a baby who receives a low-grade nourishment. She is actually only just at the middle grade. Xiao Yan spoke in a stunned manner when he heard this. Medusa's current strength would definitely be considered quite strong even when placed in the entire northwestern region. It was unexpected that she was only of the middle grade. The requirements of the secret technique nourishment are extremely harsh. Back then, in order to use the middle grade secret technique on her, our snake people tribe had exhausted most of what we possess in order to hire a high tier alchemist to spend a long time to complete the nourishment. The first elder helplessly shook her head. She said, a low grade secret technique only requires some ordinary pills that possesses quite a bit of energy within them. A middle grade secret technique requires a tier 6 medicinal pill known as the snake marrow bone shedding pill, as the main medicine. The higher grade secret technique requires a medicinal pill known as the heaven soul blood bone pill, which is extremely difficult to refine. This pill is a tier 7 medicinal pill. It is best able to completely unleash the potential of a Medusa baby. The baby's future could be said to be frightening. However, it is too difficult to refine this kind of medicinal pill. Moreover, it also possesses the ability to snatch the heaven's energy. Hence, a pill calamity will follow its birth. If one is not carefully, it is extremely common for the pill to be destroyed and the person to die. Our snake people race have yet to have had any Medusa bloodline nourished by the top grade secret technique in so many years. The tone of the first elder was somewhat regretful at the end of her speech. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's face when he heard the words that First Elder had said. It was unexpected that the Snake People tribe would actually possess such a mysterious secret technique. No wonder every generation of Medusa was all so strong. 
Medicinal strength had already entered their small bodies while they were still in their mother's womb. Xiao Yan clicked his tongue and praised within his heart. He dryly laughed, however, this matter might well be a misunderstanding. Medusa once merged with the spirit of the heaven-swallowing python. This weak life force might be that of the heaven-swallowing python. Dot. This is not impossible. However, this matter affects our snake people tribe lineage. Hence, we must begin to use the secret technique nourishment now even if there is only a little possibility. Otherwise, we will lose the best opportunity if things are delayed for too long. The first elder nodded before speaking in a slow manner. Xiao Yan smiled with them as his eyes glanced at Medusa without leaving a trace. At this moment, the latter's delicate hand was gently holding her lower abdomen. The expression on her face was quite strange. It was likely that even she did not expect a slight life force to appear there. The first elder's face revealed an ugly smile as she laughed, this matter is also greatly related to Chief Xiao Yan. Hence, you should also take responsibility. Xiao Yan was stunned when he heard this. The corner of his mouth immediately twitched. These few old fellows had called him over with the intention of getting him to take responsibility. Then, what does first elder want? If Medusa is indeed pregnant, you will be the child's father. Hence, the things that you are asked to do are things that you are duty-bound to do. The first elder smiled as she replied. She did not bother about Medusa, whose face had suddenly become flushed red because of her words. This relationship, you want to tell me to take responsibility. Xiao Yan rubbed the cold sweat on his forehead. For an instant, he was actually unsure of what he ought to say. According to what the first elder had said, if this matter were the truth, the child in Medusa's womb would definitely possess part of his blood. It could indeed be considered his blood-related child. It was only right and proper for a father to do something for his child. What does first elder mean? Xiao Yan finally asked carefully a moment later. Us old fellows will not intervene in the matter between Medusa and you. However, you must put in effort for this child. Cough, the Snake People tribe have met a great calamity this time around. We have lost much of what the tribe has stored. Hence, this time around, we can only obtain the lowest grade out of the three secret technique grades. The first elder craftily smiled at Xiao Yan when she said this. However, with Chief Xiao Yan's position and ability, I think that you would not wish for your bloodline to obtain the worst treatment, right? Xiao Yan finally came to a sudden understanding when he listened until this point. This old fellow was actually planning to extort. Since Chief Xiao Yan has already understood, I shall also not say any other useless things. It is rumored that you are a tier 6 alchemist. The first elder suddenly smiled and inquired when she saw Xiao Yan's expression. Her eyes immediately became somewhat heated when she mentioned the tier 6 alchemist part. Yes. Xiao Yan glanced at Medusa. He nodded slightly. Clearly, she was the one who had mentioned this to the first elder. In that case, may I know if we can get Chief Xiao Yan to help this future Medusa bloodline refine a medicinal pill that, that the middle grade secret technique requires, the snake marrow bone shedding pill. The first elder laughed. She was looking at Xiao Yan with a great earnestness while she smiled. Even though Xiao Yan had already guessed this in his heart, he could not help but roll his eyes when he heard her request. As expected. First elder, this matter has yet to be confirmed. Is it not a little inappropriate to make such a big fuss of? Moreover, isn't it just a snake marrow bone shedding pill? With this queen's current strength, it is not impossible to get a tier 6 alchemist to help refine it. Medusa by the side immediately let out a cold snort as she opened her mouth and replied when she saw Xiao Yan's expression. We are taking precautions. On this matter, it is better to be mistaken than to miss it. If it is really true and we miss the most opportunate time, who will take responsibility for the result? The first elder knit her brows, and responded in a stern manner. The first elder's eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan when she spoke until this point. She slowly said, may I know what Chief Xiao Yan's opinion is? Xiao Yan knit his brows. He mused for a moment before slightly shaking his head. The expressions of the four great elders and Medusa involuntarily sank in a manner that was hard to notice when they saw him shake his head. The latter tightly bit her lips. The gaze she used to look at Xiao Yan slowly turned ice cold. The snake marrow bone shedding pill might be a tier 6 medicinal pill, but it is still a little too low in level. I think that the heaven soul blood bone pill might not be bad, what do you all think? Xiao Yan rubbed his chin, raised his head, and spoke in a probing manner. Chapter 777, Provocation When Xiao Yan lifted his head after his voice sounded, he only saw a couple of shocked faces. He could not help but be stunned as he carefully asked, What is it? Can it not be done? Ugh, no, no. Yes, yes. Of course it can be done. The first elder hurriedly responded when she heard his questions. Her eyes revealed a wild joy that was difficult to hide. She did not expect Xiao Yan to be willing to spend so much effort to refine the highest grade, heaven soul blood bone pill. Being an elder of the Snake People tribe, she naturally best understood the difficulty of refining this kind of medicinal pill and the risks that one must endure. The expressions of the other three elders, who were staring at Xiao Yan with dark and cold gazes earlier, immediately became gentle. They faintly nodded. Although this person was a human, he was at the very least not hateful. The coldness in Medusa's eyes also swiftly disappeared. Her eyes revealed a gentleness that had never existed before as she looked at Xiao Yan. 
Of course, this merely lasted for an instant before it was once again hidden. Kuku, Chief Xiao Yan, it is naturally not a problem if you want to refine the Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill. I will hand the medicinal formula for it to you later. However, this is a tier 7 medicinal pill. It is extremely difficult to refine. Moreover, it is also accompanied by a lightning calamity with quite the risk. The first elder smiled as she studied Xiao Yan while she spoke. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before speaking slowly, with my current pill refining level, refining this, Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill might have an extremely high failure rate. However, if I am given enough time, I should be able to successfully refine it. That's right. Xiao Yan's gaze lingered over Medusa when he spoke until this point. He dryly laughed, may I know what the most suitable time is? Currently, the slight life force within the tribe leader's body is extremely weak. Clearly, it has just been formed for a short while. If this is a sign of pregnancy, we must begin the secret technique nourishment within two years at the very most. Hence, Chief Xiao Yan must refine a heaven soul blood bone pill within these two years. The first elder hesitated a little before speaking. Within two years, huh? Xiao Yan mused for a moment before immediately nodding. He said in a deep voice, First elder, you can rest assured that Xiao Yan will hand over the heaven soul blood bone pill within two years. It was just as the first elder had said. Regardless of whether Medusa was really pregnant, they ought to make all the necessary preparations. Although Xiao Yan did not have any thoughts of being a father, the baby was still a bloodline of the Xiao clan no matter how one put it. He must naturally give the baby the best. The first elder's face immediately became extremely joyous when she heard Xiao Yan's guarantee. She grinned and nodded as she said, The old me is also reassured with this agreement by Chief Xiao Yan. If the matter turns out to be true, our snake people tribe might well produce an unprecedented extremely powerful person. Xiao Yan dryly laughed. Other than accompany them in laughing, there did not appear to be anything else he could do regarding this matter. The four elders' attitude towards Xiao Yan had clearly become much warmer after they finished discussing the main issue. They smiled and chatted with him for a moment before handing the medicinal formula to refine the Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill to Xiao Yan. After which, they waved their hands and sent Medusa and him out. The two people walked out of the bamboo house and walked on the quiet small path for a moment. Then, Xiao Yan turned around to look at Medusa whose eyes were looking straight ahead. However, her face contained a slight flush. He laughed bitterly and said, this. Relax, if this matter turns out to be true, you only need to do as the elder requested and refine a heaven soul blood bone pill. You need not be concerned about the rest. Medusa glanced at him and spoke in a calm manner, appearing to have sensed Xiao Yan's complicated emotions. Xiao Yan was vexed as he shook his head. For the moment, he had still yet to recover from this great shock. I know some of your issues. Therefore, you need not be worried that this queen will pester you. I don't have that interest either. Once you successfully refine the Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill, in the future, you can go anywhere you like. No one will stop you. If this is really the new Medusa bloodline, the Snake People tribe and I will do our best to groom her. Medusa looked at her delicate, fine waist as she faintly spoke. Xiao Yan frowned when he heard this. Why was it that these words made him appear like a fickle and irresponsible person? However, if he were to think about it in detail, he could only bitterly smile and sigh. The relationship between him and Medusa was complicated. Their feelings for each other could not be compared with that of he and Sonair. However, after that matter underground, he could not simply ignore Medusa. This was especially after such a thing had happened, causing his relationship with Medusa to become increasingly more profound. Of course, he was similarly aware that Medusa might feel some emotions for him that were difficult to describe. The source of these feelings came from the matter underground. After all, no matter how ruthless Medusa was, she was still a woman. She also greatly valued something like losing her virginity. Back then, if the heaven-swallowing python had not caused trouble, it was likely that she would have killed Xiao Yan. As time flowed by, the influence of the heaven-swallowing python might have weakened. At the same time, the resistance and killing intent she felt for Xiao Yan within her heart had also gradually dwindled after they had been together for more time. By now, it was likely that her heart had seldom formed those thoughts from back then. I shall see you until this point. You can send someone to inform me when you plan to go and assassinate Yan Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders. Medusa's footsteps suddenly paused. She spoke in a faint voice while Xiao Yan was forming a long face. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He had just heard these words when he saw that Medusa had already turned around. He could only helplessly shake his head. Looks like his expression earlier had caused her to be somewhat unhappy. Ugh, women. Xiao Yan stood on the small path as he looked at the graceful moving figure that had become distant. He let out a bitter laugh and could only walk out of the compound by himself. Xiao Yan slowly walked out. He headed toward the front yard as though there was no one around him. He ignored the many curious gazes around him as he left. That fellow, halt. Xiao Yan was traveling through the outer yard when a loud cry sounded. A couple of strong-looking figures flashed and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. The latter raised his head and knit his brows. He studied the two male snake people who had appeared in front of him. One of them was that M.O. Ba Si who had launched a sneak attack against him earlier. Beside him stood a cold stern-looking male snake person. By observing his aura, he was actually an elite Do Huang. However, he should only be around two or three stars. 
Big brother Hei Du, he is Xiao Yan, that person whom the few elders mentioned to possibly be the tribe leader's husband. Mo Basi stared viciously at Xiao Yan before immediately informing the cold stern snake person by his side. The snake person who was called Mo Du nodded his head. His triangular shaped eyes locked onto Xiao Yan as he spoke in a deep voice, Human, I'm the second commander of the snake people tribe, Hei Du although our snake people tribe has already agreed to form an alliance with you, it is best that you keep a distance from our tribe leader. Otherwise, the one who will be unlucky will be you. Our snake people race will not have any relationships with other races. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. He had already felt somewhat irritated by these people repeated provocation. Hence, a faint cold glint flashed through his eyes. At this moment, his heart was already feeling extremely chaotic. If these people added fuel to the flames, Xiao Yan did not guarantee that he would not get them to lie on this place. There were quite a number of experts from the snake people tribe currently in this outer yard. When they saw that Mo Ba Si had actually found Hei Du as his helper, they began to crowd around this place with great interest. With the positions of these two people in the tribe, they were naturally aware that the relationship between Xiao Yan and Medusa was a little different. Move aside. Xiao Yan raised his eyes as he spoke in a faint voice when he sensed an increasing number of gazes focusing onto him. A fierce glint flashed in Hei Du's triangular eyes as he spoke in a deep voice, Hopefully, I will not see you here again next time. Xiao Yan raised his brows. He had finally lost his last thread of patience. His feet shifted gently before appearing in front of Hei Du and Mo Ba Si a moment later. Xiao Yan was unconcerned about these two people who seemed like metal meat shields. His feet moved and gently collided with them. Bang. The seemingly gentle collision erupted in a muffled sound. Hei Du's and Mo Ba Si's bodies were immediately forced back in front of the many surrounding stun gazes, appearing as though they had suffered a heavy blow. Hei Du was still alright. He had merely took a couple of steps back before stabilizing his body. On the other hand, Mo Ba Si actually fell onto his butt after having taken more than 10 steps back. His face was also suddenly flushed red. Hei Du's face also became unusually solemn after stabilizing his body. Although this person appeared as though he had just entered the Do Huang class, it was really unexpected that he possessed such a frightening strength. Most of the experts in the Snake People tribe were scattered to defend the remaining cities when the big battle had begun. Hence, some people were uncertain about the, the soul-stirring battle that occurred in the Black Mountain Fortress back then. Coincidentally, this second commander, who was called Hei Du, had just returned from elsewhere today. Therefore, he was not too familiar with Xiao Yan, and only felt that this name was quite familiar. A fierce glint flashed across Hei Du's eyes as he watched Xiao Yan's footsteps continue to head toward the door of the yard after having forced back the two of them. He let out a sudden cry and powerful Dou Qi suddenly surged out from his body. His powerful aura also spread out, causing the surrounding observing snake people experts to hurriedly withdraw. Xiao Yan's gaze was indifferent as he looked at Hei Du, who had unleashed his Dou Qi. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a cold smile. A jade green flame slowly rose from his body. Qi. The rushing sound of wind suddenly sounded just as Xiao Yan was circulating the glazed lotus heart flame. A green shadow immediately flashed across the sky. It finally smashed into Hei Du's chest in a lightning-like manner. The latter let out a muffled groan before his spreading Dou Qi quickly disappeared. The green shadow slowly landed on the ground after that attack, transforming into a green branch. Xiao Yan was slightly startled as he looked at this branch. Who else within the snake people tribe but Medusa could use a tree branch to force back an elite Dou Huang? Mo Ba Si, Hei Du, the both of you seem to be continuously slighting this queen recently. An icy cold cry was swiftly transmitted over, causing the faces of Hei Du and Mo Ba Si to change. They hurriedly bowed down on the ground. They were able to hear a slight fury in Medusa's words. Xiao Yan is a VIP of our snake people tribe. If anyone dares to purposefully make things difficult for him, do not blame this queen for serving you the tribe rules. The experts of the snake people tribe who were present looked at each other when they heard Medusa's words. No one expected that she would actually be so protective of Xiao Yan. Was what the elders said the truth? Quite a number of male snake people threw envious and jealous gazes towards Xiao Yan when they thought of this. Medusa was an inviolable female deity in the hearts of many people within the snake people tribe. However, it was unexpected that the female deity in their hearts would actually become so furious because of a human. This really caused them to feel some jealousy. Chapter 778 Nursing One's Health With Medusa's order, there was naturally no longer any snake person who dared to stop Xiao Yan. Hence, he left the area where the snake people lived without obstruction while feeling at a loss. When he walked out of the isolation line and heard the human voices that once again rose in the outside world, the chaos in his mind finally began to gradually calm down. Xiao Yan swung his head about. He recalled Medusa's slight displeasure earlier and that she had not revealed herself even while he left. It seemed that his expressions earlier had caused her to feel some anger within her heart. Ugh, what a bastard. Xiao Yan patted his head and sighed while scolding himself with a bitter smile. He was actually even more hesitant and had greater difficulty accepting this kind of matter compared to the female side. Moreover, this matter was his responsibility no matter how he put it. It was unexpected that it ended up with Medusa opening her mouth and saying words like she would raise the child alone once it was born. Although she and the snake people race might hope that this was the case, this child would ultimately have the blood of the Xiao clan should this matter be true. 
Did he really dare to completely ignore it? Xiao Yan was not a cold-blooded person. He did not hesitate much before he chose to make the highest grade secret technique that was most beneficial to the baby when the first elder requested him to refine the other medicinal pill. No matter how one put it, the baby was his bloodline. How could he not give it the best things, however, this news had arrived too abruptly, destroying all of Xiao Yan's usual calm. Hence, the words he had said had accidentally appeared a little hurtful. I shall apologize nicely the next time we meet. Xiao Yan turned his head and looked around this area while muttering in his heart. After which, he slowly left. Xiao Yan met with Xiao Ding, Hai Budong, and the others after he had returned to the division of the Yan Alliance that was situated at the Black Mountain Fortress. They engaged in a discussion before deciding that they would enact the assassination tomorrow. After all, there was little time left. Once the gold geese sex in the Milan Valley's core strength delivered some rare medicinal pills, the two elite dozones might be able to recover some strength. It would be somewhat troublesome to assassinate them at that time. Xiao Yan mused for a moment after deciding the time to attack. After which, he found a chamber and began to adjust his aura a little. He did not tell Xiao Ding about the matter with Medusa. He knew that given Big Brother's character, it was likely that the latter would get extremely excited if he knew that Medusa's womb might have the bloodline of the Xiao clan. However, the truth of this matter had yet to be ascertained. If it was indeed just a mistake when the time came, it would only cause people to be excited for no reason. Therefore, he planned to let Xiao Ding and the others know about it only when this matter was confirmed. The first thing that Xiao Yan did within the secret chamber was to take out the Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill, medicinal formula that the first elder from the Snake People tribe gave him. After which, he began to carefully read it. The medicinal formula of this kind of Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill was somewhat strange. Its main purpose was to help an unborn baby borrow the pure medicinal strength to open up and even expand some of the veins within their bodies while still in their mother's womb. In this way, the baby would be able to achieve double the effect with half the effort when it trained after being born. Due to this being natural, the baby would have a much easier time practicing any kind of qi method. This kind of medicinal pill was undoubtedly priceless to some sects or clans with an extremely powerful strength. As long as they possessed this, they would be able to repeatedly groom training geniuses with outstanding talents. Xiao Yan had seen one or two kinds of medicinal formula that were similar to the Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill among the medicinal formulas that Yao Lao had left behind. However, they lacked a dominating feeling when compared to the latter. Xiao Yan did not know just where did the Snake People tribe obtain such a medicinal formula from. Should this be released, it would definitely arouse the jealousy of quite a number of powerful factions. After all, as long as one had this thing, it could provide one with unending amounts of outstanding blood. This possessed an allure that was difficult for any type of factions. Although this medicinal formula was valuable, the medicinal strength of this Heaven Soul Blood Bone Pill was a little overbearing. An ordinary unborn baby would likely have difficulty enduring the infiltration of this medicinal strength. However, it was fortunate that the Medusa bloodline possessed a faint ancient bloodline. The baby would be able to withstand a little of this kind of overbearing medicinal strength because of that bloodline. Tier 7 Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he gently played with the scroll in his hand. This kind of mysterious pill that possessed the ability to alter one's constitution was extremely difficult to refine. Its chances of failure were also extremely high. Moreover, the most frightening thing was that a medicinal pill of this tier had a chance of stirring up natural energy when it was formed within the cauldron before finally attracting a lightning disaster. This kind of lightning disaster was also called a pill calamity within the alchemist world. Its strength was extremely great and one could end up dead with a destroyed pill if one was not careful. Hence, even some alchemists who had the ability to refine a tier 7 medicinal pill would try to avoid refining this kind of medicinal pill that could attract a pill calamity. From this, one could also guess why the Snake People tribe had not obtained a Heaven Soul Blood Bone pill after so many years. This formula was not only just a matter of gathering medicinal ingredients. One had to also find a high tier alchemist who had the ability and the courage to risk his life in order to be able to refine it. An alchemist who had the ability to refine this kind of medicinal pill could basically be considered someone at the Grandmaster class even in the entire Dochi continent. Who would take the risk of being struck by lightning to help someone refine this kind of medicinal pill for nothing? Their lives were extremely valuable. The medicinal ingredients that it requires are also quite troublesome. However, it is fortunate that there is a two-year time period. It will be possible to take things slowly. Xiao Yan sighed softly. He carefully stored this medicinal formula properly before musing for a moment. His hand moved and he took out a blood-red scroll from within his storage ring. Some dark coldness seeped out the moment this scroll appeared. It was surprisingly the medicinal formula for the life-devouring pill that Xiao Li had luckily obtained from the deep mountains within the Black Corner region back then. Xiao Yan's gaze stared at this medicinal formula. His expression was somewhat cold and stern. Although the development pace of the current Yen Alliance was fast, it was still a little weak when compared with factions like the Poison Sect and the Gold Geese Sect. This was not merely in terms of the peak experts. It was even more prominent in terms of the core strength. However, how could grooming a core strength of experts who could hold their own happen within a short period of time? At such times, the life-devouring pill would be the fastest shortcut. Of course, Xiao Yan was also aware of the side effect of the life-devouring pill. 
This matter was something he had also discussed with Xiao Ding, Hai Budong, and a couple of Yan Alliance elders. All of them decided unanimously that it would be best that they could truly create a group of fighters who were unafraid to die, death fighters, that were completely loyal to the Yan Alliance. Although they may only have a three-year lifespan as a result of this, they were all confident that they would definitely be able to get the Yan Alliance to become one of the most powerful factions within the northwestern region as long as they could endure these three years. This might might be a little bloody but the implication of the Yan Alliance was too great. One example was this battle. Had Xiao Yan not hurried over at a crucial point in time, it was likely that the entire Jiama Empire would have been eliminated. At that time, an unknown number of people would have lost their lives. If one wanted to protect even more people, it was only natural that there must be the sacrifice of a small group of people. After resolving this matter, I will hand this medicinal formula to Big Brother before secretly dispatching alchemists to refine them. The actual death squad can only be left to Big Brother and the others to decide. However, such people must be absolutely loyal. As long as we can possess a group of Wan class death fighters, the Yen Alliance can be considered to truly possess an infallible status in the Jiama Empire. It is also not impossible to dominate the northwestern region in the future. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. Xiao Yan solemnly returned this medicinal formula to his ring as this thought flashed across his heart. He let out a long sigh as hand seals began to slowly form. His eyes were gradually shut as he entered into the training condition. Ever since he had broken through to the Dou Huang class and left the small mountain valley, Xiao Yan had never truly calmed down to train. The big battle from a couple of years ago had also caused him to be always tensed up, not daring to relax even a little. Only now that Xiao Yan had finished this matter did he have the time to quietly nurse his body. The air within the chamber began to fluctuate slightly after Xiao Yan entered his training condition. Waves of natural energy surfaced. After which, they turned into two small colorful snakes that entered his nostrils. After which, they were swiftly refined by the two kinds of heavenly flames within his body before transforming into threads of pure dochi that flowed in his veins. In the end, dochi was assimilated into every part of his body. This battle with two elite dozongs in one day had greatly exhausted Xiao Yan. This was especially the case when he had unleashed a frightening move like the three-colored, angry Buddha Lotus Flame. Not only did it greatly exhaust his dochi but his spiritual strength had also become much weaker as a result. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was stronger than an ordinary person. His recovery speed was also quite gratifying. Hence, his exhausted spiritual strength had automatically recovered within a short couple of days. After having used the angry Buddha Lotus Flame so many times, Xiao Yan faintly sensed that his spiritual strength had appeared to become increasingly more mellow. It filled with more strength during the recovery cycle after this kind of exhaustion. His spiritual perception had also become much sharper than before because of this. His training quietly continued amid this dullness. By the time Xiao Yan had withdrawn from this training mode, glaring sunlight shot into the chamber from a small window. The rays left behind numerous light spots on the ground. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes. A somewhat whitish and hot aura was spat out from Xiao Yan. His expression had also become radiant in an instant. A hot fire glow flickered within his dark black eyes before gradually fading a moment later. Battle is really the shortcut to raise one's level. Xiao Yan stretched his lazy waist. He could sense that his strength had improved slightly after the battle with Yan Luotian and the three Mulan elders. The current him had already completely stabilized at the one-star Dou Huang level. It had only been a month since he had broken through to the Dou Huang class. Such speed was considered fast. Who, today, it is time to act. Xiao Yan moved his hand and a gray-colored jade piece appeared in Xiao Yan's hand. The corner of his mouth moved slightly as a somewhat dark, cold smile surfaced. Chapter 779, Operation Human figures were scattered around the top of a small mountain peak that was not far from the Black Mountain Fortress. However, no abnormal sound was present. Everyone was quietly sitting cross-legged on the ground. Their powerful auras were suppressed to the weakest level. Xiao Yan, Xiao Ding, Hai Budong stood side to side on the mountain peak while conversing in a soft voice. Has Medusa not arrived? Hai Budong knit his brows slightly and looked in the direction of the Black Mountain Fortress as he chatted. I have already informed her. I think that she should be consolidating the experts from the Snake People tribe. Xiao Yan smiled and replied. Not long after his words had sounded, a rushing sound was suddenly transmitted from the sky. A large group of figures rushed over. A couple of breaths later, they appeared in the air above the mountain peak before they slowly descended. The human figure who had appeared was naturally the experts from the Snake People tribe. Their leader was Medusa. Hai Budong and the other sighed in relief when they saw Medusa appear. If this assassination lacked her presence, it would no longer have a meaning to it. With just Xiao Yan's strength alone, the danger of breaking into the place where the three army alliance gathered would undoubtedly soar. Medusa's faint eyes paused on Xiao Yan's body as she landed. After which, they swept toward Hai Budong and the others as she opened her mouth to say, let's leave if we are all prepared. Xiao Ding nodded slightly. He voiced his thoughts, the assassination this time around will follow our original plan. Third brother and Medusa will sneak into the city and find the opportunity to kill Yan Luotian and the three Mulan elders. 
If your tracks are discovered or your assassination fails, Hai Budong and the others hiding outside will lead people to rescue you. At that time, it is naturally best that we destroy those fellows if we still have the chance. If it is really impossible, we will withdraw first. We cannot afford an overly large loss. After all, we are currently unable to endure it. Everyone nodded after hearing this. Kuku, in that case, we shall await the good news quietly in the Black Mountain Fortress. Xiao Ding also smiled when he saw this. He immediately cupped his hands to everyone as he spoke. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. After which, his gaze swept toward Medusa. Their gazes met for a moment before the latter immediately shifted it aside. Xiao Yan could only bitterly laugh when he saw this manner of hers. The fire wings on his back extended out. He immediately waved his hand and took the lead to rush to the sky. The numerous Yan Alliance experts on the ground swiftly summoned their Dou Qi wings as well. They hurriedly followed after seeing that Xiao Yan had begun to move. Let's leave too. Remember, all of you will listen to Hai Budong's orders after I enter the city. You cannot disobey him. If anything is to go wrong midway, do not blame this queen for serving you with the clan rules. Medusa turned her head and faintly spoke to the many experts within the clan. The person at the front of the experts from the Snake People clan was the second commander Hei Du who had some conflict with Xiao Yan. However, he hurriedly nodded his head when he heard Medusa's words. Medusa's prestige within the Snake People tribe was something no one dared challenge. Medusa only nodded her slightly head after seeing this. Her body moved and it rose into the air without borrowing any external strength. After which, it finally transformed into a ray of light that followed Xiao Yan and the others in front. The experts from the Snake People tribe behind her also swiftly followed. The three large empire might have temporarily moved back under the orders of the little fairy doctor, but it did not completely withdraw. Instead, they had all gathered at a city at the border that connected the Chuyun Empire to the Jiama Empire. They were ready to launch another attack at any time and swallow the Jiama Empire at one go. After all, it was just as the little fairy doctor had said. Although she possessed a dictatorship within the Poison Sect and not many people who dared to question her words within the entire Chuyun Empire, the Gold Geese Sect and the Milan Valley were not factions that originated from the Chuyun Empire. Moreover, the overall strength of these two factions was not weaker than the Poison Sect. The two large sects were originally willing to dispatch soldiers and experts to defeat the Jiama Empire because they wanted to get a portion of its territory. However, the Little Fairy Doctor had actually decided to give up on attacking after things had developed until this point. The two sects were naturally extremely dissatisfied. Although Yen Luotian and the three Mulan elders were seriously injured, once the essence strength reinforcements from the two sects arrived and delivered some high-tier healing medicine, the two of them would naturally be able to regain their strength quickly. At that time, they would once again become an extremely great strength. It was not impossible for them to destroy the Jiama Empire and the Yen Alliance. With this hope, it was only natural that the two sects were unwilling to withdraw their armies at this moment. Hence, the three parties were currently arguing bitterly with one another, causing Little Fairy Doctor to feel some headache. After all, the withdrawal of troops this time around was too sudden. Not only did the two sects oppose it but even the Poison Sect and the Chuyun Empire also had some opposition. However, due to her reputation, no one dared to give voice to it. Hence, even though the Little Fairy Doctor had decided to withdraw the army, the danger that the Jiama Empire and the Yan Alliance faced had yet to be completely resolved. As long as Yan Luotian and the three Mulan elders were around, it was likely that the Gold Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley would not give up. Hence, these two people must be eliminated. This current moment was the best opportunity to strike. The border city where the three country alliance were staying in was only 50 over kilometers from the Black Mountain Fortress. With the speed of Xiao Yan and the others, they gradually approached their destination within an hour. It was a small depression in the mountains that was not far from the city. The Yan Alliance and the Snake People tribe began to swiftly descend while they were still some distance from the city because they were worried that the experts within the city would discover a large number of auras. They quietly entered the forest before walking toward a hidden depression in the mountains. No one acted immediately after they walked to their destination. Instead, all of them began to quietly adjust their aura under Xiao Yan's arrangement, doing their best to raise their condition to its best. Xiao Yan's gaze was coincidentally able to see the city not far away from the top of a tree located in this small depression between the mountains. He could see that the city was covered with soldiers patrolling to and fro. Moreover, there would occasionally be expert Do Wangs who would fly in an intersecting manner in the sky. Any unusual activity would be first spotted by these people who were high in the sky. The defenses of this place are indeed tight. It seems that the other party is prepared. Xiao Yan studied those expert Do Wangs patrolling. He curled his mouth and felt somewhat troubled as he spoke. Didn't that little fairy doctor give you a jade plate? She will naturally remove some of the defenses once you break it. However, it seems to me that those patrolling clearly aren't merely experts from the poison sect. Even if she could remove some defenses, she can only move the experts from the poison sect away. The experts from the gold geese sect in the Milan Valley will still perform their due diligence and guard this place. A faint voice was transmitted from behind him. Xiao Yan did not need to turn his head to know that it was definitely Medusa. Yes, but there's no choice. This kind of thing originally posed some risk. We will act when night falls. Given both of our strength, it is likely extremely difficult to discover us even with expert Do Wang's patrolling as long as we are a little careful. Xiao Yan nodded his head and softly replied. 
A low, yes, sound was emitted from behind him. Clearly, Medusa did not have any other opinions. Xiao Yin swiftly took out the gray-colored jade piece from his storage ring after hearing this. After which, he broke it before patting his hands as he said with a smile, Now, we should wait until night falls. He turned his head around as he spoke and looked at the bewitching exquisite face which gave one an icy cold feeling. After a brief moment of hesitation, he suddenly whispered, that. I'm sorry for yesterday. Medusa was also startled when she heard this. Eyes which were filled with an allure swept over Xiao Yan. This was the first time that she had heard Xiao Yan speak in such a manner ever since she became acquainted with him. You also know how to apologize, huh? Medusa lowered her face slightly and spoke in a faint voice. Despite speaking in this manner with her mouth, even she did not sense that her face had become slightly gentler. Clearly, this apology from Xiao Yan did have quite the effect. Xiao Yan smiled somewhat awkwardly. He rubbed his hands and said, I am currently unable to refine the heaven soul blood bone pill. Once I have raised my refining skills a little, it is likely that I will be able to start refining it. However, you need not worry. I will definitely succeed within two years. Medusa nodded. For some unknown reason, there was some joy within her heart when Xiao Yan placed this matter seriously within his heart. This kind of emotion was quite rare for someone as temperamental as her. The last remaining thread of resentment completely scattered when Xiao Yan spoke these words. Medusa had just wanted to speak when her eyebrows were suddenly raised. Her delicate hand was suddenly waved and a suction force surged out from it. A dark black bat was caught in her hand. Her gaze swept over it only to see that a small paper reel was held in its claws. Medusa removed the paper reel and flicked her finger, sending the bat into the deep forest. After which, she slowly opened it and softly said, This is something the little fairy doctor sent over. It is a map of the city. It indicates the position where the Yen Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders are located. Xiao Yan rejoiced a little in his heart upon hearing this. With this map, they would save the effort of randomly searching about. This did indeed provide great help toward their goal. Yen Luo Tian is in the mid-northern area while the three Mulan elders are in the west. Looks like we will need to split up and act. Medusa voiced her thoughts. Although Yen Luo Tian is seriously injured, he is ultimately still in elite zone. He will be extremely difficult to deal with should he retaliate. Hence, leave him to me. The three Mulan elders have lost one member. By not being able to use the three beast savage skill, they are merely ordinary expert Do Hyunags. Hence, it should not be a problem for your full strength to deal with them. What do you think? Yes, you should be careful. Xiao Yan felt a little moved when he saw that Medusa had distributed the most dangerous job to herself. He immediately smiled and nodded. In that case, Medusa let out a smile. Her epiphilum like smile caused Xiao Yan's eyes to brighten. Let's wait until night falls. Chapter 780, Assassinate The night sky quietly arrived while Xiao Yan and the others were waiting. The small depression in the mountains that was hidden by the forest emitted a slight activity just as the crescent moon slowly climbed into the sky. Old High, all of you need not appear if this assassination proceeds smoothly. If any unexpected changes occur during the operations, we will need all of you to receive us. Xiao Yan turned his head, looked at Hai Budo, and spoke in a deep voice after having completed his preparations with Medusa. Yes. Hai Budo nodded. His face was solemn as he said, be careful. I will be constantly monitoring the situation in the city. Xiao Yan smiled. He nodded slightly before turning his head back while whispering to Medusa, let's go. Medusa, who had already changed into a set of black clothes, nodded when she heard this. After which, she moved her body and appeared in the air. She looked at the distant city, which still retained a tight defense even after being covered by the night sky. Xiao Yan did not use his Dou Qi wings because he was afraid of attracting too much attention. Instead, he summoned the purple cloud wings, which he had not used for a long time. Although the purple cloud wing speed could not be compared with the Dochi wings, it was superior in that it was not so eye-catching at night. This time around, they were heading over to assassinate and not to openly break into the city to control it. Xiao Yan flapped his purple cloud wings as his body swiftly rose into the air. After which, he exchanged gazes with Medusa before slightly nodding. The two of them transformed into black figures that rushed toward the city under the cover of the night sky. With the speed of the two of them, they appeared at a spot not far from the city wall within a couple of breaths. Over half of those expert Do Wangs who were patrolling the place had already been moved away. The ordinary soldiers who remained may have been large in number, but they did not possess any threat to Xiao Yan and Medusa. Their two figures quietly stood in the darkness. Their bodies turned into black lines that rushed into the city in a lightning-like manner the moment an empty space was created when two expert Do Wangs crossed each other. Finally, their bodies moved and they flashed into the shadow of a building. We will separate here. Remember, leave immediately once you succeed. We will meet in the Black Mountain Fortress after that. Xiao Yan glanced at the human figures that randomly flew above in the sky. He suppressed his voice and whispered in Medusa's ear. Medusa was a little hesitant when she heard this. There was naturally not much trouble for her to leave. However, once Xiao Yan was surrounded by many experts, there would be some danger in his attempt to flee. Cuckoo, relax. Although I am not a Dozone, there aren't many Do Huangs who could stop me if I really wanted to flee. 
Xiao Yan appeared to have sensed the slight hesitation in Medusa's eyes as he slightly smiled and whispered. Yes, be careful. Medusa immediately spoke softly as she nodded when she heard Xiao Yan speak. Yes. 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 Medusa once again nodded. She did not procrastinate any longer after nodding once again. Her eyes slightly flashed to the sky above before her body moved and turned into a blurry black shadow that rushed into the city in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan's eye sent Medusa away as her body quietly disappeared in the darkness. He also let out a soft sigh. After obtaining his bearings, he flew in the opposite direction of Medusa. The little fairy doctor, who was seated cross-legged on the roof of a spacious building located in the middle of the city, slowly opened her grayish purple eyes. Her gaze swept over the direction where Medusa and Xiao Yan were located. She immediately lowered her face and softly spoke to herself, I have already done all that I am able to do. It is up to all of you to make it succeed. The camp of the Mulan Valley was located in an area that was near the western side of the city. Compared to the other dark regions of the city, this place was still well lit even though it was deep into the night. Fully armed soldiers were patrolling all over the place. Expert Do Wangs repeatedly flew overhead through the air. An expert with exceptional eyesight was also guarding from of the tall towers in the camp. Their incomparably sharp eyes repeatedly swept over the darkness surrounding the camp. The alarm sounding crossbows in their hands were ready to shoot at any time. Looking at the tight defenses of this place, it was obvious that they were on their guard. A blurry human figure suddenly flashed through the darkness within the camp. The tall wooden face that was made from thick, firm wooden poles quietly melted and formed an average-sized hole. The darkness immediately wiggled and a human figure rushed into it in a strange manner. Although this place was tightly guarded, it lacked the presence of a genuine elite do zone. Hence, these security measures did not actually impact Xiao Yan much. Although he was only a Do Huang, he possessed an extremely sharp spiritual perception that gave him a foresight that enabled himself to reduce his chances of being exposed. The soldiers patrolling to and fro as well as the flashing human figures in the air did not discover a black figure swiftly approaching the middle of the well-lit camp. During the time that Xiao Yan had swiftly entered the camp of the Milan Valley, Medusa had already appeared in the deepest region of the Gold Geese sect on the roof of an extremely luxurious hall that occupied a very large space. Medusa's eyes swept over the place in an indifferent manner. She glanced through the gaps between the tiles. She heard waves of woman moaning being transmitted from within as well as a familiar lewd male laugh. The chill in her eyes became even denser. She had long heard that the gold geese sex sect leader was extremely lustful, but she did not expect him to still find time for such physical enjoyment. Medusa flicked her finger, and a tiny thread of unusually rich seven-colored energy slowly agglomerated on the tip of her finger. Energy gathered on the tip of Medusa's finger, but she did not immediately act. She shut her eyes and appeared to have entered her training state. Her body did not make the slightest movement while the energy on the tip of her finger became increasingly condensed. Only one true killing move was needed. An assassin similarly only required one strike. Hence she needed to grasp the best opportunity. A tent that was even larger than an ordinary tent stood in the middle of the Milan Valley's campground. A black figure quietly surfaced from the shadows of the tent. The figure's eyes studied the tent, and a slight heat surfaced in the air a moment later. It immediately revealed an extremely small hole in the large tent. The situation within the tent was also absorbed into his eyes. Three old men were seated within this well-lit tent. From their appearances, they were naturally the three Mulan elders. At this moment, the three of them had formed a triangular shape. All of their eyes were tightly shut. The nostrils of the three of them were emitting a blood-red energy. This energy lingered over the three of them before completely entering the old man with the weakest aura. Clearly, this elder of the Mulan Valley was the tiger-headed elder, whom Xiao Yan had seriously wounded that day. Looking at the action of these three people, it seemed as though they were recuperating. This three-beast savage skill is indeed mysterious. It is actually able to heal each other. Moreover, its effect is also quite good. No wonder it is the most profound qi method of the Mulan Valley. Xiao Yan, who was hiding in the darkness, could not help but feel surprise in his heart while he observed the manner of the three people. He also gained a greater opinion of the three beast savage skill. If the Yan Alliance had experts who practiced this qi method, the increase in its strength would not be small. Xiao Yan gently exhaled. He gradually calmed himself as the Dou Qi within his body quietly circulated. The recuperation within the tent continued for around 10 minutes before it gradually stopped. The three of them slowly opened their eyes. How is it? The other two people opened their mouths to ask. They sighed in relief when they saw that blood-colored energy entering the body of the tiger-headed elder. I have recovered a little. However, my injuries are quite serious. It is likely that I can only wait for the tier 6 medicinal pill to be delivered from the Milan Valley if I want to be fully healed. The tiger-headed elder's face was gloomy as he replied. It is unexpected that the brat actually possessed such a tactic. We really underestimated him. A Milan elder frowned as he spoke. We were merely disadvantaged by being caught off guard this time around. Moreover, the fire lotus that he used against Yan Luo Tian also seemed to really exhaust him. It is not possible for him to recover within a short period of time. 
A viciousness flashed across the tiger-headed elder's eyes as he said, Once the elite experts from the Mulan Valley arrive, we will once again join with the Gold Geese sect, and we will strike the Yan Alliance until their blood flows like a river even if the poison sect ceases to participate. The two other elders also nodded their heads with gloomy faces. If they return empty-handed from their combined attack on the Jiama Empire, how could their Mulan Valley have any face to stand in this northwestern region in the future? They would definitely receive much ridicule when they next participate in the faction's grand meeting. Woo! The sudden sound of a sharp whistle appeared just as the two of them nodded their heads. An ear-piercing noise resounded over the entire camp. The expressions of the three Mulan elders drastically changed when they heard this whistle sound. They did not pause. Instead, two of their bodies moved to protect the injured tiger-headed elder behind them. The tent leaned sideways and burst apart the moment they moved. A human figure completely covered by a silver glow, carrying a sharp wind, rushed out. Xiao Yan. You have really come. The eyes of the three Mulan elders shrank slightly as they looked at the silver-colored human figure who had rushed over in a lightning-like manner. They immediately cried out with stern voices. At the same time, powerful Dou Qi suddenly surged. The two of them joined hands and violently smashed angrily toward the light figure. The two punches carried a fierce wind. They were as quick as lightning and in the blink of an eye, their fists smashed heavily against the light figure. Qi. The light figure shook intensely upon receiving such a heavy blow. It immediately scattered in front of the shocked eyes belonging to the three Mulan elders. An afterimage. Having already gained the experience of exchanging blows with Xiao Yan, a lightning flashed past the hearts of the two elders. They suddenly turned their bodies in dismay and could see a black figure standing beside the tiger-headed elder in a ghost-like manner. His eagle claw-like hand firmly held the elder's neck. The black-robed, young man could not help but give the two people a slight smile when he saw them looking over. His white, shiny teeth caused a chill to spread through their bodies. Chapter 781, Fighting Many Alone Xiao Yan, what do you intend to do? The two Mulan elders did not dare to make any unusual movements. They stared at Xiao Yan's hand claw wrapped around the tiger-headed elder's throat. At this moment, the latter only needed to use a little strength to kill the elder on the spot. They could only cry out sternly in the fear of harming their companion. Nothing, I am merely getting rid of the problem at its roots. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. His voice was quite calm. However, it was these calm words that caused the hearts of the three Mulan elders to sink. Although they had taken precautions, they did not expect Xiao Yan to actually take such a big risk and come to the Three Army Alliance's grounds to launch a sneak attack on them. If you kill him, you will completely become enemies with our Mulan Valley. At that time, it is likely that the situation will turn into one where we won't give up until you die. The Mulan elder on the left side studied Xiao Yan with dark, solemn eyes while he spoke in a ferocious manner. My Yan alliance was nearly eliminated by all of you. Isn't it a little too late to say this? Xiao Yan's faint smile remained on his face, but now contained some denseness. His hand tightened slightly while he said this. The tiger-headed elder's face immediately turned red. He widened his mouth and started panting. The two Mulan elders' faces twitched. They finally inhaled a deep breath of air a moment later. They suppressed the fury within their hearts and one of them said, Xiao Yan, as long as you let him off, I swear that the Mulan Valley will no longer find trouble with the Jiama Empire and the Yan Alliance. What do you say? Nothing. Xiao Yan continued to smile as he replied. The eyes of the two Mulan elders shrank. Their hands, which were behind their backs, suddenly began to form seals without leaving any traces. Their mouths, however, used a deep voice to speak, if you aren't satisfied, we can use our Mulan Valley's three-beast savage skill to exchange for his life. How is it? This Qi method of ours is a D-class middle-level Qi method. You have personally experienced just what its strength is like. Three-beast savage skill. Xiao Yan's eyes moved slightly upon hearing these words. The eyes of the two Mulan elders flashed with joy that was difficult to detect. However, they did not have time to speak before Xiao Yan laughed, I am indeed very interested in this Qi method. However, he must die. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly became dark, cold at the end of his words. A jade green flame suddenly surged from his hand. His middle finger immediately pierced forward and penetrated the throat of the tiger-headed elder under the cover of the fire glow. Grug. Grug. Gurg. Gurg. A pillar of blood suddenly shot out and eventually left a piercing, bright red blood stain in the snow-white tent. The two Mulan elders blankly stared at the tiger-headed elder, whose life force was swiftly disappearing. The latter's body was slowly falling in a flaccid manner. The eyes of the two Mulan elders immediately split. If they were given a little more time, they would be able to forcefully circulate the three-beast savage skill. As long as they placed their combined strength into the tiger-headed elder's body, breaking through Xiao Yan's clamped hand would definitely have been extremely easy. However, they lacked just a little. Bastard Xiao Yan. The old me will turn your bone into ashes today. A furious savage roar suddenly sounded as powerful Dou Qi suddenly surged out from the bodies of the two elders. The momentum that was created by the Dou Qi blew away the enormous tent. The figure inside was immediately revealed to the eyes of the experts from the Mulan Valley who were patrolling in the sky. Xiao Yan's expression was also ice cold. 
The liquid blood on his hand had already been vaporized by the flame. With the help of his sharp spiritual perception, he naturally understood what these two old fellows were doing in secret. However, for them to assume that this could delay him, did they really think that he was some inexperienced little fellow who had just left home? Capture him. Regardless of whether he is dead or alive. One of the Mulan Valley elders finger pointed at Xiao Yan while his furious roar resounded over the entire camp. The death of the tiger-headed elder would be an extremely serious blow to their Mulan Valley. Having lost him, it was no longer possible to use the Three Beast Savage skill, and having lost the Three Beast Savage skill, the Milan Valley had lost the ability to frighten those factions within their empire that were looking at them with ill intent. This was definitely fatal to their Milan Valley. It was because of this reason that the two Milan elders were so furious at this moment. Many human figures shot into the campsite after the Milan Valley's elder furiously roared. They swiftly appeared on the middle area. Numerous dents, cold eyes from the ground, the sky, and the top of the tents were staring intently at Xiao Yan. Their eyes were filled with a dark and chilly killing intent that seemed intent on tearing Xiao Yan's corpse into 10,000 pieces. Xiao Yan's face also changed slightly when he saw so many experts. With his spiritual perception, he could sense that there were three elite Dou Huangs present. Adding the two Mulan elders, there was a total of five elite Dou Huangs. If they were to join hands, even Xiao Yan would be forced to temporarily seek shelter. Of course, it was not that Xiao Yan did not want to flee but there was nowhere to do so. These experts from the Mulan Valley were extremely experienced in combat. They had sealed off all the escape route he could take the moment they appeared. Hence, he could only forcefully charge through if he wanted to flee. Xiao Yan suddenly crouched down while this thought flashed through his heart. He ruthlessly broke a finger of the tiger-headed elder in front of the stunned gazes of the people around him. He obtained the storage ring on it. He stuffed it into his breast pocket as his feet stomped on the ground. His body suddenly shot to the sky. Stop him. Stop him now. Regardless of whether he is dead or alive. Anyone who kills him will be promoted to an external valley elder. The two Mulan elders were momentarily stunned because of Xiao Yan's action. By the time they had recovered, they suddenly became like a cat that had its tail stepped on. They immediately jumped and shouted in a raving manner. The reward that the two Mulan elders promised seemed to possess a great allure in the eyes of these experts from the Mulan Valley. The eyes of those experts in the sky immediately turned red. Each of them let out an inflamed roar as they crazily charged toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan flapped the fire wings on his back as he dodged the head-on attack of an elite Dou Huang. His expression was dark and cold as he struck violently toward the head of an expert Do Wang by the side. Flame surged immediately and the punch hit the ladder. His head became like watermelon that burst apart immediately. After killing an expert Do Wang with a single punch, Xiao Yan's face was covered with some blood. His dark black eyes gradually revealed a bloodthirsty, ferocious look as he once again violently charged forward and rushed toward the exit of the campsite with all his might. Bang. 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 The fist that was covered by the glazed lotus heart flame violently collided with an expert Dou Huang. A powerful energy wind exploded from the spot where the two collided. Xiao Yan's shoulders trembled while that expert Dou Huang, whose strength was around that of one star, seemed to have received a heavy blow as he flew back. In the end, he spat out two mouthfuls of fresh blood. His eyes were filled with shock as he looked at Xiao Yan whose entire body was covered with fresh blood. It was likely that he did not expect to be defeated so miserably after just one exchange in the hands of Xiao Yan, who seemed like someone in the same class as him. Although this punch of Xiao Yan might have shaken and injured the Dou Huang, the latter had managed to quietly stop his speed for an instant. It was during this instant that the two Mulan elders, who had been staring at Xiao Yan with pernicious eyes, suddenly rose. One was at the front while the other was at his back. Their mouths emitted a mad angry roar as a bloody glow gathered on their fists. The bloody glow finally transformed into a savage bear head and a savage lion head. Fierce bear ground splitting fist. Lion inch force. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he sensed the sharp, bloodthirsty attacks from his front and back. They had basically locked all of his retreat roots. His face also became slightly solemn as his hand seal moved and a circular dark green fire ring swept in all directions with his body at the middle. Fire ring explode. A low roar sounded and the swiftly spreading jade green fire ring ruthlessly collided with the fierce attacks of the two Mulan elders. Immediately, a clear energy explosion resounded across the sky like thunder. Wild and violent energy swiftly spread. The fire ring gradually disappeared but Xiao Yan still sensed two hidden force striking toward him. The ruthless attacks, which were targeted at his chest and back, caused his throat to emit a soft groan. While Xiao Yan was injured, the two Mulan elders were also blasted by the glazed lotus heart flame until fresh blood dripped down from their fists. Clearly, both parties had suffered some injuries during this head-on collision. Xiao Yan had yet to have the time to catch his breath after temporarily forcing the two Mulan elders back when over ten powerful forces suddenly shot over from all directions. They aimed at all the fatal points on Xiao Yan's body as they wrapped around him. Clearly, after having suffered the sharp close-range attack from Xiao Yan, these experts from the Mulan Valley began to avoid a close-range battle. Instead, they chose to rely on their powerful Dou Qi to put off Xiao Yan's movement. Xiao Yan could ignore these Dou Qi attacks if there was only one of them. However, with so many of them attacking in an orderly manner, even he could not just allow them to hit him as they wanted to. 
Hence, he swiftly used the glazed lotus heart flame to form a jade green fire armor on the surface of his body. Some of the Dochi pillars might have been scattered by Xiao Yan, but there were still over ten of them that smashed against the fire armor. The energy wave that was formed from the intense explosion caused a great tremor to appear within Xiao Yan's body. Damn it. I will be held back by them in this place if this continues. These Dochi pillars might not injure Xiao Yan too much, but they caused his speed to be reduced. By borrowing this reduced speed, the two Mulan elders and the other few elite Do Huangs had already completed the nursing of their auras. Their eyes revealed a fierce glint while they stared at Xiao Yan. Powerful Do skills were swiftly being agglomerated. Xiao Yan's heart sank as he sensed the many powerful Do skills that were being gathered around him. Just as he was about to go all out and prepare to blast these bastards to death with the angry Buddha Lotus Flame, once again, a ray of light suddenly rushed over from the distant sky. Within a couple of flashes, it went on a rampage and charged into this chaotic sky. A graceful lovely figure twisted before appearing in front of Xiao Yan. She extended her delicate hand and the Dochi pillars that rushed from all over the place disappeared into nothing. The black figure turned her head, revealing a calm and exquisitely bewitching face. It was surprisingly Medusa. Her eyes swept over Xiao Yan's blood-covered body and immediately sensed his somewhat chaotic aura. Her bewitching, long pupils revealed a dark, cold-killing intent. Next, leave them to me. I will let these two old fellows pay the price. Chapter 782, Rich Reward Xiao Yan studied Medusa, who had appeared in front of him, and sighed in relief. The other party had too many experts. If he were to charge forcefully with all his strength, he would naturally be able to leave. However, that was on the precondition that he used the Angry Buddha Lotus Flame and killed a bunch of people. Once he used the Angry Buddha Lotus Flame, Xiao Yan would feel extremely weak. If any other situation occurred during this period, he would no longer have much ability to defend himself. Are you done over on your side? Xiao Yan's eyes swept in all direction as he quickly asked. Yes. 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 Medusa nodded indifferently. She did not waste too much strength in dealing with Yan Luo Tian. It was actually so smooth that it had exceeded her expectations. However, it was worthy of his Dozong strength to allow the fellow to die when he was having the most fun. You should leave first. I will take care of things behind. If we delay a little longer, it is likely that the experts from the Gold Geese sect will charge over. Medusa turned her head and spoke to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before nodding. He did not say any unnecessary words as his body moved and charged out of the encirclement. Medusa's sudden appearance undoubtedly caused the Milan Valley experts' faces to become much uglier. After nearly a year of exchanging blows, they were extremely clear of just how powerful the former was. In the past, the three Mulan elders were able to fight with her a little with the help of the Three Beast Savage skill. Now that one of the three was missing, the Qi method had completely lost its effect. It was undoubtedly impossible for them to rely on their strength at the peak of the Do Huang class to exchange blows with Medusa. Medusa's pretty eyes indifferently swept over the two Mulan elders. She clenched her delicate hand and a seven-colored snake sword flashed and appeared. A fierce glow appeared in her eyes. Her body moved. It rushed toward the two people in a ghost-like manner. Stop her. Quick. The expressions of the two Mulan elders drastically changed when they saw Medusa's action as they hurriedly cried out. They clearly understood that with the current strength of the both of them, it was impossible for them to be a match with Medusa. Having lost the Three Beast Savage skill, they were just ordinary peak Do Huangs. The surrounding Mulan Valley's experts hesitated for a moment after hearing the cry of the two Mulan elders. After which, they could only grit their teeth and charge at Medusa. The Do Chi within their bodies was unleashed to their limit as numerous sharp air tearing sounds appeared in the sky. Medusa's face did not change even a little in the face of the attacks that were rushing over from all directions. Her hand formed a seal and a countless number of seven colored energy pillars surged out of her body. After which, they appeared like a countless number of enormous seven colored snakes as they rushed out and collided with the many attacks. Unceasing thunder-like explosions resounded over the camp. When the energy explosion waves spread through the air, the faces of the weaker experts from the Milan Valley turned pale, and they immediately hurried back in shock. The many experts that surrounded and attacked Medusa did not pose the slightest hindrance to her. The strength of a Do Zone was indeed extraordinary. Xiao Yan undoubtedly appeared miserable when compared to her. In name, he might be able to fight with an elite Do Zone by using all of his strength, but this was on the precondition that he must exhaust all his strength. Moreover, after the fight, he would enter a weakened state even if he was lucky to avoid serious injuries. Regardless of what kind of powerful Do skill Xiao Yan possessed, his actual strength was merely that of a one-star Do Huang. There was still an extremely large gap to a genuine elite Do Zone. The combined strength of all the experts from the Mulan Valley did not cause Medusa's body to show any signs of slowing. Hence, after a couple of flashes, she appeared beside the two Mulan elders, who were swiftly withdrawing. Her exquisitely bewitching face revealed a dense, cold expression. The faces of the two Mulan elder changed when they saw Medusa charging through the hindrance of so many experts in such a swift manner. Their bodies moved back as they let out a sudden furious roar. Both of their hands immediately overlapped one another and a rich blood-colored energy agglomerated on their fists. An instant later, tyrannical blood-red wings were created and violently smashed toward Medusa. 
Medusa moved her delicate hand as her gaze indifferently observed the two people who were struggling on the brink of death. It gently collided with the fists of the two people. Immediately, a seven-colored energy poured out in all directions. Grug. 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 This collision might have appeared gentle, but the bodies of the two Mulan elders shook intensely. They appeared to have received a heavy blow as their bodies were dragged on the ground as they shot back. Fresh blood splattered wildly from their mouths. Without that three-beast savage skill, you aren't people who can even last one exchange with this queen. Medusa could not help but coldly chuckle when she saw the two Mulan elders' miserable manner after merely one strike. The faces of the two Mulan elders were shocked as their feet rubbed against the ground, forming a long scar. Their bodies had just stabilized when they split and fled without any prior agreement. A seven-colored golden glow instantly arrived just as the two figures were about to move. It carried a sharp sword glow and penetrated the body of one of them, turning into a bloody arrow. The eyes of the final Mulan elder glanced toward the blood arrow that was shot. The shock in his heart became denser. He did not expect that they would be killed as easily as a chicken in Medusa's hands despite their strength. The strength of a doe zone was indeed frightening. The fleeing speed of that Mulan elder suddenly increased with the urge of the shock within his heart. However, at this moment, his body abruptly stiffened. The trauma on his face also paused at this moment. He lowered his head slowly with some difficulty only to see a sharp sword tip being revealed, carrying the bright red traces of blood. The life force in his eyes swiftly scattered as the fresh blood dripped down from the sword. Finally, the Mulan elder's body fell in front of the many stunned gazes around. The seven-colored snake sword in Medusa's hand slowly disappeared. Her eyes were cold and indifferent as she slowly swept them around. Following the sweeping motion of her gaze, the surrounding experts from the Milan Valley hurriedly withdrew with traumatized faces. In their hearts, Medusa was just like a fierce god who had just killed two experts at the peak of the Do Huan class within a short couple of exchanges. This skill was really vicious. Medusa withdrew her gaze and lowered her body. She pulled off the storage ring on that Milan elder's hand in front of the countless number of people. After which she slowly walked back and removed the storage ring from the other elder. Only after doing this did she slowly ascend into the sky. Her body transformed into a ray of light that rushed out of the camp. Not a single expert from the Milan Valley dared to stop Medusa as she walked off in an extremely arrogant manner. This was because they knew that they did not have the slightest ability to retaliate in the hands of an elite Dozone. The Milan Valley had undoubtedly suffered terrible losses tonight. Through the hands of Xiao Yan and Medusa, blood flowed like river over the entire camp. Medusa was unhindered as she charged out of the camp. She saw Xiao Yan still in the air outside the camp. The latter had clearly sighed in relief when he saw her. He swiftly said, let's hurry and leave. The experts from the Gold Geese sect are about to arrive. Medusa's eyes drifted toward the western side when she heard his words. Numerous ray of lights filled with furious roars were swiftly rushing over from that direction. Clearly, the people from the Gold Geese sect had discovered that their sect leader had already died. Medusa slightly nodded. Her body moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. She immediately extended her delicate hand and grabbed Xiao Yan's wrist in front of Xiao Yan's stunned eyes. The both of them seemed to be like falling stars in the sky as they rushed out of the city in a lightning-like manner. With the frightening aura of Medusa spreading, the experts who were guarding the city wall did not dare to act carelessly despite the great shock and anger in their hearts. Hence, they could only watch as the two rushed out of the city and disappeared into the distant night sky. A majestic aura suddenly spread from the middle of the city where the poison sect was located after Xiao Yan and Medusa left the city. However, after this aura discovered that it could not catch up with them, it could only unwillingly withdraw. Two human figures slowly came to a stop in the night sky far from the city. They sighed in relief when they saw that there were no pursuers. Xiao Yan exhaled for a long time as a smile surfaced on his face. Tonight was really stimulating, the death of two elite Dozones was sufficient to cause the Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley to become crazy. In the future, they would likely no longer have the courage to come and attack the Jiama Empire. Are you alright? Xiao Yan turned his head, and looked at Medusa, whose delicate hand was gently pushing away a thread of black hair that was on her forehead. His voice was soft as he asked and his concerned tone could not be hidden. As long as that little fairy doctor doesn't intervene, no one in the city can stop me. Medusa shook her head slightly when she heard Xiao Yan's words. Without realizing it, the coldness in her pretty eyes quietly disappeared. Xiao Yan smiled. He was just about to speak when a commotion was transmitted from the mountain forest below. A large number of human figures rose into the sky. At a glance, these were not their pursuers, but Hai Budong's group who had been lying in ambush here. Hai Budong's group heaved a sigh of relief after having revealed themselves and seeing that Xiao Yan and Medusa were fine. The former smiled and asked, How is it? We just saw that the city has turned chaotic and we're just about to charge in to receive the both of you. We were successful. The final hidden danger had been completely removed. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded as he replied. A joy that was difficult to hide surged onto the faces of Hai Budong and the others when they heard this. They exchanged looks with each other and emitted a cheer. Xiao Yan also laughed when he saw that everyone was so excited. He took out the storage ring that he had stuffed in his breast pocket and placed with it a little. 
After which, he inserted his spiritual strength into it. He flipped his hand a moment later and a scroll that was made of dense white beast bones appeared in it. Atop the beast bones were a couple of blood characters that appeared to be formed from fresh blood that flashed in a glaring manner. Three Beast Savage Skill Is this it? Chapter 783, Skybird Nine Flying Wings Xiao Yan involuntarily licked his mouth as he looked at this beast bone scroll. No wonder those two fellows would be so crazy when they saw what he did. It was actually because of this thing. He coveted the Three Beast Savage Skill the Three Mulan Elders practiced. It was unexpected that he would actually be able to get his hands on it today. This was really an unexpected surprise. Xiao Yan carefully opened the white bone scroll. His gaze swept over it only to end up frowning slightly a moment later. What is it? Medusa by the side could not resist opening her mouth to inquire when she saw Xiao Yan looking like this. Ugh, although this is indeed the Three Beast Savage skill, it is only one of the parts. According to what is written on it, the Three Beast Savage skill is divided into three parts. This is only one of them. Even though I have obtained it, it is of not much use. Xiao Yan shook his head and sighed quite emotionally. Medusa hesitated for a moment after hearing this. She took out two storage rings from her breast pocket and said, These are the storage rings of the two other Mulan elders. You can search and see if the remaining two parts are within them. You finished off the other two old fellows. Xiao Yan asked with some surprise as he studied the storage rings in Medusa's hands. I, I, I. Medusa casually mentioned as she nodded. That manner was as though the two who were killed were not experts at the peak of the Do Huang class but merely two unimportant chickens. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed when he heard her reply. There indeed was still a gap between him and her, he extended his hand and received the two storage rings. His spiritual strength was inserted into both of them. Currently, the three Mulan elders were all dead. Therefore, the spiritual imprints that remained on their storage rings were extremely vulnerable. Hence, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength managed to break into them in an extremely smooth manner, and it swiftly swept over the interior. A wild joy suddenly surged in Xiao Yan's eyes after the spiritual strength swept over it. His hand moved, and two more white bone scrolls appeared in his hand. These two scrolls had similar blood-red large words on them. The Three Beast Savage Skill It is actually the Three Beast Savage Skill. Xiao Yan carefully opened the two white bone scrolls. He studied them carefully and could not resist laughing out loud a moment later. He waved his hand and stored the three white bone scrolls into his storage ring. Being able to obtain such a reward today had exceeded his expectations. Medusa's face also revealed a faint smile when she saw the grin on Xiao Yan's face. She immediately took out a golden yellow scroll from her storage ring and handed it over to Xiao Yan. This is something that was obtained from Yan Luo Tian. It should be considered a secret skill in the gold geese sect that is not taught. It would give you great benefits if you successfully practice it. Xiao Yan was somewhat surprised as he received this golden colored scroll. He slowly opened it and a couple of bright golden words were imprinted into his eyes. Skybird Nine Flying Wings A Flying Dough Technique Xiao Yan was immediately stunned when he saw these few words. He was currently already an expert at the Dou Huang class. An ordinary flying dough technique would have difficulty comparing with the speed of his dough chi wings. When one reached a strength at his level, a flying dough chi seemed to no longer be of much use. This is not just an ordinary flying dough technique. Do you remember the substance like enormous wings of Yan Luotian? That was due to him practicing this thing. The gold gi sect specializes in speed. If that fellow really wants to flee, even I would not be able to catch up with him. This is because of this sky bird nine flying wings. Medusa seemed to be aware of what Xiao Yan was thinking in his heart and began to softly explain, rather than saying that this is a flying dough technique, it should instead be called a kind of flying dough technique manufacturing method. A flying dough technique manufacturing method. Surprise flashed through his eyes when he heard this. A flying dough technique was quite rare on the Dou Chi continent and its manufacturing method had mostly been lost. It was unexpected that the gold geese sect would possess one. However, if it was really as Medusa had said, the value of this scroll would definitely not be lower than the Three Beast Savage skill. Moreover, in terms of quality, this Skybird Nine Flying Wings was obviously much higher than his Purple Cloud Wings. It was naturally difficult to compare their speed. This thing seems like it would also benefit you, right? Xiao Yan held this scroll, looked at Medusa's face before suddenly speaking. Since an elite dozone like Yan Luo Tian was able to practice it, it was likely that this Skybird Nine Flying Wings was of quite some use to an elite dozone. Medusa hesitated slightly when she heard this. She immediately nodded and said, if this Skybird Nine Flying Wings is manufactured with some high-grade ingredients, the flying wings that would be created would indeed benefit me. However, they would not be very beneficial to me if they were to be made with ordinary ingredients. Xiao Yan smiled and stored the scroll into his storage ring, in that case, I shall keep this thing first. Once I have gathered some ingredients, I will help you manufacture a pair of wings that will be useful to you. Medusa vaguely smiled and nodded. Since we have settled all these issues, let's return to the Black Mountain Fortress. I think that Big Brother and the others will have become anxious from all the waiting. Xiao Yan turned his head and laughed to Hai Budong's group not far behind him. Hai Budong's group naturally did not object to his words. 
Although the people from the Snake People tribe felt somewhat unstable in their hearts because of how Medusa treated Xiao Yan, they did not dare to reveal even the slightest dissatisfaction in front of Medusa. Some fellows muttered in their hearts, this bastard. Once the first commander returns from the Tager Desert, we will see whether you will still dare to follow by her majesty's side. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the thoughts in the hearts of these fellows. Hence, he waved his hand, took the lead and started flying to the Black Mountain Fortress. A large group of experts followed close behind. The successful return of Xiao Yan's group naturally caused Xiao Ding to heave a great sigh of relief. This was especially so after he had heard that the targets were dead. A joy that was difficult to hide was revealed on his calm face. After removing these two fellows that really gave them a great headache, the Yen Alliance would be able to obtain a precious period of time to recuperate. Even though the Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley felt a deep ingrained hatred for the Yen Alliance, they would definitely not dare to launch such a great campaign like they did this time after having lost Yen Luo Tian and the three Milan Elders, otherwise known as the deterrent strength of an elite Dozone. On the other hand, the Yen Alliance not only possessed Xiao Yen, an alliance chief who could fight with a Dozone, but also Medusa, a genuine elite Dozone. They had already surpassed the Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley at the top expert level. If the Alliance gained a few more middle-level experts, they would be able to surpass these two large sects in all areas. Although the Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley were not considered a top-tier faction in the enormous northwestern region, they were, at the very least, much stronger than the Misty Cloud sect from back then. The ability to turn an existence that the Misty Cloud sect of the past was afraid to offend into such a miserable state was enough to prove the great strength of the Yen Alliance. With the flow of time, Xiao Yan was confident that he would be able to turn the Yen Alliance into one of the most powerful factions in the northwestern region. At that time, it was likely that they would possess some ability to resist an enormous being like the Hall of Souls. The assassinations that had occurred in an extremely sudden manner turned the Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley completely silly. According to the reports of the Yen Alliance spies, the elite experts from the two sects arrived on the third day after the successful assassinations. However, when they discovered that the strongest fighting strength within their sect had already long been eliminated by others, all of them became stunned. It appeared as though they had been struck by lightning. As Xiao Yan and the others expected, these elite experts who had rushed over did not dare to do anything despite the fury burning in their hearts after learning that they had lost Yan Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders. All of them suddenly descended into a stalemate. This kind of stalemate was finally broken when the poison sect suddenly announced their withdrawal from the alliance. The Gold Geese sect in the Milan Valley were extremely dissatisfied with this action of the poison sect. However, after having lost the two Dozones, Yen Luo Tian and the three Mulan elders, their overall strength was already incomparable to the poison sect. Hence, despite all of them feeling anger in their stomachs, they could only miserably return to their respective empires while feeling a great unwillingness. Whatever intense assault that their sect would face after returning was their new problem. With the withdrawal of the three sects, the great calamity that threatened the entire Jiama Empire had completely disappeared. While a countless number of people in the Jiama Empire celebrated, the newly established Yen Alliance was firmly imprinted into the hearts of every single person in the Empire. Only at this moment did the Yen Alliance replace the position of the Misty Cloud sect in the hearts of these citizens. The Jiama Empire's borders gradually calmed down following the end of the chaotic battle. The Empire had also fulfilled their promise to the Snake People tribe and partitioned a large dark, cool region near the Magical Beast Mountain Range to give to the Snake People tribe. Upon receiving a ground where they could breed, many of the guards in the hearts of the Snake People tribe members held against the people of the Jiama Empire disappeared. Perhaps after interacting over time, the Snake People tribe might become a powerful faction within the Jiama Empire. At that time, the strength of the Jiama Empire would soar as a result of their incorporation. Adding the current relationship between Xiao Yan and Medusa, the Yen Alliance might obtain benefits that were difficult to estimate. Chapter 784, The Mountain Above the Clouds, Sun Air With the Empire becoming peaceful, Xiao Yan's life gradually became much quieter. He would occasionally train, and would also refine medicinal pills in front of the many alchemists within the pill hall of the Yen Alliance when he was free. Obtaining cheers throughout the hall, he had gained the proud alchemist's approval of him as the chief. Although the alchemists within the pill hall possessed a great understanding of Xiao Yan's fighting abilities from this battle, being alchemists, they naturally placed the greatest value on pill refinement. If Xiao Yan wanted to get them to submit, he had to show them outstanding refinement skills. Of course, if one were to compare medicinal refinement, it was likely that Xiao Yan would not be afraid of anyone within this Jiama Empire. His current medicinal refinement skills were enough to refine a tier 6 medicinal pill. Other than Pill King Guhi, it was likely that only F.A. Ma could barely refine such a pill within the Jiama Empire. Little Fairy Doctor did not send any other news during this period of time. However, Xiao Yan knew that she had currently dispatched countless numbers of people to find the ingredients needed to control the woeful poison body. She would definitely inform Xiao Yan once she had any information. At that time, it was likely that there would be trouble again. With everything having calmed down, Medusa, being the tribe chief, naturally needed to personally go and manage the big matter of the Snake People tribe moving their home. Hence, she had temporarily bid Xiao Yan goodbye not long after having returned to the Jiama Empire. She then led all the snake people to engage in this great migration. Finally, they began to build a new home in the large area near the Magical Beast Mountain Range. It was only natural that Medusa did not have the time to follow beside Xiao Yan with her being so busy. Xiao Yan had become used to that kind of life and now felt somewhat uneasy because of this change. 
It seemed that Medusa had been following beside him ever since he had left the Jian and Academy's inner academy. She had originally possessed a killing intent as he reasoned to follow him. With the flow of time, Xiao Yan could sense that the killing intent in her heart weakened by the day and likely no longer existed by now. Xiao Yan's mind did not pay much attention when Medusa was following beside him all the time. Now that she had left, he immediately felt that he lacked something. His heart contained an empty feeling. He felt somewhat vexed when he discovered this emotion. This was because it caused him to think about Sun Air whose location was unknown. That usually warm and moving young lady was just like spring water, seeping into one's heart without one even realizing it. Finally, she would leave an imprint deep within one's heart that could not be removed no matter how one tried. Xiao Yan could not help but stop the actions of his hands when he thought of the elegant, young lady who carried a thread of mystery. His eyes were absent-minded as he looked in all directions, but he did not know which direction he ought to face. An instant later, he could only quietly sigh and mutter softly, Sun Air, wait for me. I will get to the Do Zone class as soon as possible. After that, I will go and look for you. No matter how frightening that clan of yours is, I will not feel the slightest fear. A graceful, partially visible figure was on a precipitous mountain peak where clouds lingered. Her delicate waist appeared just like the willow leaves one could hug with one arm. Her black hair was carelessly tied by a pale purple ribbon. It drifted with the breeze that blew over, giving the young lady an otherworldly, elegant aura. The young lady's eyes were shut. A moment later, she slowly opened them. The surrounding fog immediately scattered when she did so. This mountain peak immediately became visibly clear. Old Ling, have you returned? The young lady did not turn her head as her sleek, red, small lips emitted an ethereal silver bell-like sound that reverberated on the peak of the mountain. A shadow under a mountain rock immediately began to wiggle in a strange fashion after her voice sounded. It immediately transformed into an old figure. The figure surprisingly belonged to Ling Ying. Ling Ying respectfully bowed to the young lady after revealing himself. Xiao Jie, young miss. How is it? Do you have news of him? The young lady sat up from the rock platform, turned around, and revealed a smiling face with an ethereal lotus-like disposition. At this moment, the voice in which one usually had difficulty detecting any fluctuation actually revealed anxiety. Who else would this face belong to other than Sun Er, whom Xiao Yan thought about night and day? It had been three to four years since Sun Er had left Xiao Yan. During these few years, Sun Er had clearly matured. She was a little less sentimental compared to the young lady back then, and had gained an additional indifferent disposition that originated from deep within her soul. Regardless of how she transformed, there was still one part of her that remained the same. It was how her still old well-like heart would began to ripple when she heard news that was related to that name. Perhaps it was just as Ling Ying had anticipated back then. A figure would forever exist deep within Sun Er's heart. It was difficult to eliminate this figure even with pressure from the clan head. Ling Ying sighed within his heart when he clearly heard the anxiety within Sun Er's tone. It had been a couple of years but only when Sun Er listened to anything related to young Master Xiao Yan would she truly become just like an ordinary young lady. Her immobile mountain-like indifference was just like an old demon who had trained for many years, achieving an unfathomable level. However, she lacked the liveliness that a young lady ought to have. Of course, being someone who knew about Sun Air's position and status, he naturally understood that it was impossible for her to be like an ordinary girl. Her status determined that she would not be ordinary. The man who could match her would definitely also be the most outstanding person on the continent. It was just that he did not know if Xiao Yan could reach this stage. Although this thought flashed past Ling Ying's heart, his face revealed a coddling expression. He smiled and nodded before immediately revealing some of the news about Xiao Yan that he had spent great effort in order to learn. Sun Air quietly listened to the information that came from Ling Ying's mouth. She curled her small lips and her transparent pupils, that seemed to know how to speak, gently flicked. It is unexpected that Xiao Yan Ge Ge has also reached the Do Huang class within a short four years. This really surprises Sun Air. Yan Alliance, it is really a good name. It is unexpected that Xiao Yan Ge Ge was really able to replace the Misty Cloud sect. Sun Air's exquisite face revealed an elegant smile after Ling Ying gradually completed his tale. Her hand parted the black hair which had drifted over the front of her forehead as she spoke faintly, it is really unexpected that the Hall of Souls really did make a move. That Mr. Yao Chen interacted with me back then. Perhaps he should be aware of my status, but I am not sure if he told Xiao Yan Ge Ge about it. I don't think so. He should clearly understand that it will not benefit young Master Xiao Yan for the latter to know about your status too soon. Ling Ying voiced his thoughts. Old Ling, try to dispatch some people to search for the whereabouts of the Hall of Souls. It seems that they intervened in the matter of Uncle Xiao back then. Sun Air turned her head and spoke with a somewhat cool voice. Ling Ying hesitated for a moment after hearing this. He said, all right. I will carry this matter out quietly and try my best to find them. However, the Hall of Souls is also extremely mysterious. Other than a couple of people who know the location of their headquarters, there is hardly anyone, even people in our clan, who know about it. This is despite us having fought countless numbers of big and small battles with them. Sun Air slightly nodded. She lowered her eyes and a coldness suddenly flashed past her elegant eyes. 
She slowly spoke in her heart, All of souls, although you really want to obtain the Tushi ancient god's jade that belongs to the Xiao clan, you better not hurt him. Otherwise, no matter what happens, I will let all of you pay a price that you will have difficulty enduring. A golden flame suddenly surged in Sun Air's eyes at the end of her words. An enormous rock by the side quietly vanished into nothingness amid a strange fluctuation after the flame appeared. Ling Ying's heart turned cold when he saw the golden flame appearing in Sun Air's eyes. Given his familiarity with her, he naturally knew that only when she really formed a genuine killing intent or extreme anger in her heart, the thing that hid deep within her soul would break free from her body and appear. Ling Ying did not expect that after not having met for three to four years, Sun Air's feelings for Xiao Yan would not blur but instead become increasingly deeper and thicker with the flow of time. Ugh, perhaps even that little fellow doesn't know just what kind of great blessing he has obtained. If news of a person who could cause Xiao Jia, young miss, to put in her heart were spread, it is likely that your Yan alliance along with the Jia Ma Empire would be completely destroyed overnight. Hence, you should put in great effort to train for Xiao Jia's, young miss, sake. The current you might have already reached the Dou Wan class, but this is still insufficient. Ling Ying let out a long sigh in his heart while he quietly muttered. That's right. Ling Ying appeared to have suddenly recalled something. His expression changed a little as his gaze stared at Sun Air. He carefully said, according to what I know, the clan has finally decided to dispatch someone to hurry over to the Jiama Empire to look for that key in the hands of the Xiao clan. This happened after a couple of discussions because Xiao Jia, young miss, did not obtain the key from the Xiao clan. Bang. 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 A frightening aura suddenly erupted in front of Ling Ying after his words had just sounded. His body was shaken until he swiftly pulled back. His face was involuntarily shocked when he lifted it. At this moment, Sun Air's feet were three feet from the ground. Her face was ice cold while a bright golden flame appeared to be revolving around her body like a liquid. While that golden flame flowed, the surrounding mountain rocks began to gradually disappear in a strange manner. That manner was as though they were being swallowed by some invisible enormous beast. Sun Air's face was as cold as snow. She glanced at Ling Ying but did not speak. After which, she twisted her waist and suddenly rushed to the bottom of the mountain. Ling Ying widened his mouth as he watched Sun Air's figure swiftly vanish. He immediately shook his head with a bitter smile. His eyes rested on the distant horizon. He bitterly laughed, Little fellow, you are the first damn person that the old me has seen who is able to get Xiao Jia, young miss, to do things to such an extent, the first person. Chapter 785, Pill Tower The headquarters of the Yan Alliance was situated in the Jiama Empire. Being the strongest faction within the Jiama Empire, the current size of the Yan Alliance had far exceeded what it was one year ago. At least one third of the area within the middle part of the large empire belonged to the various departments under the Yan Alliance. They were creating a more powerful Yen alliance while having a clear separation of tasks. The Pill Hall was an extremely important department within the Yen alliance. This place was able to deliver many different kinds of medicinal pills every day. After which, these medicinal pills would be sent to the Merchant Hall and were swiftly sold in every corner of the Jiama Empire through the channels of the Primer Clan. The current Yen alliance could already be considered to have become deeply rooted with the Empire. The people of the Jiama Empire had also begun to familiarize and understand this large being that was newly established. Some of the factions, who were originally just observing, began to join the alliance at this moment. According to this trend, everyone knew that the Yen alliance would definitely surpass the position and reputation that the Misty Cloud sect held within the empire back then. The Pill Hall was located near the middle of the capital. Every day, there would be a large number of alchemists that would come to reside here from various empires. Currently, this place had become the biggest exchange ground for alchemists. Various rare medicinal ingredients and unique medicinal formulae could be seen here at any time. After all, some of the deep mountains within the enormous Jiama Empire, where people seldom ventured, hid quite a number of good things. Those people that managed to obtain them by luck would naturally want to take them out to exchange for something else if these things were unsuitable for them. Moreover, due to the war with the three large empires this time around, the reputation of the Jiama Empire and the Yan Alliance had also begun to spread all over this northwestern region. Adding this to some of the newest policies that the empire had come up with resulted in an increasing number of people from other countries hurrying over to this somewhat isolated country with great curiosity. Within a short while, the prosperity within the Jiama Empire had far surpassed that of the past. The Pale Hall of the current Yen Alliance was naturally flourishing to an extent that far surpassed its previous union, the Alchemist Association. The deep region of the Pale Hall was different from the liveliness at the Exchange Hall. It was a series of serene, silent pill refining rooms. This place was specially prepared for the Yen Alliance alchemists to refine medicinal pills. There was a male and female servant standing outside of each pill refining room. If the alchemist within it had any need to pass a message or needed to deal with some other small matter, these servants would immediately settle these issues in an appropriate manner. Some pill refining rooms were utilizing rare purple rocks in the middle areas of the room. This kind of material possessed some ability to seal off the heat and prevent it from seeping out. It was most suitable to be used to construct a pill refining room. However, due to its rarity, there was seldom any alchemist who built it for himself. Of course, the current Yen Alliance was rich and powerful. It was naturally not much of a problem to build a couple of high-grade pill refining rooms. These high-grade pill refining room could only be used by some of the alchemists within the pill hall who had reached tier 4 and above. 
A regular alchemist could only use those ordinary pill refining rooms in the outer areas. This kind of tier differentiation might have stirred some slight dissatisfaction from some alchemists at the beginning, but once they had gotten used to it as time passed, it had become a great motivator. Alchemists would put in greater effort to practice their medicinal refining skills, hoping for the time when they could enter a high-grade pill refining room to enjoy its benefits. A pill refining room with an exceptionally deep purple color was located in the middle of this high-grade pill refining area. Only Xiao Yan, Fa Ma, and some high-tier alchemists who had reached tier 5 had the qualification to enter this place. Normally, this place would be considered a forbidden ground of the pill hall. An ordinary person or alchemist was forbidden from going near it. Rich medicinal fragrances lingered within this exceptionally well-guarded pill refining room. They turned into different colored fogs that scattered in all directions. There was a stone platform in the middle with a couple of large medicinal cauldron placed on it. A fierce fiery flame burned within the medicinal cauldron and the hot temperature repeatedly scattered, turning this pill refining room into something like a furnace. A couple of human figures were standing around the stone platform. Their gazes were somewhat solemn while they watched the interior of the medicinal cauldron. With the change of the seal in their hands, the flames within the medicinal cauldron obediently moved. They churned and revealed the various ingredients that were being refined. Cuckoo, this method of chief to divide the refinement work really does possess quite a great effect. Originally, these tier 5 alchemists would have difficulty successfully refining this life-devouring pill. However, now that we have joined hands to refine it, the success rate has rose quite a bit. When they have a better understanding of one another, the success rate will likely soar once again. At that time, the refinement speed of this life-devouring pill will likely rise significantly. F.A. Ma smiled and observed the few medicinal ingredients churning in the medicinal cauldron. He nodding slightly and chuckled to Xiao Yan by his side. Xiao Yan also smiled as he stared intently into the medicinal cauldron. With the ability of these tier 5 alchemists, they should be able to refine one pill after about five days if things were successful. Of course, this was on the precondition of not including failures. If this condition were included, it was likely that they would need half a month before they could refine a life-devouring pill. Of course, the exhaustion when refining the life-devouring pill with the strength of a tier 5 alchemist was extremely great. It was naturally difficult to successfully refine it in one go. Hence, there were a total of 6 tier 5 alchemists divided into two groups on standby within this pill refining room. The two groups took turns to refine. In this way, it would enable them to endure longer. However, this kind of exchanging hands would naturally require great cooperation between all of them. An unknown number of medicinal ingredients had already been ruined in the hands of these people in order to achieve this level of cooperation. Two life-devouring pill have currently been refined and they will be temporarily left with old high for safekeeping. The grooming of soldiers who are unafraid to die has also begun. Xiao Yan turned to Hai Budong who was smiling with his hands behind him. The selection of the death soldiers is naturally not a problem. As long as the life-devouring pill is able to keep up with the selection rate, our Yan alliance should have an additional 10 elite Do Wangs within half a year. Old Hai fondled his beard and laughed. We will do our best to increase the refining speed a little. If F.A. Ma and I have any free time, we will also refine it. However, I will not remain in the Yen Alliance for a long time. Perhaps I might go on a trip after a period of time. At that time, everything will have to rely on Elder F.A. Ma. Xiao Yen voiced his thoughts. If news came from Little Fairy Doctor's side, he would definitely hurry over. At that time, he could only hand the matters of the Jiama Empire to Big Brother, Old Hai, Elder F.A. Ma, and the others. Moreover, he would not remain in Jiama Empire all the time. The Dochi continent was massive with a countless number of experts. Compared to establishing a faction, Xiao Yan was even more interested in traveling the continent to raise his strength. If the Xiao clan didn't need a strength to protect it, he would not have spent so much effort to establish this Yan alliance. Additionally, the current Jiama Empire could no longer help increase Xiao Yan's strength. Only in the vast Dou Qi continent could Xiao Yan swiftly raise his strength. Rescuing Yao Lao and his father as well as searching for Sun Er would all require a power great enough to support him in order for him to succeed. Hence, Xiao Yan currently had an unusual desire for strength. The current Xiao Yan had to properly arrange some of the big operations within the Yen Alliance as quick as possible in order for him to be able to leave with peace of mind. Xiao Yan's heart held a strange anticipation for the Dou Qi continent where experts roamed all over the place. The old me will naturally do my best. However, there is actually one person in the Jiama Empire who is more suitable than me in dealing with this matter. If he is the one who should preside over the refinement of the life-devouring pill, it is likely that the effectiveness will at least double. F.A. Ma smiled and immediately spoke. Oh. Who? Xiao Yan asked somewhat doubtfully. He felt startled when he heard this. Pil King Gu He. F.A. Ma hesitated briefly before replying. Xiao Yan knit his brows when heard this name. He immediately nodded and agreed, there is no doubt about the pill refinement skills of Gu He. However, given his relationship with me, it seems that it is somewhat impossible to get him to aid me, right? Kuko, although Gu He and Chief have had some conflict, neither of you are narrow-minded people. Therefore, the both of you cannot be considered enemies. Although Guhi is somewhat haughty, it is not impossible to get him to join the pill hall. F.A. Ma laughed. Elder F.A. Ma has a solution. Xiao Yan spoke in a startled manner. 
He naturally understood that Pilking Goo he was a person who possessed a great talent in terms of pill refinement. However, it was because of this great talent of his that made it extremely difficult to recruit him. Such a person did not appear to be the kind who would be willing to submit to someone. If there really was a chance to get Gu He to join the pill hall, Xiao Yan would be able to leave with a reassured heart. Does Chief know about an organization called the Pill Tower in the Dochi continent which is praised highly by a countless number of alchemists? F.A. Ma asked with a laugh. Pill Tower. Xiao Yan knit his brows when he heard the name. For some unknown reason, he felt that this name was somewhat familiar but he was unable to recall the details. The Pill Tower is a free organization on the continent that was formed by alchemists. This faction has existed since long ago. Even the alchemist tier system was created by them. Although this organization is somewhat loose, its reputation is extremely frightening. It is likely that there are hardly any factions on the entire Dochi continent willing to offend them. Although the Pill Tower might be loose externally, it possesses some members that formed an elite core. These people are undoubtedly renowned alchemists on the Dochi continent. Currently, Guhi's hope is to enter the Pill Tower to train. F.A. Ma softly laughed, however, if one wants to enter the Pill Tower to train, one must have a recommendation from an alchemist association that possesses sufficient weight. Guhi came to look for our alchemist association back then because of this. However, with the ability of our alchemist association, we might still be able to reach within the Jiama Empire but there is seldom anyone in the Dochi continent who would bother about us. Naturally, we don't possess the qualification to give the Pill Tower recommendation. Hence, I could only reject him back then. The current Pill Hall clearly possesses a greater potential than the alchemist association. I believe that the Pill Hall will be able to possess this kind of qualification soon. If Chief uses this to persuade Guhi, I believe that he will agree to join the Pill Hall. Xiao Yan fondled his chin when he heard this. His gaze swept over the bodies of the Tier 5 alchemists who were drenched in perspiration. He nodded a moment later. Yes, we can try. Chapter 786, Recruiting Guhi Xiao Yan was extremely interested in what F.A. Ma said. Alternatively, he could be said to be very interested in getting Guhi to join the Yan Alliance. Hence, he got F.A. Ma to lead the way the next morning as they hurried to the place where Guhi lived along with Hai Budo. Guhi had naturally left the Misty Cloud sect after the Misty Cloud sect had dissolved back then. However, he did not leave the Jiama Empire. Instead, he chose to live in an isolated mountain range not far from the Misty Cloud Mountain. That place was the current destination of Xiao Yan's group. The place where Guhi lived in isolation was not very far from the capital. Given the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they arrived around half an hour later. They easily managed to find the straw cottage that was hidden in the mountain forest with F.A. Ma leading the way. Xiao Yan met a familiar person from the past at this place. It was Lu Ling, who had once fought with him for the champion spot during the Alchemist Grand Meeting in the capital back then. The latter was clearly stunned when he saw these few people who had suddenly appeared. Only when his gaze shifted to Xiao Yan's face did he speak with surprise, Xiao Yan. Why are you here? Lu Ling felt quite a complicated feeling towards Xiao Yan. Both of them had been around the same level back then. However, now he was merely a tier 4 alchemist who was working hard to get to tier 5 while the latter already possessed the ability to contend with his teacher, Guhi. This kind of gap naturally caused him to feel a little dispirited. Koko, Brother Lu, can I trouble you to pass a message to Grandmaster Guhi? Just say that Xiao Yan wishes to meet him. Xiao Yan smiled at Lu Ling as he spoke quite courteously. Lu Ling hesitated after hearing this courteous tone of Xiao Yan. He nodded once before turning his body to walk into the straw cottage. He was very clear about the current status of Xiao Yan within the Jiama Empire, and naturally knew that the latter was no longer the young man who did not have much of a background. Xiao Yan sent Lu Ling into the straw cottage with his eyes before his group swept their eyes all over the place. They immediately nodded. This Guhi really knew how to choose a place. This location was isolated with few people around. There were usually hardly anyone who could arrive in this place. It was considered a good spot to live in isolation. The door of the straw cottage slowly opened as the few of them were looking around. A human figure slowly began to walk out. He glanced over Xiao Yan's group indifferently before speaking, all of you actually managed to find this place. Looks like the current Yan Alliance faction has really spread all over the Jiama Empire. May I know if you are here to look for trouble today or is there some other matter? The person who revealed himself was naturally Pilking Guhi who had disappeared for a long time. Lu Ling was standing behind him with a slightly bowed body. Guhi's gaze swept over Xiao Yan's group and felt a little uncertain about their motives for this trip. You are really still showing this dislikable appearance. F.A. Ma involuntarily shook his head and scolded with a smile when he heard this. Old fellow, you must definitely be the one who brought them here. Guhi glanced at F.A. Ma before his gaze immediately moved to Xiao Yan's body. He indifferently said, Yan Alliance Chief, just say what issue you have. I still have a medicinal ingredient field that I have yet to manage today. I shall not accompany all of you to wait here if there is nothing. Elder F.A. Ma has said that Grandmaster Guhi is not a narrow-minded person. In that case, I shall not beat around the bush. My main aim for coming today is to invite Grandmaster to join the Yen Alliance Pill Hall. Xiao Yen smiled. He did not say any unimportant things. He instead started with the key topic. He knew that beating around the bush would cause someone like Guhi to feel impatient. 
Join the Yen Alliance. A strange expression immediately surfaced on Gu Yi's face when he heard this. He lazily waved his hand and said, forget it. I am quite happy with this current life of mine. I shall not go and join the fun of those large factions. They are so noisy that it causes one to feel irritated. Ugh, you, aren't you hoping to enter that pill tower to train? The potential of the current pill hall is far greater than the Alchemist Association. If you join, it is likely that this hope will not be difficult to achieve in the future. F.A. Mine voluntarily spoke in a helpless manner when he heard Goody's response. Old fellow, you can forget about using this to lure me. Do you really think that I don't have any path to enter that pill tower? If I did not think of myself as a citizen of the Jiama Empire, do you think that given my alchemist skills, there would not be some powerful alchemist organization trying to recruit me if I leave this place? Gugi curled his mouth and coldly laughed. Ugh. F.A. Ma could not help but become speechless when he heard this. He looked at Xiao Yan in a somewhat embarrassed manner. He naturally knew that Guhi would try to be recruited by someone no matter where he went, anywhere in the Dochi continent. After all, a tier 6 alchemist was not a common commodity that one could find all over the place. Xiao Yan could not help but feel somewhat speechless when he heard that the condition, that had appeared to possess quite a great allure in F.A. Ma's mouth, ended up being without even the slightest attraction to Guhi. This old fellow was indeed not reliable. The embarrassment on F.A. Ma's face became denser when he saw Xiao Yan's face. Grandmaster Gu He, that being said, you don't seem to have much interest in the other alchemist associations from other empires. Since this is the case, why don't you consider the Yen Alliance? Is it because of the issue between the two of us? Xiao Yan's eyes slid to Gu He as he slowly spoke. Gu He narrowed his eyes and studied Xiao Yan. His voice was suddenly calm as he questioned, you really wish for me to join the Yen Alliance? Given Grandmaster Gu He's medicinal refining skills, I believe that no faction would simply just give up. Xiao Yan waved his hand and laughed. It is not impossible for me to leave with you. However, you must agree to a condition of mine. Gu He's eyes slowly swept over Xiao Yan's body. A moment later, he narrowed his eyes as he replied. What condition? Xiao Yan raised an eyebrow. He did not agree immediately and instead asked the question in a cautious manner. Have a medicinal refining match with me. I will join the Yen Alliance if you win. What do you say? Gu He's eyes glowed as he looked at Xiao Yan. A wildfire suddenly surged into his tone. He had taken his loss to Xiao Yan in the match back then to heart. Today, he wanted to use the alchemist skills he specialized in to compete with Xiao Yan. The faces of the people present, with the exception of Xiao Yan, changed when they heard Gu He's words. Gu He's medicinal refining skills was widely known in the Jiama Empire. Even F.A. Ma did not have much confidence when it came to competing with medicinal refining skills with him. You, why don't you change it to some other condition? Given your status, isn't it bullying if you compete with Xiao Yan over medicinal refining skills? F.A. Ma knit his brows as he blurted out. Gu He ignored F.A. Ma's words. His eyes were glowing as they focused on Xiao Yan, who was deep in thought. He muttered with his mouth, bully. Ever since I was defeated in his hands back then, I ceased treating him as someone from whatever younger generation. Old fellow, don't tell me that you dare to treat this fellow as someone from the younger generation. From how I see it, it is likely that his medicine refining skills are not weaker than yours. F.A. Ma curled his mouth upon hearing this. He had watched Xiao Yan refine medicinal pills quite a number of times recently and clearly understood just what level Xiao Yan's medicine refining skills had reached. If one looked from the surface, Xiao Yan's medicinal refining skills would at the very least not be poorer than his. Xiao Yan, what do you say? Have a match with me. If you win, I will join the Yan Alliance. If you lose, you will cease coming to disturb me in the future. Gu He's gaze was calm as he studied Xiao Yan and spoke. Xiao Yan mused for a moment while being the focus of the few gazes around him. Immediately, he smiled and nodded. He said, since Grandmaster Gu He has such a thought, Xiao Yan will do as you say. However, I hope that you will not find some other excuse to reject me after the victor is determined. You are indeed worthy of being the chief of the Yen Alliance. There has not been an alchemist within the Jiama Empire who dared say such words to me in so many years. Gu He laughed instead of being angry when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He gave an inviting gesture with his hand and laughed, in that case, please enter the house. Old man F.A. Ma, all of you can just wait here. Lu Ling, take care of them. Gu He took the lead to turn around and walk into the straw house after he finished speaking. Xiao Yan did not hesitate as he swiftly lifted a leg to follow behind. F.A. Ma and Hai Budong could only helplessly shake their heads as they watched the two people walk into the straw house and shut the door tight. The latter sat down on a rock and muttered, Old fellow, who do you think has a greater chance of winning? F.A. Ma shook his head when he heard this. He bitterly laughed, how is it easy to tell? Gu He naturally has his unique points in order to be called a pill king. However that little fellow Xiao Yan is not an ordinary person. From watching his occasional attempts at refining pills, it is likely that he also has the skill of a tier 6 alchemist. Therefore, it is difficult to predict the ending. Hearing this, the teapot in Lu Ling's hand by the side suddenly stiffened when he was carefully pouring tea for the two of them. Tea ended up pouring onto a rock by the side. He turned his head and looked at the tightly shut door with shocked eyes. 
Never did he think that the little alchemist man from back then would actually be able to reach the same tier as teacher after being away for a couple of years. I wonder if he can surpass teacher. This so-called alchemist match continued for two full days. No one outside knew just what kind of intense match Xiao Yan and Gu Yi had undergone during this period of time. However, from the looks of how waves of medicinal fragrances repeatedly surged from the straw house, one could tell that the match was not as relaxing as one imagined. On the second night, the tightly shut straw house door slowly opened in front of the bitterly waiting people. Two somewhat miserable-looking human figures slowly walked out. F.A. Ma and the other two immediately swarmed over when they saw the appearance of these two people. They anxiously asked, who won? Xiao Yan and Guhi did not reveal the answer to who was the winner of this match. However, Guhi brought Lu Ling and left the place he had lived in isolation the next day after Xiao Yan's group left. The place that they headed to was the capital. F.A. Ma and Hai Budong felt a slight awe in their hearts when Guhi announced that he would join the Yan Alliance. Their eyes contained disbelief as they looked at the smiling black-robed young man. It seemed that this fellow had indeed obtained an advantage in that match. With Guhi joining the pill hall, the strength of the latter naturally became even greater. Some of those few free alchemists within the empire also began to join the pill hall one after another after Guhi set an example. In a short while, the size of the pill hall swiftly expanded. Around one month or so after Guhi announced that he had joined the pill hall, Xiao Yan, who had nothing else to do, finally received a messenger bird from the Chuyun Empire. He removed the scroll from it and slowly pulled it open. His expression drastically changed. Someone from the Hall of Souls has appeared. Come over quickly. Chapter 787, First Commander Xiao Yan was standing on a tall building as he looked at the paper note in his hand with a solemn expression. He flicked his finger a moment later and the paper note turned into flames before swiftly disappearing. The Hall of Souls, huh? Xiao Yan softly muttered in his mouth. A dense, cold killing intent slowly surged within his dark black eyes. His hatred for this organization could be said to have seeped deep into his bones. It was because the two people closest to him had already landed in their hands. A cold glint appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes. He suddenly turned his body a moment later and swiftly walked down from the tall building. Currently, he was totally unaware of this mysterious Hall of Souls. He must have some understanding of them if he wanted to rescue Yao Lao and his father. However, the people from the Hall of Souls were usually mysterious and it was difficult for an ordinary person to find them. Hence, this might be a chance for him. As long as he could capture a person from the Hall of Souls, Xiao Yan would be able to obtain some news about the Hall of Souls. This was of crucial importance to him. Xiao Yan swiftly found Xiao Ding and the rest as this thought flashed across his heart. He described the situation to them in detail. They were startled when they heard that Xiao Yan was about to leave the Jiama Empire and only nodded after being silent for a long while. Xiao Ding clearly understood that if he got Xiao Yan to remain in the Jiama Empire, it would end up restraining him. The vast Dochi continent might well be the place where Xiao Yan could display his true abilities. Xiao Yan did not delay any longer after having accounted for the matters in the Yan Alliance. He found Zi Yan within the capital before rising into the air with her as he swiftly flew to the place where the magical beast mountain range was located. Xiao Yan was fearful of the people from the Hall of Souls. Hence, he naturally needed to gather all of his helpers on his trip to the Chuyun Empire this time around. Medusa was obviously the best choice. Currently, the Snake People tribe had already settled an area close to the Magical Beast Mountain Range. Although they would engage in fights with some magical beast during this period of time, this was not considered a bad thing for some of the Snake People who were thirsty for battle. After having stayed within the Jiama Empire, the Snake People tribe's guard against humans had weakened a little. There was also a passageway on the boundary between the tribe and the outside world. Although there were Snake People tribe soldiers tightly guarding around the passageway, it was undoubtedly much better when compared to the past when they immediately killed upon seeing a human. It was likely that with interaction over a long period of time, the Snake People tribe would gradually abandon these guarded thoughts and become members of the Jiama Empire. Although the area where the Snake People tribe was located was far from the capital, Xiao Yan and Zi Yan managed to appear at the edge of the Magical Beast mountain range after an hour with their speed. Their gazes slowly swept over this vast mountain range. They were able to see those Snake People passing through the forest. Some people within the vast forest also noticed them after they had paused in the sky above this place. A couple of figures swiftly rushed to the sky with cautious eyes. They were stunned when they saw Xiao Yan, and the caution in their eyes greatly weakened. Friends from the Snake People tribe. I would like to meet Queen Medusa over some matters. Can you please lead the way? Xiao Yan cupped his hands toward the few experts from the Snake People tribe, and spoke in a deep voice. The tribe leader is in a retreat. If you wish to see her, please follow us to meet with the first commander first. Only he and the few elders from the tribe can enter the chamber. A snake person expert hesitated for a moment before opening his mouth to speak. First Commander Xiao Yan knit his brows upon hearing this. This expert, who was only weaker than Medusa in the entire Snake People tribe, was also someone whom he had heard of. However, Xiao Yan had never met him. From the occasional mention by some Snake People, this person seemed to be a person who was crazy over training. During this big battle between the Jiama Empire and the Three Great Empires, this person persisted on taking a retreat for over a year. The desert had completely emptied by the time he exited his retreat. 
If the Snake People tribe did not have a special communication method, it was likely that this fellow would not even be able to locate his tribesmen. Of course, this was naturally insufficient to cause Xiao Yan to frown in this manner. This training maniac also viewed Medusa as a female deity in his heart, much like most male snake people. Due to his strength being inferior to Medusa within the tribe, he would normally be the person who would have the greatest chance to be with her. However, Xiao Yan had suddenly erupted like a tiger that blocked his path. Hence, despite not having met this person, Xiao Yan also knew that it was likely that this person possessed quite the enmity for him. Xiao Yan could only helplessly shake his head as these thoughts flashed through his heart. He said, in that case, can you please lead the way? Although Xiao Yan felt that this first commander, whom he had not met, would be troublesome, Xiao Yan did not fear him. If the other person did not understand the situation, he did not mind showing his hand. In any case, as long as one defeated these top experts from the Snake People tribe, one would be able to save a lot of trouble in the future. The couple of Snake People experts nodded quite courteously upon seeing this. Their body moved and they shot toward the forest. Xiao Yan and Zi Yan followed close behind. Xiao Yan, relax. I will help you beat that whatever first commander up if he dares to speak some nonsense. Zi Yan moved close to Xiao Yan and laughed. She seemed to also be aware of the well-known first commander from the Snake People tribe. You should be more obedient. Otherwise, I will not bring you along anymore. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head as he responded. Chi, if you don't bring me away, I will run away by myself just like Lu Qin, Lin Yan, and the others. Zi Yan curled her lips and was not the least bit afraid of Xiao Yan's threat. Xiao Yan could only roll his eyes when he heard this. He cursed Lin Yan and the two other bastards in his heart. They actually dared to flee by themselves. He would definitely teach them a proper lesson the next time that they meet. During the one year that Xiao Yan was undertaking a retreat, Lin Yan and the two others had felt bored from staying in the Jiama Empire. Therefore, they left the Jiama Empire together and headed on a journey after leaving behind a message. However, they might not have been aware that a big battle erupted within the Jiama Empire not long after they had left. The sight of the forest in front of Xiao Yan suddenly broadened while he was cursing those three people in his heart. A tribe that occupied an extremely large space appeared in his sight. The tribe's buildings were built beside the mountain, and its shape appeared as though it was embedded within the mountain's body. Hustling and bustling snake people were moving to and fro in this area. Some of the snake people soldiers stood on certain tall spots fully armed. Their sharp eyes were observing the surrounding situation at all times. Xiao Yan and Zi Yan followed the experts from the snake people tribe and passed through the tribe. Some time later, they gradually came to a stop at a wide open ground deep within the tribe. There was a flight of rock stairs that extended deep into the mountains behind the open ground. However, this flight of stone stairs was currently guarded by many experts from the snake people tribe. Xiao Yan's eyes were thrown toward the rock stairs that extended to the edge of his sight as he stood in the open ground. Finally, they paused among the many snake people guards at that spot. At that location was a bald male snake person with his eyes shut. Threads of violent aura lingered over his body. That shiny bald head was covered with a grayish-white snake tattoo. It appeared just like a grayish-white poison snake lying there, causing one to shudder without feeling cold. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed as his gaze paused on that bald-headed snake person. He could sense that this person's strength was currently around the peak of the Do Huang class. Other than Masuda and the four elders, it was likely that he was the strongest within the entire Snake People tribe. Since that was the case, it seemed that this bald-headed snake person ought to be the first commander of the Snake People tribe. The bald-headed snake person seemed to have sensed something when Xiao Yan threw his gaze over. Those shut eyes were suddenly opened and triangular-shaped people stared intently at Xiao Yan like an enormous python that was about to swallow a person. Xiao Yan from the Yan Alliance requests to meet Queen Medusa. Please notify her. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of the snake person's gaze which would cause one's hairs to stand on end. He cupped his hand and slowly spoke. Xiao Yan. The ruthless aura of the bald-headed snake person immediately soared upon hearing this name that had recently become a blotch in his heart. Suddenly, he stood up. You are that Xiao Yan. The bald-headed snake person's tail was swung and his body strangely appeared at a spot not far from Xiao Yan. His eyes stared at Xiao Yan while he spoke in a somewhat dark, cold manner. Xiao Yan knit his brow slightly when he sensed the enmity within the other party's words. He immediately nodded. A battle smile surfaced on the face of the bald-headed snake person when he saw Xiao Yan nod his head. He did not say any other nonsense as he tightly clenched his fist. Green light lingered and appeared. Dense snake scales surfaced. His fist carried a dark, cold force as it violently smashed toward Xiao Yan with a furious roar. Xiao Yan's expression turned much darker as he sensed the cold, sharp wind that was on the other party's fist. His legs stomped gently as a powerful dark green flame suddenly surged from his body. The flame rose and the ground swiftly became dry. Numerous cracks swiftly spread from the dryness. The faces of the surrounding experts from the Snake People tribe were shocked as they hurriedly moved back. Being naturally born with a cold constitution, they were most afraid of these kind of things. Surprise flashed across the eyes of the bald-headed snake person when he saw the jade green flame on Xiao Yan's body. However, his fist did not pause even a little. The force on it instead became more vicious. A small lovely body suddenly appeared when this fist made contact with a layer of the jade green flame. 
A lovely cry sounded and a tiny fist collided with the snake person in front of the stunned eyes from the surrounding snake people. Bang. A low, muffled explosion sounded upon contact. Immediately, a frightening ripple spread out. Zian and that bald-headed snake person both took a couple of heavy steps back. After forcefully stabilizing his body, the bald-headed snake person's eye was solemn as he looked at Zi Yan who was rubbing her small fist. After which, he gave a cold smile to Xiao Yan. A palm-sized jade green lotus flame slowly drifted up from the hands of the indifferent-looking Xiao Yan just before the bald-headed snake person was about to ridicule. A faint, cold voice resounded across the open ground. If you take another step forward, you better be prepared to lie in a bed for a couple of months. The bald-headed snake person swallowed a mouthful of saliva as his eyes shrank. He looked at the jade green fire lotus. He could sense that an extremely wild, violent, frightening energy was contained within it. Chapter 788, Inviting Helpers The bald-headed snake person stared at the jade green fire lotus that lingered in front of Xiao Yan with eyes that were unusually solemn. He clearly understood from the completely still gaze of Xiao Yan that if he really took another step forward, the fire lotus, that contained a frightening wild and violent energy, would definitely be shot over. Brat, you really are worthy of being the chief of the Yan Alliance. You do have some skill. The bald-headed snake person licked his lips and laughed. However, the slighting attitude from earlier had vanished from his current tone. Now, he somewhat began to believe the rumors in the tribe that Xiao Yan was able to defeat an expert Dozong. This exquisite fire lotus did cause a fear to seep out from deep within his soul. I do not wish to fight with you. Please pass a message to Medusa. Xiao Yan raised his eyes, lifted his hand, and continued to hold the jade green fire lotus in his palm. He glanced at the snake person before speaking in a faint voice. The tribe leader is undertaking a retreat. No one can randomly disturb her. The bald-headed snake person shook his head and laughed. Xiao Yan knit his brows. He did not say anything. He simply flicked his finger. The fire lotus in his hand suddenly flew toward the bald-headed snake person. It carried a fire tail along the way and appeared like a tiny falling star. The bald-headed snake person's face involuntarily changed upon seeing that Xiao Yan had actually launched the fire lotus that contained a frightening energy, without any hesitation. He swung his tail and swiftly moved back. However, no matter how his body dodged, the jade green fire lotus followed close behind, seeming to possess a tracking device. Hence a comical scene appeared in that open ground. One of the strongest people greatly respected within the snake people's eyes was actually being chased by that small jade green flame until he was dodging all over the place. This scene caused the surrounding snake people to look at each other. The eyes that they used to look at Xiao Yan, who was slightly moving his hand, carried a vague aghast look. Damn it, are you done? The bald-headed snake person dodged once again before throwing his gaze at the fire lotus that Xiao Yan had shot over. He furiously roared out. The fire lotus came to a slow stop. Finally, it remained suspended in the air around two to three meters away from the bald-headed snake person. The high temperature that was being emitted from it caused dense droplets of perspiration to appear on the forehead of the bald snake person. Can first commander help pass the message now? Xiao Yan faintly laughed. You. The bald-headed first commander grit his teeth, but he immediately glanced at the slowly rotating fire lotus a short distance in front of him. His heart shuddered. If this thing were to explode, he might end up keeping his life but living after that would be nothing good. Wait here. The bald-headed first commander struggled for a moment before finally giving up. He spoke fiercely towards Xiao Yan before his body flashed as he traveled to the stone stairs. After which, he swiftly rushed into the deep mountains. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw the bald-headed first commander fleeing so agilely. He beckoned with his hand and the fire lotus which the latter greatly feared obediently shot back. After which, it remained suspended above his hand before it transformed into a cluster of jade green flame amid an unusual ripple. The flame entered his body. Xiao Yan ignored those many curious and respectful gazes after having returned the fire lotus to his body. He slowly shut his eyes and quietly waited for Medusa to appear. The bored Zi Yan by Xiao Yan's side was observing all around her with curious eyes. Perhaps it was because she was unhurt after having received a punch from the first commander earlier, but the surrounding snake people were extremely courteous to her. They revealed a friendly smile when they saw her looking over. The two of them quietly waited. Around ten minutes after the bald-headed snake person entered the deep mountains, two rays of light swiftly rushed out from within. Finally, they stayed suspended in the sky above the open ground before they steadily landed. The surrounding snake people and guards in the open ground respectfully bowed upon seeing the light figure at the front. Why do you have time to come and look for me in the snake people tribe today? The only one who was able to possess such prestige within the snake people tribe was naturally Medusa. Her eyes looked at Xiao Yan and Zi Yan after having landed. She involuntarily inquired with some surprise. Kai Lin Jie, elder sister. Zi Yan jumped for joy when she saw Medusa appearing. She immediately ran toward her, knocking into the latter's embrace when she did so. Medusa's delicate hand rubbed Zi Yan's small head and a moving smile was revealed on her face. This extremely rare smile caused the bald-headed first commander by the side to turn dull after seeing it. Kai Lin Jie, this bald person actually dared to attack me just now. 
If Zi Yan had not already advanced to the Dou Huang class, it is likely that he would have killed me with that one punch. Zi Yan's head nestled in Medusa's embrace before suddenly pointing at the first commander by her side as she angrily spoke. The forehead of Xiao Yan and the first commander began to reveal some perspiration when they saw this act of Zi Yan. This little fellow actually dared to complain. Medusa gently patted Zi Yan's head. After which, her pretty eyes indifferently glanced at the bald-headed first commander by her side. The latter's body immediately stiffened as he dryly laughed, tribe leader, there was a misunderstanding earlier. I merely wanted to test Xiao Yan's skills and did not intend to attack this cute little girl. From the manner in which Medusa treated Zi Yan, the bald-headed first commander naturally understood how close the relationship between the two of them was. He immediately began to fawn with his words. However, he did not notice that Medusa's brows immediately knit slightly after he had spoken. She waved her delicate hand and spoke in an indifferent voice, Xiao Yan is a snake people tribe guest that the elders have acknowledged. How can you just attack him as you wish? Go to the snake cave by yourself and come out one month later. The bald-headed first elder's expression became dull when he heard this. However, he did not dare to resist and could only weakly nod his head. You should leave first. Medusa dismissed the bald-headed first commander before pulling Zi Yan as she slowly walked towards Xiao Yan. She lifted her pretty eyes slightly and asked, Is something the matter? Xiao Yan rubbed his head when he saw Medusa's calm face. He helplessly said, I wish to obtain your help. Little fairy doctor has sent information over that she has discovered traces of someone from the Hall of Souls in the Chuyun Empire. Hence. Do you have some information about that person from the Hall of Souls? For example his strength. Medusa voiced her thoughts. No. However, I think that with the three of us together, we should be able to restrain that protector Wu even if we meet him again. Xiao Yan shook his head as he replied. He had already successfully advanced to the Dou Huang class. He would no longer need to stake his life and go all out like he did back then when facing an elite Dou Zone. Moreover, he currently not only had Medusa, but also Little Fairy Doctor, who was not any inferior to her. This lineup could likely be considered quite strong even on the Dou Chi continent. Medusa's eyes slightly moved. She spoke somewhat uneasily, this could indeed be considered true. However, I am uneasy about that little fairy doctor. Moreover, this time around, we are entering deep into the Chuyun Empire. That place is her territory. If she wished to play a trick. Xiao Yan could only roll his eyes within his heart when she heard this. It was indeed not easy to resolve enmity that was formed between women. It seemed that he would need quite a lot of time to get Medusa to trust little fairy doctor. Forget it, since you trust her, we will do as you say. Otherwise, you will blame me for being narrow-minded in your heart. The corner of Medusa's lips curled when she saw Xiao Yan's bitter smile after which she waved her hand and spoke in a faint voice. Xiao Yan was startled when he saw Medusa lift her delicate hand. He involuntarily extended his hand and grabbed it. He frowned upon seeing a scar on her arm that had been hidden by her sleeves before asking, You are injured. What happened? A sleek redness surfaced on Medusa's bewitching face when her hand was grabbed by Xiao Yan in front of so many tribesmen. She hurriedly withdrew it and said, It is a small injury. We want to build a tribe in this place that is close to the magical beast mountain range and naturally needed to move land and trees. In the end, we attracted quite a number of powerful magical beasts. This is caused by a magical beast that clawed at me in my carelessness during battle. Why did you not send someone to the Yen Alliance to look for me? With the Yen Alliance's current strength, it is sufficient to create a safe area for you. Xiao Yan frowned as he responded. It is not as though I cannot settle these issues. There is no need to trouble all of you. Medusa vaguely smiled. She felt a faint warmth flowing from Xiao Yan at this moment and her heart was somewhat comfortable. When are we leaving? Medusa did not wish to be entangled on this topic for long. She changed the topic and asked a question. As soon as possible. Xiao Yan replied in a deep voice. In that case, wait for me for a while. I will address some of the issues within the clan and follow you. Medusa did not hesitate even a little when she heard this. She nodded and turned her body only to be grabbed by Xiao Yan. She was able to hear a soft voice being transmitted from the other party's mouth while she was feeling stunned. Thanks. Medusa was startled when she heard this word. She immediately smiled and said, Just treat this as a reward for you helping me refine the heaven soul blood bone pill. Dot. She moved her delicate hand after speaking and fled from Xiao Yan's grip. After which, she rushed to a meeting room within the tribe. Xiao Yan softly sighed as he looked at Medusa's back. His heart was filled with a complicated feeling. The danger of their current trip to the Chuyun Empire was something that was needless to say. Moreover, the Jiama Empire had gradually become peaceful and the Snake People tribe had recently moved. There was definitely many things changing in her tribe. Yet, she still did not reject. Xiao Yan's heart was not made of stone. He also felt faintly moved in his heart when the other party put in all this effort. Ugh. Xiao Yan let out a long sigh from his mouth. He patted Zi Yan's head but his heart was somewhat chaotic. She had helped him too much. Medusa did not take too much time to settle some issues. After about half an hour, she had appropriately settled everything. She swiftly left the Snake People tribe ground with Xiao Yan and Zi Yan. They began to fly toward the border of the empire. There was quite some distance to the border of the empire. 
Even with the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they only managed to reach it in the evening. Chapter 789, Hurrying to Chu Yun Three rays of light flashed over from a distant mountain peak at the border of the Chuyun Empire. A moment later, they turned into three human figures. In front is the Chuyun Empire. It is rumored that poison masters dominate the interior of this empire. We must be more careful when we act in the future. Xiao Yan looked at a vague fortress at the edge of his sight from a tall vintage point before turning his head to remind Medusa and Zi Yan. Yes. The two of them nodded. Medusa looked at Zi Yan beside her, hesitated a little, before saying, Are you certain that you want to bring Zi Yan along? This trip to the Chuyun Empire is not some tour. Zi Yan's small face immediately became anxious when she heard Medusa's words. She was unwilling to remain alone in the Jiama Empire. That was so boring. Cuckoo, relax. Don't underestimate this little girl. She is also an expert Dou Huang. Adding her frightening strange strength, she is even able to contend with ordinary experts at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Moreover, when it comes to a life and death situation, it is likely that she has even better skills than the both of us when it comes to preserving her life. Xiao Yan rubbed Zi Yan's head and laughed. Hearing this, Medusa also recalled that Zi Yan had actually relied on her Dou Wan class strength to receive a blow from Protector Wu back on the Misty Cloud Mountains. She immediately ceased saying any other things. She smiled at Zi Yan and said, In that case, you can follow. However, I will say this first. You cannot be the least bit mischievous this time around. You better not touch anything that you should not touch. Most of the experts from the Chuyun Empire carry some sort of dirty poison. Zi Yan hurriedly nodded her small head when she saw that Medusa was willing to agree. Cuckoo, in that case, let's go. The headquarters of the poison sect is located in a city at the middle of the Chuyun Empire. There is still some distance we need to cover to get to that place. Xiao Yan laughed. I. Medusa faintly nodded. She immediately pulled Zi Yan and the two of them swiftly rose into the air. They flew hurriedly toward the Chuyun Empire under the cover of the night sky. Xiao Yan followed behind them. The territory of the Chuyun Empire was not smaller compared to the Jiama Empire. From a certain point of view, it was even larger than the Jiama Empire. However, this empire was undoubtedly much more chaotic when compared to the Jiama Empire. Poison Masters, an occupation that was spurned by almost everyone in the Jiama Empire, developed exceptionally well within the Chuyun Empire. One could almost see people wearing the robes of a Poison Master within any single city. The Chuyun Empire also showed a scene which was rarely seen within the Jiama Empire, the sale of poison. There were some shops that specialized in the sale of poison in every single city of this empire. As long as it was something related to poison, it was possible to purchase them from these places. Things with greater poison properties would be more expensive. There was a kind of Dou Qi within the Chuyun Empire that was many times more common than any other Dou Qi affinity. The people from the Chuyun Empire called it the Poison Dou Qi. The Poison Dou Qi was also divided into a countless number of branches but they were still approximately the same. All of them contained a lethal poison. Of course, such an unusual poison affinity was naturally not an ordinary affinity. Instead it was a man-made mutated product. An ordinary person would have to soak one's body within poison water and train in it before one became a doja. The poison would slowly seep into one's body and finally intertwine with the dou qi within one's body. After a long time, the originally normal dou qi would become a poison dou qi that possessed different kinds of effects. Compared to ordinary dou qi, the lethality of poison dou qi would indeed possess some advantages. However, poison was ultimately poison. This thing did not differentiate between enemies and oneself. An increase in training would cause the body to become weaker under the corrosion of the poison. Unless one was able to advance to an expert Dou Huang, an ordinary person who practiced a poison affinity Dou Qi would have a much shorter lifespan compared to an ordinary person. Having various poisons mixed into one's body would also result in some people's characters deviating from the normal. This also resulted in the Chuyun Empire being quite chaotic. Sparing and all-out fights were undoubtedly much more frequent compared to the Jiama Empire. Moreover, perhaps it was because the poison within one's body might attack one's heart at any moment, but the people within the Chuyun Empire were a little more crazy when it came to training. This was because everyone knew that if they did not reach the Dou Huang class, the poison Dou Qi that they practiced would sooner or later consume this life of theirs. With the pressure from death, the training atmosphere in the Chuyun Empire was indeed crazy. It may be the reason why the experts hidden among the people of the Chuyun Empire were many times more than that within the Jiama Empire. These experts would seldom join any major factions. Instead, they would fight alone and go all out to train, hoping that they could completely escape the poison erosion within their bodies. On the whole, this empire was clearly more chaotic and dangerous than the Jiama Empire. Of course, such a degree of chaos was undoubtedly much weaker when compared to the Black Corner region, which was without laws. After all, this place had the Chuyun Empire Imperial family and that enormous being known as the Poison Sect governing it. Xiao Yan and the other two used nearly four days before they entered the middle region of the Chuyun Empire after traveling a long distance. The three of them also gained some understanding of the chaos within the Chuyun Empire during this journey. This was especially so when they saw poison fogs randomly brewing all around some battles. The danger of this empire that was felt in their hearts rose quite a bit. After understanding all of this, Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily marveled at Little Fairy Doctor's achievement once again. 
Being able to establish an enormous faction that nearly ruled over one-third of the Chuyun Empire within this chaotic ground would likely have involved payments with countless amounts of blood. Ordinary gentle tactics would likely have difficulty reigning in any experts with extreme characters in the Chuyun Empire. Only bloody methods were the most effective against them. Xiao Yan could imagine that the little fairy doctor's path was likely filled with numerous corpses for her to be able to develop the poison sect until this stage as a female. The headquarters of the poison sect sat in the middle of the Chuyun Empire. There was a city called Sky Poison City located at that place. This city was completely controlled in the hands of the poison sect. It could be said that this city was the land ruled by the poison sect. Even the imperial family from the Chuyun Empire did not have the slightest authority in this place. This Sky Poison City was regarded by a countless number of poison masters within the Chuyun Empire as a holy ground in their hearts. Some of the strongest factions within the Chuyun Empire, over the generations, would establish their headquarters in this place and receive the worship of those poison masters from all over the empire. The Sky Poison City was extremely renowned within the Chuyun Empire. Hence, Xiao Yan's group only needed to randomly inquire about it to obtain its exact location. With the speed of the three of them, they spent around a day before arriving at the city that was regarded as a holy city. Xiao Yan's group stood on a mountain peak outside of the Sky Poison City. The travel-weary group heaved a long sigh of relief. The way the three dressed had changed a little. Medusa had wore a doping on her head. Her outstanding appearance had attracted quite a lot of trouble during this journey of theirs. Medusa naturally did not show even the slightest mercy to these fellows with ill intent. However, those troublesome flies continued to arrive. In the end, she could only helplessly use a doping to hide her face even with the degree of viciousness in her heart. Their travels had become much smoother once she did this. TL, doping, a conical bamboo hat with a veil hanging over it to cover one's face. It is unexpected that such a large city is actually controlled by the poison sect, looks like the status of this poison sect within the Chuyun Empire is much greater than the Yan Alliance within the Jiama Empire. Xiao Yan praised as he looked at the large city below. Your tactics are not as ruthless as hers. If you are willing to kill all the people within the Imperial family and wash various factions with blood, the Jiama Empire could also completely become the land of the Yan Alliance. Moreover, no one would dare to have the slightest objection. Medusa faintly replied. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly when he heard this. He was really unable to do that. Do we need to enter the city? Medusa did not linger over this topic as she randomly inquired. There is no need. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. His hand immediately moved and a gray jade piece appeared in his hand. He gently pressed it and broke it into powder. Xiao Yan patted his hand after doing this. He sat cross-legged on the mountain peak and spoke with a smile, Next, we'll wait. She will arrive quickly. Hopefully it won't be a group of experts from the poison sect. Medusa curled her mouth as she responded. Xiao Yan involuntarily shook his head in a helpless manner upon hearing this. It seemed that Medusa had quite the grudge with the little fairy doctor. However, he was helpless when it came to such matters. Perhaps things would be a little better after the two of them interacted for a long time. Xiao Yan's eyes slowly swept over the surroundings of the Sky Poison City while he thought in this manner in his heart. He let out a deep breath and gradually clenched his fist. A cold glint surfaced in his dark black eyes. That fellow from the Hall of Souls, just you wait. A blurry black figure finally appeared in their sight around half an hour after Xiao Yan's three men group waited on the mountain peak. Finally, it flashed a couple of times and appeared in the air above this mountain peak. Chapter 790, 10,000 Scorpion Gate The arrival of the human figure naturally attracted the attention of Xiao Yan's three-man group. They immediately became cautious. Only after the black figure appeared and revealed symbolic long white hair did the three of them softly sigh in relief. Sorry, sorry, I am really sorry. The sect was discussing something just now so I have arrived a little late. Little fairy doctor softly spoke to Xiao Yan. She swung her narrow waist slightly as she slowly descended. Her eyes swept over Zi Yan and Medusa behind him when she spoke. She involuntarily continued in a faint voice when she saw the doping on the latter's head, it is not as though I have never seen you. Why did you need to find a doping? Don't tell me that you think you won't be recognized. Xiao Yan helplessly cried out, this is bad, within his heart when he heard these words of little fairy doctor. As expected, the moment the little fairy doctor's voice sounded, the doping on Medusa's head turned into a black shadow. It carried a sharp wind as it shot viciously toward the former. The little fairy doctor did not move her body even a little as her eyes stared at the doping that explosively shot over. She flicked her finger and a wisp of wind shot out. Finally, it violently collided with the doping and immediately blasted apart. If I really wanted to hide my trail, would you be able to find this queen with your ability? Medusa's bewitching appearance was revealed after the doping was thrown away. Her gaze was ice cold as she looked at little fairy doctor and mocked. There is no one that I cannot find in this Chuyun Empire. The little fairy doctor did not give in as she coldly laughed. Enough. The both of you just shut up. All of you better be quiet. I have come looking for all of you, but not to hear you argue. Xiao Yan felt a headache forming when he heard the way these two people began to argue with each other upon meeting. All he could do was furiously cry out. After Xiao Yan's furious cry, these two people once again stared coldly at one another before turning their eyes away. 
Little fairy doctor, do you have the information about the people from the Hall of Souls? Xiao Yan only let out a sigh of relief when he saw that the both of them were quiet. He began to open his mouth and inquire about the most important matter of this trip. I, I, the someone from the Hall of Souls has come looking for me again when I return to the Chuyun Empire. However, he seems to be a little furious at me for not capturing you. He left after a short argument. This time around, I paid a little more attention and gradually discovered the trail of this person. Little fairy doctor nodded her head as she slowly replied. What is his strength like? Xiao Yan eyes flickered as he asked in a deep voice. It is not weaker than mine. Otherwise, he would not dare to act arrogantly in front of me. Ugh. Little fairy doctor voiced her thoughts. Her gaze immediately glanced at Medusa as she said, if the three of us were to join hands, we might be able to restrain him. Xiao Yan nodded once. Some excitement leaped in his eyes. Compared to the situation where he had fled with Yao Lao all over the place, he now began to take the initiative to look for information regarding the people from the Hall of Souls. The difference between the two was extremely great. From this, it was sufficient to indicate the growth of Xiao Yan during these few years. Perhaps if he was given sufficient time, he might really possess the qualifications to contend with the Hall of Souls head-on. It should not be too much of a trouble for the three of us to deal with that expert from the Hall of Souls. However, the troublesome thing is that this fellow from the Hall of Souls has some connection with the faction. If we were to really do something, it is likely that we will come into conflict with this faction. Little Fairy Doctor hesitated for a moment before slowly speaking. Isn't it rumored that some of the Poison Master factions have already been eliminated by the Poison Sect? Xiao Yan asked, feeling startled when he heard this. We did indeed eliminate quite a number of them. However, the faction called the 10,000 Scorpion Gate is an exception. The faction has an old fellow whose name is extremely renowned within the Chuyun Empire many years ago. Although he seldom appears these days, he is still indeed alive. When we were prepared to eliminate the 10,000 Scorpion Sect, the last time, we ended up alerting this old fellow who was in a retreat. I have exchanged a couple of blows with him. He is indeed very troublesome. Little Fairy Doctor helplessly spoke. Moreover, this 10,000 Scorpion Gate also possesses quite a number of experts. Although it usually keeps a low profile and does not really intervene in the matters of the Empire, they do indeed possess quite a great weight within the Chuyun Empire. A cold glint slowly flickered in Little Fairy Doctor's eyes. Clearly, she felt a little afraid of this 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Xiao Yan's expression gradually sank when he heard this. If this was the case, would they not have to start a battle with this 10,000 Scorpion Gate if they wanted to capture the person from the Hall of Souls? However, this was the Chuyun Empire. It was difficult for the experts from the Yen Alliance to support them. It would be extremely troublesome if they were to attack. Since she is able to call you here, it is only natural that she has a plan. Why don't we listen to her opinion? Medusa opened her mouth, and indifferently spoke when she saw Xiao Yan's expression. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. His gaze was thrown toward the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor glanced at Medusa before nodding her head slightly. During this period of time, news of some conflicts between the 10,000 Scorpion Gate and the Poison Sect has been repeatedly transmitted over. Not long ago, we captured a person from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate and learned from him that this faction, which usually keeps a low profile, seems to be intending to attack our Poison Sect. According to what I know, it is likely that the person of the Hall of Souls is fanning the flames. Otherwise, that old fellow would not do such a thing given his character. The sect has decided to preempt the other party and launch an attack after learning of this news. We will eliminate the 10,000 Scorpion Gate before they can attack. A fierce glint flashed in Little Fairy Doctor's eyes as she observed Xiao Yan and said, if it was in the past, it is likely that we might not be able to eliminate the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, even if we were to go all out, however, with all of you, our chances will greatly soar. See, just see. She has actually got you over to be a fighter. The corner of Medusa's mouth curled as she coldly laughed. Medusa. Don't go overboard. Don't think that this ancestor, Do Zone, is afraid of you. The little fairy doctor's expression immediately became ice cold as she furiously cried out, if you feel that I'm asking you to come and be a fighter for the poison sect, you can leave right now. I will not stop you. Medusa narrowed her eyes. She was just about to speak when she glanced at the fury gradually surging on Xiao Yan's face. She immediately swallowed her words and said, hopefully, it was just a random guess by this queen. If you wish to argue again, I will go and look for the person from the Hall of Souls by myself. All of you can just go and do whatever you want to do. Xiao Yan raised his eyes. He did not cry out angrily this time around. All he did was use a calm tone to speak. However, it was this calm tone that caused Medusa and the little fairy doctor to hurriedly shut their mouths. They could both sense the impatience and fury currently in Xiao Yan's heart. Zi Yan to the side watched the two people, who had been shaken by Xiao Yan until they shut their mouths. She immediately began to gloatingly laugh. Since the poison sex target is the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, and my target is the person from the Hall of Souls behind the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, we will naturally cooperate. Xiao Yan's eyes flipped to the little fairy doctor as he spoke in a deep voice after shaking the two of them. You can be reassured that I do not think that you have come to look for me in the Jiama Empire to be your fighter. If I did not trust you, I would have not hurried over. Xiao Yan waved his hand and spoke after seeing the little fairy doctor's hesitant manner. 
Little fairy doctor sighed in relief after hearing this. She softly said, in that case, we will attack tomorrow. The poison sect has been prepared for this for a long time and can move any time. Yes. 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 Xiao Yin nodded slightly. He voiced his thoughts, what is the strength of that old fellow from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, like? He should be around a three-star doe zone. His poison skill is extremely ruthless. Back then, he could have been considered a fierce star, and was once prominent within the Chuyun Empire. However, he has been undertaking a retreat and training during these recent few years. Hence, he gradually disappeared from the scene. However, some of the older generations can still remember that vicious old fellow. The little fairy doctor's eyes were solemn as she spoke. She was clearly quite afraid of this old fellow. That old fellow should be called Xie Pai Yen, right? The eyes of Medusa by the side flickered for a moment before she suddenly asked. You know him. Little fairy doctor and Xiao Yen were startled when they heard this. Yes, I, we even exchanged blows back then. However, that was the time when I had just become the tribe leader. He was already a renowned expert from the Chu Yun Empire back then. We fought once, but the him back then was merely an expert Dou Wang. It is unexpected that he has not died after so many years, but advanced to the Dou Zone class. Medusa slowly spoke. That's right, Hai Budong had also exchanged blows with him back then, but ended up losing. On the other hand, Jia Xingtian from the Jia Ma Empire's imperial family took the upper hand in a couple of fights with him. Unfortunate, Xie Bai Yan is currently already an elite Dou Zone while that fellow is still lingering at the peak of the Dou Wang class. If he knew about this information, it is likely that he would be afraid for a long time. However, as a whole, this Xie Bai Yan could be considered to be in the limelight during the fight between the experts from the Jia Ma Empire and the Chuyun Empire back then. He has surpassed quite a number of experts from the Jia Ma Empire. Xiao Yan felt somewhat surprised when he heard of some of the old events that had happened back then, spat from Medusa's mouth. It was unexpected that this Xie Bai Yan was actually an old opponent of the elders from the Yan Alliance. He should be the strongest within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. As long as this old fellow is settled, the remaining people, other than Chief Xie Shan and a couple of elders, should not be too troublesome. It is fine leaving them to the experts from the Poison Sect. Little Fairy Doctor nodded her head and voiced her opinion, if we include that expert from the Hall of Souls the 10,000 Scorpion Gate should have two elite dozones. She and I should be able to deal with them. Moreover, Xiao Yan, you also possess a trump card that can hurt an elite dozone. Our chances of victory in this battle is quite great. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard this. He nodded and said, in that case, we should leave tomorrow. I also want to see just how powerful this person who suppressed the experts in Jia Ma Empire back then is. Of course, there is that person from the Hall of Souls. He is the most important target of this trip. Xiao Yan's expression became somewhat dense as he spoke. Chapter 791, Wuya. Poison Sect had obviously prepared against the 10,000 Scorpion Gate since long before. Hence, on the second day after Xiao Yan's three men group arrived at the Sky Poison City, this enormous machine known as the Poison Sect began to activate. A countless number of people were dispatched in a scattered manner and began to quietly gather around the Sky Scorpion Mountain Range. In merely three days, they had completely sealed off this place in secret. Although this large-scale movement of the Poison Sect might be able to be hidden from the people outside, it was obviously not possible to remain hidden from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, which possessed quite a number of spies. Hence, the 10,000 Scorpion Gate sensed it when the Poison Sect people began to gradually appear around the Sky Scorpion Mountain Range. The conflict between the two factions had thus entered its most intense point. There were over a hundred killings that began to appear in the Sky Scorpion Mountain Range almost every day. Both parties suffered losses in these various conflicts. It was still alright at the beginning with only some low-level people fighting with one another when they occasionally met. However, when the experts from the Poison Sect arrived, the experts from both parties began to exchange blows. In a short while, the Sky Scorpion Mountain Range, which had been quite quiet, descended into a liveliness that it had never witnessed before. The Little Fairy Doctor led the top experts from the sect and appeared at the camp of the Poison Sect on the Sky Scorpion Mountain Range during these increasingly heated conflicts between both parties. This campsite that the Poison Sect had chosen was not far from the headquarters of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. They were merely separated by a bottomless gorge. The walls of the mountains were covered by countless numbers of colorful poisonous scorpions. The fog that lingered over the mountains withered unceasingly and emitted a slight fishy smell. The campsite was tightly guarded by a countless number of gazes crossing each other even in the sky. If Xiao Yan's three men group had not followed the little fairy doctor all the way, it was likely that it would have been difficult for them to successfully enter this place by just relying on the strength of the three of them. With the exception of Zi Yan, the appearances of Xiao Yan and Medusa had been slightly changed. After all, these two people had left behind quite a deep impression on some of the experts in the poison sect in the last big battle. It was likely that they would invite some unnecessary trouble if they were to reveal their true faces. Changing one's appearance was not rare within the Chu Yun Empire. Poison masters always loved to act in unorthodox ways and would create all sorts of strange, unique items. A tool known as the mysterious beast skin was able to quietly make some changes to a person's appearance. Of course, one's appearance would naturally recover to its normal form once this thing was removed. However, this mysterious beast skin was differentiated between a high and low grade. 
there was a large difference in the reality changes that were created between the two. However, with the little fairy doctor's position in the Chuyun Empire, she naturally provided the best Mysteria Beast skin to Xiao Yan and Medusa. In this way, it was likely that very few people would be able to identify them. They passed through the tightly guarded campsite before all of them stopped just outside of an enormous tent at the middle of the campsite. There were quite a number of experts from the poison sect currently gathered in this place. Clearly, they had received the information that the little fairy doctor had transmitted earlier. Both parties briefly greeted each other when they met. Little fairy doctor waved her hand and faintly said, We will discuss our plans after entering the tent. Give me details of the most recent developments. Sect leader, who are these few people? An old man who was standing at the leader's spot of everyone suddenly swept his gaze over Xiao Yan's three-man group behind Little Fairy Doctor. He immediately frowned as he inquired. This old man clearly held a high position within the poison sect. His pale green robe was eye-catching. His face had a black centipede drawn on it. This along with the movement of his wrinkles on his face caused the centipede to slowly wiggle like it was alive, sending out a dark, cold, evil aura to others. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over him a couple of times. The Little Fairy Doctor had told him about some matters of the poison sect along the way. They suddenly flashed across his heart when he saw the dark black centipede on his face. Due to the rapid development of the poison sect, it was not as united as Xiao Yan had imagined. There was a mixture of many factions within it. This old man who had a centipede on his face was called Wuya. His strength was around the peak of the Dou Huang class. He was originally the leader of the Centipede Sky Mansion from the Chuyun Empire. However, he eventually took the initiative to surrender to the expanding poison sect. Finally, he became a powerful elder within the section. He had roped in quite a number of experts from the sect and was able to oppose some of the little fairy doctor's orders at times. When the Chuyun Empire withdrew back then, the greatest opposition in the sect came from this old man. Some of the experts from the poison sect also threw their gazes towards Xiao Yan's three-man group after hearing Wuya's question. Most of their eyes paused on Zi Yan's body. They felt an incredulous feeling that such a jade carving like little girl had come with such a dangerous person. They are all friends that we have invited over. Why? Is there any problem Elder Wu? The little fairy doctor seemed to have already anticipated that Wuya would pose this question. She did not even raise her eyes as she replied with an indifferent voice. Hee hee, this old me naturally has no problems. However, this big battle with the 10,000 Scorpion Gate will affect our poison sex reputation and position within the Chuyun Empire. We naturally need to be much more cautious. Hence, sect leader should be more careful if you wish to invite others to help. An unusual glint flashed through Wuya's eyes when he heard little fairy doctor's words. His eyes immediately swept over Xiao Yan's three-man group in detail. His face frowned and trembled slightly when he discovered that the strength of the three of them were all at the Dou Huang class. Of course, with his strength, he was naturally unable to see the depth of Medusa's strength. Hence, he only thought that she was a Dou Huang after the latter suppressed her aura. However, Chief, three Dou Huangs will likely not have much effect in such a big battle right? We will know if there are any changes in the future. Elder Wu, it seems that you have a lot of opinions today. Little Fairy Doctor's face slowly turned cold as she responded after hearing this old fellow continue to speak. Cuckoo, what is Chief saying? I am also thinking of the poison sect. After all, this big battle is far too important for us. Wuya laughed when he saw Little Fairy Doctor's expression. He still possessed a little fear for the former and naturally did not dare to be too overboard. He clearly understood that if he did not possess a great reputation within the poison sect, it was likely that he would have been eliminated by the Little Fairy Doctor. I naturally feel assured about the people I have invited. The Little Fairy Doctor knit her brows slightly before waving her hand. She ignored him and walked into the tent. The experts from the poison sect at the entrance hurriedly moved aside upon seeing this. Xiao Yan's gaze drifted toward Wuya without leaving a trace when his group was walking past the ladder. This old fellow actually dared to doubt Little Fairy Doctor's words in front of so many people. It seemed that things were indeed as the latter had said. His strength within the poison sect was quite great. I must remind Little Fairy Doctor to be cautious of this old fellow. Although the poison sect is strong, its interior is far too unstable. This old fellow might be the greatest instability. This thought flashed across Xiao Yan's heart as he walked into the spacious tent. Wuya and the others outside the tent smiled, and watched the back of Xiao Yan's three men group as they entered the tent. A gloominess flashed in their eyes without leaving any trace only after they had entered the tent. This gloominess swiftly disappeared. They lifted their heads, chatted and smiled with the other experts from the poison sect before entering the tent. Everyone separated and sat down within the tent. Xiao Yan's group randomly sat beside Little Fairy Doctor. Below them was the group of experts from the poison sect. How is the current situation on the Sky Scorpion mountain range? The Little Fairy Doctor did not say any unnecessary things after sitting down. She started on the main topic and inquired in a deep voice. The people from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate have already begun to pull back their defensive line after entangling with our poison sect for a couple of days. Most of the people in the sect are on the 10,000 Scorpion Mountain. Our poison sect has lost quite a number of people in the exchange during this period of time. We even lost two expert Do Wangs during a bold chase. We looked all around him before letting out a dry cough. He chose to speak first. The little fairy doctor frowned a little upon hearing this. 
The overall strength of the poison sect was much stronger than the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Why were their losses more serious than the other party? Sect leader, according to my observations during this period of time, it seems that the other party was aware ahead of time that our poison sect committed to a little larger operation. The elite members of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate would be withdrawn from the encircled area and leave behind some unimportant low-level members, moreover, as long as there was a weakness in the defensive line of our poison sect, it would immediately suffer a large attack by the other party, resulting in us suffering quite the losses. Wea's face was somewhat ugly as he spoke in a deep voice, according to a guess by this old me, it is likely that there is a traitor from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate within our poison sect. The interior of the tent was immediately in an uproar when these words were uttered. All the experts from the poison sect looked in all directions. There was a faint amount of caution in the eyes that they used to look at their companions. The little fairy doctor looked at the somewhat chaotic large tent. A cold glint flashed in her eyes. If the poison sect really did have a traitor from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, would each and every single one of their actions not be exposed in the other party's eyes? Xiao Yan sat in one corner and studied the transformation in the tent with cold eyes. However, the place where his eyes remained the longest time were on Wuya, who had first said that there might be a traitor. Currently, he was no longer that young fellow who knew nothing. He had met too many cunning old fellows. It seems that Little Fairy Doctor does not have such an easy time being the sect leader of this poison sect. Chapter 792, Dangerous The first discussion did not reveal any substantial conclusions. No one had even the slightest evidence of the so-called traitor in the section. Therefore, they could only temporarily shove it aside. After the meeting continued for around half an hour or so, it ended with no decision being made. Perhaps it was because the 10,000 Scorpion Gate had withdrawn all their people into the 10,000 Scorpion Mountain, but no overly intense battle erupted today. Everything seemed extremely calm. However, as long as it was someone with sharp senses, one would be able to discover that this was just the calm before the storm. With the strength of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, they would definitely be unwilling to be sealed by the poison sect on the top of a mountain. Hence, it was likely that a big battle that would truly determine the victor would sweep over like a storm soon. With the flow of time, the night sky gradually covered the entire mountain range. The night was the time when poisonous things prevailed. A slight shuffling sound repeatedly appeared around the entire mountain range. Borrowing some weak light, one would be able to see colorful poisonous snakes and scorpions climbing all over the place in the grass and in the trees. The tongue of the snakes extended in a ferocious manner. However, it was fortunate that a thick layer of powder had already been scattered over the surroundings of the campsite. Some small poisonous objects did not dare to move nearer in the face of this kind of nose-piercing stench. Moreover, there were experts from the poison sect guarding around the place. Having been dealing with poison for their entire lives, it was natural that these people were extremely used to handling such things. The campsite at night appeared exceptionally calm. Bonfires burned fiercely and would occasionally erupt into thunderbolt claps. A certain spot in the quiet campsite suddenly moved, and a tiny black figure swiftly rushed out. After which, it was just like an ordinary bird that swiftly rushed toward the dark forest. Borrowing the help of the faint moonlight, one was able to discover that this tiny black figure was a black centipede with a pair of wings a few airfoils thick. Due to the color of its body, it was extremely difficult for it to be noticed in the night sky. Even if some experts discovered it, they would merely treat it as an ordinary poisonous centipede. After all, this thing was only too commonly seen in the sky scorpion mountain range where poisonous insects roamed. The black centipede quietly rushed through the sky before finally turning its body. It actually flew toward the 10,000 scorpion mountain in the direction of the gorge. Just as that centipede was about to fly over the gorge, a black figure strangely appeared in midair. The figure caught the former in his hand. Of course, the figure had naturally used Dochi to wrap his hand when faced with such a dirty thing. The black centipede that was suddenly captured immediately began to struggle. The interior of its body also faintly emitted a repulsive stench. A finger was flicked and it struck the centipede's head, shaking it until it fainted. The black figure's indifferent eyes drifted over it before his finger suddenly used some force and shattered the body of the centipede. A small paper note that was rolled into a cylinder shape quietly appeared as green blood flowed out. A jade green flame rose from the figure's hand and vaporized all the green colored blood. The flame's glow was imprinted on that somewhat ordinary face. It was surprisingly Xiao Yan who had used the mysterious beast skin to hide his original appearance. Xiao Yan tossed the corpse of that centipede into the gorge and slowly pulled open the paper scroll. He could see a couple of distorted words that appeared in his eyes. Everything is prepared. There were only these three simple words on the paper note. However, these three words caused Xiao Yan's eyes to slightly narrow. It seemed that this matter was not as simple as he had imagined. There was indeed a traitor from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate within the Poison Sect. Moreover, from the meaning of the words on the note, it seemed that those traitors planted within the Poison Sect had already properly arranged certain matters. Next, they were awaiting for the final moment to give the Poison Sect a vicious destructive blow. Although I have been observing the interior of the campsite, the body of this centipede does not have the scent of any human. Moreover, it did not fly out from a certain tent. Clearly, the person who was sending the messages is extremely cautious. Xiao Yan muttered softly in his heart. He stored the paper note and his gaze studied the dark black 10,000 scorpion mountain in the distance. Even though he was so far away, he could still vaguely sense that this place was dangerous. 
I should tell Little Fairy Doctor about this first. Otherwise, we'll sooner or later fall at the most unexpected moment. This thought flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. After which, he moved and strangely disappeared in a slow manner. Dawn arrived after a night where nothing happened. A slight humming sound appeared in all the campsite of the poison sect just when the sky had become bright. The hearts of the numerous members from the poison sect who knew what the sound represented immediately shook. It seemed that they were about to launch a major attack on the 10,000 Scorpion Mountain today. Woo! The sharp whistling sound resounded over the mountain range. Suddenly, killing cries were emitted. One could see the densely packed people from the poison sect surge like ants, swarming toward the 10,000 Scorpion Mountain from all directions. Finally, they charge over to the mountaintop where the 10,000 Scorpion Gate was located. The large army of the poison sect had just charged into the dense forest of the 10,000 Scorpion Mountain when numerous sharp cries were suddenly emitted. Clearly, the people from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate had hid themselves within the forest, waiting for the poison sect to attack. Although the 10,000 Scorpion Gate was prepared, the densely packed large poison sect tie did not pause even a little because of it. They carried charging cries that surged to the sky as they ran into the forest with reddened eyes. After which, they collided and fought with the people from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. When the killing of the two large sects began, experts from both sides also began to successively charge into the dense forest to engage in a slaughter. A big battle would naturally erupt when the two parties' experts occasionally met. Xiao Yan's eyes were indifferent as he observed the people from the 10,000 Scorpion sect, who had suddenly appeared in the dense forest, as they threw bags of poison fog toward him. He flicked his finger and an invisible fluctuation appeared. The 10 plus fierce looking people from the 10,000 Scorpion gate immediately burst into clusters of flame out of the blue. The poison fog also swiftly disappeared when it was still around 10 feet from Xiao Yan. The eyes of the 100 plus people from the poison sect behind Xiao Yan revealed some shock when they saw this strange act. Their hearts quietly muttered that this person was indeed worthy of being a helper that the sect leader had invited. His strength was really not weak. Thank you Mr. Yen for your help. The middle-aged leader cupped his hand towards Xiao Yan. After which, he did not dare to delay any longer. He waved his hand and led a large group of people over to the mountaintop like a pack of hornets. Xiao Yan's eye sent off these people from the poison sect as they disappeared into the forest. He randomly flicked his finger and a thread of hot wind incinerated the poison scorpion that had pounced over from behind him. After which, he turned his head and laughed, what are the other places like? The space was slightly distorted at the spot where Xiao Yan's eyes rested. Medusa's figure slowly appeared. She faintly spoke, the experts from the poison sect outnumber that of the 10,000 scorpion gate. There are also experts lending a hand at almost every location. Hence, their attacks are quite fast. They have already reached halfway up the mountain. Perhaps, they would be able to reach the area outside of the 10,000 scorpion gate a short while later. Xiao Yan vaguely nodded. However, the elite experts from the 10,000 scorpion gate had yet to act. Even if the poison sect is able to reach the spot where the 10,000 scorpion gate is located, it would be difficult for them to advance even an inch further unless they are able to eliminate the genuine experts of the 10,000 scorpion gate. Medusa continued to speak. Hey, that chief of the 10,000 scorpion gate, Xie Shan, that Xie Bai Yan, and that expert from the Hall of Souls have not yet appeared to intervene. As long as they are still around, the 10,000 scorpion gate will not be defeated. There is still a soul-stirring great battle today. Xiao Yan laughed, you should try your best to hide your aura. Don't allow anyone to discover your true strength. Wait until a crucial moment before appearing. Only then will you be able to achieve a deterrent effect. Yes. That's right, where is Xi Yan? Xiao Yan I swept around as he frowned and asked. She led a unit of the poison sect, and charged right at the front. It is likely that her area will be the first to reach the 10,000 scorpion gate other than the little fairy doctor's group. Medusa helplessly replied. She was really speechless when it came to that little girl. Ugh, leave her be. As long as there is no elite Do Huangs from the 10,000 scorpion gate intervening, it is likely that she will not be in danger. We should also increase our speed. Xiao Yan shook his head. His body moved as he heard the killing cries that spread over the entire mountain. He penetrated through the forest. He flapped his fire wings and rushed toward the mountain peak. Medusa also used Do Chi to agglomerate a pair of Do Chi wings on her back and followed close behind. The sky above the 10,000 scorpion mountain would occasionally experience an intense battle. However, the experts from the two parties did not feel attracted to fighting. Once they discovered that the situation was not right, they would immediately flee toward their side's direction. Hence, the sky might appear to be exciting and chaotic from the fights, but no major losses had been suffered yet. Xiao Yan and Medusa rose straight up. A moment later, they arrived at a spot close to the peak of the mountain. Their eyes swept down from above, only to see the towering mountain peak penetrated into the clouds. The mountain peak appeared as though an axe had cut half of the sky. There was an incomparably large faction that stood on it. A dense green fog spread over the sky above the section. The poison fog withered and covered the entire faction. The people from the poison sect appeared one after another outside of that faction. After which, they were just like ants as they completely surrounded the 10,000 scorpion gate. With an increasing number of people from the poison sect appearing, numerous rays of light had also begun to flash and appear. Finally, they remained suspended in the air. 
They were the little fairy doctor and the experts from the poison sect. The little fairy doctor floated in the sky as her eyes swept over the green poison fog that was scattered over the place. Her indifferent voice also resounded slowly over the mountain top. Xiaoshan, do you think that you can rely on this poison cloud formation to block the attacks of my poison sect? Haha, ha, the sect leader of the poison sect really lives up to her name. Your haughtiness is quite great. A loud laugh was emitted from the poison fog when the little fairy doctor's voice sounded. The poison fog immediately churned and numerous human figures flashed out from it. Finally, they stopped in the sky in an orderly manner. Their eyes were ice cold as they glared at the expert from the poison sect not far away. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around when he saw these experts from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate appearing. Some surprise flashed across his eyes. It was unexpected that the overall strength of these experts was not much weaker than the poison sect. It seemed that the 10,000 Scorpion sect really kept a low profile when they did things. The big battle today might be somewhat dangerous. Chapter 793, Xie Bai Yan The leader of the experts of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate was a middle-aged man who displayed a dark, cold expression along with a set of Chinese robes. From the respectful manner in which those surrounding experts from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate were looking at him, it was likely that he was the person who had spoken earlier. The chief of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, Xie Shan. There were five old men behind Xie Shan. Xiao Yan's gaze paused for a moment on their bodies. These five people also possessed the strength of the Dou Huan class but three of them seemed to have just broken through a short while ago. Therefore, some of the aura within their bodies was seeping out. The group of people who were further behind were the expert Dou Wangs from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Based on a rough estimation, there were likely at least dozens of them. Placing such a lineup here did indeed possess a deterrent effect. Little Fairy Doctor glanced at the Xie Shan. Her voice was as calm as water as she spoke, where is Xie Bai Yan? Call out that old fellow too. Otherwise, your 10,000 Scorpion Gate will be swallowed by my poison sect today. Hee <laughs> hee, Sky Poison Woman. We have not seen each other for a short year but you are becoming more arrogant. My 10,000 Scorpion Gate cannot be compared with those ordinary factions. Aren't you afraid of being choked to death by swallowing us? The middle-aged man, who was the chief of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, Xie Shan, quietly laughed. Moreover, old Xie is an expert renowned in the Chuyun Empire for a long time. You, as a member of the younger generation, are perhaps still lacking qualification if you want to challenge him. A faint cold glint flashed across the little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes. She did not waste her breath and merely waved her sleeves. An unusually dense gray-colored Dou Chi pillar explosively shot out. It cut through the air and violently smashed toward Xie Shan's group like a falling star. Xie Shan's face changed a little when he saw that the little fairy doctor attacked at the first disagreement. Powerful Dou Qi suddenly surged out. The five elite Dou Huangs behind let out an orderly furious cry. Their hands were placed on Xie Shan's shoulders and the Dou Qi within their bodies poured into the latter like flood water. Xie Shan's face became a lot redder after receiving the pouring of such a large amount of Dou Qi. A thought moved through his mind and both of his hands ruthlessly moved forward. A majestic Dou Qi pillar that was agglomerated from the strength of six people suddenly shot out before colliding with that gray Dou Qi pillar. A earth-shaking explosion erupted that blocked the little fairy doctor's attack. Not bad, you are actually able to receive one blow from this ancestor, Dozone. Looks like your 10,000 scorpion gate has put in quite a lot of effort in order to deal with me. The little fairy doctor indifferently watched the Dochi ripple from the annihilation. She did not even raise her eyes. Her voice also contained a little ridicule. Xie Shan coldly laughed. However, he did not dare to slight her in his heart. Too much Dochi had flowed into his body earlier, causing his veins to feel a swelling pain. If this continued a couple more times, it was likely that he would die from his veins bursting apart. After all, they were not like the three Mulan elders who had a special qi method to merge their strength. However, this ancestor, Do Zong, has also said today that if Xie Bai Yan does not come out, your 10,000 scorpion gate will have difficulty escaping this calamity. The little fairy doctor's eyes suddenly turned cold as the seal on her hand suddenly changed. Thousand Mysterious Poison Fountain The cold cry had just sounded when countless amounts of thick gray light rays surged from little fairy doctor's body. They immediately shot towards Xie Shan's group from all directions. The thick gray light rays shined through the sky. Its intense corrosiveness left behind many scars in the sky that were visible to the naked eye. The expression of Xie Shan sank upon seeing this attack by Little Fairy Doctor which possessed extraordinary force. Elite Dozone was indeed not someone whom they could contend with. The energy that was contained in each of this gray glows would likely be sufficient to cause the death of an expert Dozone. Although they were met with such a powerful attack, Xie Shan's group did not panic even a little. When the countless number of thick light rays reached a spot around a hundred feet from them, the dense green fog suddenly began to churn. An old man strangely appeared in the air. The walking stick in his hand violently pounded the empty air and a majestic dochi surged out of his body. Finally, it transformed into a light curtain that covered the air around a hundred feet in front of him. The countless number of thick gray dochi light rays rushed over, finally carrying a chi chi sound as they smashed down. Under the continuous thick gray dochi explosion, the light curtain began to form waves of ripples. However, it ultimately stood tenacious and did not show any signs of shattering. 
The explosions continued for a while before they gradually slowed until they completely disappeared. That enormous light curtain slowly turned pale when the gray dochi disappeared before revealing a slightly hunched white-haired old man behind. The old man was wearing ordinary clothes and an expressionless face with turbid eyes that seemed to contain a glint that caused one's heart to feel a chill. His hand was holding a dark black walking stick. The walking stick had an exceptionally savage-looking scorpion head and a little purple glow, that was difficult to notice, flashed from the head of the scorpion. The old man stood in empty air. The aura all over his body was completely pulled into it and not even a little of it seeped out. At a glance, he appeared just like an ordinary old man. However, the experts from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate hurriedly greeted him respectfully after he appeared. The expressions of the experts from the poison sect also gradually became solemn. Even the little fairy doctor did not dare to underestimate this person who possessed a great reputation within the Chuyun Empire many years ago. This fellow should be the elite Dozong from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, Xie Bu Yan, right? Xiao Yan looked at the old man who had suddenly appeared. His heart turned cold as he suddenly spoke. Yes. Medusa also slightly nodded. Some solemnness appeared in her eyes. It is unexpected that this old fellow is actually able to withdraw his aura to such an extent. It seems that he has not wasted these years. According to my estimation, it is likely that this fellow has already reached the peak of a four-star dozone. If he is lucky, he might even be able to break through to a five-star dozone. Medusa voiced her opinion. Xiao Yan's face changed when he heard this. Yun Shan back then was at the very most had the strength of a three-star dozone. It was unexpected that this fellow had already reached the peak of a four-star dozone. Medusa's strength was also around this level. The strongest person that Xiao Yan had met in all these years was likely the protector who after he had swallowed Yun Shan's soul. The next was Yao Lao who had only recovered his spiritual strength. After that it was Medusa and the little fairy doctor. Now, he might perhaps have to add another to that list, Xie Bai Yan. After one strength reached the dozone class, the increase of a single level was unusually difficult. The difference between the strength of each level also increased. Of course, the current Xiao Yan was not very certain about this. He was only striving to make it through the Do Wan class at this moment. Although he could fight with an elite Dozone if he used all his strength, the price that he needed to pay was too great. From this, one could tell just how powerful an elite Dozone was. I should begin searching for a new, heavenly flame, to raise my strength after this matter is over. Otherwise, I will only be able to fight with an elite Dozone after using all of my strength. This won't do. Xiao Yan quietly nodded as this thought flashed across his heart. If he wanted to rescue Yao Lao and his father as well as successfully be together with Sun Er, he would need an extremely powerful strength. The current him obviously did not possess this. Of course, it was unusually difficult if an ordinary person wanted to raise his aura level. However, it was different for Xiao Yan. Being in possession of the flame mantra, his strength would soar greatly as long as he could find a new, heavenly flame, and swallow it. Reaching the Dozone class was within reach. Although this involved extremely great danger, what kind of training was completely smooth and safe? Xiao Yan slowly inhaled a deep breath of air. His heart became anxious when he thought of raising his strength. He also possessed an initial plan about where he ought to travel in the future. A young person really have sharp edges. Back then, when the old me was dominating the Chuyun Empire, you were just playing with mud in some unknown corner. Even though the new wave has pushed the old wave, this old me has at the very least not been pushed to death. Xie Bai Yan's turbid eyes swept over Little Fairy Doctor as he spoke with a faint voice. In the battle back then, I really did not expect you to be able to eliminate most of the factions within the Chuyun Empire. However, this is also good. With this poison sect, I can save time and effort in the future. As long as I finish you off, this poison sect will naturally be changed to the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. We'll just have to see if you have the strength to swallow my poison sect. A cold glint flashed across Little Fairy Doctor's eyes as she coldly cried out, Poison Sect 5 Elders, take formation. Leave Xie Bai Yan to me. Yes. Wuya and four other elders behind the Little Fairy Doctor swiftly spread apart after hearing her cry. They formed a mysterious formation. Dochi surged from their bodies as the hands of the five people collided. Their powerful aura showed traces of agglomerating. Little Fairy Doctor's eyes were ice cold as she looked at Xie Bai Yan on the other side. She did not know if she was mistaken, but she saw faint ridicule flash across the other party's eyes. While the Little Fairy Doctor was frowning a little, a cold glint suddenly flashed across the eyes of Wuya behind her. His hand seal changed and the five people's aura gathered together. Five powerful forces shot out. However, this attack did not strike at the people from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Instead, they shot toward the Little Fairy Doctor who had her back facing them. This sudden change was beyond everyone's expectations. Even the little fairy doctor was stagnant for a moment. However, it was this stagnation that allowed the five attacks in close proximity to suddenly reach her. A black figure suddenly and strangely appeared behind the little fairy doctor's back the instant the attack was about to strike. A hot jade green flame abruptly surged out and violently collided with the attack. Bang. Powerful Dochi suddenly exploded and a majestic energy ripple surged out. Hee <laughs> hee, it is unexpected that there is not one traitor but five of them. This dog biting its owner is really ruthless. The black figure slowly appeared. 
His legs were shaken until they took a step back. After which, he immediately let out a strange laugh. Chapter 794, Big Battle Between Factions The experts from the poison sect around them recovered the instant the black figure blocked the attack from Wuya and the four other elders. They furiously cried out, Wuya, what are all of you doing? The expressions of Wuya and the other four appeared quite ugly after their futile attack. Their eyes were vicious as they stared at Xiao Yan. After which, their bodies suddenly turned as they swiftly rushed in the direction of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. You wish to flee. A cold glint flashed in the little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes. She suddenly moved her delicate hand and the space in front suddenly became distorted. The speed of Wuya and the four others was clearly reduced after they passed through it. When their bodies paused for a moment, five sharp forces suddenly shot over from behind them. The strength that the forces contained caused even the air to ripple slightly. It seemed that little fairy doctor was quite furious at the betrayal of Wuya's five-man group. The faces of Wuya and the four others changed slightly as they felt the wind rushing over from behind them. They did not expect the little fairy doctor to act so ruthlessly. From the force, it was obvious that she intended to kill the five of them on the spot. Xie Bai Yan let out a cold snort just before the five winds were about to strike. His body shook and he appeared behind the five of them. With a violent wave of his walking stick, five stinky poison glows were spat out from the scorpion head on the walking stick. After which, they shot toward the five forces. The fierce energy violently collided in the empty air and waves of Chi Chi sounds erupted. A faint smoke rose from the spot of the collision. The smoke spread, and two thick grayish lights shot out from it in a lightning-like manner. They passed by Xie Bai Yan and finally caught up with two elders who had renegade earlier before penetrating through their backs. Two sharp cries immediately sounded when these two suffered this sudden heavy blow. The clothes on the elders who had been struck immediately burst apart. The blood and flesh all over their bodies was swiftly corroded by the potent poison that was contained in the wind. Within less than a minute, their dense white bones were revealed. The life force from the two of them was lost in front of those surrounding shocked eyes. Wuya and the two other elders by the side, who had escaped a calamity, looked at the two white skeletons that descended from the sky. They swallowed a mouthful of saliva and some remaining fear appeared in their eyes. If they were the ones who had been struck by the wind earlier, they might also have suffered the same fate. This woman is too vicious. Hey, what a ruthless girl. The tactics you use are vicious despite being so young. Xie Bu Yan's face was dark and solemn. His heart was extremely angry that Little Fairy Doctor had killed the two people in front of him. Even his words contained a dark, cold laugh. A traitor will have such fate. There is nothing strange about it. If your 10,000 Scorpion Gate have any traitors, it is likely that your tactic would be at least 10 times more vicious than mine. Little Fairy Doctor's voice was indifferent as she spoke. Her eyes swept to Wuya and the others as she said, Wuya, I have treated all of you quite well. You have great authority within the poison sect. It is unexpected that you would actually betray me. He he, you are perhaps unaware that I was someone from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate since long ago. The reason why I joined the poison sect the last time was because I wanted to hide within it and get to know your background. Wuya laughed coldly. Originally, I wanted to find a chance to poison you. Unfortunately, you are too cautious. However, that is also fine. With old Xia intervening today, I think that you will also not be able to live beyond today. This poison sect will be under our 10,000 Scorpion Gate in the future. It seems that the centipede from yesterday was you trying to send a message, right? Xiao Yan, who was standing behind Little Fairy Doctor, clapped his hands and laughed. Wuya's eyes shrank when he heard this. His eyes were sinister as he looked at Xiao Yan and said, So the messenger centipede from last night was intercepted by you. Brat, who exactly are you? I advise you to not get involved with the matters of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate and the Poison Sect. Otherwise, you will only invite trouble sooner or later. Xiao Yan smiled and ignored his meaningless threat. He turned his head to Little Fairy Doctor, it looks like the situation is quite bad. This 10,000 Scorpion Gate already possessed some plans for your Poison Sect since long ago. Even if your Poison Sect did not act today, the 10,000 Scorpion Gate would come looking for you. A mountain cannot contain two tigers. The 10,000 Scorpion Gate naturally wants to become the overlord of the Chuyun Empire as well. In the past, they had kept an extremely low profile because that old fellow was undertaking a retreat. Now that he has come out, the situation is completely different. The little fairy doctor's eyes contained some mockery as she looked at Xie Bu Yan. She coldly laughed, however, so what if you have snatched five pieces of trash over? It is as easy as flipping a hand if this ancestor, Do Zong, wants to kill them. Don't tell me that you are actually able to rely on them. Currently, the number of elite Do Huangs from your poison sect is inferior to our 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Old Xie will naturally deal with you. Don't tell me that you will actually be able to intervene. Once the big battle between you and Old Xie is over, the experts from the poison sect will have been completely eliminated. Xie Shan laughed in a dark voice. Xiao Yan I swept over both parties upon hearing this. Indeed, with the betrayal of the five expert Do Huangs, there was only four remaining expert Do Huangs on the poison sect's die. The other side nearly had eight Do Huangs including Xie Shan. If Xiao Yan and the others were not present, it was likely that the poison sect would have ended up in quite a risky position. Unfortunately, with Xiao Yan and Zi Yan intervening, they could block four elite Do Huangs. 
Medusa needed to wait for that expert from the Hall of Souls who had not revealed himself. Hence, she would not intervene until a crucial moment. Since you have such confidence in your 10,000 scorpion gate, you can come and give it a try. The little fairy doctor also let out a cold laugh. Dochi circulated like flood water within her body and a powerful aura which caused the space to fluctuate suddenly surged out. We had a hurried exchange the last time and did not manage to determine a victor. Today, allow this old me to really give it a try and see just what qualifications a member of the younger generation like you has in order to dominate the Chuyun Empire. A cold glint flashed in Xie Bai Yan's eyes as he sensed the powerful aura. His walking stick heavily slammed on the empty ground, and his originally hunched back began to slowly straighten. An aura that was not much weaker than the little fairy doctor seeped out as he raised his hunched back. Finally, it completely suppressed little fairy doctor's spreading aura. The little fairy doctor's face was ice cold. She did not waste her breath as she moved her delicate hand. Her fingernails suddenly grew by half a foot and they became like ten sharp short swords. Her fingernails were covered with a grayish purple color. At a glance, one immediately knew that they contained a potent poison. The grayish purple fingernails randomly flew through the air. One could hear a slight, chi-chi, sound and see that the air cracked apart and formed a slit under the sky. This was enough to tell how sharp they were. All of you should be careful. The little fairy doctor turned her head and spoke to Xiao Yan in a deep voice. After which, she moved her body and it turned into a blurry black line that shot at Xie Bai Yan. At this moment, a majestic Dou Qi suddenly appeared in the sky. That unusual pressure caused quite a number of weaker individuals to feel their breathing become hurried. Xie Bu Yan's eyes were dark and cold as he watched the little fairy doctor attack first. His shriveled hand held his walking stick tightly as he also rushed out. Due to his flashing speed being too quick, he caused numerous afterimages to form in the air. Two elite Dou Zones collided like comets in front of the countless number of gazes below. The energy ripple that erupted at that moment caused even the air to intensely fluctuate. A cold glint also flashed in Xie Shan's eyes as he watched the little fairy doctor and Xie Bai Yan swiftly fight until it just became a cluster of movements. His eyes were malicious as he glanced back at the experts from the poison sect on the other side. He waved his hand. Everyone from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, listen up, charge. The experts of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate immediately cried out in unison upon hearing Xie Shan's order. Dou Qi immediately surged out like a fountain. Numerous figures carried some aura and a fishy stench as they charged at the poison sect camp in a lightning-like manner. The experts from the poison sect also emitted numerous furious cries in the face of this large-scale counter-attack by the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Their bodies rushed forward and violently clashed with the other party's large army. The sky immediately became lively following the beginning of this chaotic battle. Explosions sounded repeatedly and numerous colors of Dochi pillars swept over the sky, shooting in all direction. The large army from the poison sect attacked the spot where the 10,000 Scorpion Gate was located. However, they ended up facing this intense counter-attack by the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Killing cries suddenly began to soar to the sky. Bang. Xiao Yan randomly threw a palm and shook an elite Dou Wang that was launching a sneak attack until he spat out blood and retreated. Two human figures suddenly flashed and appeared in front of him. It was surprisingly that Wuya and another elder who had betrayed them earlier. At this moment, the gazes that these two people used to look at Xiao Yan were quite vicious. Clearly, they were extremely furious at Xiao Yan having blocked their sneak attack earlier. Brat, since you are not willing to listen to the advice of this old me, you can only blame yourself for having a terrible fate. Wuya gave Xiao Yan a dense smile. A somewhat scarlet Dou Qi lingered over his body. The scorpion tattoo on his face was partially visible, causing him to gain an additional savage aura. Xiao Yan glanced indifferently at the two of them. He laughed, since you have delivered yourself to me, you can only blame yourselves for having a terrible fate. Wu Yu immediately let out a furious laugh when he heard the arrogant words from Xiao Yan. Ridicule and disdain flashed across the eyes of the Dou Huang elder by his side. They could tell that Xiao Yan was merely just a one-star Dou Huang. One of the two of them was at the peak of the Dou Huang class while the other was a four-star Dou Huang. Their strengths far exceeded the other party's level. With two against one, the ending was already something that could be predicted. They did not think that it was Xiao Yan's strength that allowed him to forcefully receive the five people's combined attack head-on. Instead, in their hearts, they thought that it was because the little fairy doctor had quietly helped him earlier. After all, a one-star Dou Huang attempting to block the attack of five Dou Huangs was a fantasy. Regardless of what happened, it was difficult for them to imagine that this one-star Dou Huang in front of them possessed a strength that basically made it difficult for an opponent to match him within the Dou Huang class. A hot jade green Dou Qi slowly seeped out of Xiao Yan's body. His gaze swept over the battles occurring all over the place. He knit his brows slightly upon the discovery that the poison sect had obviously ended up at a disadvantage. It seemed that he needed to quickly finish these two old fellows. Chapter 795, Kill Xiao Yan ceased hesitating as this thought flashed across his heart. His hand seal also suddenly moved. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change A soft cry sounded in Xiao Yan's heart and the glazed fire lotus flame within his body immediately followed a mysterious vein pathway as it swiftly circulated. A wild and violent strength also slowly seemed out, causing the interior of Xiao Yan's body to be filled with an incomparable surging strength. 
Xiao Yan ignored the change in expressions of Wu Ya and the other person on the opposite side after his aura suddenly surged. The silver glow on his feet appeared and his body immediately shook before appearing behind the two people in a ghost-like manner. A hot palm of wind violently smashed against the backs of these two people. The reactions of Wu Ya and the other person were quite quick. They immediately forcefully turned their bodies around when they sensed the hot wind from behind them. Immediately, their fists, which were filled with powerful Dou Qi, ruthlessly surged forth, and finally collided with both of Xiao Yan's palms. A loud noise immediately resounded over the sky. The wind ripple spread out and Xiao Yan took a step back. His shoulders shook and the hidden force that was transmitted from his arms was resolved. Wuya's body also took a step back as it intensely shook while the four-star Dou Wang elder by his side took a total of three to four steps back before managing to stabilize his body. A flushed redness surged onto his face. It was unexpected that he was turned into such a miserable state by this fellow, who appeared to only possess the strength of a one-star Dou Wang, after only the first exchange. He really did lose a lot of face. Be careful. This fellow should have used some secret technique that raised his strength earlier. We only need to delay him. Once he is weakened, it will be only too easy to take his life. Wuya was indeed an experienced person. He immediately managed to see the reason why Xiao Yan's strength soared at a glance before uttering with a deep voice. The four-star expert Dou Wang nodded. His gaze ruthlessly cut through Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan's eyes indifferently swept over the two of them. Having decided to swiftly end the battle in his heart, Xiao Yan no longer delayed his movements. A silver glow suddenly surged on his feet. His body immediately shook and an afterimage remained in the spot. His body had already leaped by Wuya without any warning and appeared in front of that four-star Dou Wang. Shock appeared past the heart of the four-star Dou Wang when Xiao Yan suddenly appeared in front of him. Dou Qi surged wildly in his body. After which, a powerful Dou Qi pillar shot out of his hand and rushed towards Xiao Yan. Jade green flame suddenly rose on Xiao Yan's body and refined the Dou Qi pillar in a forceful manner. Even by just relying on the marvel of the flame mantra, he would not be much weaker than a four-star Dou Wang. Moreover, he was currently using the Sky Fire 3 mysterious change. His strength had already far exceeded that of a four-star Dou Wang. How could the other parties attack hurt him at all? Xiao Yan refined the Dou Qi pillar in an instant. His body suddenly leaned forward and prepared to collide with the elder's chest. His waist was twisted after that and all of his strength was gathered into his arm. He immediately swung forward and violently smashed the latter's chest. Powerful force seeped out. The face of the elder turned white. A soft muffled moan was emitted from his throat. Clearly, this sudden and violent close range attack by Xiao Yan caused him to suffer some injuries after failing to react in time. Besides feeling an anger in his heart, the elder flapped the Dou Qi wings on his back and hurriedly retreated. However, he had yet to pull back for a couple of meters when Xiao Yan quickly followed like maggot in tarsal bones. The corner of the ladder's mouth was lifted into a dense arc as his fist carried the sharp sound of rushing wind. It tore through the air and violently smashed into the elder's chest. Octane Blast A cold cry resounded in Xiao Yan's heart the moment his fist struck the other party. The frightening hidden force that was sequestered away within the bones of his fist immediately surged out in all directions. Finally, it was transferred to the elder's body amid the shocked face of that elder. It suddenly exploded an instant later. This truly fatal attack caused a mouthful of fresh bright red blood to be spat out from the elder's mouth. However, the fresh blood had just left his mouth when it transformed into a blood arrow that shot towards Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan did not even lift his eyes. He opened his mouth and exhaled just before the blood arrow arrived. A wisp of jade green flame rushed out and incinerated it into smoke. The smoke was filled with a fishy stench. Clearly, the liquid blood contained a potent poison. Although it took a while to describe it, only a split second had passed since Xiao Yan left behind the afterimage until the two back-to-back -back attacks. Only after the Dou Wang elder's life force swiftly diminished and his body suddenly fell did Wuya finally turn around in shock. His eyes were aghast as he looked at the back of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly drifted toward the Dou Wang elder who fell from the high sky. A coldness gradually rose within Wuya's heart. After only a couple of exchanges, a four-star expert Dou Wang had already died to Xiao Yan's hands. Regardless of how stupid he was, he finally understood at this point that the young man was definitely not an ordinary one-star Dou Wang like he had imagined. No wonder he was invited by the Sky Poison Woman. He is indeed not Medicor. Xiao Yan killing a Dou Wang within a few short exchanges was seen by the experts from both parties, who were all fighting within the chaotic battleground. Shock immediately surfaced in everyone's eyes. A joy quickly appeared in the hearts of those from the poison sect, a person that was invited by the sect leader was indeed extraordinary. At this moment, the doubt that the experts from the poison sect felt for Xiao Yan's group in their hearts completely disappeared. The strength that Xiao Yan had displayed was enough to allow his group to be a VIP within the poison sect. Of course, compared to the people from the poison sect, the faces of those experts from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate were quite ugly. Despite the strength of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, they could not simply ignore the fall of an expert Dou Wang. After all, such a fighting strength was already considered top level in their faction. Losing one of them would cause them to feel a great heartache. Moreover, the thing that caused them to feel the greatest shock was that the expert Dou Wang was killed by Xiao Yan within a few short exchanges. 
No one ever thought that there would be such an expert in the lineup of the poison sect other than the little fairy doctor. Xiao Yin ignored the surrounding surprised or shocked eyes. His gaze slowly turned to Wu Ya. He slightly smiled to him. Wu Ya cautiously took a few hurried steps back after seeing Xiao Yan smile. His expression was solemn as he watched Xiao Yan. The Dou Qi within his body was circulated to the limit at that moment. His heart did not dare to slight the other party by even a little. I should also quickly finish you off. Xiao Yan smiled at Wu Ya. His hand suddenly formed a mysterious hand seal. As the hand seals flew, numerous afterimages surfaced. The surrounding natural energy suddenly began to fluctuate following the complicated change of the hand seals. Shock once again flashed in Wu Ya's eyes after having sensed the fluctuation of the surrounding natural energy. His heart could not help but feel some regret over having taken the initiative to look for this fellow. Looking at this transformation, it was obvious that this fellow was using a dough skill with extremely great strength. These thought flashed in Wu Ya's heart. An instant later, he clenched his teeth and a fierce glow flashed across his eyes. If he were to flee in this kind of big battle, he would no longer be able to stand within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate in the future. Since he could not withdraw, he could only take a gamble. Wuya's face suddenly became ferocious when he thought until this point. The black centipede that was tattooed on his face appeared even more frightening. A somewhat fishy scented Dochi surged from Wuya's body. Finally, the Dochi swiftly transformed into a 70 to 80 foot wide energy centipede as Dochi danced on his shriveled hand. Wuya sighed in relief upon seeing that the centipede was formed. He bit the tip of his tongue and spat out a mouthful of fresh blood that was scattered on the energy centipede. The energy centipede swiftly transformed into a blood red color after the liquid blood was poured in, appearing extremely ferocious. Go. Wuya's finger pointed towards Xiao Yan as he furiously yelled. The countless numbers of legs belonging to the blood colored centipede moved in an orderly fashion. Its enormous body transformed into a blood figure that rushed through the sky. It contained a fishy scent as it charged at Xiao Yan from every direction. Xiao Yan's eyes were calmed as he observed the enormous blood colored centipede that was rushing over. However, the transformation of his hand seals did not slow even a little. An instant later, the hand seals suddenly paused, forming a somewhat strange seal. The surrounding ripples of natural energy also solidified at this moment. Open Mountain Seal A soft cry sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. Faint redness surged onto his face as the surging energy within his body followed a couple of fixed veins and unceasingly gathered at his hand. After a mere breath, the glaring glow on his hand suddenly surged and an energy light seal that was over 10 feet large suddenly erupted from Xiao Yan's hand. The energy light seal flew through the air. An intense fluctuation appeared at this moment while the air fled in all directions wherever the light seal passed, forming a vacuum. Seeing the momentum that this light seal created, most of the faces of those present changed once again. The light seal and the blood-colored centipede rushed to the sky before colliding in front of the countless numbers of gazes. Bang. A low and deep explosion resounded across the sky as numerous substance-like energy ripples spread in all directions. The surrounding experts from both parties hurriedly fled under this ripple. All of them were afraid of being implicated by it. The blood-colored centipede failed to endure and exploded out of the blue a couple of blinks after both sides made contact. Blood glow spread in all directions. A pale whiteness surged on Wuya's face after the blood-colored centipede was broken. A thread of blood trace seeped out from his mouth. His eyes were filled with disbelief. That blood-colored centipede was a kind of substance transformation dose skill which he was extremely proud of. It had an extremely great strength. He did not expect it to just break right after they met. The light seal shook and shattered the blood-colored centipede as though it was crushing dry weeds and rotten wood. It immediately penetrated through the layer of blood fog with a whistle. It flashed and appeared above Wuya's head. After which, it suddenly smashed down in front of many shocked gazes. Chapter 796, Four Winged Sky Demon Scorpion The light seal did not hesitate as it ruthlessly smashed into Wuya's body in front of the countless number of gazes. A soul-stirring explosion resounded over the sky. The face of even expert at the peak of the Dou Huan class, Wuya, was covered by an unusual redness upon receiving this heavy attack. He felt a sweetness in his throat and a mouthful of fresh blood was involuntarily wildly thrown up. The aura of his entire body was completely weary and the pair of Dou Qi wings were partially visible. A moment later, he fainted because of the intense pain that was transmitted from his chest. He fell head first to the ground. The eyes of the experts from both sides surrounding them were stunned as they looked at Wuya who had fallen because of his serious injuries. Some fear suddenly surged in their hearts. There was an additional horror in their eyes when they looked at the black-robed figure in the sky. If it was the elder whom he had killed earlier, other people could still unconvincingly attribute it to his use of the secret technique. However, Wuya was a genuine expert at the peak of the Dou Huan class and even he was now seriously injured. Other than those at the little fairy doctor's level, it was likely that the chief of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, Xie Shan, was the only person from both sides who could defeat him. However, even if he could win, it was likely that Xie Shan would have difficulty reaching the point where he could severely injure the someone like Wuya with just one strike. However, this young, black-robed person in front of them had done just that. This caused a great storm to brew in the hearts of many people. Xiao Yin ignored the many stunned and shocked gazes from around him. 
He inhaled a deep breath of air and swiftly took out a couple of medicinal pills that could recover Do Chi from his storage ring. After which, he stuffed them into his mouth. Even though he had advanced to the Do Huang class, using the open mountain still, still exhausted a large amount of Do Chi. Fortunately, he no longer fell into a weak state the moment he used it like in the past. With the medicinal pills entering his body, the temporarily empty Do Chi feeling within him gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan's eyes were indifferent as he looked at the falling Wuya. He knew that this old fellow was merely seriously injured and had not truly been killed. It was likely that he would recover his strength if he rested a couple of months after this. This was not something that Xiao Yan, who was someone who would eliminate the roots if he wanted to cut the grass, was willing to see. A faint killing intent flashed past Xiao Yan's eyes. A spiraling fire glow was suddenly agglomerated at the tip of his finger. However, a furious roar suddenly exploded from nowhere when he was just about to shoot it toward Wuya. A sharp force that carried a fishy wind suddenly shot over. The suddenly sharp wind caused Xiao Yan's face to vaguely sink. He could sense that the person who had attacked seemed to be a little stronger than Wuya. It was likely that the only person within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate who had such strength was the chief of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate, Xia Shan. Xiao Yan did not turn around and block it as this thought flashed through his heart. Silver glow flashed under his feet and the faint thunder roar resounded across the sky. Xiao Yan's body faintly trembled. Qi. 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 Sharp wind arrived the instant the silver glow appeared. It ruthlessly struck the vital points on Xiao Yan's back. However, no low and deep sounds appeared when the hits landed. Instead, the serene, blue tip of the rod penetrated the body without noise. An afterimage. Xie Shan's eyes immediately shrank when he saw that the blue rod penetrated the body of Xiao Yan without causing it even a little fresh blood to flow out. The rod shook and shattered the afterimage. His eyes swept over the place. He furiously discovered that Xiao Yan had appeared above the head of Wuya who was falling to the ground. Xiao Yan raised his head as if he had sensed the furious gaze. He revealed a faint smile before the fire glow on his hand became like a drill that mercilessly shot into the top of Wuya's head. A blood hole immediately appeared and the life force in Wuya's eyes swiftly disappeared. Finally, it solidified amid a mixture of fear and shock. Bastard, my 10,000 scorpion gate will not rest until you die. Xie Shan was immediately furious after seeing that Xiao Yan had actually killed Wuya in front of him. His eyes viciously stared at Xiao Yan as he let out a low roar. After killing Wuya, Xiao Yan let out a breath. After using so much Dou Qi to use the open mountain skill, if the effect was merely seriously injuring Wuya, he definitely would not have been satisfied. In addition, from the gaze that Wuya had towards Xiao Yan from before, he was obviously in deep contempt of Xiao Yan. Leaving enemies was not the style of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan completely ignored Xie Shan's furious roar. Even if he did not kill Wuya, it was likely that they would not let him off should the poison sect be defeated today. Hence, he could completely disregard such threats. Xiao Yan patted his hand and lifted his head. He looked at the ferocious face of Xie Shan and laughed, I'm sorry. Chief Xie Shan spoke a little too late. Brat, tell me your name if you have the guts to. Don't do things a nameless villain would do. Xie Shan cried out as stared gloomily at Xiao Yan. He swung the blue rod and pointed it at Xiao Yan. When Xiao Yan had killed the elder earlier, Xie Shan had already made sure to pay attention to him. However, he had difficulty freeing himself because he was being delayed by an expert from the poison sect. It was unexpected that by the time he had injured the poison sect expert and forced him back, Xiao Yan had already seriously injured Wuya. This caused him to become infuriated. Wuya's strength could be considered to be one of a few even within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. If he just died in this place, it was likely that old Xia would fly into rage when he learned of the news. Hence, he did not bother about chasing after the injured expert from the poison sect. Instead he hurriedly turned around to attempt a rescue. However, he did not expect Xiao Yan to be so slippery and actually kill the seriously injured Wuya in front of him. Yan Xiao. Since Chief Xie Shan pays so much attention to me, you can firmly remember it in your heart. Xiao Yan laughed. His eyes swept over the surrounding chaotic battleground and his heart immediately sighed in relief. The experts from the poison sect were not as useless as he had imagined. Although they had less expert Dou Huangs than the 10,000 Scorpion sect after the betrayal of the five elders, they had a few more expert Dou Huangs compared to the other side. Therefore, despite this battle being intense with people occasionally withdrawing from injuries, a one-sided battle did not appear. Razor Tongue Brat A gloominess flashed across Xie Shan's eyes. He raised his head and looked at the frightening energy ripple that was seeping out from the Dozong battleground high in the sky. After which, he looked around him and spoke in a dark voice, foolish resistance. Today, your poison sect will have difficulty escaping from the calamity of a destroyed sect. Xie Shan suddenly took out a blue-colored whistle from his storage ring after his words sounded. A low whistle was emitted from it. Xiao Yan felt a little surprised in his heart as he watched Xie Shan perform this action. His eyes looked around but did not discover anything that was not right. It was possible that the other party was acting for him. However, the entire mountaintop suddenly trembled while Xiao Yan was feeling doubt in his heart. A sharp hissing sound immediately rang out from the poison fog-filled gorge that was not far away. 
An instant later, an enormous being charged out of the fog and appeared in front of a countless number of gazes. Xiao Yan's expression changed a little when he lifted his head to look at the enormous being lingering in the sky. Giving the thing that had appeared a rough glance, it seemed to be an enormous scorpion that was a couple of hundred feet in size. On the back of this enormous scorpion were four pairs of wings. Its enormous hairy dark black legs stood in the sky. There were sharp saw teeth that were as long as a person's thigh on its legs. A quiet purple glow appeared from it. A scorpion tail that was as long as its body was swinging without a pattern. The sharp tip of the tail contained a cold glint. The sudden appearance of this enormous scorpion immediately caught everyone's attention. The faces of some of the experts from the poison sect drastically changed upon seeing this being. They cried out in surprise, Four Winged Sky Demon Scorpion. Why has it appeared here? Xiao Yan's eyes revealed a solemnness as he looked at the enormous, ferocious scorpion. He could sense that this enormous scorpion was a genuine tier 6 magical beast. TSK TSK, this is a magical beast guardian that old CS spent a great effort in order to rein in. Today is the first time that it has revealed itself. I'll let you try to see how formidable it is. Xie Shan strangely laughed. The whistle in his mouth once again emitted a strange sound. Following the spreading of the sound wave, the four-winged sky demon scorpion immediately emitted a hissing sound. It immediately flapped its enormous wings and charged towards Xiao Yan like a meteorite. The enormous wind pressure that fell from the sky caused Xiao Yan to frown. A silver glow flashed under his feet and his body suddenly withdrew. Hey, you wish to flee. Weren't you very arrogant earlier? Xie Shan laughed coldly when he saw Xiao Yan withdrawing. His body moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. The blue rod that contained an unusual smell violently smashed toward Xiao Yan's head. Xiao Yan lowered his head and dodged the rod. He was just about to move back again when a sharp wind suddenly broke through the air and arrived. An enormous black figure fell from the sky. It was surprisingly the enormous tail needle of that four-winged sky demon scorpion. Xiao Yan clenched his hand as he sensed the sharpness of the wind. The heavy Xian ruler flashed and appeared before violently smashing toward the sky. Finally, it collided with the enormous tail needle. The powerful strength might have forced back the four-winged sky demon scorpion but Xiao Yan also took a couple of repeated steps back. There was seldom anyone who could gain the upper hand when fighting a magical beast with strength. Damn it, this beast and human actually coordinate their attacks so well. All of their attacks flow naturally as though they were a single person. It seems that it is the whistle in that fellow's mouth that is playing tricks, looks like I must send that whistle flying. Xiao Yan tightened his somewhat numb hand while his mind muttered gloomily in his heart. The four-winged sky demon scorpion did not give Xiao Yan any rest time as this thought flashed in Xiao Yan's heart. Two enormous black metal-like pincers danced as they clipped towards Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan frowned intently as he sensed the attack from the four-winged demon scorpion that followed close behind. He was just about to withdraw once again when a sharp hissing sound was suddenly emitted from the sky. The pair of enormous black metal-like pincers suddenly shrank back. The sudden scene that appeared caused Xiao Yan and Xie Shan to be stunned. A clear tender voice laughed and was transmitted from the sky during this period of time. Leave this big fellow to me. Xiao Yan, you can just calmly deal with that fellow. Chapter 797, Revealing Oneself Xiao Yan and Xie Shan hurriedly raised their heads upon hearing the tender laughter. They were stunned to see a purple-haired little girl was suspended in the sky in front of the four-winged sky demon scorpion at this moment. Her figure was extremely agile as she dodged the wild attacks by the latter. Each time she dodged, the little girl would strike her palm on the large shell of the four-winged sky demon scorpion. What seemed like a tender, white, little hand would emit a clear metallic sound each time it struck the four-winged sky demon scorpion. The enormous four-winged sky demon scorpion entire body shook and fell back in front of numerous stunned gazes. Clearly, that purple-haired little girl's fist contained a kind of frightening strength that even the four-winged sky demon scorpion had difficulty withstanding. Such repeated defeats caused the four-winged sky demon scorpion to become much more irritated. A wild, violent blood glint flickered in its enormous eyes. Two large pincers closed repeatedly like large scissors as it clipped randomly at Zi Yan. Even tough rocks were cut apart wherever the pincers passed. Some towering enormous trees broke at their middle. One could see the sharpness of the enormous pincers from this. Cuckoo, big fellow, it is useless to randomly clip about. Zian laughed out loud when she saw the mad four-winged sky demon scorpion. Her small body strangely moved through the air and dodged all of the wild attacks of the former. This continued for a while before her body suddenly paused. Two snow-white small hands were extended out before grabbing one of the four-winged sky demon scorpion's enormous pincers in front of a countless number of gazes. A powerful purple light suddenly blasted out of Zi Yan's body after she grabbed the enormous pincer of the four-winged sky demon scorpion with both hands. A frightening strength immediately surged out from her body. Everyone was stunned when they saw that the few hundred foot large four-winged sky demon scorpion was lifted up by the small girl and swung around a couple of times with a great force. It was finally ruthlessly tossed toward the spot where the 10,000 scorpion mountain was located. Bang. The enormous four-winged sky demon scorpion appeared to be like a giant cannonball that violently shot toward the 10,000 scorpion gate's entrance, which was covered by a green poison fog. A countless number of miserable cries suddenly sounded. The fog spread and rock fragments shot out. 
Clearly, the 10,000 Scorpion Gate's disciples who were hiding behind the poison fog suffered great losses under the enormous body of the four-winged sky demon Scorpion. After this fiddling around, the green poison fog that permeated the area became much fainter, revealing a large swath of ruins and the enormous four-winged sky demon Scorpion that was struggling to climb to its feet. The large army of the poison sect outside immediately let out a deafening cheer and some laughter when they saw this sudden action. The numerous gazes which were looking at the purple-haired little girl in the sky also showed some additional respect and fear. At this moment, there was no longer anyone who dared to underestimate this girl who appeared extremely cute. That terrifying strength that even the four-winged sky demon scorpion could not match was something that even someone at the peak of the Do Huang class did not dare to receive. Hiss. The slightly injured four-winged sky demon scorpion's mouth emitted a furious hissing. Both of its eyes were blood-red as they stared at Yen in the sky. Its four enormous wings flapped with great force as it once again rose into the air and launched an attack against Yen, feeling an unwillingness to reconcile with the situation. Ziyan rejoiced instead of feeling angry when she saw the four-winged sky demon scorpion attack once again. The Dochi wings on her back were flapped and she once again excitedly went forward. Some of the surrounding experts from the poison sect involuntarily threw a pitiful look to the four-winged sky demon scorpion when they saw the eagerness on Ziyan's small face. This large fellow was ultimately a magical beast with an overwhelmingly fierce reputation within the Chuyun Empire. It was rumored that it had even committed savage acts like massacring a city. It was unexpected that it was actually defeated so miserably by the hands of a little girl today. Xiao Yan involuntarily let out a loud laugh as he looked at the completely disproportional size of the human and beast in the sky. His gaze immediately shifted down, and he laughed more when he saw the unusually gloomy face of Xie Shan because of the miserable defeat of the four-winged sky demon scorpion. Chief Xie Shan. It looks like this guardian magical beast of yours cannot make it. The corner of Xie Shan's mouth twitched slightly when he heard the ridicule that was contained in Xiao Yan's words. He sinisterly spoke, Brat, you better not be happy so soon. The person who laughs at the end is the victor. Trying to gain an advantage in argument now will only cause your ending to be even more miserable. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. His gaze looked all around him as he said, Unfortunately, the advantage in this situation has already turned to our side. Looks like your 10,000 scorpion gate cannot hold out for long. Xie Shan's eyes swept around upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. His heart slightly sank. Originally, the poison sect was a little stronger than the 10,000 scorpion gate. Although the betrayal of the five elders caused both parties' strength to become even, it was unexpected that Xiao Yan had appeared along the way. Not only did he rely on his own strength to kill two Do Huangs, but he had also delayed Xie Shan. From the looks of it, the tiny advantage of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate from earlier had now vanished. The Poison Sect had also relied on this change in momentum. Currently, the situation of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate was a little bad regardless of whether it was an expert big battle in the sky or the massacre of the ordinary disciples on the ground. All of these changes were because of this damn person in front of him. Xie Shan grit his teeth and quietly spoke in his heart, just where did this fellow actually appear from? Why have I not heard of such a young elite Do Huang appearing within the empire? Xie Shan's eyes were suddenly thrown toward that intense battleground in the distant sky as these thoughts flashed through his heart. At this moment, Little Fairy Doctor and Xie Bai Yan had clearly entered into a white-hot battle. Frightening energy collisions caused the space on that side to repeatedly fluctuate. The occasionally terrifying energy that shot out would cause the experts from both parties to hurriedly dodge in fear. It is unexpected that the Sky Poison Woman's strength is also so great. She is actually able to fight with old Xie until this stage, however, if this is the case, our 10,000 Scorpion Gate will become more and more disadvantaged. At that time, our losses will be far too severe. How will it be possible to swallow the poison sect? A hot wind suddenly shot over while Xie Shan's gaze flickered, causing him to hurriedly recover. The blue rod in his hand was swung and he completely blocked it. At the same time, Xiao Yan's faint laughter was transmitted over. Chief Xie, you cannot get distracted at such a moment. If you were to follow in Wea's footsteps, that Xie Bai Yan might really become totally furious. There is no need for you to worry about that, Junior. A cold glint flashed across Xie Shan's eyes. A powerful Do Chi suddenly surged from the blue rod in his hand. After which, rod figures spread all over the sky and enveloped all the vital points on Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan's eyes were indifferent as he looked at Xie Shan's attack. He held the heavy ruler in his hand and charged forward without giving in. The heavy ruler was just like an enormous black curtain that was violently swung in front of him. This heavy weapon was just as agile as a longsword in Xiao Yan's hand. Moreover, the ruler's attack came one after another without the slightest gap between them. Instead, it appeared just like a wave with one stacking on the other. Each time the heavy ruler stacked on its previous attack, the great force that it contained would cause the blue rod in Xie Shan's hand to violently shake. The huge ruler and the blue rod contacted each other in a lightning-like manner in midair. Both parties' attacks were incomparably vicious. All the targets were the other party's vital points. In this kind of situation, it was likely that the person who made a mistake first would be the first one to be injured. Following the increase in the intensity of the exchanges, Xie Shan's expression became increasingly darker and more cold. Only at this moment when he truly exchanged blows with Xiao Yan did he really feel just how difficult it was to deal with the other party. The heavy ruler did not reveal even the slightest sluggishness as it danced. Moreover, the attack momentum became heavier and heavier. 
It was just like a great tide that did not give others even the slightest chance to catch their breath. Moreover, the thing that caused his heart to feel the greatest shock was that the other party's dochi made the air extremely hot. This strange hot air would move along the rod and quietly enter his body each time both sides made contact, causing him to have no choice but to divert some attention to dispatch some dochi to expel and refine it. Under this kind of extremely hot air, the dark and cold poison air that was contained in Xie Shan's poison dochi did not have the slightest ability to unleash its strength. This caused him to feel a little depressed. Such a battle was too suffocating. Bang. The heavy ruler once again collided violently with the blue rod. The air wave that erupted shook Xiao Yan and Xie Shan until they took a step back. The latter's expression was dark and solemn as he took the opportunity to hurriedly retreat. The poison dou qi within his body surged out and resolved the hot air in his body that caused him great discomfort. Xie Shan, use the signal to summon that person over. An elderly cry suddenly sounded beside Xie Shan's ear just as his body stabilized. Xie Shan was startled when he heard this. The voice naturally came from Xie Bai Yan who was engaging in an intense battle with Little Fairy Doctor. Hearing the solemnness in his voice, it seemed that Little Fairy Doctor's strength had somewhat exceeded his expectations. However, Xie Shan heaved a sigh of relief upon hearing Xie Bu Yan's words. If they did not invite that person out in this current situation, it was likely that the ending would really be difficult to predict. Brat, no matter how you jump around today, our 10,000 Scorpion Gate will definitely be victorious. Xie Shan sinisterly spoke to Xiao Yan. His face revealed a savage smile as he recalled that person's strength. Xiao Yan stood while holding the ruler. His eyes were calm as they stared at Xie Shan. The corner of his mouth faintly contained a slight disdain. Fury burned in Xie Shan's heart when he saw this manner of Xiao Yan. He immediately ceased hesitating as he swiftly took out something that was in the form of a cluster of black fog. After which, he violently pressed it. The black fog immediately burst apart and a strange sonic wave was spread out from within it. After capturing you, this chief will entertain you properly. The poisonous scorpions that I am rearing have not eaten the flesh of an expert Dou Wang for a long time. The savageness on Xie Shan's face grew even denser when he saw the black fog burst apart. He smiled cruelly towards Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan ignored him. He sensed a slight spiritual ripple when the strange sonic wave was transmitted out. From the looks of it, the other party should be summoning something. A majestic aura that caused the faces of the many experts present to change as it slowly seeped out from deep within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate just as this thought was flashing through Xiao Yan's heart. Finally, it covered the entire 10,000 Scorpion Mountain. The dense killing intent in Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly soared as he sensed this somewhat familiar aura. Is he finally about to reveal himself? Chapter 798, Protector Tai A majestic aura that faintly contained some dark coldness seeped out from deep within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate's mountaintop. The battle in both the sky and on the ground gradually came to a stop. Experts from both parties were looking at the source of the aura with surprise and uncertainty. Other than a small number of people, there was hardly anyone who knew the origin of the owner of this aura. The faces of even some experts at the Dou Huang class became unnaturally ugly when they sensed this aura. This was because they discovered that the majestic degree of this aura had far surpassed them. It could even be compared with Little Fairy Doctor and Xie Bu Yan. The appearance of such a high-class expert at such a moment was enough to flip victory and defeat in this big battle. Two crossing human figures in the distant sky suddenly stopped. The battle between Little Fairy Doctor and Xie Bu Yan also temporarily paused. After that earlier intense fight, the aura of the both of was a little unstable. Frightening Dou Qi lingered over their entire bodies, shaking the air until it trembled. The little fairy doctor's eyes swept over toward the source of the majestic aura. Her eyes shrank while she quietly wondered in her heart, is that fellow finally about to reveal himself? Hey, Sky Poison Woman, you must have not expected that our 10,000 Scorpion Gate actually still had another elite Dou Zone. Today, the old me shall see whether you can fight too alone. Xie Bai Yan's walking stick slammed against the empty air as he laughed with a dark and cold voice. The little fairy doctor faintly glanced at him. After which, her eyes turned to the position where Xiao Yan was located. Coincidentally, the latter had also looked over. Their eyes mingled with each other, and Xiao Yan nodded once to her, indicating that she need not be distracted because of this. During the time that Xiao Yan's sight crossed with that of the little fairy doctor, a dense, black-colored smoke suddenly surged out from deep within the 10,000 Scorpion Gate. It quickly flew over to this battleground like a demon riding the clouds. Within a couple of flashes, it paused in the sky. The black fog was slowly withdrawn before finally transforming into a black figure with a face that could not be clearly seen. TSK TSK, Xie Bu Yan, it is unexpected that you are actually unable to deal with her. The black figure appeared in the sky from nowhere and spoke with a strange laugh as he swept his gaze over the sky. Kuku, Protector Tai is joking. This sect leader of the poison sect is not some ordinary person. Even the old me has to admit that it is indeed not easy to reach this stage at such a young age. However, the big battle today is unusually important to our 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Hence, we have no choice but to invite Protector Tai to lend a hand. Xie Bai Yan laughed. His tone was extremely fearful of this mysterious black figure. It is naturally not a problem if you want this protector to intervene. However, you should be aware of the reward after this rite. 
The black fog covering the black figure rose occasionally as his somewhat low, cold voice resounded over the sky. Xie Baiyan's expression changed slightly upon hearing this. However, he immediately grit his teeth and laughed, Protector Tai, you can rest assured that I will deliver all that you need when the time comes. Yes. Protector Tai acknowledged faintly. After which, his eyes slowly swept over the chaotic battleground. He let out a dark and cold smile before his body moved. Dark black chains shot out from his body like poisonous snakes amid some clanging sounds. They remained close by and wrapped around his body. It is unexpected that it's actually you. The little fairy doctor's eyes were icy cold. She looked at this black figure as she slowly spoke. I have given you the opportunity. Unfortunately, you are unwilling to grab hold of it. Originally, we had a very good opportunity to collaborate together, but you have insisted on breaking this collaboration. In that case, I can only seek another partner to work with. Protector Tai glanced at Little Fairy Doctor and replied with a faint voice. I'm afraid that you won't have that chance. The Little Fairy Doctor coldly laughed. Is that so? Protector Tai also laughed coldly. His voice was dark and cold as he immediately said to Xie Bai Yan, you should delay her first. I will come and capture her once I capture all the souls of these experts from the poison sect. Protector Tai's hand suddenly moved after his words sounded. The two black colored chains lingering over his body suddenly shot out. They instantly cut through the sky. Their speed was so quick that it caused one's eyes to be dazzled. Chi. Chi. When the two chains shot out, the many experts from the poison sect hurriedly dodged them. However, the black colored chain seemed to possess an intelligence as it strangely turned a couple of times in the sky. After which, they violently penetrated through the chest of two expert Do Wangs. The black colored chain slowly shook, and the two corpses with widened eyes and terrified faces were suddenly lifted high up. A black fog lingered over the chain and sucked the two illusionary spiritual bodies from the physical bodies of the two Do Wangs in a forceful manner. Finally, they were swallowed by the chain. The corpses which had lost their souls were randomly tossed aside by him. An ordinary expert soul is indeed not as good as that of an alchemist's. If there were not so many people from the Pill Tower at the middle region of the continent, it is likely that he would be able to complete his mission very quickly. All he would have to is head there and engage in a massacre. Protector Tai absorbed the soul into the chain before shaking his head as he regretfully spoke. During the time that Protector Tai was muttering to himself, those experts from the poison sect were so frightened by the terrifying scene earlier that they hurriedly withdrew. An elite Dozone was indeed not someone whom they could compare with. Even if all of them were to swarm over, it was likely that they would merely become corpses on the chain one after another. Xiao Yan's eyes appeared solemn as he studied Protector Tai, who was suspended in the sky. Hearing the manner in which Xia Bai Yan addressed this person, it seemed that he had a similar rank as that of Protector Wu. Although they were the same rank, Xiao Yan was able to rely on his sharp spiritual perception to discover that the strength of this Protector Tai seemed to be a little weaker than Protector Wu. Of course, no matter how much weaker he was, he was also a genuine elite Dozone. Moreover, with the many strange tactics of the Hall of Souls, it would be extremely troublesome to defeat him. Hee hee, brat, are you finally feeling afraid? I said that the poison sect will have difficulty escaping from the hands of our 10,000 scorpion gate today, regardless of what happens. Xia Shan thought that Xiao Yan was shaken by Protector Tai's method when he saw the latter's gloomy face. He immediately let out a dark laugh. Xiao Yan knit his brow slightly as he glanced at this somewhat gloating fellow. All he was did merely let out a cold laugh himself. The unknown fury in Xia Shan became even denser when he saw that Xiao Yan actually dared to have such a tough mouth even at such a critical moment. He gave Xiao Yan a savage smile before immediately raising his head and speaking respectfully, Sir Tai, this person is someone from the poison sect. His skill is quite great and has already killed two expert Do Wangs from our 10,000 Scorpion Gate. Sir, please lend a hand and capture him. Mr. Yan Xiao, quick flee. The experts from the poison sect hurriedly reminded when they see a Shan request. The people of the 10,000 Scorpion Gate are really becoming more and more useless, you are actually unable to even finish off a one-star Do Wang brat. Protector Tai faintly glanced at Xiao Yan from the sky and immediately ridiculed. Xia Shan's face alternated between green and white when he heard these words of Protector Tai. However, due to the other party's strength, he did not dare to retort. All he could do was turn this fury towards Xiao Yan. His eyes were filled with a viciousness that was difficult to describe. Protector Tai did not add anything after letting out a ridicule. His eyes randomly swept over Xiao Yan. He flicked a finger and the dark black chain that lingered around his body immediately shot out. The chain transformed into a black figure that shot over the sky. The clanging chain sound was just like the scimitar of a death god, attempting to take a life. Xiao Yan merely let out a cold laugh when that black-colored chain suddenly shot over. A silver glow soared over his body, and it strangely shot back an instant later. Numerous illusionary afterimages appeared repeatedly while he did so. Chi. The chain rushed down but did not strike Xiao Yan. It merely struck an afterimage. Huh. Protector Tai let out a surprised gasp when the chain's attack was dodged by Xiao Yan in such an easy manner. He immediately laughed as he flicked his finger. The chain, which had missed, immediately raised itself like a poisonous snake and chased Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan's entire body was wrapped by a silver glow as it hurriedly pulled back. 
The heavy ruler in his hand was returned to his storage ring. His feet were making use of a strange footwork that narrowly dodged every single attack of the chain. The many experts from both parties in the sky revealed stunned faces when they saw that Xiao Yan was actually able to endure for such a long time in the hands of an elite dozo. Xie Shan's face became increasingly gloomy after having widened his mouth. Protector Tai's face gradually became ugly as the chase futilely continued. He did not expect Xiao Yan to be so slippery. Under this attack of his, even an ordinary expert at the peak of the Dou Huang class would appear extremely miserable. Yet, this fellow was actually able to dodge in such an agile manner. TSK TSK, good fellow. I have indeed underestimated you. No wonder you are a someone who killed two Dou Hongs. Protector Tai ended up laughing coldly in his extreme anger. His hand seal moved and the black fog that lingered over his entire body immediately let out waves of clanging sounds. Immediately, seven to eight chains suddenly shot out from his body. Finally, they intertwined and lingered in the sky before chasing after the dodging Xiao Yan from all directions. However, I want to see just how you will flee next. Under the cold cry of Protector Tai that contained a killing intent, the black-colored chain adopted the formation of a dragon net that sealed off all of Xiao Yan's paths of retreat. In this way, Xiao Yan was only left with the choice to resist the attack head-on. However, there was naturally no need to describe the fate of a Dou Huang resisting an elite Dozong's head-on in attack. Xiao Yan also ceased his useless struggle. He was aware that he could not dodge the attack. He knit his brows slightly as he looked at the black-colored chains that were swiftly being magnified in his eyes. The experts from the poison sect immediately sighed in their hearts when they saw Xiao Yan faced with this impasse. However, they were helpless to do anything. The moment that that elite Dozong revealed himself, their morale had already took a dive. This was because they knew that despite the little fairy doctor being a Dozong, it was still difficult for her to fight against two alone. Once she was defeated, the fate of the poison sect was naturally something that need not be said. A savage look flashed across Xie Shan's face when he saw the situation that Xiao Yan was in. He was basically able to imagine the miserable dead appearance of Xiao Yan. That black-colored chain suddenly arrived in front of the gazes of a countless number of people, all of who contained various thoughts. The black-colored chain suddenly arrived. However, the moment that it was about to strike Xiao Yan, the space where his body was located suddenly became distorted. The path of the chain which was originally perfect drifted away following the distorted space. It eventually brushed past Xiao Yan's body and shot away. The sudden scene immediately caused the entire place to be in an uproar. Protector Tai was stunned for an instant before his stern cry sounded, May I know which Dozong is hidden here. Please do not meddle in other people's business, otherwise. Otherwise what? What can you do? A human figure slowly appeared in front of Xiao Yan as a faint ice-cold voice sounded. Chapter 799, Eruption of Dozong Battle All the eyes in this area instantly turned following the unusual appearance of that figure. All of these people were stunned when they saw that the person who had appeared was actually a woman with a beautiful face. She is actually the other VIP that the sect leader invited, it is unexpected, she is actually an elite Dozong. The faces of the experts from the poison sect were stunned when they saw the woman reveal her face. No one expected that the person who had intervened earlier was actually her. After being stunned, a wild joy surged from deep within their hearts. From hearing the cry of Protector Tai earlier, it seemed that this person was also an elite Dozong. Moreover, the act of distorting space with a hand was something that only an expert Dozong could achieve. This point was something that the expert Do Huang's present were extremely clear about. At this moment, the morale of the people from the poison sect, which had been greatly lost from the intervention of Protector Tai, immediately soared. The other party had two elite Dozongs and they also had two. They still possessed quite a large advantage in this big battle. The person who intervened was naturally Medusa who had been hiding. She was still covered by that mysterious beast skin, and her unforgettable bewitching face had become a lot more ordinary. Despite this, the bewitching aura that was emitted from her bones still caused the eyes of quite a number of people to pause on her for a little longer. Looks like you are really planning on intervening in this matter. Protector Tai's eyes were dark and cold as they swept over Medusa's body. His heart felt a little odd. He could sense that this mysterious expert of unknown origin had a strength that was not any weaker than him. Leave him to me. Medusa glanced faintly at Protector Tai. She clenched her delicate hand and a long sword appeared in it. She was afraid of exposing traces of who she was, but she had never used the snake-shaped long sword in the Four Empires' big battle. I, be careful. I will come and help you after I finish off that fellow. Xiao Yan nodded. His malicious gaze glanced at Xie Shan who had descended into a dull state due to the appearance of Medusa. Relax, I won't let him run. I know that the target of this trip of yours is him. Medusa's face was lifted into a slight arc. Although her current appearance could not be compared to her originally bewitching one, it still had some remaining charm. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His dark, dense gaze swept over Protector Tai before slowly stepping back. TSK TSK, what an arrogant woman. Even though you are an elite Dozo, you are nothing in the eyes of our Hall of Souls. In the future, you might regret this decision of yours to offend our Hall of Souls. Medusa's attitude caused some fury to surge in Protector Tai's heart. He immediately revealed a cold smile. The people from your Hall of Souls always like to say such pointless words. Medusa's finger flicked gently on the long sword. 
She heard a clear sharp clang before lifting her head to faintly reply to Protector Tai. You have even seen other people from the Hall of Souls. Protector Tai's eyes flashed slightly as he cried out in surprise upon hearing the meaning that was contained in Medusa's words. Medusa did not respond to Protector Tai's question. Majestic Dochi circulated like a mountain stream within her body. Numerous visible fluctuations rose around her. She was able to stir a transformation of the outside world by just relying on the circulation of Dochi within her body. Other than an elite Do zone, no one at the Do Huang level would be able to achieve this. A killing intent also flashed through Protector Tai's eyes when he saw that Medusa had become silent again. He coldly snorted, this protector will see if you have the qualification to be this arrogant today. Protector Tai's finger moved as his cold snort sounded. A clear crashing sound immediately resounded over the sky. His chains were letting out a clanging sound as they adopted an octopus-like shape. It was then violently thrown toward Medusa. Medusa's face did not change in the face of the shocking momentum of this act. The long sword in her hand suddenly stabbed out, and it immediately pierced a certain point on the chain in a lightning-like manner. A wild, violet strength erupted and sent the enormous chain flying in a forceful manner. She was not a Do Wang or a Do Huang. Such an attack by Protector Tai did not pose much of a threat to her. Although it was only an initial exchange of blows, the spot where the long sword and the chain met had already erupted into a soul-stirring loud sound. A surging energy ripple spread in all directions. Seeing that another two elite Dozongs had already entered the fiery hot battle, the surrounding experts from both sides began to hurriedly withdraw. All of them were afraid that they would be implicated, which would leave them with a fate that would definitely not allow them to escape from the word of death. The expression of Xie Bai Hua in the distant sky, which was still a somewhat gloating one, instantly stiffened because of Medusa's appearance. This was especially so after he saw that the other party was actually able to fight with Protector Tai. The corner of his eye suddenly twitched. A moment later, he finally turned his gaze to the little fairy doctor as he said in a dark, deep voice, it is unexpected that you have also invited a helper. No wonder you actually dare to be reckless. The same can be said for you. The little fairy doctor faintly smiled. Her grayish purple eyes swept below her as she mocked, looks like the hope of your 10,000 scorpion gate to swallow my poison sect is about to fail. Hey, I'm afraid that it is a little too early for you to be happy. The old me has trained for many years. Don't believe that I cannot finish a member of the younger generation like you. Xie Bai Yen laughed from his anger. His walking stick violently slammed the empty air as his robes were torn apart. A blood-colored enormous scorpion tattoo appeared on his chest after his clothes were torn apart. This blood scorpion was just like a living thing and was filled with a fierce, evil aura. The degree of its ruthlessness seemed to be even greater than the four-winged sky demon scorpion from earlier. Moreover, this was merely just a tattoo. If it was the actual thing, it was likely that it would be even more terrifying. Blood Demon Scorpion Emperor The little fairy doctor's eyes studied the blood-colored tattoo. It did not appear to be much different than an ordinary scorpion. Her brows were knit before her face drastically changed. Hee <laughs> hee, not long after the old me advanced to the Dozone class back then, I was lucky to meet a seriously injured blood demon scorpion emperor, which also happened to be about to break through to the Dozone class. After spending a great effort to kill it, I refined its blood and flesh before sealing its spirit into my body. It can be considered to have gradually been refined over many years. Today, I shall allow you to be the first to try the power of our 10,000 scorpion gates, blood spirit skill, at its complete mastery. Jia Bu Yen immediately laughed upon seeing the stunned look on the little fairy doctor's face. The hand seal of Jia Bai Yan's hand changed abruptly as his cold laughter sounded. One could see the blood scorpion tattoo on his chest wiggle more. Threads of it began to enter his body. Following the entrance of the tattoo, Xie Bai Yan's body became bloated. Both of his hands were extremely distorted. An instant later, a dense white bone broke through his skin. It wiggled before transforming into two blood-colored enormous pincers. The refinement was still continuing. By the time it came to a gradual stop, Jia Bai Yan had already transformed into a monster that was half-human, half-scorpion. His entire body was drenched in blood. A violent and brutal aura surged to the sky. The little fairy doctor's face was solemn as she looked at Jia Bai Yen, whose aura had greatly surged. The current Jia Bai Yen was likely comparable to a five-star Dozone. Sky Poison Woman. Today, I will let you become the first tribute to the complete mastery of my blood spirit skill. An enormous blood-colored pincer was pointed at little fairy doctor. Xia Bai Yen's face revealed a savageness. Perhaps it was due to the Qi method but his voice had gained a hissing tone. The evil aura that suddenly surged to the sky naturally attracted the attention of everyone below. Numerous gazes were immediately raised. Their faces changed when they saw Xie Bai Yan's body, which was neither a human nor a scorpion. It was easy to see the change especially after having sensed the frightening aura that surged out of the latter's body. The expressions of everyone from the poison sect turned white. That old fellow's aura is currently pushing to the peak of a five-star dozone. It has already surpassed the little fairy doctor. In this way, the little fairy doctor will definitely have difficulty contending with him. Xiao Yan borrowed his sharp spiritual perception and was able to sense the transformation of Xie Bai Yan one step ahead of the others. His heart sank slightly. He did not expect that Xie Bai Yan was actually hiding this tactic. I must go and aid the little fairy doctor first. Otherwise, the ending will not be good. 
Xiao Yan's body moved suddenly as this thought flashed past his heart. However, he was just about to fly up when a human figure came blocking in front of him. A cold laugh was swiftly transmitted over, Brat, you should just peacefully remain here. A chill flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at Xie Shan who was blocking him. He did not waste his breath. A heavy ruler flashed and appeared as he clenched his hand. Immediately, he charged forward in an extremely ferocious manner. That fierce aura suppressed Xie Shan until he was momentarily dull. While Xiao Yan was entangled with Xie Shan, that Xie Bai Yan had also unleashed his attack. One could only see his body flash and appear in front of the little fairy doctor. The huge blood-colored pincers danced as they clamped toward the latter's waist. Little fairy doctor's sharp fingernail suddenly soared before immediately hacking at the blood-colored huge pincers. Glaring sparks erupted. However, they did not cause any actual harm to the other party. Hee hee. The enormous pincer was twisted in a strange manner following Xie Bai Yan's cold laughter. A violent clamping movement immediately followed. One could only hear waves of metallic sound as the hard metal-like nails of the little fairy doctor were actually broken. The little fairy doctor's body hurriedly moved back after she suffered a disadvantage, appearing slightly miserable. Youngling, the old me will see just how arrogantly you can act. Xie Bai Yan immediately laughed in a cold gloating manner after having caused the other party to suffer a disadvantage. The little fairy doctor's cold and indifferent eyes slowly moved up after having glanced her broken nails. After which, she paused on the savage smiling Xie Bai Yan. Her delicate hand was gently extended before being placed into that little mouth of hers. The back of her teeth bit down and bright red blood seeped out. Her finger that contained some blood traces slowly shifted to her smooth forehead. It slowly moved and a strange seal appeared on her forehead an instant later. The savage smile on Xie Bai Yan's face gradually diminished after seeing the unusual movement of the little fairy doctor. He frowned while his heart felt slightly uneasy. Little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes suddenly unleashed an unusual glow after the appearance of the seal. Her eyes rotated and her left eye turned into a deep purple while her right eye became an unusual grayish color. You are also the first person able to get me to completely unleash my woeful poison body. Being able to die from this is worthy of your status. Chapter 800, Sneak Attack Xie Bai Yan's face changed slightly as he looked at the little fairy doctor, whose entire body had suddenly emitted a strange aura. The gloating expression in his eyes disappeared. All that remained was a solemnness that could not be voiced. From the strange aura that was emitted from the other person's body, he could sense a threat of death. Woeful poison body. Looks like what Protector Tai said is true. You are able to reach this stage at such an age only because you are relying on this thing. Xie Bai Yan was also an experienced person. He had also heard a little about the prowess of the woeful poison body. As such, he immediately hissed in a sinister manner. The little fairy doctor slowly lifted her head. The colors within her eyes were so pure that it was terrifying. One was purple while the other was gray. There was no doping of other colors. It gave one a cold and indifferent feeling at a glance. Under this strange pair of eyes, Xie Bai Yan's heart involuntarily leaped despite his strength. Great purple eyes observed Xie Bai Yan. However, the little fairy doctor did not open her mouth. She gently clenched her delicate hand. A hundred foot radius around her began to intensely fluctuate. It immediately twisted and formed an invisible cage. Following the distortion of space, the gaze that the outside world used to look in had also become blurry. Sky Poison Prison World As the little fairy doctor twisted space into a cage, one could see a grayish purple thick fog suddenly surge from the little fairy doctor's body. It immediately scattered. Within a couple of blinks, it covered the space that was already distorted into a cage. In an instant, the gazes from the outside world were all completely blocked. Xie Bai Yan's face was gloomy within the space cage as he looked at the grayish purple thick fog that spread all around him. He could sense that this kind of fog contained a lethal poison that even he did not dare to absorb into his body. Moreover, this fog also seemed to have the ability to disrupt one's speed and agility. He found that his body had become much heavier following the spread of this poison fog. What a terrifying poison gas, it is actually able to pollute the natural energy within this sealed space. In this way, one would not dare to randomly absorb the energy in the world when fighting. This means that one could only exhaust one's strength without being able to obtain any replenishment. If this goes on for too long, one's ending will definitely be terrible. What a really vicious tactic. The woeful poison body is indeed troublesome to deal with. Xie Bai Yan's dark, cold eye swept over the grayish purple fog that spread all around him as he spoke within his heart in a deep voice. His heart immediately moved and he sealed off the pores all over his body. A layer of powerful Dou Qi completely covered his body to isolate himself from that gray purple fog. However, each time the woeful poison body completely erupts, it will result in the complete eruption of your poison body coming one step closer. The old me will accompany you if you really want to engage in an all-out fight. A majestic blood-colored energy suddenly surged from Xie Bai Yan's body after his cold, dark cry sounded. Two enormous pincers were violently waved. His eyes constantly looked all around him, readily waiting for the hidden the little fairy doctor to attack. A hundred-foot-wide grayish-purple space suddenly appeared in the distant sky. The grayish-purple poison fog coincidentally spread toward the edge of the distorted space. That manner was as though there was a transparently four walls isolating all around them. Inside it could be considered a world that was covered in poisonous gases. 
Due to the isolation of the grayish-purple poison fog, everyone was unable to see the battle within it. Even though Xiao Yan tried his best to use his spiritual perception to scan its interior, his spiritual perception would be bounced back at the spot where space was distorted. In this way, an outsider was completely unaware of the battle situation within it. The only thing they could do was to quietly wait for the life and death battle between the two to end. Xiao Yan's gaze was slowly withdrawn from the grayish-purple space. Although his expression was still somewhat solemn, he was at least no longer as worried as he was in the past. Looking at the little fairy doctor's earlier action, it seemed that she had also used something that caused her strength to soar. Moreover, she had specially formed a sealed space in the sky and should have some confidence. Given Xiao Yan's understanding of her, the little fairy doctor was not the type who would foolishly go and do something like seeking death in a fight. We can only now wait for the final ending. Xiao Yan sighed once again within his heart. His gaze had also suddenly turned cold as it gradually slid to Xie Shan in front of him. His voice slowly said, Since Chief Xie Shan is so anxious to fight with me, I should really be blamed if I don't give you the satisfaction today. Xiao Yan's words might be calm but the killing intent within his voice was extremely obvious. Clearly, this fellow, who had repeatedly blocked him, had successfully received the fury and killing intent within his heart. Xie Shan's face gradually changed when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He immediately laughed, what an arrogant fellow. You should be feeling honored this this chief is personally fighting with you. In that case, I will invite Chief Xie to hand your head over. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into a ferocious smile. His feet violently stomped on the empty air. A silver glow flickered and his body suddenly rushed forward. A couple of afterimages surfaced in the sky. An instant later, Xiao Yan appeared above Xie Shan's head. His hands tightly gripped the heavy ruler as he immediately hacked viciously at the latter's head without any fancy moves. The enormous ruler carried an intense pressurizing wind that created a whistle. That wind caused Xie Shan's clothes to be tightly pressed to his body. Humph. 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 Xie Shan emitted a cold snort. The blue rod in his hand was violently lifted up. It collared dead with that heavy ruler without giving in. Clang. A clear metallic collision sound appeared. Sparks flew as a powerful force spread out from the point of contact. Two human figures swiftly withdrew. Xiao Yan's body rolled in the air. The fire wings on his back were flapped as he stabilized himself. Instead, Xie Shan's feet staggered a couple of steps back before stopping. Moreover, the hand that was holding the rod appeared to tremble. Xiao Yan was naturally much stronger than Xie Shan when it came to physical strength. Adding the heaviness of the heavy Xian ruler and the power of his physical body, that had undergone the refinement of many natural treasures, it was naturally foolish for Xie Shan to choose a head-on collision. Xiao Yan's body was suspended in the sky. He looked at the fiercer and more ruthless-looking Xie Shan who had taken a couple of steps back. A cold glint flashed in his eyes. Hot jade green dou qi naturally surged from his body and immediately shot toward the heavy Xian ruler in all directions. In a moment, the dark black heavy ruler transformed into a jade green color. Threads of jade green flames quietly shuttled over it. Xie Shan's expression slightly changed when he sensed the enormous energy that was agglomerated on the heavy Xian ruler. The blue rod in his hand danced and formed numerous afterimages. Powerful Dou Qi swiftly circulated in his body. Finally, it followed his veins and poured into the rod. Following the pouring in of the Dou Qi, the size of the blue rod greatly soared. It looked like a blue pillar. From the looks of the situation, it seemed that the both of them were using quite powerful Dou techniques. Those experts around them hurriedly withdrew upon seeing the scene, afraid of being implicated. The jade green color on the ruler became denser. At a certain moment, Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly became sharper. Both his hands tightly grasped the ruler's hilt and the veins on his arms pulsed. He violently hacked at Xie Shan from a distance while adopting a ferocious expression. Flame Splitting Tsunami A jade green fire glow that was over a hundred feet large immediately shot from the ruler's tip as the cry resounded in Xiao Yan's heart. The air fluctuated repeatedly wherever the fire glow passed. The high temperature contained on it caused the surrounding space to appear distorted. Heaven Shaking Rod Following the ruler glow that shot over with hot wind and powerful energy, Xie Shan clenched his teeth and suddenly waved the blue rod in his hand. It made a strange trembling rhythm amid a piercing blue glow as it violently smashed toward the ruler glow. Bang. The ruler glow and the blue glow instantly intertwined in front of a countless number of gazes. A thunder-like explosion immediately resounded over the sky. An intense energy ripple containing a hot fire wave surged out from the point of contact. It struck Xie Shan until he emitted a muffled groan. The hand that was holding the blue rod emitted white smoke with a chi-chi sound. However, he forcefully grit his teeth and continued to hold onto it. His body moved and he withdrew in a hurried fashion. The strange flame that was contained on the ruler's glow caused him to suffer a great disadvantage in this collision. Xiao Yan let out a cold laugh when he saw Xie Shan pulling back. His gaze drifted to a certain space as a silver glow flickered under his feet. In a couple of flashes, he appeared in front of Xie Shan. He raised his heavy ruler and violently swept it over. Xie Shan's body was hurriedly expelling and refining that irritating hot force. His feet slipped in a strange manner when he sensed the wind, allowing him to narrowly dodge the attack. After having dodging it, his body once again withdrew. His gaze drifted and paused on his original spot when he withdrew but did not see Xiao Yan giving chase. 
he immediately emitted a cold laugh was. However, a lovely, little figure suddenly flashed and appeared behind him while that cold laugh was still in his throat. A clear voice sounded. Haha, eat my punch. That tender clear voice had just sounded when a pale little fist instantly shot over. A purple glow flickered on the fist. It contained a terrifying strength. Shock surged into Xie Shan's eyes when he sensed the frightening strength that had suddenly appeared behind him. He forcefully turned around and used the blue rod in his hand to block his chest. Bang. The little fist firmly stuck the blue rod. However, before Xie Shan could sigh in relief, a cracking sound caused a chill to spread all over his body. One could see that the blue rod, with a hardness that was not weaker than steel, cracked apart at this moment. That little fist passed through it and finally landed on Xie Shan's chest.